Chapter 1 The End Is Coming At the end of September, the hot and long summer is finally over and autumn is here. But in Jianbeiching, the weather has not turned significantly cooler for a while. And the daytime temperature still remains above 30 degrees. But at night, the temperature immediately dropped sharply, making people shiver with cold. Almost everyone is complaining about the weather. In an inconspicuous rental house in the south of the city, the air conditioning fan was buzzing non-stop, which seemed a bit noisy. Under the air conditioner, there is a room that seems to be less than 15 square meters. The living room and bed are in this room, and the bathroom and kitchen doors are open side by side on the other side. Although the area is small, the interior of the house looks very tidy. The male owner of the house, a rather thin young man, was sitting on the lower bunk of a bunk bed, staring intently at a TV set not far in front of him. On the TV screen, the midday news of the national TV station was playing at the moment. A week ago, Jiang Lusher had never used this TV for anything other than watching football games, let alone watching the midday news. But now, Jiang Lusher not only sat in front of the TV for the first time, but also stared at the time on the clock with all his attention. Today at 12 hours 45 minutes and 51 seconds, the national TV station's lunchtime news program will broadcast an important piece of news. The following is an international news. An international scientific team has just held a press conference to announce that they have discovered a prehistoric supervirus in the permafrost in the far east of Siberia. This giant virus is currently the fourth known to mankind. A super large virus. Scientists have previously discovered another giant virus in the area. Scientists discovered it as early as a year ago, but only recently announced it. Scientists said that research on the virus is still ongoing. According to research, it is currently unknown whether this type of prehistoric virus can infect humans or animals. Some experts have also stated that as long as the permafrost remains frozen, there is no need to worry about whether the virus poses a threat. That's it. Jian Lusher stood up from the bed all of a sudden. He looked at the time displayed on his phone. It was around 12.45. Almost exactly. I got it right again. This is the third time. Jian Lusher stared at the TV screen, but his focus was no longer on the news. He has already known the general content of this news. Even the time it was first disclosed in the media at this moment. Since it is a live press conference, there is no leakage of information in advance. Even if the media and reporters already know about the press conference a day ago, it is impossible to give the specific content. But Jian Lusher knew in advance. And not only this news, but also several international emergencies that occurred within this week. He also knew in advance. This was not because Jian Lusher suddenly had any superpower to predict the future. But a week ago, he suddenly discovered that there was a star seed in his mind. While discovering this star seed, Jian Lusher learned some information from the star seed, including these news that had not yet happened. The most important one is today's news about the discovery of a giant virus. Because this news is confirmed, it means that another thing Jian Lusher learned from star seed will actually happen. Virus infection breaks out. The end of the world is coming. The previous news was about the absence of some heads of state from important events and the temporary cancellation of important international meetings or trips. These news did not attract too many people's attention. But Jian Lusher knew that many countries had already known about the virus infection and were making preparations to retreat. Viral infections are breaking out very quickly and without any effective means to control them. Telling the public will only cause panic and riots. Therefore, the people knew nothing at all and were still living their normal lives. But they did not realize that some important figures no longer appeared. This press conference on the virus is the last bit of mercy given by these high-level officials to ordinary people, so that they will not die too confused. Ten days later at two o'clock in the afternoon, disaster will befall these ordinary people without any warning. But now they are watching the news on TV like Jian Lusher. But they are not aware of anything at all. Many people are scrolling through the news on their mobile phones. Weibo. Moments and news all saw this news. But at most, they just exclaimed and forwarded it. Jian Lusher had no intention of posting to tell the public the truth about this matter. Since the mind prophecy became popular, various doomsday predictions have been appearing on the internet in an endless stream. There are even many physical books and movies of the 2012 Triple X series. There were even a lot of photos taken. And the public has long been immune to this topic. The post he sends out will not attract anyone's attention at all. The only thing that may be attracted is harmony because all he knows are real insider information. It may also arouse some vigilance from higher-ups. Although this possibility was very low, Jian Lusher did not want to do useless work and cause unnecessary trouble to himself. Moreover, 
Even Jiang Lusher himself was skeptical when he first learned of this information. It was not until he saw the news today that he completely believed in the authenticity of this matter. No matter who it is, if they suddenly find that there is some information in their mind, or it is about the end of the world, they will not immediately believe it unconditionally. When everything around you is so normal and ordinary, how can you believe that the end is coming? Now that it was confirmed, Jian Lusha realized that he only had one week and he had to start preparations immediately. Jian Lusha first purchased a large amount of daily necessities such as grains, oils, rice, and noodles online. To be on the safe side, he also bought a lot of compressed high energy foods, as well as a lot of drinking water and first aid medicines. These things can be delivered one after another within a day or two, saving Jian Lusha the time of going out to purchase. In addition, there were jackets, light and wear resistant shoes, disposable underwear, etc. Jian Lusha also purchased them. He also bought a dagger from a dealer in the same city, just in case, although he did not believe in the doomsday before. Out of curiosity, Jian Lusher had already made a list in his mind, detailing the preparations he should make before the doomsday. For this purpose, he also checked online, I have collected a lot of information, and there are actually quite a few such posts on the internet. Obviously, there is no shortage of people who are too idle. However, these seemingly boring posts provided him with a lot of reference and help at this time. And Jian Lusher quickly completed most of the preparations for hoarding supplies in an orderly manner. Next, is the real highlight. The role of Star Seed is not only to let him know that the end is coming, but more importantly, Star Seed can give him, an ordinary person, the ability to protect himself in the end. The real purpose of Star Seed is mechanical modification and upgrade. But Jian Lusher needs to provide the main body and materials for modification. The first thing Jian Lusher thought of was a vehicle, a car, which was currently the most practical for him and the least difficult to modify. Among various types of cars, sedans were first eliminated by Jian Lusher. This relatively delicate model would have little effect in the chaos that would come. The most recommended means of transportation in doomsday posts is off road vehicles. But Jian Lusher is not very fond of off road vehicles. The internal space of such vehicles is too limited. Subjectively speaking, what Jian Lusher likes most is a giant, extra long truck. This kind of truck is like a train running on the road. The wheels alone are as tall as a person. But the number of such cars was so small that Jian Lusher could only think about it. Jian Lusher searched on the internet. He looked around and finally settled on two types of vehicles. One was a container truck and the other was a minibus. Out of his obsession with interior space, Jian Lusher finally set his sights on minibuses with more space. However, Jian Lusher couldn't afford a minibus worth hundreds of thousands per unit. After completing the purchase of supplies, his bank card balance was less than 1,000 yuan which cannot be described as poor. If there is a house for sale, Jian Lusher will immediately sell it at a low price without hesitation. But it is a pity that his house was sold when he was still in high school. His parents had just passed away at that time. And selling the house was necessary to support his and his sister's life and studies. After that, the two brothers and sisters had been renting a house. Most of the money in Jian Lusher's bank was what was left after selling his house. As a result, he spent almost all of it just to buy supplies. If the televisions, computers and other electrical appliances were disposed of, I would still have a few thousand dollars left. But it would still not be enough. As for robbery and theft, as an ordinary student, Jian Lusher didn't think he had a success rate of more than 10%. Even if he succeeded by luck, the possibility of being caught was more than 80%. Jian Lusher didn't plan to buy a car. He planned to rent a car. But even renting a car requires a considerable amount of money. Jian Lusher has already checked the price online. Even the most ordinary minibus costs more than a thousand yuan a day. And 10 days is about 15,000 yuan. Not to mention that a large amount of materials and metals need to be purchased to complete the alignment. The bus has been modified. This money is really a headache. The end is next Tuesday. Getting closer and closer. Lying in bed. Jian Lusher took a few deep breaths. But still felt a little flustered. As a student, he was about to face such a life and death challenge. And it was impossible to remain calm as usual. After thinking about it, he opened QQ and found an ID named Lee June in the roommate's group. When he saw the other person's profile photo was on, he immediately sent a message. Lee June, are you here? Soon there was a message prompt of DDD. And Lee June's reply appeared on the chat interface. Have you seen my new display? Only then did Jian Lusher notice that under the other party's ID, 
It showed that Lee Jun was iPhone 7 online. At the moment, no wonder he stayed online so coquettishly. iPhone 7 is a new mobile phone that was just released this month. It has only been out for a few days. The price is high and few people have gotten it. Lee Jun actually used it so quickly. No wonder his tone is so harsh. This mobile phone costs 8,000 renminbi. Jian Lusher sighed. He couldn't afford such an expensive mobile phone. I never imagined that it would be the end of the world without even using a new mobile phone. Li Jun replied proudly. How can I get the first batch of 7 or 8,000 yuan? I asked a special person to help me buy it. And I added 2,000 yuan. A mobile phone costs 10,000 yuan. Jian Lusher could only sigh with emotion. Because his parents died early, and he had to take care of his younger sister. He had always been very frugal in life. The purchase just now was the most enjoyable time he spent money in his life. It's scary to think about a mobile phone worth 10,000 yuan. However, it seemed that Li Jun had quite a lot of money. Jian Lusher quickly typed. Let's get down to business first. Let me tell you something. You don't have any plans for next Tuesday. Right. Next Tuesday? Brother, think about it. Ah, by the way, I sent a girl I met on WeChat a few days ago. I want to take her to the bar next Tuesday. After drinking, you know, wait for me to take her down. When Jian Lusher heard this, he had a headache. He thought about it for a moment. But then he said, Well, I want to invite everyone to play games next Tuesday. Can we stay in the dormitory and lock the doors and windows? What? Li Jun didn't react for a moment. Is there any girl who doesn't want to play games with you? There's something wrong with my brain. No fighting. Brother is busy. Okay. Jian Lusher sighed and shook his head. He had already reminded him as much as he could. In fact, even if he stayed in the dormitory and locked the doors and windows, he could not avoid the virus outbreak. Li Jun was like everyone else now. He has already carried the virus. Whether he will mutate into a monster after 10 days depends entirely on his own constitution. Locking the doors and windows was just to prevent Li Jun from being killed by those mutated monsters if he could withstand this disaster. Now that Li Jun doesn't listen to Jian Lusher, Jian Lusher has nothing to do. He said again, Li Jun, I need money urgently now. Can you pay me back the 2,000 you lent me before? Money? Oh, don't worry. I'll remember it for you, and I'll return it to you in two days. Li Jun replied. Jian Lusher frowned. I'm in a hurry to use it now. It can be said to be life-saving money. Are you so anxious? Wait, that girl called me. I'll answer the phone and talk to you later. Li Jun replied. Jian Lusher waited for a while with his cell phone. But he never saw Li Jun replying to him again and his profile picture was also blacked out. Jian Lusher shook his head, thought for a while, and clicked on another roommate's profile picture. Luo Ming, can you lend me 2,000 yuan? I have no money recently. I spent all my living expenses on the game. I also want to ask you to borrow some money for food. Why are you borrowing money? Luo Ming replied. Forget it. It's okay. Jian Lusher knew that Luo Ming was a game fan, although his family was relatively wealthy. He rarely kept any money on hand. He was just trying his luck. Luo Ming, listen to what I'm telling you. Next Tuesday you stay in the dormitory and play games. Close the doors and windows and don't go out. Do you understand? What? What happened? Luo Ming was stunned for a moment. Remember, Jian Lusher said and hung up the phone. He had tried his best. Those who owe him money are not repaid. And they cannot borrow money. As for the other people... Either Jian Lusher is not very familiar with him, or they don't have much money. After all, they are just students. If they can come up with a few hundred, there is no possibility of thousands. It seems I have to think of another way. Chapter 2 Money Got it. Jian Lusher flipped through his phone and suddenly saw a very naughty profile picture, and his eyes suddenly lit up. The man with slick back hair and sunglasses was named Ma Hao, and he was quite famous in the school. However, he is famous not because of his talents or anything like that, but because of his strong connections. This can be seen from the fact that Song Jian Lusher added him on QQ. He and Jian Lusher were not at the two extremes, but they were almost there. Jian Lusher is usually the most ordinary kind of person. Not active at all, except for people in his class. Few people know him. Jian Lusher vaguely remembered that he had heard from Li Jun that Ma Hao had a friend who was a campus loan provider. In order to borrow money, some girls not only took photos of their ID cards and student ID cards to their friends, but even took some indecent photos. If they do not pay back the money, 
These photos and identity information will be released to the public and sent to their classmates, teachers, and even family members. Jiang Lusher was speechless when he first heard about this. Most of these girls just wanted to buy things to satisfy their vanity. So they ended up doing this kind of thing. Ma Hao often takes out some indecent photos of girls from his friends and sends them to his classmates to share them. And many people comment on them. Of course, Jiang Lusher had no sympathy for this kind of girl. Originally, Jiang Lusher thought that he would never be involved in such a thing. But now, he felt that it was a good opportunity. Ma Hao, can I borrow money from your friend? Jian Lusher asked straight to the point. Ma Hao quickly replied, Okay, which department and class are you from? Jian Lusher took a photo of his student ID card. After confirming it, Ma Hao asked, How much do you want to borrow? Borrow 20,000 yuan. Jian Lusher was not polite after all, since he specialized in lending money. However, according to his previous understanding, 20,000 yuan should be the maximum amount. If it was any more, Ma Hao might reject him. After all, Nothing about his family background is a secret. Ma Hao can easily ask about it. Ma Hao was obviously shocked. 20,000 was a large sum for a student. Many female students borrowed money. That is, borrowing thousands or even hundreds. What are you borrowing so much for? Your girlfriend can't afford this much to have an abortion. Ma Hao asked. There is something very important. Don't ask. Just tell me what conditions you need to lend it to me. Jian Lusher said. Here, let's do this. Give me your student ID card and your home address. In addition, you have to write me an IOU with 50,000 yuan written on it. You also need to record a video of the IOU. Hold the IOU and read it out. As for the content above, just say that you are voluntary. Once you pay back the money, I will destroy this IOU in front of you. How long will it take you to use 20,000 yuan? Ma Hao asked. One month. Jian Lusher said. Then you have to pay me back 25,000 when the time comes. They are all from the same school. And I am not afraid that you will not pay back the money. You understand? Ma Hao said. Okay. Jiang Lusher secretly smacked his tongue. This interest rate. Common loan sharks are not so harsh. Moreover, Jiang Lusher could now see that he was his friend. He probably had a share in the loan even if Ma Hao was not responsible for it. Ma Hao seemed to be very confident. He was not worried that Jiang Lusher would default on his debt. And he didn't know what his methods were. It is estimated that if he does not pay back the money, Jiang Lusher will not be able to live or die. Ha uh ha. -huh. Jiang Lusher smiled nonchalantly. What interest? What threat? It will be the end by then. He still cares about Amir Ma Hao? In the afternoon, Jiang Lusher found a car rental company online, then went to the place agreed with Ma Hao, completed the procedures, and got the money. While Ma Hao was using his mobile phone to transfer money to Jiang Lusher, he looked at Jian Lusher curiously and asked, What are you borrowing money for? Do something big. You will know it after a week. Jian Lusher said mysteriously. Ma Hao was speechless. Why was this man so nervous? He immediately regretted it. But the money had been transferred. And Ma Hao soon didn't care anymore. Anyway, no matter whether it was a mental illness or something else, no student dared to refuse to pay him money. Jian Lusher got 20,000 yuan and immediately rushed to the car rental company. There are not many minibuses. And they are not as easy to rent as cars. Jian Lusher also checked all the car rental companies online before he found one that still had spare vehicles. The other party urged Jian Lusher to go quickly, but could only keep him for about two hours. Jian Lusher hurriedly hurriedly arrived at the car rental company an hour early. Seeing the store's sign from a distance, he felt relieved. The car rental company's store is small, and the interior is simple and elegant. Behind a reception table, there is a sweet-looking girl with a ponytail standing. This girl is wearing the uniform of the car rental company. The very simple uniform looks clean and beautiful on her body. She is probably only 18 or 19 years old. The innocent and childish girl is talking to another customer in a suit. Seeing Jian Lusher coming, he showed a sweet smile to Jian Lusher, nodded, and signaled Jian Lusher to wait a moment. Seeing this youthful girl, Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. This reception was really young. Jian Lusher sat on the sofa next to him. By chance, he saw a corner of the CT6 vocabulary book exposed under the girl's desk. He immediately understood that this girl should be a student. Or maybe even one of them. She is from school. She comes here to work part-time to earn living expenses. This car rental company, not far from the university, hired a sweet-looking female student as a waiter. 
not to mention the labor cost was cheap. And such an innocent girl could also make business great. Hello. I am the account manager Wen Shao Yan. You can call me Xiao Wen. I am happy to serve you. The girl said a few words to the guest. And then she turned to Jiang Lu Shi. Her youthful appearance, combined with her commercial greetings, gave people a very strange feeling. It didn't seem inconsistent, but rather cute. Hello. I'm the one who booked the minibus online. Jiang Lu Shi stood up and said, Ah, this. The girl was a little embarrassed. She said sheepishly, I'm sorry. The last minibus was just rented by this gentleman. When Jiang Lusher called, she was the one who accepted the order, but the car was rented out by the boss. She felt very embarrassed, but she is just a part-time worker. How can she influence the boss's decision? I'm really sorry. If you can wait, or you can make a new reservation now, we will probably have a car in a few days. When the customer has finished using it, it will be returned. When Xiao Yan said apologetically, Jiang Lusher was stunned for a moment. How could he wait for so long? This was the only company that had cars. It was impossible to think of other ways at this time. He thought about it and suddenly asked, Have you paid? Oh? Not yet. But we have to sign the contract. When Xiaoyan replied with some confusion, she didn't know why Jian Lusher asked this. The man in a suit next to him glanced at Jian Lusher with a faint smile in his eyes. He could see that Jian Lusher was in a hurry. But who made Jian Lusher come a step too late? Moreover, if you make an online reservation without paying money, the boss can break the contract at any time if he doesn't want it to be accurate. Oh, it's okay if you don't pay. Tell your boss. I'll add 200 a day. Rent it for one week. And renew it next week. It's just for use in the city. And there's no wear and tear. Jian Lusher said. When Shafian was stunned for a moment, then looked at the man in the suit, not knowing what to do for a moment. This was the first time she encountered such a thing. At 300, Jian Lusher said again, when Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment. The amount involved was already quite large, and Jian Lusher looked really anxious. Sir, according to the regulations, I have to call for instructions. She was embarrassed to the man in the suit, said. The man in the suit was also speechless. He was feeling a little gloating just now, but unexpectedly, he seemed to have met a rich second generation. Forget it. Stop fighting and read it to him. The man in the suit said, if you make this call, you will know what the outcome will be without even thinking about it. So why bother? I'm really sorry. You have to wait until this weekend before using the car. Or I can arrange it for you in two days. You see? This guest is also anxious to use the car. When Xiaoyan apologized again quickly, the man in the suit saw that Jian Lusher was only in his late 20s and looked like a student. He couldn't help but ask, Young man, why did you rent the car for so long? Leave it alone. Jian Lusher said. Let. Well, today's young people are really rich and willful. Jian Lusher didn't care about the surprised looks of the two people. He didn't care at all what others would think of him now. Jian Lusher quickly signed a contract with a leasing company. He glanced at the terms and found that this kind of leasing contract was very harsh on customers. There were various compensations at every turn. And one more scratch could cost a lot of money. However, Jian Lusher just glanced at it and then signed his name with a swipe of a pen. This car will get more than just scratches from him. Your ID card will be kept here. The receptionist said with a smile on his face. Snapped. Jian Lusher slapped the ID card he had prepared on the table. And then took the car keys. Just two steps outside the door. Jian Lusher fell back again. Can you help me find a driver to drive back? He doesn't have a driver's license. Chapter 3 Scanning and Modification Sitting on the minibus, Jian Lusher called his sister although he knew that the call would probably go unanswered. Before he had more, star seeds, and more information in his mind, his sister had already gone to the depths of the mountains for inspection. And the signal was intermittent. My sister is in the deep mountains. At this moment when the apocalypse is about to break out, Wuxin is the worst news. However, Jian Lusher knew through star seed that neither his sister nor himself would be infected by the virus. My sister's inspection should be over in these two days, which made Jian Lusher particularly lucky. It can be said that he and his sister have grown up dependent on each other. If there is no news about his sister in some ravine after the end of the world, then Jian Lusher will go crazy. Sure enough, when this call was made, it also reminded the other party that the phone was turned off. Jian Lusher sent a text message to his sister, asking her to contact him immediately after seeing the message. He would turn on his phone 24 hours a day and wait for her call. Based on his understanding of his sister, 
and when he spoke so carefully, she would definitely call back as soon as she got to a place with signal. Boss, do you want to park here? The driver of the rental company drove the car to the downstairs of Jiang Liuxia's house and looked around curiously. This is exactly the kind of old community that has almost been eliminated in Jiangbei City. The houses are all old houses from the 1990s. And every household has the oldest awnings and anti-theft fences. This really doesn't look like a place where the rich second generation lives. Could it be to experience life? But it was none of the driver's business. After Jian Lusher signed, he handed the keys to him, got out of the car and left. Jian Lusher sat in the car and took a deep breath. He made all kinds of preparations today and was busy running around. But now that everything was ready, not only did he not feel calm, but he felt frightened. The calmness, orderliness, and suppressed panic before seemed to explode at this moment. After sitting in his seat for five or six minutes, Jian Lusher slowly regained his composure. After all, the end is coming. It's normal for him to react like this. According to the information given by Star Seed, Jian Lusher stood up, walked to the driver's seat, then sat down and held the steering wheel with both hands. Then, Jian Lusher closed his eyes, as if a switch was turned on. In Jian Lusher's mind, the picture that his eyes were supposed to see suddenly appeared. He held the steering wheel with both hands. After looking left and right, his field of vision quickly increased, taking in the entire car. Then, the body becomes transparent and all components are clearly visible. Jian Lusher knew that this was Star Seed scanning him. But I know it. But to experience this feeling personally, Jian Lusher still felt it was very magical. And it felt like VR science fiction. When VR came out before, although Jian Lusher was very interested in it, he didn't buy it because it was too expensive. Now he has this experience that is more advanced than VR. After the entire minibus was scanned, the vehicle information also appeared in Jiang Liuxia's mind. Type, medium-sized passenger bus, 14 seats. Car age, 10 years. Power, gasoline-powered type. Maximum speed, 110 km per hour. Engine, displacement 5.014L water-cooled inline four-cylinder supercharged direct injection. Failure. The engine is old and all parts are old. In summary, this is a very ordinary minibus. It was probably retired from traveling and was bought by a car rental company. In fact, such a car will have many minor problems as soon as it is driven. The car rental company is completely cheating people. However, these minor problems did not matter to Jian Lusher. He spent more than 10,000 yuan in total to get a minibus, which was already a very good deal. After completing the first modification, the vehicle will be initially adapted to doomsday use. There are several modification directions for Star Seed. Jian Lusher thought about it and chose the base vehicle type. The base car is actually a more material intensive option, but it has the highest practicality. Soon, Star Seed listed the materials needed to convert this vehicle into a base vehicle, ordinary. Seeing this list of materials, Jian Lusher secretly clicked his tongue. 100 kilograms of steel, 100 kilograms of copper. Screws of different specifications. 10 kilograms of titanium alloy. 10 square feet of leather. And all kinds of strange materials. Not to mention anything else. Just from the first few items, Jian Lusher knew that it was not a small amount. He vaguely knew that 1 kilogram of titanium alloy cost 5 or 600. And among those strange materials, some product names were also very obvious at a glance. Looks expensive. This list of materials completely exceeded Jian Lusher's price estimate. The amount of materials required exceeded Jian Liuxia's imagination. Probably because he chose a more complex base vehicle. I don't know if the remaining money and the money from various sales are enough. Although there are many. Send money in one minute. Borrow money with ID card. Posted on the roadside. Jian Liuxia's student ID card is now pledged to Ma Hao. His ID card is pledged to the car rental company. And he does not have a real estate certificate. What can be used? I was really at a loss for a while. Forget it. Let's order everything we can buy first. Jian Lusher took out his mobile phone. As soon as he turned on his phone, Jian Lusher found that he had two missed calls. He checked the time and found that they might have been called while he was running on the road. It was too noisy and he didn't hear them. But when I looked at the phone number, I didn't recognize it. Hello? Jian Lusher called back. Jian Lusher? A girl's voice came from the other end of the phone. It sounded very sweet and gentle. I am. I saw you called me. What can I do for you? Jian Lusher asked. I'm Liusen. The girl said a name that surprised Jian Lusher. 
He originally thought that this was a very business call. Either from the car rental company or some kind of courier. Or from the customer service of the seller who ordered the goods before. But he didn't expect that it was actually a girl he knew. And she was also a very popular and popular girl. However, although Jian Lusha rarely communicated with girls on the phone, he would not be in a hurry when he received a call. He just felt strange that he and Lee Yusin had no interaction. Why would she call him? Of course, speaking more carefully, it is not that the two of them have never crossed paths. In fact, they have been classmates since high school, in the same class, and at the same desk. Li Yusin's family background is very good. Her appearance is also exquisite and pleasant, and she has a good personality. She is very popular in the class. At that time, Jiang Lusher once watched Li Yusin's quiet side profile and gently flying hair as she stared out the window. But although Li Yusin was excellent in all aspects, she had a headache in mathematics. And Jiang Lusher happened to be very good in mathematics. Li Yusin often asked Jiang Lusher to give her lectures. When listening to the lecture, Li Yusin was so serious and focused that her hair often fell onto Jiang Liosher's hand without her noticing. But later, Jiang Liosher's parents had an accident and he didn't go to class for a full month. When he went to class again, Jiang Liosher became much more introverted and sat in the last row alone. Although Li Yusin glanced at him from time to time, the two passed each other several times. Li Yusin always wanted to say something, but in the end she didn't. Of course, Jiang Liosher has now stepped out of his original shadow. But the relationship between the two has since faded. Even after he was admitted to the same university in the same city, the little flutter he had at the beginning was hidden deep in Jiang Liosher's heart. Now that he heard Li Yusin's voice again, Jiang Liosher's mood suddenly became uncontrollably aroused. Li Yusin's voice was like a breeze, light and gentle. It's been a long time. Jiang Liosher couldn't help but sigh. Li Yusin also said, Yes, we haven't contacted each other for a long time. By the way, what do you want from me? Jiang Lusher asked. I heard Li Jun say, Are you sure of money now? I'm not familiar with him. And I happened to hear him tell a friend of mine. Li Yusin said. Jiang Lusher frowned immediately. What did he say? He invited my friend to dinner. My friend asked him why he was looking at his mobile phone and who he was chatting with. He said you were asking him to borrow money. I thought you were in trouble. So I asked for your mobile phone number. Li Yusin he asked in a very calm tone. This Li Jun. Jian Lusher was also speechless. This man refused to pay back his money and still talked about him like this. If he didn't show off, he would die. This is what happened. Jian Lusher explained the truth. After hearing this, Li Yusin was also very angry. I knew you were not that kind of person. He also said you were shameless. You are really such a person. I quickly told my friend not to associate with him. By the way, so are you saying you are really short of money? It's okay. I've already thought of a way, Jian Lusher said. Your Alpay is your mobile phone number. Right. I'll transfer you a sum of money. And you can pay me back when you're rich. We're all friends. So don't be polite to me. You used to lecture me on topics every day. So carefully. Every day I don't even have any spare time left. So haven't I ever thanked you? Li Yusin smiled. Jian Lusher was stunned. Li Yusin's laughter was still so nice. Wait. No need. That's it. You're welcome. We are friends. Right. Li Yusin said with a chuckle. Her laughter as clear as wind chimes. Of course. Putting down the phone. Jian Lusher felt a little warm in his heart. Unexpectedly. At this moment. An unexpected person helped him. And from beginning to end. Li Yusin never asked him why he borrowed the money. Beep. When the reminder text message arrived. Jian Lusher opened it. And was stunned again. The money transferred by Li Yusin amounted to 20,000 yuan. She also left a message behind it. A little more is more generous. Anyway, if you don't use it up, just keep it and return it to me. At the end, there was a cute expression covering her mouth and laughing. Jian Lusher felt really moved when he read this passage. Although Li Yusin's family is rich, she usually lives a very simple life. The 20,000 yuan must be her own personal money saved, and it is not as simple as giving it away casually. But as soon as she heard that she was in trouble, she immediately took the initiative to call him. Seeing that he didn't answer, she called several times in succession. Jian Lusher made up his mind immediately. And he immediately made another call. Unexpectedly, when he picked up the phone, Li Yusin's tone was a little worried. What are you doing? Jian Lusher couldn't help but laugh, feeling moved and amused at the same time. Don't worry. I'm not here to refund the money. Oh, 
Li Yusin breathed a sigh of relief and said quickly, Don't thank me either. If you thank me, I will thank you for helping me in the past. Without you, how could I have been admitted to Jiamei University? That little thing. Jian Lusher scratched his head in embarrassment, then coughed dryly, and then said seriously, Give me your home address. Address? Why do you have to come to my door to pay me back? Li Yusin said with a smile. Don't worry. Just tell me. Don't worry. I won't do anything bad. Jian Lusher deliberately joked. Okay. Okay. My home address is? You tell me. Let me note it down. Jian Lusher turned on the speakerphone. And then wrote down the address of Li Yusin's home in a memo. You even wrote it down specifically. I'm a little nervous. Do you really want to come? But if you are a guest, I will definitely welcome you. Li Yusin said. It could be heard that she was a little embarrassed. Jian Lusher knew that his request was too abrupt. But he couldn't care so much now. Although it was a bit abrupt. It was necessary. Jian Lusher said. Yusin, you must wait for me at home next Tuesday. Not only you, but also your parents must be at home and don't go anywhere. It's best if you can separate into different rooms. Every room has a lock. If something unexpected happens, lock yourself in the door and go elsewhere. And I will come to you. Okay? I have something very important. Very important. This is related to my life. His tone was very firm and serious. Jiang Lusher knew that if he told Li Yusin about the end of the world, it would be difficult for him to believe it. Even if he could make Li Yusin half convinced, she still had to convince her parents. This hassle alone requires a lot of time. If it was related to their lives, Li Yusin would definitely not believe it. And it would be even harder to convince her parents. Maybe her parents would still wonder if he was crazy and what his intentions were. Lock yourself in a locked room? Li Yusin was stunned. Is someone trying to attack them? Jian Lusher. Do you have any big difficulties? Are you involved in loan sharking? Underworld? Etc. Li Yusin asked in a panic. No. But it's really important. You must believe me. Absolutely. This matter is very important. Please. Jian Lusher said. He had borrowed money from usury. But that had nothing to do with it. He's not worried. This? I? Okay. Okay. Li Yusin reluctantly agreed. This matter indeed sounded too bizarre. Sure. Do as I say. Jian Lusher told him again. This? Promise me. Jian Lusher said sincerely. Okay. Okay. After hanging up the phone, Jian Lusher exhaled. He has tried his best. But he doesn't know what Li Yusin can do. But at least she should stay home. She is a very kind-hearted person. And as long as she cares about his life and safety, she will listen to him and stay at home. As for whether Li Yusin will survive, it only depends on God's will. I hope God doesn't let such a kind girl die in this catastrophe. And as long as she was alive, Jian Lusher believed that he would be able to find her. Chapter 4 Modification Begins With the money Li Yusin lent him, Jian Lusher immediately started purchasing. He even went to the market to buy some things that he couldn't buy online. The most deceptive thing was that one of the materials was not even on the market. So he ended up going to an auto parts factory to collect it. Originally, the boss refused to sell it. But in the end, Jian Lusher just gritted his teeth and added another 500 to the original price. And finally got it. And it was secondhand. Before leaving, Jian Lusher shook his head silently when he saw the boss rubbing his fingers and counting the money carefully. It's not that the boss doesn't want to sell, but he wants to sell it at a high price. He is happy to earn the 500 now. But one week from now, he will find that the money will be of no use. It took a total of three days to get all the materials and fill the aisles and seats in the minibus. When Jian Lusher put in the last piece of material, he felt a huge weight drop in his heart. Finally caught up. In the past three days, he has been running here and there, almost visiting the entire Jiabei city, probably because it was the first modification. The materials required were too complicated and involved almost every aspect. At the same time, Jian Lusher was also paying attention to the news and the developments in Jiabei City. He found that just as he thought, there were fewer and fewer big shots appearing in the news. Although everything on the streets looked like normal, he had a feeling that a feeling of undercurrent. Let's get started. Jian Lusher closed all the curtains, then sat in the driver's seat. After calming his breathing, he held the steering wheel with both hands. Suddenly, the structure of the minibus was clearly projected in his mind, and it felt like he had an extra special eye used to scan the minibus. Wherever he looked, 
The data and situation of the minibus immediately emerged. The overall status of the minibus is base vehicle, ordinary type, to be modified. It is detected that the materials are complete. Do you want to start modification? Jiang Lusher said silently in his mind. Modification! The modification has begun. And the countdown is now starting after 72 hours of completion. The vehicle cannot be driven until modifications are completed. Modifications include. Jiang Lusher only felt that the steering wheel in his hand seemed to have a strange force all of a sudden. As if it was vibrating slightly. Modification takes a long time. And Jiang Lusher cannot keep an eye on it in the car. He just sat in the driver's seat and looked at it curiously for a while and found that some of the materials disappeared inexplicably after a while. Other than that, he didn't seem to see anything special. After that, he got out of the car. Jiang Lusher stood outside and looked and found that there were no clues. So he felt relieved and went home. As soon as I opened the door, I saw all kinds of supplies that were almost piled at the door. They were all delivered within the past three days. The courier who delivered the goods looked at Jian Lusher a little weird. But Jian Lusher didn't care what others thought. Even if he thought it was weird. It was impossible to think of his true purpose. In the past three days, Jian Lusher has not been to school again. It is almost the end of the world. So why go to school? Now that the minibuses have begun to be refitted, Jian Lusher has not been idle. While he kept calling his sister on his mobile phone, he searched for various survival knowledge on the internet including wilderness survival and simple first aid knowledge, as well as some common diseases, what medicine to take, as well as surrounding maps, etc. Jian Lusher also specially downloaded the national map to the tablet, which can be used even if there is no internet connection. Almost all points are clearly marked on the map, from small shops to various large factories, from national highways to some rural roads. He spent hundreds of dollars on this map, but the free map software didn't have this level of detail. Jian Lusher didn't know how prepared he could be, but he was preparing for everything mentioned in the post that he found useful, as well as anything he could think of. Now that the money is almost spent, Jian Lusher's preparations are basically completed. Beep, beep, beep! When the phone rang, Jian Lusher looked quickly, and when he saw the caller ID, he suddenly showed a surprised expression. He kept calling his sister whenever he had free time, but it always showed that the phone was turned off. Now she finally called back. Hello! Hey, brother, why are you in such a hurry? I just got out of the car. Let me tell you, this inspection trip was really exciting. We went to a mountain village with the custom of cave burial. Jian Zhuing, don't speak now. Listen to me first. Jian Lusher interrupted his sister's somewhat playful words and said loudly, probably hearing the seriousness in Jian Lusher's tone. Jian Zhuing also felt that his brother must have something important. So he immediately stopped laughing and responded softly. Brother, you say it. However, Jian Lusher calmed down immediately, and the panic would only be transmitted to Jian Luying. He asked, Xiaoying, where are you now? At school, I just separated from the classmates and teachers on the inspection team, and I was about to go back to the dormitory. My phone ran out of battery, so I charged it in the car for a while before turning it on. I saw the text message you left. Brother, although Jian Juying is quite naughty, but as soon as he realized the seriousness of the matter, he immediately became obedient, thought clearly, and spoke quickly to fully explain his current situation. Although she still doesn't know why Jian Lusher behaves like this, Jian Lusher has been taking care of her since her parents died early. Even if Jian Zhuying usually quarrels with Jian Lusher, once the critical moment comes, she will listen to Jian unconditionally. Lusher regarded Jian Lusher as his backbone. You don't have to go back to the dormitory now. Book a plane ticket and fly back immediately, Jian Lusher said. Okay, brother, please wait. After a while, Jian Zhuying's voice sounded. Brother, there are no more tickets. What about tomorrow? What about the day after tomorrow? If it doesn't work, you can change your flight and don't care how much it costs, Jian Lusher said. No, it's all gone, Jian Zhuying said. What's the name? Jian Lusher was stunned and he suddenly had an ominous premonition. Jian Lusher clicked on the keyboard and opened the website for purchasing air tickets, randomly searching one city, then another. Jian Lusher continued to search, and his heart continued to sink. All plane tickets for the next three days have actually been sold out, no matter where they are coming from. The only flight tickets that can be purchased are after the end of the world. This can't be a coincidence. Brother, how about I buy it in three days? Jian Zhuying asked. It would be meaningless at that time. 
Jian Lusher said. Jiang Zhuying didn't seem to understand why being only one day late was meaningless. But she didn't ask anything. Instead, she thought about it and said, Train! How about I book a train ticket? Jian Lusher tapped the keyboard twice more, and then said in a low tone, No, we can't buy train tickets anymore. All train tickets for the next three days have been sold out. Brother, wait a minute. I'll go to the bus station and ask. Or you can rent a car. Jian Zhuying said. No need. Jian Lusher said. First of all, he didn't know what the conditions were like on the road. Secondly, even if the road was open for normal travel, it would take more than two days for Jiang Zhuying to return. In addition, all trains and planes were paralyzed, so there was a high possibility of traffic jams on the road. If he happens to be stuck on the road at that time, Jiang Zhuying will definitely die. No need, Jiang Lusher said again. Jiang Zhuying noticed that Jiang Liusher's tone seemed strange, which made her feel a little panicked. Xiaoying, now listen carefully to every word that brother says. Jian Lusher said, Don't go back to the dormitory. Find a place with not many people, whether it is a hotel apartment or a rental house. It needs to be theft-proof very good. Live in a secluded place. Then buy as much drinking water, some medicines, daily necessities, and food as possible. Fully charge your mobile phone and add a dozen more power banks. Although I don't know if the mobile phone will still be useful by then. Remember, lock the door. Don't go out again. Wait for me. You must wait for me. You must. Jian Lusha repeated. Xiaoying. The end is coming. Chapter 5 Final Preparations Jian Zhuying cannot come back, which is a huge impact on Jian Liusha's plan. He originally planned to drive a modified car, bring a large amount of supplies, and take Jian Zhuying and Li Yusin's family to a resort more than a hundred miles away from Jianbei City. He had been there once before. It was a place where there were usually few people. But all facilities were complete, and there were not many people around. After settling down there temporarily, then slowly think of other ways to see how the situation is. After all, although he now knows that the end is coming, he still has no idea what the situation will be like after the end comes. Depending on the situation, we will make other plans at that time. Anyway, with this minibus here, they can move much safer than others. But now, this plan is obviously ruined. Not only could Jian Lusher not escape to the suburbs immediately, but he had to go to the more populous and prosperous Nanjing city. Moreover, the situation along the way was unknown, and Jian Lusher didn't know when he would arrive. So Jiang Zhuying was told to buy more supplies and wait until he arrived. If the minibus had not been refitted until three days later, Jian Lusher would have really wanted to leave now. But without the minibus, he was just an ordinary college student and he had no confidence that he could lead Jiang Zhuying out of the siege. Beep. That night, Jiang Zhuying sent a location information to Jiang Lusher. She rented a teacher's apartment in an alley next to the school and lived on the sixth floor of the top floor. At the same time, she took photos for Jiang Lusher. As expected, there were two rooms full of supplies. Enough for her food and clothing. It's been a whole month. Brother, don't worry. Jiang Zhuying sent a message with a big smiley face behind it. Jian Lusher has told Jian Zhuying everything about the doomsday, except for the star seed in his mind. This is of course not because he cannot trust Jian Zhuying, but because it is too troublesome to explain and there is no need to focus on it. Above this, unexpectedly, Jian Zhuying believed what he said, but facing the impending doomsday, she was actually quite calm. She was not only in the mood to take photos, but also in the mood to send emojis. Jian Lusher knew that Jian Zhuying probably still had some doubts in his heart. But no matter how much she believed, as long as she obediently followed his request. Well, don't go out from today. Lock the doors and windows. Protect yourself. And don't answer the door or open the door for anyone except me. Even if it's someone you know. It's the end of the world. And there is no law or morality. It worked. Although Jian Lusher felt that what he said was a bit unreasonable. He still gave the special instructions. I have seen countless doomsday movies about people killing people just for a packet of biscuits. In real wars, there are also people who kill people for a little bit of food. In fact, Jian Lusher is not so cold-blooded. He will help others within the scope of his ability and when ensuring his own safety. But now that he is not with Jian Zhuying and cannot protect Jian Zhuying, he naturally requires Jian Zhuying to be absolutely safe and not take any risks. I know. Jian Zhuying replied, seeing that his sister agreed obediently. Jian Lusher was temporarily relieved. 
as long as Jiang Zhuying's safety is ensured. The next focus is how to get to Jinling City as soon as possible. Three days passed in the blink of an eye. During these three days, the trend of TV news began to become a little uneasy. Many reports began to notice problems with transportation and the situation in various countries. However, these things do not attract much attention from ordinary people. They still go to work from 9 to 5. Take their children to and from school. Buy groceries and cook. Jiang Lusher continued to stay at home. Occasionally going out to check on the situation. During this period, Li Jun and Luo Ming each sent several messages to Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher didn't even read Li Jun's message. While Luo Ming's message was, Brother, are you okay? Did you borrow money before to elope with a girl? If you don't come back to class, I think you will be finished. Remember, don't go out on Tuesday. Just play games in the dormitory with the door locked. Jian Lusher told him again, regardless of whether Luo Ming would listen or not. Why does it have to be Tuesday? Hey, isn't tomorrow Tuesday? Jian Lusher took a deep breath. Yes, it's tomorrow. That night, even Jian Lusher didn't know how he fell asleep. Before going to bed, Jian Lusher first hired two people to help him move all the supplies to the minibus. Then he sent a message to everyone in his address book, and specifically asked Li Yusin and Jian Zhuying again. Then, amidst the anxiety, Jian Lusher sat on the supplies next to the minibus and fell asleep unknowingly. Beep beep beep. Jian Lusher was not woken up by the alarm, nor by the siren, but by a strange ringtone in his mind. It's Star Seed. Jian Lusher immediately raised his head and ran to the door of the minibus. From the outside, this minibus is still the same one as before. There is no difference at all. But as soon as Jian Lusher walked to the car door and grabbed the handle, some information about the car immediately came to his mind. A weak current passed through his hand. And then Jian Lusher heard a slight click sound. And the car door opened. The car door turned out to be anti theft sensor. And only he could open it. After entering the car, Jian Liosher's eyes suddenly lit up and his mouth opened slightly. It can be said that he was stunned. The interior space structure of this car has been completely changed. And it is completely different from before. Those materials have also disappeared completely. The originally neat and dense seats were now reduced to two sofa like seats side by side with tables, shelves, etc. next to them. The carriage has been divided into several parts, all separated by high-end-looking sliding doors. Jian Lusher opened the door and took a look. There was a bathroom, kitchen, and a small bedroom with all the internal organs. The bed looked very soft. After Jian Lusher admired it for a while, he suddenly came to his senses and hurriedly ran to the cab. The cab is also now completely different, not only in a separate space but also very cool inside. There is a large screen display panel, and the steering wheel is like a console with various buttons and joysticks. Jian Lusher sat on the fully leather and very soft driving seat and held the steering wheel with both hands. Suddenly, the entire car was clearly visible in his mind. At the same time, those buttons and joysticks around the dashboard also light up. The modification of the base vehicle, regular version, has been completed. The modified vehicle information. Model, base car, Regular version. Disguised as a minibus. Space configuration. Bedroom X1. Kitchen X1. Bathroom X1. Small living room X1. Weapons and equipment. Compressed air cannon. Primary level. Initial air flow velocity 810 meters per second. Volume 500 L. SH. L strength. F level. Anti-common bullet level. Impact level. Power. Gasoline powered type. Maximum speed. 300 kilometers per hour. All glitches have been fixed. Jian Lusher was very excited. The result of the modification really made him very satisfied. It's just that this is just a regular version with limited functions. If you really want to have smooth travel, you still need to upgrade. However, upgrading requires more materials. Jian Lusher had neither time nor enough funds before. Nor did he know the specific list of required materials. So it was impossible to prepare them in advance. Now that this car has greatly improved Jiang Liosher's survival rate, he took the time to familiarize himself with the operation, and then called the two porters from last night. They had already discussed what they were going to do today. So after the two arrived, they immediately helped Jiang Liosher move all the supplies to the car. When they saw the interior space of the car, the two of them were very surprised. And the eyes they looked at Jiang Liosher were completely different. When I saw Jiang Liosher living in such a small rental house, with so much food and daily necessities, 
I thought John Lucher was going to open a canteen or something. Or simply be a hawker. Never imagined. This guy actually drives an RV. But wouldn't it be a pain in the ass to modify the interior of such a dilapidated minibus into this kind of RV? As expected, the money was too much to burn. As for John Lucher, he had no time to care about the reactions of the two people. He just kept looking at the time and observing his surroundings. After all the supplies were loaded into the car, he immediately ran to the car, completely closed the doors and windows, and then nervously sat in the driver's seat. Chapter 6 The End Is Coming John Lucher didn't know the specific time when the disaster would arrive, or even what the situation would be like after the virus broke out. However, he knew that the virus had already revived from the moment it was discovered in the permafrost. Not only was the virus highly infectious, it had spread silently around the world, and it was even more dangerous. It is greater than all the viruses in the world combined. It lurks for a while, and then explodes quickly, like a serial bomb detonating. Beep, beep, beep! A bell rang suddenly which made Jian Lusher, who was nervous, suddenly startled. He quickly realized that it was none other than his cell phone ringing. Jian Lusher quickly picked up the phone. He looked at the caller ID and saw that it was Liu Sin. Hey, I'll be there right now. You must remember to be at home and don't go anywhere. He was worried that Liu Sin didn't completely listen to him. It would be terrible if she called him now to tell him that he was going to break the appointment. Jian Lusher, I'm sorry. I have to leave soon. Li Yusin's voice came. As soon as she said something, Jian Liusher's heart sank suddenly. Go? Where to go? Li Yusin, listen to me. You must stay at home and lock the door to your room. This is related to... Jian Liusher said quickly. Jian Liusher, listen carefully to what I say. Li Yusin seemed to have not heard what Jian Liusher said at all, interrupting him. And her tone was even more solemn, as if she was about to say something very serious. You may find it unbelievable. But the end of the world is coming soon. Maybe within the next few days. I only found out today. The car is waiting outside now. And I have to leave immediately. You promise first for your own safety. Go to the entrance of Shibay Expressway. Where the army is. After you arrive. They should take you to Shanghai Safety Island. Li Yusin lowered her voice and said very quickly. Remember. You must rush to the highway entrance within today. There are troops there. And they will protect the people from evacuating. At this time, there was a burst of urging shouts from the other end of the phone. And Li Yusin could only say in a hurry, Jiang Lusher, you must remember, I am not kidding. Then, Li Yusin hung up the phone. And there was only a rush of busy tone on the receiver. And then the silence returned. Jiang Lusher held the mobile phone and did not put down his arm for a while. Sure enough, the evacuation has already begun. I don't know what kind of place Shahai Safety Island is. Jian Lusher was somewhat grateful for Li Yusin's actions. Although she was probably thinking that she was going to her house today. So she called her specifically. She is still as kind as before. But, even if Li Yusin is taken away, she is not really safe. Jian Lusher knew that the virus had spread. And all human scientists probably only suddenly discovered the existence of the virus after the virus spread. The onset period of this super virus is not long. In this very short period of time, Scientists spent a lot of time from researching a small amount of results to deducing the existence of the doomsday. When the upper echelons of mankind learn that the apocalypse is likely to break out, the time they have to deploy and respond is already pitifully short. In this case, it is impossible for them to save all mankind. The only thing they can do is to preserve the elite of mankind. All over the world, safe islands are established to ensure the reproduction of human beings. But, before going to the safe island, you must go through a cleansing and isolation. Perhaps now, even human scientists don't dare to believe the results of their reasoning. So that major governments still dare not take extreme measures to destroy human nature. However, once they really see the cruelty of the doomsday and the horror of this super virus, then the methods they adopt will become extremely bloody. While Jian Lusher and Li Yusin were talking on the phone, the two paid porters were squatting not far away smoking and resting. From time to time, they cast their eyes on Jian Liusher's minibus, and they were talking. This car. This decoration. TSK, TSK. It's amazing. Rich people's things are just different. If you bring a few beauties together, and travel around the world together, that would be so cool. The two moving brothers smacked their lips. As if they were already imagining driving this RV, and taking beautiful women to travel everywhere. You can enjoy the scenery during the day, and have sex at night. There is a kitchen when you are hungry and a bathroom when you are dirty. 
You can also take a Mandarin duck bath. How can you not be happy? But in this fantasy, a brother who was moving suddenly fainted. An abnormal flush appeared on his face. And he almost fell down. Hey, man, what's up? Another person came over immediately to give him a hand. It's okay. The buddy pushed away the other person's supporting hand and quickly recovered. What can I do? It's not like you don't know about my physique, buddy. As the man spoke, he punched his chest twice. His chest was full of strong muscles. Ha ha ha. I think you masturbated too much last night. And you're craving for sex again today. You must have felt weak all of a sudden. The two started laughing. And all of a sudden dirty jokes were flying all over the place. But not far away. Jian Lusher watched this scene silently. He didn't feel like laughing at all. Instead, he felt a cold air slowly rising from behind. He knew that this kind of fainting was just a prelude to the onset of the virus. I'm afraid it's less than an hour before the end. The porter was still chatting with another person as if nothing happened. Jian Lusher sat in the car and looked at them. His eyes slightly cold. In this situation, he can't do anything. Let him drive and kill the porter. He can't do it. And once he does it, it will immediately cause a riot. Without knowing the exact time when the apocalypse breaks out, he doing so puts yourself in great danger. Let alone Jian Lusher. Not even the government can do anything. In just an hour or two, the world is destined to erupt into a catastrophe. The two porters seemed to have no business for the time being and began to sit in the shade of a tree and smoke. Jian Lusher looked at the time. It was now 1.20 in the afternoon. He was waiting silently. When the apocalypse breaks out, everyone in the world will have a strong immune response, including Jian Lusher himself, because they are all infected with the virus. The difference is that after the immune response, some people resist the virus, while others are infected and become monsters. As time passed, Jian Lusher held the steering wheel tightly with both hands, and a trace of cold sweat slowly broke out in his palms. He looked at his watch frequently. The time was already 2 o'clock, 2.30, and 2.40. Slowly, perhaps because he was too focused, Jian Lusher looked at the hands on the dial and saw a double image. The ghosting became more and more serious, and several dials appeared in front of Jian Lusher. This is... Jian Liosher's heart froze, and he had a severe fainting in his head. Bang! He felt a pain in his forehead, as if he had hit the steering wheel heavily, and at the same time, a strong headache came over him like a tide. Coming! Finally here comes the virus outbreak. Jian Lusher knew that he would eventually survive the virus outbreak. But even so, the excruciating pain still made him almost faint. At the same time, the same scene happened to everyone all over the world. Headache! Hallucination! Twitch! Nosebleed! Faint! Everyone's reaction is different. But without exception, everyone is in great pain especially those who cannot withstand the virus infection and start to mutate. The pain is even more painful to the bone marrow. Many people screamed, and the screams seemed to erupt directly from their lungs. They did not sound like humans, but instead sounded like the roar of wild beasts. Bang, bang, bang. On the highway, vehicles collided together, resulting in a series of car crashes. Hundreds or thousands of vehicles rear-ended each other. Small cars were squeezed into discus by large trucks and the driver died tragically. Some drivers instinctively slam on the brakes when the pain comes, and the harsh brake sound pierces the sky. Cars exploded and thick smoke spread into the sky. In cities and factories, people suddenly convulsed and lost consciousness. Accidents occurred frequently. People died tragically, and fires spread. The sound of automatic fire alarms pierced the sky. Accidents were everywhere, and there were countless deaths. Jian Lusher was already in a state of confusion. He could faintly hear these noisy sounds, but he couldn't tell what they were. Hallucinations kept flashing through his mind, as if he suddenly returned to his childhood, seeing his parents happily gathering together with his sister when his parents were still alive, and seeing the cake carefully prepared by his mother on his birthday. Later, he even saw himself getting married, establishing a business, and living happily with his wife and children. And that wife actually had some shadow of Liusin. He was immersed in this illusion for an unknown amount of time, before suddenly waking up at a certain moment. He opened his eyes suddenly, and realized that his hair and clothes were soaked with sweat. He was still holding the steering wheel tightly, his fingers turning white and numb from excessive exertion. The car windows and doors were locked tightly, and he felt as if he was exhausted and extremely tired. He panted heavily, glanced outside the car window, and suddenly his heart sank. 
outside the car. The sky has changed. Looking around, it was foggy, as if a layer of haze had enveloped the place. The buildings and streets were all shrouded in haze and became faint. The sky was dark, and everything around him became gray and looked very depressing. Faintly, a noisy alarm sounded from afar, irritating Jiang Liuxia's eardrums and making him feel a little irritable. I glanced at the watch on my hand. It was 3.50, but the date was still there. I was only unconscious for more than an hour, but it felt like several years had passed. At this moment, Jian Lusher knew that this was the end of the damn world. It's finally here. From today on, he will drive this car and run for survival. Taking a deep breath, Jian Lusher started the car and set off. Chapter 7 Are You the Only One Who Still Wants to Jump in Line? The star seat has been bound to the base vehicle. As soon as Jian Lusher has a thought, all the information about the base vehicle will immediately appear in his mind. He will cast his eyes on the instrument panel in front of him. And the buttons and operating levers will immediately appear next to him. Instructions for use. Start. Accelerate. Weapon use. Crash. Jiang Liosher's driving skills were very average. He basically relied on some theoretical knowledge he had learned on his own. His only practical experience was a test drive out of curiosity. He had originally planned to take the driver's license test. But the driving school was too expensive. So he never went. Jian Lusher didn't have much problem driving a car. But the difficulty of driving a minibus and a car was completely different. However, in addition to providing operational tips for the base vehicle, Xing Zhong would also constantly give tips and warnings when Jian Lusher was driving. Jian Lusher, who was leaning on Xing Zhong and still feeling a little dizzy, slowly drove the car out of the open space. Everything around was gray, and even the road ahead and the situation on the left and right of the road could not be clearly seen. While Jian Lusher was recovering from a slight headache, he squinted his eyes and looked ahead carefully. Just when Jian Lusher was about to drive the base vehicle onto the road, a black shadow suddenly jumped out from the side and fell on his cab door, making a muffled bang sound. Jian Lusher was startled. He turned around and saw a face pressed tightly against his car window. His hands were desperately scratching at his car window and door, looking like he was frantically trying to get in. Looked like half of his face was dripping with blood and the mouth and teeth were also full of blood. What made Jian Lusher feel his heart skip a beat the most was that this face looked familiar to Jian Lusher. It was the one who had fainted before. Work! Seeing a living person turn into such a monster before his eyes. Even though he had been mentally prepared for this before, Jian Lusher still felt a cold air rushing from the soles of his feet to the top of his head, and his scalp felt numb. Moreover, the porter who mutated into a monster is different from the slow-moving zombies in movies and TV shows. When he just jumped out, he moved very suddenly and quickly. When he scratched the car door, he made a very harsh sound. And when he slapped it, he made a bang-bang sound. The strength is obviously not small. His bloodshot eyes were wide and unblinking, staring at Jian Lusher in the car. And he kept roaring, ho-ho, in his throat. I don't know if they were attracted by the movement caused by the porter, but several more figures appeared from the gray mist behind the porter. Jian Lusher suddenly recovered from his shock. He immediately stepped on the accelerator. The inertia suddenly threw the porter away, and the base vehicle driven by Jian Lusher rushed onto the road. Jian Lusher felt cold all over when he saw the scene on the road. There were screams, screams, running people, and zombies chasing them everywhere. As soon as Jian Lusher drove the base vehicle completely onto the road, he saw a person running towards him. In panic, the person saw at a glance the minibus that had just appeared and Jian sitting in the driver's seat. Flowstone. Help! However, as soon as the man stretched out his hand, a figure in a suit and leather shoes jumped out from behind a car beside him and threw him to the ground. With a scream, the man suddenly spattered with blood, and the man in the suit who bit him raised his head and neck, revealing a face with a ferocious and twisted expression, and eyes that were completely bloodshot. More than a dozen zombies immediately pounced on the man, completely surrounding him, only his hands raised high, still struggling for help were left. However, in just a second, his screams disappeared. Tan's blood flowed from his position. Scenes like this were happening almost everywhere. This was the first time Jian Lusher saw someone being torn apart alive in front of his eyes. At this time, the zombie who knocked down the man had discovered Jian Lusher in the car, and he suddenly rushed towards the minibus. Seeing this, Jian Lusher stepped on the accelerator and immediately knocked the zombie out. Jian Lusher continued to drive forward. 
Many vehicles collided with each other on the road, and the road was congested. However, Jian Liosher's minibus was considered to have a hard SH. L. When it encountered some vehicles parked at an angle, it directly hit them, forcing a way out. Many zombies were attracted by Jian Liosher's minibus, and they rushed up one after another, but were thrown away by Jian Liosher by accelerating and turning. These zombies are indeed very powerful. Even those who were originally children, women, and old people. When there were too many of them, Jian Lusher even felt his minibus shaking, which made his heart skip a beat. Several zombies rushed from the front and were knocked down by Jian Lusher. After that, the minibus jolted. Jian Lusher didn't look back. In this case, crushing a few zombies was nothing. But as an ordinary person, Jian Lusher didn't want to face that bloody scene. Should Bay Expressway intersection. Seeing the tragic conditions on the road along the way, Jian Lusher didn't know what the situation was like at the expressway intersection that Li Yusin mentioned. So he decided to go and take a look now. Of course, Jian Lusher will not go to Shanghai Safety Island, but he also needs to go to Jinling City where Jian Juying is located via Shibei Expressway. The disaster had already happened through the highway. He could rush to Jinling City in one day and find Jian Juying. Jian Lusher knew that Jian Juying had not mutated, but the painful experience of virus infection was enough. And after witnessing the danger of these zombies, Jian Lusher became even more worried. Even though Jian Zhuying had made sufficient arrangements, and given Jian Zhuying's character, she would have carefully protected herself after discovering that the world had become such a h l on earth. But Jian Lusher still felt worried. After all, this was what he depended on for life. The only relative left. The closer to the entrance of the Shibei Expressway, the more and more people appeared. Some people also drove cars. But because they were all rushing forward, it caused congestion. After Jian Lusher honked the horn several times from behind, he saw people driving up from behind and inserting themselves into the gap in front. Soon Jian Liosher's way was blocked. When one of the cars passed him, it rolled down the window a little, came over with an excited and crazy face, and yelled at Jian Lusher, You idiot! Driving such a big car to block the road. After scolding, he drove towards the front of Jian Lusher. At this time, the cars behind were also honking their horns crazily, and people kept sticking their heads out and yelling. Is the one in front sick? Get out of the way. Yeah. This car is driving out at this time to hack. If you want to die, you will die. These cars and the car that was about to squeeze past them all seemed to be together, because they all had the same logo on the car body, plus several cars that had cut in front. Jian Lusher estimated that they belonged to some group of cars because they had the words XX Group Company written on them. Seeing these people not only pushing forward with all their strength, but also scolding themselves more and more viciously, Jian Lusher suddenly became angry. Everyone is eager to survive. Why are you pushing forward like this? Although the car he drove was big, he was still lighting up. He stepped on the accelerator and continued to drive forward. Just as the car was about to pass in front of Jian Lusher's car, he heard a click, and the whole car suddenly shook. And then the minibus swerved from the front. I pushed past it, but it was pushed aside. When the driver saw the minibus passing his car, he was stunned for a moment, then angry. But soon, he was completely dumbfounded. He watched helplessly as the minibus squeezed through the traffic like an arrogant and unreasonable strongman. The small cars that had just cut in line were even squeezed together by this minibus. Chapter 8 Going Against the Current Damn! The driver cursed fiercely. He was really a madman. Moreover, this person was so lucky that he was able to squeeze through such a hard squeeze. It looked like he wasn't going very fast. And he was driving an old, broken minibus. But he didn't get stuck in the middle. If you get stuck at this time, you will either abandon the car or wait for death. However, in the face of this situation, these cars had no choice. Although they cursed, they could only follow Jian Liosher's minibus. At this time, a scream suddenly came from behind. Jian Lusher turned on the rearview camera and saw hundreds of zombies appearing on the screen next to the dashboard at the same time. Climbing from the middle of the vehicle or even over the vehicle. Come over scene. These zombies rushed out from the other end of the street, making low roars from their mouths. Their bodies and hands were covered with blood. And their mouths were also covered with plasma. They were running towards this side very fast. Their speed was already very fast. And they did not dodge when they encountered a vehicle but simply climbed over the vehicle on all fours. Some people who were closer to them had already been knocked down by zombies as soon as they looked back. 
and screams were heard instantly. Some of them only ran a few steps and were thrown to the ground from behind. Jian Lusher saw with his own eyes that the two people were running for their lives. When one of them heard the screams coming closer and closer from behind, he suddenly showed a cruel look on his face and pushed the other person to the ground. Ah! The man screamed immediately. But before he could get up, the zombies behind him had already surrounded him. Jian Liosher's scalp was numb when he saw it. This was completely a massacre of living people by zombies. These zombies are much stronger than ordinary people in terms of speed, strength, and agility. Hurry. Hurry. The vehicles that had cut into the queue before were honking their horns desperately. Seeing the zombies getting closer and closer, the fear in their hearts was detonated. Jiang Liosher's minibus was also moving forward. But there were too many vehicles in front of it. Although the traffic flow kept moving forward, it could not move any faster at all. The vehicles in front also became anxious. And for a while, there were screams and car horns. The crowd behind them ran even more frantically, running so fast that they pushed the people in front away. At this time, everyone wanted to escape. Everyone was crazy. At this time, Jiang Liosher's eyes suddenly caught a glimpse of the car that had tried to squeeze past the front of his car. Two girls were following his car while banging on his back door. Please, open the door and let us in. Help us. Please. The two girls looked very panicked. They must have asked for help from other vehicles before. But no car stopped. Seeing that the zombies were approaching quickly from behind. This car was the only one closest to them. So they began to beg. With the physical strength of two ordinary girls. It is impossible to outrun those zombies. If they cannot enter the car. They will be torn alive by the zombies within two or three minutes at most. Jian Lusher looked at this scene. And the distance between the zombies and the car. If the car slowed down a little and opened the door to let the two girls in, there would definitely be no problem. But the car not only did not stop, but also accelerated. The two girls could only run as hard as they could. Brother driver, please open the door. You don't have to slow down. The car door was locked and they couldn't open it at all. At this time, the driver turned his head with an angry look and cursed. Hack me. Let me go. One of the girls accelerated suddenly and ran out of his driving window slapping the window and saying, Please, open the door. Hack, get out. If you don't get out, I'll hit you to death. As he said that, the driver suddenly swung the steering wheel and immediately brought the girl to the ground. The girl let out a scream and fell heavily on the ground. And the other girl also staggered. Are you okay? The girl quickly ran over and helped the girl up. The two girls looked at the car going away, both with pale faces and expressions of despair. Jian Lusher in the minibus frowned when he saw the scene. But at this moment, he suddenly said, Huh? The girl who was taken down looked familiar. After a slight hesitation, Jian Lusher turned the steering wheel suddenly and turned around. Idiot! The vehicles behind were all driving forward as hard as they could. Not to mention turning around. None even stopped. Those who stopped were all driven into the car by zombies. They couldn't even see the sight in front of them. So they could only step on the accelerator desperately and finally hit a telephone pole or railing. Soon, however, they will be dragged out of the broken car window and devoured in a half-dead state. In this situation, everyone is running frantically for their lives. But there is still a car going backwards? Really desperate. At this time when no one can protect themselves, everyone is thinking about their own survival. So who will act bravely? Jian Lusher also knew this. In an apocalyptic environment, his own life was of course the most important thing. As for saving others, that was something he should only consider after confirming his own safety. But now for John Lusher. He has a bulletproof base vehicle. So it is not difficult to rescue the two girls. As long as he is in the vehicle, he is safe. Even if he is surrounded by more zombies, he is not afraid. What's more, that girl is someone he knows. Although not very familiar with her. Under Xingzhong's reminder and data correction, John Lusher actually turned his head flexibly in this situation then shuttled through the traffic and rushed towards the location of the two girls. Among the hundreds of meters of traffic, only this minibus was going against the flow. The two girls had actually accepted their fate at this time. The nearest zombie was less than a hundred meters away from them. Even if they continued to run forward, they would be overtaken in the blink of an eye. The two girls looked at the traffic ahead and couldn't help crying. They held their hands tightly together, waiting for death and despair and fear. However, at this moment, they went to see a minibus rushing straight towards them. Among the all-white cars at the rear, 
This retrograde minibus is very eye-catching. Are you going to be killed? Well, it's better to be killed than to be eaten alive. The two girls slowly closed their eyes. Squeak! A sharp friction sound, and a strong gust of wind made the two girls open their eyes again. When the minibus rushed to them, they suddenly turned and stopped right in front of them. At this time, the door was open. In the driver's seat, a young man who looked like a student was waiting to them and said anxiously, Quick! Get in the car! Ho ho! More than a dozen zombies have noticed this place and are rushing towards them crazily. The girl who fell down seemed to be waking up from a dream. She quickly grabbed her companion and said, Hurry up and get in the car! By the time she followed her companions into the car, the zombies had already pounced behind them. Bang! The zombies threw themselves heavily on the car door. The two girls fell down on the steps of the car door. They turned around and looked at the crowd of people at the car door. Their ferocious faces pressed against the glass, grinning at them and making bursts of noises. Hissing, his fingers scratched and slapped at the glass. The two girls were in shock, their hearts still pounding as if they were about to burst out of their throats. Chapter 9 Zombies Siege the Car I'm saved! The two girls felt as if they were in a dream, walking on the line between life and death. Who would have thought that just when they thought they were about to die, a car suddenly rushed over and saved them. The girl who fell was gasping for air, while holding on to the handrail. She said breathlessly, Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! You're welcome! Jian Lusha replied, Without you, we would be dead! The girl said. Then her breathing became calmer, and she turned her head to look at the savior. In the rush to get on the bus, the girl didn't even see the driver's face clearly. But now that she saw it, she was stunned. You? It's a coincidence that we meet again. Jian Lusher glanced at them with a smile and said lightly, This girl is the receptionist from the previous car rental company, named Wen Xiaoyan. Xiaoyan, do you know each other? The other girl suddenly showed a surprised look. Wen Xiaoyan looked at Jian Lusher, and a figure suddenly flashed in his mind. And he suddenly thought, Ah, you are the guest who rented the minibus. Mr. Jiang. Jian Lusher behaved very arrogantly at that time, and he came to rent a car without a driver's license, and said he was just renting the car for storage. All of this left a deep impression on Wen Xiaotian, so she was able to recognize Jian Lusher now, but she didn't expect that Jian Lusher would still remember her name and take such a big risk to turn around and come back to save her and her friends. You actually still remember me. I have a better memory, Jian Lusher said. Although there is no photographic memory, Many people only need to say a few words or even just glance at him, and he will still have some impressions when they meet again. Thank you. When Xiaoyan was very touched in her heart, even if Jian Lusher only remembered her because of his good memory, his act of coming back to save people already made Wen Xiaoyan grateful. But I thought you couldn't drive. At this time, when Xiaoyan finally stood up from the steps holding onto the handrail, grabbed his friend's hand, and stepped into the car, when Xiaoyan was stunned when he saw the situation inside the car, and the other girl even exclaimed, Oh my god! What brand of luxury car is this? The girl was shocked. The interior of the car was so exquisitely decorated that it felt like a five-star hotel. It's not a brand. It's the minibus that Miss Wen rented to me. Jian Lusha replied without replying. The girl suddenly looked at Wen Xiaoyan. But Wen Xiaoyan also had a shocked expression and was obviously out of the situation. Does your company have such a luxurious car? The girl remembered that the place where Wen Xiaoyan worked part-time was just a small car rental company. How could there be such a car? Wen Xiaoyan was also shocked. No, Mr. Jiang rented a car from us. But what he rented was just an ordinary minibus. However, when she said this, she paused. Her mouth opened wider and wider, showing an expression of disbelief. She suddenly recalled that when she saw the car rushing toward them, it was indeed an ordinary minibus. The appearance of the car and now that she thought about it carefully, it did look like the one the company rented to Jian Lusher. That car. However, apart from appearance, how is there any similarity between that car and the luxurious RV in front of me? Just when Wen Xiaoyan felt incredible, there was a muffled sound of bang suddenly, and the whole car shook. The two girls quickly turned their heads and looked out the car door again, and were suddenly frightened by the situation outside. More zombies were crowded outside the car door and more zombies were coming around. Although I didn't look out the car window, I knew what it was like without even thinking about it. There were so many zombies that they had completely blocked the car door, and they were densely covered with bloody palms and ferocious faces. Under their squeezing and slapping, the car door was shaking and making a creaking sound. 
These monsters are coming in. The girl's lips were trembling. When Xutian's face was also pale, she quickly ran to the driver's seat and asked, Mr. Jiang, drive quickly. Seeing the situation in the driver's seat, especially the buttons and joysticks around the dashboard that looked very high-tech at first glance. When Xiaoyan was shocked again, but now was not the time to care about that. While she was talking, she also noticed that Jiang Lusher was operating with a solemn expression and kept stepping on the accelerator. However, the minibus was moving very slowly, and the front of the bus was suddenly crowded with zombies. In just a few seconds, the minibus that was backing up was completely surrounded by zombies. There are too many zombies! Jian Lusher said, when Xiaotian's heart suddenly sank. And she said sadly, Mr. Jiang, if he hadn't saved us. Okay, you guys should quickly find a place to hold on. Jian Lusher said, when he decided to turn around and come back. He had already anticipated this outcome. When Xiaotian nodded, she couldn't help here. The only thing she could do was to follow Jian Lusher's arrangements. Xiao Lily, grab the armrest. When Xiaotian quickly ran back, and told the girl Jian Liuxia's instructions. This glass won't last long. Xiao Lili's expression was completely desperate at this time. But when Xiao Tian forcibly grabbed her hand and placed it on the armrest next to her, the car door kept making frightening noises. When Xiao Tian grabbed the armrest and looked at the zombies outside the car in horror, not only the door, but the entire car was filled with bang bang, banging sounds and the roars of zombies. This made people feel that in this case, the car would fall apart at any time. At this time, Jian Lusher was analyzing several ways to escape under Star Seed's calculations. In addition to its defensive capabilities, minibuses also had several functions. It was relying on these that Jian Lusher dared to turn around and come back. Okay, let's try this function. Jian Lusher made a decision. Hurry up, we're going to rush out. Jian Lusher said without replying. When Xiao Yan and Xiao Lily didn't dare to speak at this time. Seeing the zombies rushing over like a black ant wave and hitting the windows crazily, they felt very desperate. The entire car is now covered with zombies. If you look from the outside, you can only vaguely see the outline of the minibus through the zombies. Moreover, these zombies are not only numerous, but also powerful. Under the squeeze of so many zombies, this minibus seems to be blocked in three thick walls. In this case, can you really rush out? When Shaotian was already cold all over. She and Xiao Lily were holding on to the armrests desperately. In the situation of near death and extreme fear, she felt as if time had slowed down. The ferocious faces surging outside the car window were reflected in her the pupils became clearer than ever before. Is he going to die here? He is going to be killed by zombies in order to save us? When Xiao Yan felt extremely guilty at this time. But in the driver's seat, Jian Lusher was highly concentrated. His mind was clear. And the only sound coming from Xingzhong was Power accumulation! 30%. The second form of the tire is activated. Increasing friction. Power accumulation. 50%. Switching gears is completed. Power accumulation. 70%. Fuel supply is completed. This primary form modified from the Starseed base vehicle has a maximum instantaneous power of 1,500 horsepower during sprinting and a maximum torque of 4,000 newton meters. It is a 4x4 all-wheel drive. Of course, this state will not be maintained for a long time. Otherwise, the fuel consumption will be very terrible. Under normal circumstances, a truck with a power of more than 500 horsepower is already a top-level heavy truck. And a truck with a power of 700 horsepower is a giant among trucks. With such power, rushing out of a group of corpses is similar to the feeling of an ordinary car driving through a pile of ice cream buckets. Chapter 10 Breaking Out of the Siege While the base car was gathering strength, it was in the traffic ahead. The driver who was knocked away by Jian Lusher was also witnessing the scene where the minibus was surrounded by zombies and was unable to move. The driver suddenly became gloating. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. You deserve it. While scolding, the driver was thankful that he was not as as that young man. Moreover, he still resented the fact that Jian Lusher hit the front of his car. Now that he saw that Jian Lusher was about to be buried in the hands of zombies, he felt a flash of joy in his heart under the impact of huge changes in fear. This man's psychology has been completely distorted. Now he just wants to reach the highway intersection quickly and enter the protection of the military. All this is happening before his eyes, and anyone who stands in his way might as well die. However, at this moment, the driver suddenly heard a loud explosion, which startled him. At the same time, there was also the roar of the car engine and the harsh friction sound of the tires, 
as they turned sharply on the ground. The driver was taken aback and quickly looked back. Feeling dumbfounded, he watched helplessly as the minibus, which was surrounded by dozens of zombies and almost submerged in the zombies, suddenly rushed out of the zombies like a crazy prehistoric beast. The powerful impact knocked many zombies away. The minibus roared like a beast. It crushed the knockdown zombies and rushed out with blood spattering. In just a few seconds, the minibus accelerated to a terrifying speed and crashed into the driver's car. Ah! The driver was so frightened that he screamed. He hurriedly turned the steering wheel and rushed to the side of the road. Otherwise his car would be run over by the minibus. However, even so, the powerful impact still hit his car, and the screeching sound of tires rubbing against the ground was heard. His car was violently thrown out, making a 180-degree circle on the road, and crashed head-on. On the guardrail, the driver was bruised and bruised, his head hurt, and the airbag deployed, covering his face, and this crazy acceleration and impact were also transmitted to the minibus. Although the two girls clung to the handrail, they were still thrown out by the force. They screamed and fell hard to the ground. Fortunately, the carriage was covered with thick and soft carpets, so they were not injured by the fall. The minibus jumped like a crazy bullfight being ridden by cowboys. When Xiaofian and Xiao Lily rolled around on the carpet, unable to stand up at all, in the messy field of vision, they could only see the people outside the car window. The zombies on the car were thrown out one after another, knocked down, and the blood splattered directly on the car door, which was shocking. The minibus rushed out of the pile of corpses like this, like a ferocious steel beast. It tore a bloody hole into the zombies and ran out bloody. The zombies that were knocked away by it were swept under the wheels again, with blood and broken flesh scattered all over the ground. Crack, crack. The zombies in front of the minibus were like those flying insects on the highway. They hit the windshield of the minibus directly and made a lot of noise. And not just a few, but dozens of zombies in succession. When Xiao Yan and Xiao Lily, who had fallen on the carpet, had not yet recovered from the terrifying situation at the car door, when they heard the terrifying noise again, they turned around and looked at the situation directly in front of the vehicle, their hearts beating wildly. So many zombies hit the windshield hard, almost blocking the road ahead. The fragile windshield is probably about to shatter. Throwing a rock can shatter a windshield. Not to mention so many zombies. Jian Lusher didn't pay attention to these situations. He looked ahead intently. And the star seed projection data kept changing in his mind. The left side of the base vehicle was hit. Causing no damage. The right side of the base vehicle was hit. Causing no damage. The windshield was hit. The energy consumption of the base vehicle. The remaining fuel. These zombies that collided looked shocking. But in fact, apart from the disgusting scene, they did not cause any damage to the base vehicle at all. And the windshield was also intact. When the minibus finally broke out of the zombie pile and entered a smooth driving state, the two girls were already pale. After all, they were just ordinary girls. They were in shock. And it took them two or three seconds to slowly come to their senses from the blank state of their minds. No! It's not broken. The windshield was not broken. The car door is still closed properly. The process of rushing out may have only lasted a few seconds. But to Wen Xiaoyan and Xiao Lili, it felt like a whole day had passed. But now that they found everything safe, both of them felt that everything just now was like a nightmare. When Xiaoyan stood up carefully, endured the discomfort and moved to the car door, looking out through the blood-covered glass. On the road behind them, some zombies were still chasing them. But they were about 10 meters away. More zombies were biting on the ground probably eating those who had been knocked down by minibuses. The crushed zombie corpse. These zombies are all mutated from living people, which is different from those that mutate after death in many film and television works. So even if the zombies eat each other, the scene is still bloody and terrifying. When Xiaoyan just took one look and didn't want to read any more, she just wanted to confirm whether they had really escaped from the encirclement. I didn't expect that this car's power and impact force were so strong, and even the glass was so impact resistant. We rushed out and survived. Both girls were very happy. They were immersed in the joy of surviving the disaster. For a while. When Xiao Yan looked at the windshield covered with blood and asked curiously. Mr. Jiang. How can the glass of this car be so strong? Uh. Jiang Lusher originally didn't want to explain about the car. But since he was asked. He might as well use some excuses to explain it away. Nothing. I just replaced the glass with bulletproof ones. Of course. Bulletproof glass alone would not be enough for them to break out of the siege. Jiang Lusher had just used collision and acceleration. If he still couldn't get out, 
he originally planned to use weapons. But in the end, judging from the results, it is no longer needed. Bulletproof! Xiao Lily looked at the car door in front of her in surprise. Isn't this a plot only found in movies? Bulletproof vehicles are not that common in daily life. Xiao Lily also has some knowledge about vehicles. She knows that although some high-end brands provide bulletproof vehicles, they all need to be customized. And the prices are sky-high. Almost 10 times the price of ordinary luxury cars. And even if bulletproof glass is modified, why should it be modified on such an old minibus? Xiao Lily found it unimaginable. And she turned her questioning gaze to Wen Xiaoyan. Wen Xiaoyan shook her head and used her mouth and gestures to express that she and Jiang Lushu were not actually familiar with each other. Even if Xiao Lily wanted her to help explain. She didn't know much more than Xiao Lily. It should be okay for the time being. You guys should find a place to sit down and fasten your seatbelts. Jiang Lushu said. Okay. Thank you. The two girls said gratefully again. It's okay. Jiang Lushu said calmly. In fact, it was nothing to him. The risk was within control. And it was just a simple effort. Chapter 11 High Speed Entrance Xiao Lily didn't want to see zombies anymore. So she ran to sit on the sofa in the living room. The sofa was very soft. Xiao Lily touched it and felt that the surface material seemed to be made of cashmere, which was expensive. There is a small screen opposite the sofa, which should be used to show movies. Next to it is a cabinet fixed on the ground. On the exquisite tray above are clean mineral water, cups, and some snacks. The carpets on the ground also feel like stepping on cotton which makes people feel very relaxed. The curtains were drawn on the windows, so you couldn't see what was going on outside the car. And the glass was bulletproof, which gave people an immediate sense of security. She had just escaped death and was still on the run. There were zombies and people running for their lives outside. But she was sitting in such a safe and comfortable environment. Xiao Lily felt as if her previous horrific experiences were all in a dream. She looked around for a while. And the more she looked, the more she was amazed at the luxurious interior facilities of this minibus. I really don't know how much it would cost to convert an old minibus into what it is now. Xiao Lily was extremely curious about Jiang Liuxiu's identity. Xiao Lily picked up the mineral water and looked at it, then put the water back where it was. This was not her car. And she was embarrassed to pour water for herself without Jiang Liuxiu's initiative. Like Wen Xiaoyan, Xiao Lily is also a college student and a good friend of Wen Xiaoyan. The two of them were together when the disaster happened, and then fled for their lives together. Fortunately, she met Mr. Jiang, whom Wen Xiaoyan knew. Otherwise Xiao Lily would never dare to imagine what her end would be like now. Wen Xiaoyan hesitated for a moment, then walked into the cab and sat on a seat on the right side of the cab. As soon as he sat on this seat, Wen Xiaoyan immediately felt as if his whole body was sinking into a ball of soft cotton. Both the sitting position and the feeling of the cushion and back were very comfortable. This surprised Wen Xiaoyan again. But the situation ahead is not so comfortable. When hundreds of zombies surrounded the minibus before, some zombies rushed past them and rushed further ahead. At this time, looking out from inside the moving minibus, one could see at a glance that a car had been forced to stop by zombies. The unlucky driver was being dragged out of the window alive by several zombies. He waved his hands and let out a heart-rending scream before being drowned in the zombies. This scene made Wen Xiaoyan's face turn pale. Jian Lusher didn't stop and drove directly past the car. Several zombies raised their faces covered with blood and looked at the minibus. They roared a few times and chased after it in vain. But they were quickly thrown away. At this time, the highway entrance is already in sight. The original toll station had completely changed into something else at this time. Military trucks were blocking the front. With only three passages exposed, the trucks were all equipped with machine guns. And the black muzzles were aimed at the hundreds of cars. All heavily armed. Soldiers holding guns were guarding the entrance of the passage. There are also a large number of guns pointed at the road in the buildings on both sides of the road and above the parked trucks. After driving here, it was temporarily safe. A small number of sporadic zombies were killed as soon as they appeared. Many people in the queue behind were waiting and looking nervously and anxiously. But Jiang Lusher could clearly see the situation at the highway intersection due to his commanding position. As soon as the vehicles arrived at the entrance, soldiers immediately surrounded them and check them before allowing the vehicles to pass. It takes nearly 10 seconds for each vehicle to pass, which means that only three vehicles can pass every 10 seconds. Jian Lusha roughly counted the queue he was in and how many other cars were in front of him, and then figured out the approximate time he needed to wait. There shouldn't be much of a problem. Jian Liusha's expression became a little more relaxed. After entering the military's protective range, 
His spirit finally relaxed, and was not as tense as before. When Xiaoyan also breathed a long sigh of relief, when he saw the military vehicles and guns, as well as the nearby highway intersection. The vehicle speed is 20 kilometers per hour. The vehicle is undergoing self-inspection. No damage. Xingzhong reported the current situation of the base vehicle in his mind, while Jiang Lusher slowly released the accelerator and slowed down the vehicle. Bang, bang, bang. From time to time, gunshots were heard. Slowly, Jiang Lusher moved forward with the traffic and arrived near the entrance of the highway. There were only a few cars in front of him. However, there were more and more zombies behind, and the gunshots became more and more intensive. Upon hearing the movement, Xiao Jingjing also walked out of the carriage and looked back with Wen Xiaoyan. The military's firepower was very fierce. Although the zombies were rushing in and out, and almost filled the streets from the same perspective, they still failed to get closer. This made them all feel more at ease. They soon entered the highway, and they looked at the military trucks at the entrance. There were about dozens of them, and the muzzles were densely packed. This kind of scene, which usually makes people tremble with fear, can give people a great sense of security now. Jian Lusher was also waiting calmly. At this moment, gunfire suddenly came from another column. The gunshot was so close that everyone was startled. He quickly looked around and saw a heartbreaking cry coming from the car that was passing inspection. While two soldiers pulled out the body of a man who had just been beaten to death from the car, there was a bloody wound on the arm of the corpse. And the person crying was a woman, who seemed to be his girlfriend or wife. Once again, if there is a bitten passenger in the car, it is best to get off the car and leave, or simply turn around. Once discovered, they will be shot on the spot. This type of virus is very contagious, and people who are bitten will also turn into that kind of monster and endanger other people. An officer held a loudspeaker and said with a stern expression, seeing this scene, although most people felt frightened, they had no feelings about what happened to the man and woman. It doesn't matter if a loved one is beaten to death in front of them. Many people have seen their relatives or friends turn into zombies before their eyes, or even be torn into pieces and eaten by them after they turned into zombies. This episode did not affect the continued entry of the vehicle. But at this time, there was a very dense sound of gunfire from the rear. The soldiers who were inspecting the front also looked to the rear, with an extremely ugly look on their faces. Jian Lusher also looked through the rearview screen and happened to see a soldier who had just fired two shots and was torn off the truck with a gun. Two trucks had been covered by seemingly endless zombies, and screams were heard from the fire points in the tall buildings on both sides, not far away. Thousands or even more zombies were gathering from all over the city, forming a numbing sea of corpses on the streets. Ho ho! These zombies looked at the highway entrance with bloodthirsty and crazy eyes, and let out low roars. Chapter 12 Separation Hurry up! The soldier withdrew his gaze, and urged even more anxiously. Obviously, the firepower points on both sides of the road can't hold on for long. Soon the zombies will rush here. And then, there will be no time to let these vehicles pass. The survivors in the car also knew this very well. They all looked extremely anxious. And it felt like every minute that passed was like half an hour of waiting. Soon it was the turn of Jiang Liosher's minibus. The soldier came up to take a look. And suddenly showed a surprised look. Then he looked at Jiang Liosher strangely and said, Escape in such a big car! The interior of the RV was luxuriously decorated, and there were two charming beauties sitting in the vehicle. The soldier obviously had some contempt for Jiang Lusher, and he probably regarded him as some kind of rich second generation who wanted to enjoy life even if he wanted to die. Hurry over there, the soldier said in a somewhat impatient tone. Jiang Lusher touched his nose and didn't say anything. He just felt a little strange. This is the first time in his life that he has enjoyed the treatment of a rich second generation. When passing the toll booth window, Jian Lusher saw that the original glass was broken, stained with blood, and there were strips of cloth torn from clothes hanging on it. But the body was gone. What I saw along the way were tragic scenes like this. The virus broke out crazily all over the world. And it seemed that in just the blink of an eye, the originally normal world turned into a H. L on Earth. The highway is full of soldiers with live ammunition. They are on guard on both sides of the road. From time to time, you can hear a few gunshots. And then, you can see zombies being killed in the grass below the road. Jian Lusher drove the car smoothly, and soon connected with the traffic in front of him. But the traffic stopped again, after moving forward for a while. What's wrong? Xiao Lily asked nervously. Although it has entered the protection range of the military, it is still easy for people to become nervous as long as there is a slight disturbance. 
Jian Lusher noticed that some people were getting out of the vehicle in front of him. Several soldiers were shouting something to them. Soon the soldiers started moving in the traffic. While they were shouting, more people left the vehicle. As soon as they left, two forklifts came over, pushed all the cars to the side of the road, and then pushed them directly off the highway. This scene immediately gave Jian Lusher a bad premonition. Soon, a soldier came near Jian Liosher's minibus. He shouted, There is an overturned bus on the highway ahead, and many zombies have gathered from the highway. Our people, the road is being cleared in front. But the zombies behind will soon catch up. If there are too many vehicles, the highway will be blocked, making it impossible for our people to follow smoothly. Therefore, everyone must abandon the car. Get to the front. Women, children and the elderly can go to the front and ride on military trucks. Young and middle-aged men are all walking. Don't talk nonsense. We are walking just like you. From here to the Shanghai Safety Island, we will escort you all the way. Everyone get off the car immediately and hurry up. When you arrive at the Shanghai Safety Island, there will be plenty of time for you to rest safely. There is water to drink, food to eat, and safety. Environment. Everyone get out of the car immediately. After hearing the shouting, the people in the car opened their doors and got out. Most of the escape survivors just drove a car or escaped with one or two family members and no luggage. After hearing that Shanghai Seiki Island was so good, these people jumped out of the car impatiently, fearing that they would fall behind. Soon all the surrounding vehicles were empty, with only Jiang Liosher's minibus still parked there. Let's get out of the car quickly, Xiao Lily said, when Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment, looked at Jiang Liosher, who was still sitting motionless in the driver's seat, and said, Mr. Jiang, hurry up. Jiang Liosher shook his head and said, Get out of the car quickly. I won't go. Ah? Uh? When Xiao Tian was stunned for a moment. Not going. Xiao Lily didn't know what Jian Lusher meant. Wasn't he planning to go with the military? This is impossible. Yes. The place the military takes you to is Shanghai Seiki Island. But the direction I want to go is Jinling City. Jian Lusher said. And he couldn't abandon the car. As a survivor. The base car was the guarantee of Jian Lusher's survival. He would not give up under any circumstances. His original plan was to take the two girls to the army and then head to Jinling City along the highway. But now the road ahead was blocked and Jian Lusher had to drive to the highway leading to Jinling City. To pass the road, you must first pass it from the front. As a result, he had no choice but to leave the highway. Go to Jinling City. Well, you can't walk on the expressway. Xiao Lily still found it unbelievable. The army is here. As long as you follow them, you can reach a safe environment. Under such circumstances, Jian Lusher actually wants to go to Jinling City? It's better not to do it. It's very dangerous for you to do this alone. It's better to follow the military to the safe island. Xiao Lily quickly advised. I can drive along the highway. Or find another way. There is always a way. Jian Lusher said. But? It doesn't matter. Just follow the army to the safety island. You are girls. You can take the car when you get to the front, and it won't be too hard. Just take care of yourself from now on. Jian Lusher shook his head. Seeing Jian Liosher's determination, Xiao Lily had no choice but to do so. The soldier had already walked towards the minibus and continued to shout and urge. Xiao Lily glanced at Jian Lusher again in embarrassment and then said apologetically, Then, I'll get off the car. Thank you, Mr. Jian, for saving my life. Mr. Jian, please be careful along the way. We will meet again in the future. Of, well, I hope. Jian Lusher said. Let's go. Xiao Yan. Xiao Lily said softly. But what she didn't expect was that when Xiao Tian, who had been silent just now, suddenly raised his head, with an expression as if he had made a lot of determination, shook his head and said, I'm not leaving either. Xiao Tian. Xiao Lily was startled. Why did when Xiao Tian not leave? When Xiao Tian looked at Xiao Lily and said, Lily, my home is on the way to Jinling City. If there is really no way to go, then I can only go to the safety island. But since Mr. Jiang is going to Jinling City, then I also want to go back and have a look. At this point, when Xiao Tian's eyes turned red and she said, No matter whether my family members are dead or alive, I will always take a look. When Xiao Tian quickly turned to Jiang Lusher and said, Mr. Jiang, I wonder if you can take me back with you. Although I can't help you with anything. However, I can actually provide some information about the route. My father, I used to run this line for transportation. I have ridden on it many times since I was a child. 
and I know several of them. Mr. Jiang. Facing Wen Xiaoqian's plea, Jian Lusher thought for a moment and nodded without rejection. He wasn't actually familiar with the roads, and it would be nice to have someone who could help in this regard. When Xiaotian suddenly showed a grateful look, Mr. Jiang, thank you. Then she said to Xiao Lily, Lily, you go alone and take good care of yourself. Xiao Lily burst into tears after listening to Wen Xiaotian's words. She also didn't know whether her parents were alive or dead, but her hometown was further away and it was impossible to go back. Now her good friends, who escaped together, were about to be separated from her. Get off the bus quickly! At this time, the soldier had already walked to the minibus, knocked hard on the window, and urged loudly. Chapter 13 Rushing Down the Highway Xiao Lily reluctantly got out of the car. When the soldier saw Jian Lu Shi and when Xiao Yan still in the car, especially Jian Lu Shi still sitting firmly on the driver's seat, he immediately roared, What are you doing if you haven't gotten out of the car yet? You're even more dangerous in this car. You can't stop on the road. You're blocking the road. Jiang Lusher said apologetically. Sorry. I'll drive away right now. Seeing that Jiang Lusher had a good attitude, the soldier's expression softened. But he continued. Well, you drive to the side of the road so that the forklift can push it down. Then the soldier walked aside. As he walked, he stared at Jiang Lusher's car and muttered. I don't know if such a big car can be pushed down. The guardrail may need to be removed. Those armored vehicles, trucks, and a large number of soldiers guarding the highway intersection will soon have to evacuate from the highway when they can no longer hold on. So the road must be cleared. The army is only to take away these survivors, not to fight those endless monsters to the death. At this time, a sharp air raid siren suddenly came from the highway intersection. The soldier immediately looked over, and the people who got out of the car and were walking forward also turned their heads. Some people immediately accelerated and started running forward. Some people were standing there with nervous expressions on their faces. And there was immediately a hint of commotion in the crowd. Don't be nervous. A soldier yelled. This is the last siren to remind survivors in the city to come here. Bang, bang, bang. The gunshots had become very close and dense. Looking from a distance, one can vaguely see crowds of people in the distance. Those are zombies. In this case, even if there are survivors who hear the alarm, it is impossible to get through the group of corpses and reach the highway. These survivors are lucky. They are the lucky few. At this time, the soldier looked at Jiang Liuxia's car again and urged him casually. The alarm has gone off and we don't have much time. Hurry. Woo! The soldier suddenly heard a dull thunderous engine sound. Immediately afterwards, he saw this minibus suddenly jump out like one of those sports cars. Then suddenly turned in an arc and drove towards the edge of the highway. This scene was also seen by many survivors. They were originally looking at the highway intersection, but now their attention was attracted by the movement of the minibus. Seeing the minibus driving like a sports car, these people and the soldier were stunned. This driving skill is not bad. Let me rub it. The soldier just sighed and immediately shouted. The minibus drove to the edge of the highway, but still had no intention of stopping. There is a guardrail ahead. Bang! With everyone looking in astonishment, the minibus hit the guardrail and rushed out of the highway. It rushed down the two to three meter steep slope beside the highway until it came to a stop on the grass below. What the HL? The soldier quickly ran over to check the situation, and many survivors craned their necks to look. This man's driving skills must be too bad. He actually rushed off the highway. I don't know if he was injured or not, but this time it was just right. As long as he was not injured, he immediately got out of the car and ran back to the road which also solved the problem of the broken car being difficult to push. However, at this moment, the minibus suddenly shook again, like a drunken man stumbling. Broken down? This idea has appeared in many people's minds. But then, the minibus continued to move, drove out of the grassland, broke through the green barrier, and drove onto the thin and narrow country road next to it. What's the situation? What is this person doing? Under the stunned gazes of the survivors on the road, the minibus drove away leisurely along the country road. The soldier also stared wide-eyed. The car actually drove away. Not far behind him. Xiao Lily was waving desperately in the direction of the minibus. She didn't expect Jiang Lu to leave the expressway in such a simple and crude way. She was also shocked when the minibus rushed down just now. But luckily, it seemed that the minibus was fine. And the people inside must have it's okay. Shout Yan! Mr. Jiang! Take care! Xiao Lily waved her hands vigorously, and her vision blurred, and she couldn't even see the back of the minibus in the distance clearly. 
The impact did not cause any damage to the base vehicle. The current condition of the base vehicle is normal. Jiang Lusher looked toward the highway while listening to Xing Zhong's report. This rural road was right next to the highway. As Jiang Lusher drove along, all he saw were cars being pushed down and people walking slowly forward. Although these survivors were safe for the time being, once they relaxed a little from the tenth state, they began to realize what had happened in this short period of time. Many people were crying. And even those who were not crying had mostly gloomy expressions. Those who have lost loved ones. Those who are confused about the future. All kinds of emotions. When Jian Lusher looked at these people. When Xiao Tian was also looking through the car window with a sad expression. And those people on the highway. Whether they were survivors or soldiers. Also turned to look at this unique minibus. They were so surprised that they temporarily stopped what they were doing and watched this minibus. The car drove past. Soon. The rural road turned away from the highway. And Jian Lusher had not yet seen the front line of the army. Nor Li Yusin. Nor anyone else he knew. He took one last look at the fleeing survivors on the highway. Then turned the wheel and drove around the curve. The minibus drove at a constant speed and soon left the highway behind. This also meant that they and Shanghai Safety Island were getting further and further away from the protection of the military. Miss Wen. Jian Lusher shouted. When Xiao Yan suddenly recovered from his daze, and said quickly. What's wrong? Then she added. It's better not to call me Miss Wen. Just call me Wen Xiaoyan. If you don't mind. You can call me Xiaoyan. That's what my friends all call me. Okay. Then don't call me Mr. Jiang. My name is Jiang Lusher. Jiang, brother Jiang. Wen Xiaoyan was still embarrassed to call Jiang Lusher by his first name. So she could only call him like this. You said you know several routes. Can you tell me more specifically? Jiang Lusher said. Although Jian Lusher had downloaded the route map in advance, he had no way to navigate it, and it was temporarily useless at this time. Leaving the highway is equivalent to plunging into unknown dangers, which Jian Lusher must avoid. If Wen Xiaotian was really familiar with the roads, he might be able to find a relatively safer road. Chapter 14 The Path on the Mountain Okay. Wen Xiaotian nodded quickly. Wen Xiaotian's home is more than 100 kilometers away from Jinling City. It is a little-known small county. Later. She passed the college entrance examination in Jianbei. Wen Xiutian's family is very ordinary. His father is a long-distance transport driver. And he mainly runs the route from that small county town to Jianbei. When she was a child. During winter and summer vacations. When Xiaotian would be taken on long-distance runs by her father. And sometimes she would play in Jianbei for a while. I don't know why at that time. But I felt that the scenery on the road was very interesting and fun. When Xiaotian sighed with emotion. Then she came back to her senses and said sheepishly, I'm sorry. I haven't gotten to the point after talking so much. It doesn't matter, Jian Lusher said. A young girl had just escaped death. And now she was worried about her family. She was very restrained and calm as she was now. When Xiaotian's eyes were always red. And Jian Lusher accidentally caught a glimpse of her looking up hard to prevent herself from crying. You can go on. Anyway, we still have a way to go now. Jian Lusher continued. This country road has been winding forward. And there are no side roads yet. When Xiaoyan couldn't help but smile. I know. I'll tell you now. I was seriously recalling the road conditions just now. Originally. I was worried that this was all from childhood. And I wouldn't remember it clearly. I just recalled it carefully. And found that I still remember it very firmly. Two of the roads passed through the city. And there were many vehicles. Jian Lusher shook his head. There are too many cars and too many people. The highway and the army have cleared the road. If we are blocked on the road, we will be dumbfounded. What about other roads? I also think these two may not work. There is also one that detours through various small towns. Because you have to deliver goods to factories along the way. There are actually a lot of people on this road. When Xiao Yan said, More people means more zombies. Which Jian Lusher had already rejected just now. There is another way to go through the mountain road. The road conditions are more complicated. And... There is a long way. And there is really nothing along the way. When Xiao Yan said. This road. The complicated road conditions are actually not a big problem for Jian Lusher. Xing Zhong will constantly make corrections to his driving. So that the safety factor of driving has been greatly improved. However. The reason why when Xiao Tian did not talk about this road from the beginning is probably because of the phrase. Nothing. There was no food. No water. And no gas station. When Xiao Tian didn't know that the food storage in the minibus she was sitting in was enough to open a small supermarket immediately on the spot. The storage of drinking water could also last for a long time. 
but at least it didn't have to meet the minimum survival needs. To restrain? Of course. Jian Lusher would not take the initiative to tell these real situations. It's not that he doesn't trust Wen Xiaoyan, but he feels that it would be quite troublesome to explain. Jian Lusher is actually a person who is very afraid of trouble. But there is no gas station, which is really a problem. Tell me the specific route. Also, do you know how many kilometers this road is? Jian Lusher asked. When Xiaoyan only knew a rough number, Jian Lusher added a floating value of 50 kilometers to the number she gave, and then asked Qing Zhong to run the calculation. In the process of driving the minibus back to his residence from the car rental company, Jian Lusher had already asked the driver to go to the gas station to fill up the gasoline, and then he also purchased gasoline through some channels. After the modification of the minibus, the fuel tank has also become the standard of the base vehicle, compared with the ordinary minibus. The capacity is very different. Jian Lusher didn't expect this at first. And now he felt that the gasoline he bought at that time was too little. Calculations are being made based on numerical values. The current fuel tank storage capacity of the base vehicle is 1,000L. And the remaining fuel capacity is 210L. It can travel 1,050 kilometers. Generally, the fuel tank of a minibus has a storage capacity of 50L. In addition to filling the tank, Jian Lusher also bought 180L of gasoline. At the time, it seemed that it was already quite a lot. But compared with the 1,000L fuel storage capacity of the base vehicle, it is simply not enough. The rear of the base vehicle, under the bed, is where the fuel tank is, which is about 1.25 cubic meters in size. 1,000 kilometers is enough for me to drive all the way into Jinling City and find Jiang Zhuing. However, the data calculated by Xingzhong is based on the ordinary fuel consumption of the base vehicle, which is 20L per 100 kilometers. It refers to the base vehicle is driving daily without accelerating or colliding. These functions of the base car all consume gasoline. So it provides such a large fuel tank storage capacity. As for the normal fuel consumption, it is not much different from that of ordinary minibuses. Brother Jiang, have you decided? When Xiaoyan asked a little uneasily when he saw that Jiang Lusher remained silent. She was worried that all the routes she provided would be rejected by Jiang Lusher. So she would really not be able to help Jiang Lusher at all. When Xiaoyan believes that people should help each other. And the most important thing here is the word mutual. Jiang Lusher helped her a lot. And she could only make such a small return. Well, let's take the mountain road. Jian Lusher said. He had considered various factors. And taking the mountain road was the least troublesome option for him. Although, 1,000 kilometers cannot be regarded as the final driving distance of the base vehicle. There is no problem at least driving to the county where Wen Xiaoyan's home is located. We'll see if there's a gas station or something on the road later. Jian Lusher said. Okay. Although Wen Xiaotian was a little surprised by Jian Lusher's choice. She originally thought Jian Lusher would choose the road to the factory area, although there would probably be a lot of zombies. But now that Jian Lusher has made a decision, she doesn't have any objections. As long as there is gas, it doesn't matter if there isn't much to eat. Actually, I read some popular science literature and said that as long as there is water, vital signs can be maintained. There is a girl who went without eating for a month in order to lose weight. Even if she didn't eat or drink, she could still persist for several days. When Xiaoyan said, Jiang Lusher glanced at her, wondering why she was talking about this. When Xiaoyan then smiled and said, I feel like I just need to lose weight. Uh, Jiang Lusher didn't know what to say. This when Xiaoyan really thought they would be hungry all the way. Chapter 15 Mobile Hotel The base vehicle drove smoothly on the country road, and occasionally a few zombies could be seen standing blankly in the field or on the roadside. As soon as they saw the base vehicle appear, they immediately rushed towards it like crazy beasts. However, they often watched the base vehicle speed past them before they could pounce on it. Ho ho! These zombies waved their arms in vain. There was no sense in their blood-red eyes. Only madness and cruelty. When Xiaoyan stared out the window intently at first, gradually, because she was always safe, her tense mind relaxed, and she tilted her head and fell into a fitful sleep. Adjust to the left, keep driving forward. While Jian Lusher was driving, he took a moment to glance at Wen Xiaoyan. I saw Wen Xiaotian's body suddenly shaking in his sleep, and he seemed to be sleeping very uneasily. She was probably tired from running away all the way. Her nerves had been highly tense, causing her to be physically and mentally exhausted. Jian Lusher looked at her and couldn't help but think of Jian Zhuying. I don't know if she is hiding in the house now. Is she scared? 
When Wen Xiaoyan woke up, she found that the minibus had stopped. It was getting dark outside. There were cliffs on one side of the road and shadowy mountains and forests on the other side. Brother Jiang? When Xiaoyan sat up straight without seeing Jiang Lusher in the driver's seat, she didn't know how long she had slept. But judging from the fact that the minibus had already driven up the mountain road, it should have been two or three hours. Right? On this silent mountain road, the minibus parked here alone. When she woke up and found that she was alone in the car, when Xiaoyan suddenly felt a little panicked, she quickly walked to the carriage. Brother Jiang? Brother Jiang? Although everything in the carriage looks like everything, the space is very compact. You can skin every corner at a glance. But Jiang Lusher is nowhere to be seen. Just when Wen Xiaoyan felt even more panicked, she suddenly heard the faint sound of water coming from a small door next to her. Have water? At this time, there was a click sound. The small door was suddenly opened. And Jiang Lusher walked out. When Xiaoyan looked at Jiang Lusher in surprise, he was still steaming with steam, and his hair was wet. He was wiping his hair with a towel while looking at her. Are you awake? Yes. Yes. I seem to have slept for too long. When Xiaoyan replied, It hasn't been too long. And you don't seem to be sleeping very peacefully. In this case, the more you sleep, the harder it will be to wake up. Besides, it's a blessing to be able to sleep now. Jiang Lusher said that when Xiaotian was a little embarrassed, she was still sleeping at this time, which seemed like she was too nervous. But in fact, when Xiaotian is a girl with a relatively delicate body, she usually studies and works part-time, so she doesn't get enough sleep. In addition, she fainted when the virus broke out today, and she suffered a huge psychological impact when she woke up. I was running for my life and panicking. After finally arriving in a temporarily safe environment, fatigue naturally came over me. But what surprised when Xiaotian even more now was Jian Lusher. It was her body's instinct to sleep. And having the opportunity to sleep was a blessing. But looking at Jian Lusher like this, it seemed, By the way, do you want to take a shower? Jian Liusher's question completely confirmed when Xiaotian's guess. He actually just took a shower. When Xiaotian fell to the ground and ran around again today, her body was already covered in dust. For a girl who loves to be clean, this must be very uncomfortable. But under the current conditions, she had never thought about taking a bath. She was lucky to have water to drink. But looking at Jian Lusher, he not only took a bath, but also took a hot bath. I found a mountain spring on the roadside. I drew some and filtered it. Although it is not drinkable, it is still very comfortable to use for bathing. If you want to wash, there is shower gel and other things in it. And the hair dryer is next to the mirror. Jian Lusher said, when Xiaotian listened blankly and couldn't help but ask, since it has been filtered, it should still be drinkable. She always felt that such hot water was too luxurious and wasteful just for bathing. No, just turn on the faucet in the kitchen to drink water. Also, if you are hungry after taking a shower, go to the kitchen and cook. There are noodles in the cabinet, as well as some fresh vegetables and so on. In fact, Jian Lusher still has some frozen dumplings but he thinks it would be a waste to cook them now. Although he had stored flour and the like, the bacon he had stored was not easy to use as stuffing. In fact, Jiang Lusher will be able to store the non-perishable food in the storage room. The food left in the kitchen now is the food that will spoil quickly if not eaten. When buying food, Jiang Lusher also bought some fresh things. After all, there was no need to eat food that had been stored for a long time from the beginning. Jiang Lusher regarded eating noodles as a matter of course. But he didn't know that when Xiaotian's inner activities at this time were already very strange. She was already prepared to be hungry. But she didn't expect that not only would she have a hot bath to take a bath in, but she would also be able to eat hot noodles and even vegetables. If the previous experiences were not very clear in her mind, and the faces of the zombies kept appearing in front of her eyes, when Xiaotian would have doubted whether the doomsday scenes she saw were real. This is simply a mobile hotel. As for Jiang Lusher letting her cook, when Xiaotian felt that it was something she wanted, Hot baths and hot meals were all given to her by Jian Lusher. But there wasn't much she could do to help Jian Lusher. I'm going to wash up now, Wen Xiaoyan said. When Wen Xiaoyan finished taking a shower and put the noodles on a small folding dining table, Jian Lusher, who was sitting opposite her, took a look at the noodles in their bowls and suddenly didn't know what to say. There were only a few mouthfuls of noodles in Wen Xiaoyan's bowl. But his bowl was so full that it almost overflowed. There were eggs, vegetables, and ham, which looked very rich. I see there aren't a lot of things in the cabinet, so I need to save some food, and I only have so much food to eat. 
when Xiaoyan said. In fact, even a child is more than this weight. Not to mention her consumption today is not small. Eating so little is just enough to fill your stomach. Jian Lusher wanted to tell her that in fact, the amount in the cabinet was less than one-fiftieth of his food reserves. But the food in the cabinet alone, even if it was not so economical, was enough for them to eat all the way to Wenxiqian's house. Let's eat, Jian Lusher said. I haven't eaten noodles for a long time, but this noodle still tastes pretty good. But I'd better eat rice seriously tomorrow. Chapter 16 Roar in the Night After eating the noodles, Jian Lusher drove a little further, then stopped at the roadside to rest for the night, and resumed his journey at dawn the next morning. Although there is no danger of colliding with other driving vehicles, Jian Lusher, as a person who does not even have a driver's license and has no experience in driving on mountain roads, still feels that even with Xingzhong's correction, he still feels that he should not take the risk of driving at night. And good for fatigue driving. It would be too unfair to be killed by zombies instead of being bitten to death by a car accident. It was already dusk when we drove up the mountain road yesterday. Looking at this route now in broad daylight, it was exactly as when Xiaoyan said. There was basically nothing along the way. Only one or two farmhouses in the distance could be seen occasionally. There is a dilapidated car wash and car repair shop in Bienza. And there is a restaurant next to it. The dirty glass and the big red letters, pickle fish and home-cooked food, posted on it give people a very strange feeling. It has a sense of age. This kind of store is specially designed to serve long-distance drivers passing by. There were two large trucks parked in the open space in front of the car wash. The windows of the trucks were smashed and there were blood stains on the ground. However, there was no driver in the car, and it was not known whether he was chased by zombies and ran away. Jian Lusher parked the car in front of the pickled fish shop and looked at the door of the shop. The dilapidated door was tightly closed and stained with blood. It looked very eerie. Brother Jiang, are you planning to? When Xiaotian was stunned when she saw Jian Lusher parking the car. It's okay. I'll find something to eat. In the early days of the apocalypse, a lot of fresh food has not yet rotted. It is relatively easy to collect ingredients at this time. In a few days, the fresh ingredients will rot, and you will have to eat the preservative food packaged in vacuum. Although Jian Lusher also prepared some. But now two people are eating. Of course they can't miss it when they encounter the ingredients. Looking for something to eat? Is the food in this restaurant edible? When Xiaotian said worriedly. And Jian Lusher smiled slightly. He knew that when Xiaotian was worried that the food would be contaminated by the virus. Jian Lusher had long known from Xingzhong that before the virus broke out. The food and water sources in the world were contaminated by the virus. And everyone in the world also carried the virus. However. For people like Jian Lusher who have withstood the virus mutation, the virus in their bodies will not attack. So looking for food now will not have any impact. Of course, they still cannot be bitten by zombies. Otherwise, the enhanced virus carried by the zombies will still infect them into zombies. Jian Lusher would not tell Wen Xiaotian about these things. It would be too troublesome to explain. And it would also be difficult to explain why he knew it. He just said, Don't worry. These foods are fine. Then, do you want to get out of the car to get it? When Xiaoyan asked timidly, It is of course extremely dangerous to get out of the car at this time. But in the apocalypse, what is not dangerous? Especially when looking for food. You risk your life. When Xiaoyan's face turned slightly pale, and she was a little scared. But if Jian Lusher needed it, she would still have the courage to get out of the car. Sit tight. Jian Liusher's voice suddenly sounded in Wen Xiaoyan's ears. Ah? When Xiaoyan was stunned for a moment. Before she could say anything, she heard the roar of the car engine. Buzz! The minibus rushed out like an angry buffalo and directly knocked open the door of the pickled fish restaurant. The wooden door collapsed together with the surrounding walls. Jian Lusher had long seen clearly that the walls of this small restaurant on a country road were not made of bricks and stones at all, but made of board house materials from the construction site. There was a thin layer of iron on the outside and foam on the inside. The screws were screwed up and fell over as soon as they were bumped. When the wall collapsed, the entire ceiling was crumbling. At this time, Jian Lusher could clearly see the scene inside the small restaurant. It was quite a bloody scene, for zombies were lying on the ground, desperately fighting for something. There were blood and pieces of internal organs everywhere. There were about five people lying on the ground, their bodies disemboweled, and the flesh and blood on their bodies were grabbed by these zombies. Devour. The word, probably, was used because Jian Lusher couldn't tell how many dismembered bodies there were. Moreover, most of the flesh of these corpses has been eaten. Ah! 
when Xiaobian couldn't help but screamed, but immediately covered her mouth with her hands. The sight in front of her was disgusting. But in the apocalypse, she had to learn to adapt to this sight. The four zombies all stopped eating at this time. They turned their heads and looked at the minibus that suddenly broke in. Their eyes were scarlet, with protruding blood vessels around them. There was blood and minced meat on their mouths and faces. They roared crazily and rushed towards the minibus. Jian Lusher stepped on the accelerator without saying a word. Buzz! The engine roared again. And the minibus hit the four zombies and hit them directly against the wall on the other side of the small restaurant. Boom! The entire wall was blown down. And the minibus, carrying four zombies and the large wooden house, crashed into the dirt wall of the backyard. Blood and flesh splattered, red and white, on the windshield. Four zombies were killed by Jiang Lusher in one breath. Call! Jiang Lusher took a long breath and looked at the blurred flesh and blood on the windshield. He hesitated and pressed the wiper. The wiper swept silently, wiping the broken flesh and sweeping the windshield into scarlet. However, immediately afterwards, the washing liquid was sprayed out, diluting the blood, and was slowly swept away by the wipers. Jian Lusher watched all this in silence. It had been less than 24 hours since the end of the world. But slowly, he seemed to be getting used to enduring such blood and killing. When Xiaoyan bit her lip and stood behind Jian Lusher, looking at the blood that was constantly being swept away by the wipers, not knowing what to say. Jian Liusher's reaction just now was very calm. But when Xiaotian knew that this was the only way to survive in the apocalypse, if he kept crying, he would die from zombies sooner or later. I, I'm going down to find something to eat. When Xiaotian suddenly woke up and volunteered to get out of the car to look for food, it is naturally dangerous to get out of the car, and it is very disgusting to have to face the corpse at close range. But Jiang Lusher cannot do this kind of thing. She must play her role and cannot just be a burden. I'm opening the door. When Xiaotian reminded, and with Jiang Liusher's consent, she opened the car door. Jiang Liusher asked when Xiaotian to get out of the car, not because he didn't care about her, but in this situation, doing so was the wisest choice. He could only control Star Seed. If when Xiaotian was left in the car, she would not get up at all. It doesn't work. When Xiaotian got out of the car to look for food, so that even if she was in danger, Jiang Liusher could drive to support her. The small restaurant had been smashed into a mess. When Xiaoyan struggled to push aside the broken boards and found the kitchen freezer, the freezer, which is as tall as one person, contains various ingredients, including chicken, duck, fish, eggs, and various vegetables. It is enough to feed a dozen people for two or three days. The freezer was too big to carry on the minibus. So when Xiaoyan found clean plastic bags for packing and loaded the food into the car bit by bit, Jiang Liosher's minibus also had a small freezer but the capacity was too small to hold so much food. It seemed that if it was not eaten in time, these things would spoil. Brother Jiang, I will cook for dinner tonight and let you have a taste of my cooking. When Xiaoyan has full confidence in her cooking skills, she started cooking when she was very young. And she has a little talent in cooking in order to play her role. She also specially brought oil, salt, sauce and vinegar, a small gas stove and a wok. Although there was a small kitchen on the minibus, the hardware facilities were limited. There was only one type of pot and one stove, and they are all very small and difficult to display. This time, she simply moved the kitchen to the small living room and prepared to cook here. As a result, the minibus, which was originally a small space, was basically full. Fortunately, when Xiaotian was petite and could barely move around, when Xiaotian was really hungry, although she cooked noodles last night, when Xiaotian thought there was not enough food and was embarrassed to eat too much. Now there are so many ingredients that will spoil if you can't eat them. So she can eat them openly. Okay. Jian Lusher was also looking forward to it. It was getting dark soon. So he planned to take a rest here. He looked forward to it as he watched when Xiaotian busy washing vegetables and cooking. The only drawback is that the space in the small living room is still a bit small. It is a bit difficult to place so many pots and stoves and many of them have to be placed on top of each other. In fact, many things in the base car can be folded, such as dining tables and beds. Moreover, when the bed and sofa are opened, there are also storage spaces. But even if these are folded, the space of the base car is still only so large. It would be nice if my base vehicle could be bigger. It could store more gasoline, more food, and add more living facilities. At that time, it will be a real mobile base. The sun has completely set. 
and when Xiao Yan has cooked most of the food. The tempting aroma arouses Jiang Liuxiu's sense of smell. He was too busy preparing to deal with the apocalypse, and had no time to eat properly. At this time, his index finger was already full. But at this moment, suddenly, roar! It was like the low roar of some kind of wild beast, coming from the darkness in the distance. Um! Jian Lusher was shocked. What the H, L? This roar, mixed with the sound of wind, came from the silent mountain, and it had a frightening feeling. Chapter 17 The car broke down? Living in the apocalypse. Even if there was a base vehicle, Jian Lusher was not careless at all. He got a lot of information about the apocalypse from Zingseed. He knew that this apocalypse would never be that simple. If it were just a simple zombie. In fact, it will soon be controlled by the remaining power of the government. So the end of the world should not be called the end of the world. This strange roar frightened Jian Lusher, and he felt a strong sense of uneasiness. Turn off the heat! Jian Lusher said urgently. Ah! When Xiaotian was stunned for a moment. Her dish had just been cooked and was only half done. If she turned off the heat now, she might not be able to eat the dish. However, when Xiaotian also knew that the roar was probably unusual, so she quickly turned off the fire. Jian Lusher turned off the main power switch of the base vehicle. Snapped! The lights went out, and everything was dark. The air on this country road was surprisingly good, and there was no light pollution around. Through the car window, Jian Lusher could see the dark blue night sky, the sky full of stars, and a crescent moon, hanging diagonally on the top of the mountain. It casts a faint and cool light. The night sky is beautiful. But at this moment, looking at the night sky, Jian Lusher felt his scalp numb. Just under the crescent moon, he saw a huge black shadow, staring at the base vehicle. This black shadow looks like a giant beast, but I don't know what it is. Jian Lusher didn't dare to turn on the lights. He held his breath and lowered his body. At the same time, he also pulled Wen Xiaoyan down and asked him to squat down. The ceiling of the base vehicle is very good. Even though they were cooking just now, the fragrance will not escape. The black shadow should not be caused by the fragrance. So it may be the light source. Now Jian Lusher has cut off the light source. He hopes that the black shadow will lose its target and leave. The end of the world has just begun. And his base vehicle is still in its initial state. At this time, he will encounter some terrifying monster. Once the base vehicle is overturned, what will happen? But that's it. Brother Jiang, next to Jiang Lusher, when Shikian's voice was very soft, with a faint trembling, it was originally an apocalyptic atmosphere, and then encountering such a terrifying black shadow in the dark night. The psychological impact on a girl can be imagined. Go hide on the sofa and don't make any noise. Jiang Lusher crouched and slowly approached the driver's seat. He was already considering driving away because he found that even if the light source was turned off, the dark figure was still there. Approached slowly. But Jian Lusher didn't dare to move too fast, lest he anger the black shadow. As the distance got closer, with a faint moonlight, Jian Lusher could see clearly that the approaching black figure turned out to be a huge wild boar. This wild boar. How can it be so big? Jian Lusher was shocked. Although the distance was far away, by comparing the surrounding houses, he had determined that this wild boar was at least the size of a box-type light truck. Its height is no shorter than the base vehicle, but its body is shorter. It is covered in black hair like steel thorns, and there are a lot of blood scabs on the black hair, making it look like it crawled out of a pool of blood. The two fangs at the corners of its mouth are like two huge scimitars, and one of the fangs is carrying a piece of intestine. This is simply a ferocious pig coming out of H. L. The wild boar was staring at Jian Liuxiu's base vehicle, it's two searchlight-like eyes shining with scarlet light. This is not the feeling of Jian Lusher, but it is really glowing, just like the eyes of a wolf blooming with green light at night. Except that the light is scarlet. Incredible. Is this? Jian Lusher remembered that the information in the Star Seed mentioned that after the end of the world begins, in addition to some people being infected into zombies, and some animals being infected into animal zombies, there are also some people and animals that will mutate. This mutation will make them far more powerful than similar zombies. Before, just reading the description in the text, Jian Lusher had no idea at all. It was only now that he actually saw a mutated wild boar that Jian Lusher was shocked. A wild boar that looks like a small truck may not seem that big, but when it really appears in front of you and slowly approaches, its fangs, bristles, and scarlet eyes are so visually impactful and oppressive. Stronger, at this time, there was only a transparent windshield between Jian Lusher and the big wild boar. 
there was still a faint trace of blood on the glass. Through a glass, a man and an animal looked at each other. At this time, roar! The wild boar suddenly let out a terrifying roar. It raised its four hooves and rushed towards the base vehicle and Jean Lucher. It ran, and its heavy body stepped down with one hoof. The road was trampled to pieces, and earth and rocks were splashed. A wild boar the size of a box truck probably weighed more than 10 tons. But it moved at a speed close to that of a cheetah in a short period of time. Running, Jian Lucher even felt the ground shaking slightly. Oops. Jian Lucher was shocked. Once such a heavy wild boar collided, the impact would be extremely terrifying. The entire base vehicle would definitely be knocked over at once. The base vehicle is protected by armor. But in terms of weight, it is not much heavier than an ordinary minibus. How can it withstand such an impact? Once the car overturns, he will have no power to resist. Even the strongest armor will be picked apart bit by bit by this big wild boar. Damn it! Jean Lucher yelled. He jumped up, and the last distance from the driver's seat was covered by him in an instant. At this time, the wild boar was very close to the base vehicle, and he had no time to turn around and escape. If you choose to escape, you must first turn. If you turn around at this time, the wild boar will only collide with the side of the base vehicle, and the result will only be a rollover. Then, there is only one choice left. This is also the only choice Jian Lucher can make in the shortest time. Damn it! Jian Lucher suddenly pulled the gear lever and stepped on the accelerator to the bottom. Buzz! The base vehicle roared like a beast and started instantly. The base car modified by Xingzhong started much faster than ordinary cars. In order to ensure that the base car could start at any time, Jian Lucher did not pull down the handbrake. At this time, the base car jumped out instantly. Seat belt! Jian Lucher shouted. And at the same time, the seat belt on his driver's seat automatically popped up and tied his body tightly. In the small living room of the base vehicle, when Shout Yan also hurriedly sat on the sofa and hurriedly fastened his seat belt. In fact, Jian Liosher's shout was for when Shout Yan. The base vehicle accelerated to 100 kilometers in just a few seconds. Jian Lusher gritted his teeth and saw the wild boar in the windshield also rushing towards him. The completely transparent windshield made Jian Lusher feel that the wild boar the size of a light truck had hit his face. Even the wild boar's cold tusks were facing Jian Lusher's head. If the glass couldn't hold up, he would be pierced directly into the driver's seat by the wild boar's tusks. At the moment of life and death, Jian Lusher's mind went blank. He just grabbed the steering wheel and pressed the accelerator with all his strength. Fight! The blood all over Jian Liosher's body was boiling. The wild boar's huge head was already in front of him. Jian Liosher even seemed to see the reflection of himself and the base vehicle in the wild boar's scarlet eyes. Crash! Boom! The base vehicle was shaken. The huge impact force violently pulled Jian Liosher's body outward. The elastic safety belt tightly restrained Jian Liosher's body. At that moment, Jian Liosher felt that his body was about to be broken by the safety belt. Got it! Bang! In front of Jian Liosher's eyes, the airbag popped out and hit Jian Liosher's face, making him dizzy. At the same time, behind Jian Liosher, there was a crackling explosion. The pots and pans that were carried onto the base vehicle fell to the ground under the influence of huge inertia. The sofa was fixed to the car and did not move sideways. But the huge impact caused when Xiao Yan, who was tied to the sofa with a seat belt, to scream in surprise. Bang! When Xiao Yan felt a pain in her head, she didn't know what she hit. Her vision went dark and she fainted. At this time, the airbag in front of Jian Lusher was quickly retracted. This was also the ability of the base vehicle. The airbag would be retracted instantly after it was deployed so as not to affect the driver's vision. At this time, Jian Lusher endured the feeling of dizziness and nausea, as well as the pain of his lower abdomen being tightened by the seat belt. Before he saw the scene outside the windshield, the entire windshield was hit with two white marks the size of a wash basin. These white marks meant that there were cracks inside the windshield, which changed the transparency. Ordinary bulletproof glass will turn into a piece of white when hit by a bullet. Of course, even if there are cracks inside, these glasses will still continue to be bulletproof. Not only the glass, but also the front of the car was dented by the wild boar. This impact was really terrifying. Warning! The base vehicle is damaged. Level 3.5 The durability of the front bulletproof glass is reduced by 60%. The power system is damaged. The instantaneous acceleration and collision functions are paralyzed. And the power supply in the vehicle is cut off. In an instant, such information came out of Jian Liosher's mind. The base vehicle is broken? 
Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. Previously, the base vehicle had been attacked by a large number of zombies without leaving any trace. But today, it was hit by a mutated wild boar and was already damaged. Chapter 18 Vehicle Mounted Weapons Among the Star Seed Reminders The thing that made Jian Lusher feel cold all over the most was the damage to his power system. As a result, the base vehicle could not accelerate in a short period of time and lost its collision function. Facing this huge mutated wild boar, it almost became a target. Yes, mutant boar. Jian Lusher suddenly looked at the mutated wild boar in front of the car. This time the collision made the mutated wild boar uncomfortable. It fell to the ground. Its huge head covered with blood. The blood flowed down and blinded its eyes. Two huge fangs. One the root was abruptly broken, exposing the bloody pulp in the tooth. Roar! The mutated wild boar let out a low roar from its belly. Because the base vehicle was damaged. The sound was no longer isolated. Jian Lusher directly endured the roar of this behemoth. What a feeling it felt like. The deep voice made all his internal organs shake with it. The resonance makes my body unable to move. Jian Lusher felt as if there were big hands holding his heart. Making it difficult to beat. And pinching his lungs. Making it difficult to breathe. A terrible roar. The mutated wild boar got up and its skull seemed to be broken. But with the support of huge vitality, it still had terrifying power. It stared at Jian Lusher with a pair of eyes like car lights, and looked at Jian Lusher very close. There was only a thin layer of broken windshield between them. Click! The mutated wild boar's only remaining tusk directly jammed the chassis of the base vehicle. With a sudden upward thrust, it was about to overturn the base vehicle completely. Jian Lusher suddenly felt as if he had fallen into an ice cellar. Once the base vehicle overturns, it's all over. Can it still be opened? Can it still be opened? Jian Lusher was anxious. He pulled up the gear lever and started the base vehicle. The base vehicle made a dull sound and the four wheels rotated together. It can still be driven. The instant acceleration and collision functions were damaged. But the base vehicle could still drive normally. Zitsidi. The front wheels of the base vehicle were already hanging in the air. Idling meaninglessly while the rear tires were violently rubbing against the ground, sweeping up a large amount of earth and rocks. Although the impact was not strong, the wild boar was also injured. With this impact, the wild boar was unable to overturn the base vehicle for a while. However, it was already extremely dangerous. The front of the car was lifted higher and higher by the wild boar, and it was about to overturn. Oops. Jiang Liosher's face looked extremely ugly at this time. He clenched the steering wheel tightly and stepped on the accelerator. His face was covered with cold sweat. Calm. I need to calm down. In this critical moment, look for a way out and survive from a desperate situation. An idea flashed in Jian Liusher's mind. And he quickly pressed a few keys on the base vehicle with his fingers, like playing a piano. Drop. There was a soft sound. And the driving panel of the base vehicle lit up. Jian Liusher firmly resisted the driving panel. Success or failure depended on this. Air cannon pressurization begins. Pressurization time. 9.5 seconds. Starseed's voice sounded in Jian Liusher's mind. And Jian Liusher let out a long breath. Great. Although the collision and instant acceleration were damaged, the weapon can still be used. In addition to collision, the Starseed base vehicle also has onboard weapons. When Jian Liusher completed the transformation of the base vehicle, he had already obtained information about the onboard weapons from Starseed. However, because the end has not yet come, Jian Liusher is afraid of causing trouble. There has been no test. And since the end of the world began, he has been busy running away and has no chance to test. Now, there is no need to experiment anymore. It is a real duel with real swords and guns. If you fail, you will die. The base vehicle air cannon has a compressed gas volume of 500 L and an initial launch speed of 810 meters per second, which is more than twice the speed of sound. During World War II, the air cannon developed by the Nazis could be used to shoot down low-altitude aircraft. But in the end, it was not effective due to accuracy issues. Jian Lusher didn't know what effect such an air cannon would have on a wild boar. There is no doubt about the power of air cannons. But the impact of air is still a little worse than that of live ammunition. Sometimes, the shock wave of a bomb explosion can send people flying more than 10 meters away. But after the shock wave, there are many people who survive. Jian Lusher cannot guarantee that this compressed air cannon can send the mutated wild boar flying. Die and he only had one chance to attack. Not a second one. He had 9.5 seconds to prepare, and the base vehicle would have overturned the second time. Done! 
Jian Lusher gritted his teeth and pressed another button. The air cannon barrel protruded from the front of the car, facing the mutated wild boar's abdomen. This gun barrel is hidden in the front of the car. You can't see anything special from the outside. It can only be poked out when it is in use. Jian Lusher looked at the 60mm caliber jet gun barrel, his heart beating fast. Get ready for the countdown. 9. 8. 7. Star C was counting down. And to Jian Lusher. This sound was the pronouncement of fate. The angle and direction of the gun barrel can be adjusted. So where should we attack? Abdomen? Head? Throat? This mutated wild boar had thick skin and rough flesh. Jian Lusher had no doubt that its skin and flesh could withstand bullets. It seemed that no matter which part of it it had, it had amazing defense capabilities. 6. 5. The countdown is getting closer and closer. And the base vehicle is tilting more and more seriously. Crack. Because the base vehicle was tilted. The pots and pans all slid back. Jian Lusher gritted his teeth. Pressed the automatic cruise control button. Unbuckled his seat belt. Grabbed a wrench and jumped out of the driver's seat. Stupid pig. Die. Jian Lusher suddenly went crazy. Picked up the wrench. And smashed the wild boar through the windshield. Bob bang bang. The wrench hit the already cracked windshield. And tiny glass shards fell down due to the violent vibration. Such an attack seemed completely meaningless. But the mutated wild boar was a wild beast. And it was angered by Jian Lusher's provocation. It stared at Jian Lusher with a pair of scarlet eyes. 4. 3. The countdown is coming to an end. And for Jian Lusher. This is the judgment of fate. Suddenly, Jian Lusher pressed the button. Kicked open the car door. And leaned out of the car door with his whole body. Such behavior was almost equivalent to suicide. But Jian Lusher was extremely calm at this time. He knew that most of the weight of the base vehicle was on the wild boar's tusks. The base vehicle was lifted off its front wheels. But the wild boar was also pressed by the base vehicle and could not move easily. If the wild boar turns to attack itself on the side of the base vehicle, it will first pull out its fangs. And the base vehicle will fall down. The front and rear wheels will grab the ground together and hit the wild boar. Even if it does not knock it down, it will be hit. Go back. So it looks like he committed suicide. But in fact, he won't be attacked by the wild boar in just a few seconds. Stupid pig. Go to H. L. Jian Lusher faced the wild boar's huge eyes and used all his strength to throw out the wrench in his hand. Whoosh. The wild boar was unable to dodge and was hit directly by the wrench. But because the base vehicle was shaking violently and Jian Lusher was not a slinger from an African tribe, the wrench was a little off and did not hit the wild boar's eye but hit the corner of the eye. But even the corners of the eyes are full of nerves. And the wild boar is in pain. Roar. The angry wild boar let out an earth-shattering roar. Terrifying sound waves came. And Jian Lusher was almost torn off the car door. The resonance between the infrasound waves and the internal organs caused Jian Lusher's heart to stop beating almost instantly. And his mind went blank. But at this moment, there was another voice that was extremely clear in Jian Lusher's mind. That's the countdown to Starseed. Two. One. Zero. Ah. Jiang Liosher's eyes were red. He suppressed the feeling of dizziness and used Star C to control the barrel of the air cannon to twist a little. The barrel was facing the big mouth of the mutated wild boar. At this time, the mutated wild boar opened its mouth because of its roar. And the barrel was inserted into the wild boar's mouth. Air cannon. Fire! Chapter 19 Air Cannon. Bang! The violent explosion sounded like thunder on the ground. Deafening. The airflow of 810 meters per second far exceeded the speed of sound, triggering a sonic boom. Huge energy exploded. The base vehicle was suddenly bounced backwards. The windows vibrated violently, and large pieces of bulletproof glass particles fell down and were blown by the airflow. Fly! Scatter like bullets. The skyrocketing air formed a vacuum around it. The pressure suddenly increased and then quickly dropped to almost disappear. The water vapor in the air instantly liquefied forming a cone-shaped water mist the size of a house. And this cone-shaped water mist was pushed by the airflow. Then, he rushed forward at an incredible speed. While the base vehicle was bounced back, the trees in the wooden house in front were directly torn away by the airflow. The house collapsed. The roof flew up. A thick tree broke in the middle. And all the leaves disappeared instantly. And this is just the aftermath of the airflow. Most of the airflow was actually absorbed by the mutated wild boar's big mouth. Boom. The mutated wild boar's body, which weighed more than 10 tons, 
was violently thrown away, and the wanton air flow violently expanded in its internal organs. Its huge body expanded instantly and became a balloon. Then, the terrifying high-pressure airflow with a pressure of nearly 10 MPa found its outlet behind the mutated wild boar. Bang! With a muffled sound, a large amount of blood, mincemeat, and internal organs were sprayed out from the mutated wild boar's anus, shooting dozens of meters away, forming a bright blood spring in the air. Clang! The blood fountain hit a wooden house hard, like a hammer, directly destroying the wooden house. Terrible power. Jiang Lusher was shocked when he saw this terrifying air cannon. At this time, the base vehicle was still cruising automatically. After the wheels landed, it lost the power of the wild boar and drove out automatically. Jiang Lusher hurriedly stopped the cruise and stepped on the brakes. Squeak. The four tires of the base vehicle had been severely damaged, and the rear wheels in particular became extremely hot due to the intense friction. They emitted green smoke and exuded a strong burnt smell. The tires of the base vehicle are naturally much stronger than the tires of ordinary vehicles. There are scattered small air bags inside the tires, which will not burst if they are shot through by bullets. But even so, after such a torment, they are still seriously damaged. Jiang Lusher opened the car door, feeling as if he was exhausted. The battle just now, although mainly between the base vehicle and the mutated wild boar, also made Jiang Lusher feel deeply exhausted. The consumption is too great. Jiang Lusher looked ahead. The masterpiece of the air cannon was really amazing. Before launching the air cannon, Jian Lusher did not expect that the initial speed of 810 meters per second would be so powerful. However, the air cannon is still air after all. Even if the air is highly compressed and hits the bulletproof mutated wild boar skin, it will explode in all directions. And its power is greatly reduced. If it is not shot into the mouth of the mutated wild boar, it will be smashed to death. Yes, it is difficult. Jian Lusher picked up the wrench that fell on the ground and staggered towards the mutated wild boar. When he saw the pig blood, mincemeat, and intestines, and then looked at the mutated wild boar that had become transparent from front to back, Jian Lusher was secretly speechless. You are so obedient. This pig has been raped. Jian Lusher stopped more than 10 meters away from the mutated wild boar to prevent the pig from twitching before death and hurt himself. At the same time, Jian Lusher did not dare to stay too far away from the base vehicle. Otherwise if zombies came, he would not be able to get to the vehicle in time. When shout yon! Jian Lusher called when shout yon. But the car was quiet and there was no sound. Um! Jian Lusher's heart tightened and he immediately returned to the base vehicle. When he saw it, he saw that when shout yon was tightly tied to the base vehicle with a seat belt. His eyes were closed. His head was smashed. And there was blood on his forehead. This, Jian Lusher hurriedly tested Wen Xiaotian's breathing. Fortunately, she just fainted, looking at Wen Xiaotian's wounds. Jian Lusher shook his head. He also felt that Wen Xiaotian was unlucky enough. Her injury should have been caused by pots, bowls, and other tableware. Jian Lusher drove a base vehicle and collided with a mutated wild boar before. Wen Xiaotian was tied to the small sofa with a seat belt. Naturally, he was fine. However, the pots and pans were not fixed. When they flew over, when Xiaotian was directly tied to the small sofa, knocked out, if there were more collisions, it would be possible for when Xiaotian to be beaten to death by these bottles and jars. It's really dangerous! Jian Lusher breathed a sigh of relief. If the battle with the mutated wild boar had caused when Xiaotian's death, he would have felt very uncomfortable. Jian Lusher went to the storage box to get gauze and was about to give when Xiaotian a simple bandage. But at this moment, a voice suddenly sounded in his mind. The base vehicle is damaged. Level 3.5. Repair requires 200 kilograms of steel, 100 kilograms of copper, 30 kilograms of polymeric organic plastics, 1,200 liters of gasoline, and 200 kilowatt hours of electricity. Repair time required 24 hours. Hearing this voice, Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment, then smiled bitterly. The base vehicle was damaged. Fortunately, it can repair itself. However, the repair materials are really hard to find. Steel, copper, organic plastics, especially electricity and gasoline. It will not be easy to collect these in the last days. 1,200 liters of gasoline is nearly a ton. This is simply a gas tiger. And current gasoline reserves. Jian Lusher looked at the fuel gauge. With a bitter look on his face, he activated the collision function continuously and fired the air cannon. The gasoline was greatly consumed. 
with less than 20 L left, and he could drive less than 100 kilometers. If you encounter a zombie swarm within these 100 kilometers, the consequences will be disastrous. Jian Lusher was worried. And then Star Seed sounded another notification sound, which made his heart move and his ears suddenly pricked up. The hunt for the first level mutant beast was successful. The first level mutant crystal core was found, located in the heart of the mutant beast. Take it out to start the first evolution of the base vehicle. The discovery of mutated animal meat can be eaten directly to enhance physical fitness. It can also provide raw materials for biological laboratories and activate the function of biological evolution. Um, what? Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. Mutated crystal nucleus? Biology laboratory? What the H, L is this? The first level mutant beast was successfully hunted. So naturally it was the mutant wild boar. Could that first level mutant crystal core be in the body of the mutant wild boar? As for the biology lab? What is that? When Jian Lusher completed the modification of the base vehicle before, he did not find any biological laboratory. At this time. Click! With a soft sound. Jian Lusher turned around and saw a groove popping up on the driver's seat of the base vehicle. The groove was only about the size of a table tennis ball. Jian Lusher looked at the groove for a while. The groove was made of an unknown alloy and looked extremely precise. This was the first time he had seen this groove. Jian Lusher had some conjectures in his mind about the mutated crystal nucleus located in the heart. Jian Lusher picked up the dagger he bought before, jumped out of the car, and walked towards the mutated wild boar. At this time, the mutated wild boar had rolled over, and Jian Lusher could just see the mutated wild boar's heart. Puff! Jian Lusher swung his dagger and stabbed it in. Chapter 20 Base Vehicle Evolution Pigskin is very tough, but not nearly as tough as Jian Lusher imagined. This mutated wild boar could collide head-on with a base vehicle. In Jian Lusher's original imagination, it should be invulnerable. He originally thought that he should go to the car repair shop next door to find a hacksaw. But I didn't expect that I could cut the pigskin bit by bit with just a dagger. Although it was difficult. I could still do it. Could it be that after the mutated wild boar dies, its skin and flesh will undergo certain changes and no longer be as tough as before. This thought passed through Jian Liuzhi's mind, and he felt that it was very possible. Starseed had just reminded that this mutated beast meat was edible. If it was as hard as rubber, who could bite it? Being able to cut through the pig skin without much effort was a good thing after all. Jian Liuzhi struggled to cut open the mutated wild boar's chest, found the wild boar's heart, and cut open the heart. He was already covered in blood. According to Jian Liuzhi's original impression, pig blood should be very smelly. But the strange thing is that the pig blood of this mutated wild boar is not only not smelly, but also has a fragrant feeling. It seems that this blood is not ordinary. Jian Lusher thought for a while, found a few plastic buckets from the small restaurant to collect the blood, and quickly collected several large buckets. At this time, Jian Lusher finally dug out a quail egg-sized bead from the mutated wild boar's heart. This bead is crystal clear, like glass, very smooth to the touch, and a little warm. Presumably this is the so-called mutated crystal nucleus. Jian Lusher took the mutated crystal core and returned to the base vehicle. He carefully placed the mutated crystal core in the groove that had just popped out. Click! With a soft sound. The mutated crystal core was caught in the groove. And then the metal groove slowly retracted. The star seed prompt will sound. The mutant crystal core has been placed successfully. The base vehicle has unlocked its first evolution. And you can choose the direction of evolution. Snapped. A light curtain appeared in front of Jiang Liuzhi's eyes. There were options on the light screen, and each option was followed by a line of explanation text. Option 1. Open the first level space fuel tank. The fuel tank has a capacity of 10 cubic meters. The fuel tank is explosion-proof and bulletproof. It can be upgraded. Option 2. Turn on the first level space storage function. The storage space is 10 cubic meters in size. The space is low temperature and hypoxic, which can keep food fresh. Ordinary food can be kept fresh for more than one year. And mutated animal meat can be kept fresh for more than three years. Mutated animal meat is not easy to store in the first place. Even if it deteriorates, it can be kept fresh for 30 days in a hot and humid environment of 30 degrees Celsius. Option 3. Turn on the evolutionary automatic absorption function. The base vehicle can automatically absorb materials through the particle beam, eliminating the need to manually transport materials. Option 4. Add a robotic arm to the base vehicle. The robotic arm can bear a weight of 20 tons. Option 5. Add weapons to the base vehicle, a fuel-type flamethrower. 
it consumes a lot of gasoline to start. Pure oxygen combustion produces a high temperature of 2,000 degrees Celsius. Option 6. Upgrade the air cannon. Option 7. Upgrade car armor and bulletproof glass. Jian Lusher looked all the way and found that after option 6, there were more options. But these options were dark and seemed impossible to choose. Among them, Jian Lusher saw the biology laboratory. Option 10. Open the biological laboratory. By adding materials, develop a genetic evolution fluid which can be used for the host to evolve genes and greatly enhance physical fitness. To open it, you need Level 1 Mutant Crystal Core X2. Jiang Liosher's eyes suddenly lit up when he saw the option of Biological Laboratory. Develop Genetic Evolution Fluid? Can you enhance your physical fitness? This is terrible. Jiang Liosher knows that after the end of the world, not only animals will mutate, but humans will also mutate. Although he has a base vehicle, his body is his biggest weakness. If his body dies, everything will be over. As a result, Jian Lusher didn't dare to get out of the car. And if he has genetic evolution fluid, he himself will become more powerful. In this way, the combat effectiveness will naturally be greatly improved. This biological laboratory must be opened. But, it requires two first-level mutant crystal nuclei. And I only have one now. Just by killing this first-level mutated wild boar, he had already lost half his life. As for two, Jian Lusher didn't dare to think about it now. He needs to become stronger. First, the base vehicle evolves, and then he becomes stronger. In this tormenting end of the world, Jian Lusher has too many things to do. No need to think about the biology lab. Now enable the previous functions. The first upgrade is the fuel tank, which is so needed. The current base vehicle has too little fuel storage, but with a 10 cubic meter fuel tank, which holds 8 or 9 tons of gasoline. You will be confident whether you are in a collision or using weapons. Otherwise, half the battle with the mutated beasts would result in running out of gas, which would be such an unjust death. Second, Jian Lusher is also greedy for storage space. There is not enough space in the base vehicle now, and many things cannot be accommodated, such as this mutated wild boar meat. It is a pity that it cannot be accommodated. Moreover, the storage space can also be kept fresh. With it, that is a mobile granary. As for improving the strength of armor and bulletproof glass. Turning on the automatic absorption of materials. Upgrading weapons. And unlocking new weapons. Jian Lusher is very greedy. Jian Lusher felt that even the simple function of adding a robotic arm was too necessary. Without a mechanical arm. Just transporting the mutated wild boar meat made Jian Lusher worried. How could he move this tent on beast? However, he could only choose one. The choice is too difficult. After Jian Lusher thought about it. He restrained his desire rationally and chose the first option increasing the fuel tank capacity. With a space tank, a large amount of gasoline can be stored. There are many other upgrades, some of which are convenient, and some of which improve the combat effectiveness of the base vehicle. And the first one, the space fuel tank, is directly related to Jian Liosher's life at the moment. The base vehicle must be repaired in the shortest possible time. The demand for one, 200L of gasoline exceeds the current upper limit of the fuel tank. In addition, the combat functions of many subsequent base vehicles require the support of an ultra-large capacity fuel tank. Without oil, everything is empty talk. Jian Lusher gritted his teeth and pressed the first option. Drop! There was a soft sound, and the star seed prop sounded. Selected. Upgrade the fuel tank. The upgrade requires 100 kilograms of steel. Upgrade time, 2 hours. Jian Liosher's eyes widened, and he really wanted to kick the control panel. I still need steel. And I need your sister? He thought that he could upgrade by just clicking on it. It turned out that having a mutated crystal core was only the most basic condition for division evolution. He still had to find the materials. Also, how can you upgrade a fuel tank without steel? But where can I find steel now? There were several vans and large trucks beside Jian Liosher. These cars are made of steel. But how to remove the steel and move it to the base car is a big problem. If the base vehicle has the option 3 function turned on, and can automatically absorb materials, there is no need for Jian Lusher to move it, and the absorber can be directly extended to absorb the steel on these trucks. But now, of course, Jian Lusher couldn't waste this precious first evolution on turning on the automatic absorption function just to save trouble. Steel must be found to upgrade the fuel tank. But this mutated wild boar meat. Chapter 21 Waste is the Biggest Crime. Jian Lusher took one look at the huge mutated wild boar on the ground and was really reluctant to part with it. This mutated wild boar meat can stay fresh for a month 
in a humid and hot environment of 30 degrees. If you don't take it away, it will be a waste. Moreover, Starseed said that mutated beast meat can not only be used as a material for the biological laboratory to develop genetic evolution fluid, but even if it is just eaten, it can slowly improve the physical condition. Without a biological laboratory, Jian Lusher would make a small stir-fried meat and have a big meal. A very cool thing. Strengthen your physique. At least it will save you some effort to carry those hundreds of kilograms of steel. Jian Liusher's family conditions were average since he was a child. And his parents were both dead. He and his sister sold their house to live together. He was used to a frugal life. And it would make his heart bleed if he were to waste so much mutated beast meat. No. Even if there is no storage space. I have to take this wild boar away. Jian Lusher made up his mind that this mutated wild boar was a great treasure. When the apocalypse comes, gold and silver become scrap metal. And paper money is worse than toilet paper. The thing that people use to exchange things should be food. As for the value of this mutated beast meat, humans should soon discover that eating it can enhance their physical fitness. Which is amazing. Compared with those zombies, ordinary people are too weak. Once targeted, it is difficult to even escape. In this case, the survival rate of those with good physical fitness will naturally be greatly improved. In addition, this mutated animal meat is easy to store and can be stored for several months in autumn and winter. It should become a hard currency more precious than food. Waste is the biggest crime. If you can't take it away, you have to take it away by force. Jian Lusher made up his mind to get the wild boar away. But the space in the base vehicle was limited. How could it possibly fit a tin-ton beast? Jian Lusher then set his sights on a small van not far away. This truck also looks very old. How can a truck running on such rural dirt roads be so good? It is probably the kind that is close to being scrapped. Jian Lusher ran to the van looked around, and pulled the door. As expected, the door was locked. Jian Liosher's brain changed. He turned around and went into the ruins of the Shue Boiled Fish restaurant. Jian Liosher estimated that the driver was hungry and came down to eat boiled fish. As a result, the apocalypse came and he died. The key should be hanging on the driver's body. But looking at the ruins, it was already a bloody mess. It had been chewed by zombies. And with the torment of the base vehicle and the mutated wild boar, it was almost impossible to look at it. Mince meat, blood, mixed with mud, are everywhere. Finding a key from here is a very challenging task. Jian Lusher thought for a moment and decided to forget it. He found a wrench from the nearby auto repair shop and smashed it against the windshield of the small box. Crash! There was a series of smashing sounds, and the windshield was completely shattered into pieces. Then, Jian Lusher climbed in through the front window of the car. Once the windshield was broken, it would break into small particles and would not hurt his hands. Climbing into a small box was nothing to Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher got into the cab, turned on the handbrake, and pulled out a 9 meter long towing rope from the cab. Ha ha! Indeed there is! This kind of tow rope is generally equipped with cars, especially this kind of shabby van that may break down at any time. So how can it lack a tow rope? Jian Lusher immediately hooked up the broken van to his base vehicle. Jian Lusher turned to the back of the van again. The back door of the van was not locked, but just buckled, because it was empty, which saved Jian Lusher a lot of trouble. Okay, we can start work. Jian Lusher looked at the huge wild boar. This was a huge project. Of course he couldn't move such a big wild boar, so he had to cut the wild boar into pieces. Jian Lusher put the dagger on his waist and went to the car repair shop to find a fire axe and a hacksaw to cut it. Jian Lusher often participated in physical exercise when he was in college and his physical fitness was not bad. He targeted the wild boar's neck and chopped it down with an axe. A wild boar that weighs about 10 tons can carry as much as you want. What surprised Jian Lusher was that after he took away the crystal core of the mutated wild boar, the wild boar seemed to become easier to split. Even the originally tight boar became tender, not to mention the hacksaw. The dagger can cut it, and it's not much more difficult than cutting real pork. Brother Jian? Brother Jian? At this moment, Jian Lusher suddenly heard when Xiaotian shout in the base car. There was panic in the shouting. Can you not panic? After fainting, I woke up and saw that the wooden houses in front of me were in ruins. Even the bulletproof glass of the base vehicle was burst. Jian Lusher was also missing. I don't know what happened to him. I am here! Jian Lusher shouted. When Shao Yan heard the voice and let out a sigh of relief, Jian Lusher was fine. But where was the mutated wild boar? Was he hit by a base vehicle? 
when Xiao Yan opened his seat belt and staggered out of the base vehicle. However, when he saw the scene outside the base vehicle, when Xiao Yan was shocked, she saw Jiang Lusher holding a fire axe and slashing at the mutated wild boar. The mutated wild boar was already twitching without even twitching, and was obviously dead. This, when Xiao Tian had also seen the terror of the mutated wild boar before, it charged and swept through everything. The row of wooden houses in front of it was no better than cardboard boxes. The roar made his heart stop. Such a mutated wild boar was actually dead. Of course, when Xiao Tian would not naively think that the mutated wild boar was killed by Jiang Lusher with an axe, then it was hit by a car? This car. When Xiao Yan looked back at the severely damaged base vehicle, this vehicle was really incredible. Brother Jiang, what are you doing? When Xiao Yan asked, take the meat. All these wild boars are edible. Jiang Lusher didn't explain much about the efficacy of mutated beast meat. And when Xiao Yan didn't ask too many questions, she just said, I'll help. It's not easy to cut off all the meat from such a big wild boar. With Wen Xiao Tian's help, it can be much faster. At this time, when Xiao Tian had a big cut on his forehead, and it was covered in blood. He looked a little pitiful. But Jiang Lusher hesitated and agreed. The wild boar meat must be put away as soon as possible. Although there are few people in this place, there is no chance of encountering wandering zombies. Jiang Lusher took a bandage from the storage room and bandaged it for Wen Xiao Tian. The two of them cut off large pieces of meat again and again. The red and lean wild boar meat looked darker than the best beef. Each piece weighed dozens of kilograms. Heavy. Definitely good meat. The two of them loaded hundreds of large pieces of meat into the truck bit by bit. Even the last pig bones. Jiang Lusher also moved a lot and stuffed them into the truck. After this vote, Jiang Lusher and Wen Xiaotian were exhausted. Fortunately, no zombies came during the cutting of the mutated wild boar. Otherwise, avoiding zombies would be a headache. Jiang Lusher returned to the base vehicle and lay on the sofa. Breathing heavily, Although he was exhausted after a life and death battle, his heart was full of joy. This apocalypse may be hacked, but he with a star seed base vehicle, it is still possible to live a successful life. Chapter 22 Chuji Along the way, the battle with the mutated wild boar and the cutting of the beast's meat made Jiang Lusher and when Xiao Tian extremely hungry. At this time, Jiang Lusher was lying on the sofa, not wanting to move a finger, but when Xiao Tian was diligent after all. Although she was also very tired, she still made a meal carefully. She used the chili from the Shui boiled fish restaurant to make a plate of boiled pork slices and stir-fried pork. And this meat is the meat of mutated wild boar. Before the stir-fry was served, Jiang Lusher could smell the strong aroma of meat, which really made people want to eat. Just based on the smell, Jiang Lusher guessed that the mutated wild boar meat must taste pretty good. In fact, when Jiang Lusher cut wild boar meat before, he didn't smell the slightest fishy smell. Instead, he felt that the raw meat was fragrant. He had a guess about mutated wild boar meat. Now, most of the guesses have been confirmed. And Jiang Liosher's mouth is watering. Ever since, it was confirmed that the end of the world was coming. I haven't had a good meal for more than a week. And now I'm so hungry that my chest is pressed against my back. How can I not be greedy? However, Jiang Liosher was patient and waited for when Xiao Tian to finish the last dish. The red braised pork was stewed for 40 minutes. He opened the pot, poured the red soup that had been cooked in advance, and picked up a trembling piece of meat, coupled with the fragrant rice just out of the pot. It is really heavenly. Jiang Lusher took a bite with great pleasure, feeling that this was the most delicious thing he had ever eaten in his life. Okay, I thought that after the end of the world, even if I wouldn't starve, I would still have to eat biscuits and instant noodles every day. This would definitely be a scam but I never thought that there would be such delicacies. If his own strength becomes stronger, then this end of the world doesn't seem to be so bad. While Jiang Lusher was thinking about it, he suddenly felt a warmth in his stomach, as if there was an imperceptible heat flow flowing to his limbs and bones. Jiang Liosher's heart moved, and he understood that this should be the so-called energy that enhances physical fitness. But this kind of enhancement is not very obvious. Jiang Lusher glanced at Wen Shout Yan, but he saw that when Xiao Tian completely ignored the image of a lady at this time. While eating the braised pork, his tongue quickly dodged to avoid being burned by the soup. That food is called delicious. Judging from Wen Xiao Tian's expression, she obviously didn't realize the warm feeling of eating mutated wild boar meat because she didn't know it beforehand. It seems that although eating mutant beast meat can enhance physical fitness, it must be extremely slow. 
It must be eaten for a long time to have a little effect. But in this end of the world, mutant beasts are so powerful that it is not easy to hunt one. Ordinary people if they can't afford food. How can they have the chance to eat mutated animal meat? It's useless for them to think about something that requires long-term consumption to strengthen their physique. Jiang Lusher quickly thought of this. And at this time, when Xiao Yan also found Jiang Lusher looking at her, her pretty face turned red, and she suddenly felt embarrassed. She had been so shameless just now. When Xiao Yan inevitably developed a good impression of Jiang Lusher, a young member of the opposite sex who saved her life and was a good person. Although she did not expect to have more interactions with Jiang Lusher in the future, she still cared about her own image. So, when Xiao Yan quietly changed her strategy for dealing with delicious food, resisting the urge to eat the braised pork in one bite and eating it in small bites, Jiang Lusher was amused and thought when Xiao Yan was quite cute sometimes. Well, you are very familiar with the roads nearby, right? Yes, it's quite familiar. When Xiao Yan wiped his mouth and said, I want to go somewhere and I need you to lead the way. Good. In the battle with the mutated wild boar, the base vehicle was severely damaged. This was what Jian Lusher was most worried about. The base vehicle must be repaired as soon as possible. To repair the base vehicle, you need 1200 yellow gasoline, 200 kilograms of steel, 100 kilograms of copper, 30 kilograms of polymer organic plastic, and 200 kilowatt hours of electricity, which is 200 kilowatt hours of electricity. These things must be collected. As for the materials used to upgrade the base vehicle, it is quite simple. 100 kilograms of steel is just enough. It's really cheating. Whether it's before the apocalypse or after the apocalypse, repairing a good car is extremely expensive. Jian Lusher drove a base vehicle, dragging small boxes of goods, and drove through the country roads. Towing is a technical job. Under normal circumstances, the towed vehicle requires a driver because the distance between vehicles must be maintained. When going downhill, the car behind you runs faster than the car in front. You need to brake in time. Otherwise, you will end up in a rear-end collision. And the brakes should not be applied too hard. If the distance is too large and exceeds the length of the tow rope, it would be a tragedy. The tow rope has a maximum load-bearing capacity and cannot withstand a few pulls before braking. Jiang Lusher obviously did not have such conditions. When Xiaofian couldn't step on the brakes at all, and even Jiang Lusher himself couldn't do it, it couldn't be done by a professional driver. So Jian Lusher just ignored it and dragged him behind. No one stepped on the brakes. Of course, there was no problem of the towing rope breaking. As for the rear end collision, what can that do? Hit it! Therefore, on this rural road with extremely poor road conditions, it was impossible to move. Boom! There was a roar at the rear of the vehicle, and the base vehicle shook violently. The weight of the wild boar meat weighed at least 5 to 6 tons with its skin and bone shaved off. Plus the weight of the van. The collision was certainly not light. But? Fine. Let's keep driving. Jian Lusher didn't bother to pay attention. The base car couldn't withstand the impact of the mutated wild boar. And it couldn't withstand the rear end collision of a broken truck like you. Therefore, the damage level of the base vehicle has always been level 3.5. And there is no change at all. But this cargo truck is a bit miserable. The front face is completely dented. There may be problems with the engine. Jian Lusher is too lazy to care about this. Anyway, if the six wheels can spin, it will be okay. If the steel frame does not fall apart. However, dragging such a big guy naturally consumed a lot more gasoline. Originally, Jian Lusher only had 20 liters of gasoline left. Jian Lusher was collecting gasoline wherever he passed. This remote area was not targeted by the army or escapees. Most of the abandoned cars on the road had a lot of gas. Previously, several trucks, including small trucks, donated 200 liters of gasoline to Jian Lusher in front of the Shui Zhu Yu store. Along the way, Jian Lusher got out of the car every time he saw a car. He felt that he was almost becoming a gas guzzler who specializes in stealing gasoline from cars and is hated by everyone. Jian Lusher used the crowbar he got from the car repair shop. Pried open the fuel tank cap. Used a rubber tube to siphon the fuel tank. And then put the other end of the tube into the large gasoline barrel Jian Lusher found from the car repair shop. The principle is to drain the fuel tank to the bottom. This is a technical job. If you don't use too much force, you'll feel so good after just one mouthful of gasoline. But in the end of the world, what can you ask for? Jian Lusher just hopes to quickly upgrade the fuel tank. Go to an abandoned gas station. 
and fill it up with 8 or 9 tons of gasoline, so that he no longer has to worry about it. Time and time again, Jian Lusher felt his mouth cramping. The truck was a little better. If he was lucky, he could smoke 70 or 80 liters in one car. The car was in dire straits. It took a lot of effort to pry open the fuel tank cap. Because the fuel tank is located low and has a small drop. It is not easy to use a siphon to absorb oil. You have to use an empty bucket to barely connect it. After struggling for a long time, I finally got 20 or 30 liters. In the end, Jian Lusher turned over the gas tanks of countless cars. But he got six large barrels of gasoline. Which was probably enough. It's so tiring. It's not even easier than decomposing a mutated wild boar. If you do this thing once, if you do it again, you will definitely die. Chapter 23 Fuel Tank Upgrade On the way, Jian Lusher passed by a large hardware store and bought a diesel generator and a large barrel of diesel. The location of this hardware store was also told to Jian Lusher by Wen Xiaotian. The hardware store is a treasure. Jian Lusher easily obtained a large number of hammers, hammers, electric drills and other tools, and moved them all to the base vehicle and small van. Even the severely deformed cab of the small truck is full of piles. The extremely limited space made Jian Lusha realize that it was imperative to upgrade the base vehicle space. There are so many things that need to be upgraded. Where can I find so many mutant crystal nuclei? A mutant wild boar almost died. Along the way, Jian Lusha also encountered some watering zombies. Although the base vehicle was broken down, there was a problem with instantaneous acceleration. It was not a problem to just kill some ordinary zombies. In this way, Jian Lusher spent a full day and finally arrived at the destination of his trip. This is a three-story black building that looks a bit old. It is located in the middle of a large courtyard of several thousand square meters. The courtyard is surrounded by cement walls. There are broken glass on the top of the cement walls to prevent climbing. The gate is about six to seven meters wide, allowing two cars to pass side by side. The thick iron gate is slightly dilapidated. And the top of the iron gate also has iron spikes like spear points. It looks quite guarded. For this remote country, such a big iron gate, such a wide yard, and a three-story building are all considered towering buildings. When the apocalypse came, the place became empty, and the iron signboard at the door fell slightly, swaying slightly in the wind, making a squeaking, squeaking sound. Jian Lusher saw clearly the seven characters on the sign. Fuang Waste Recycling Station, followed by some small words. Collect secondhand building materials. Collect scrap cars. Collect steel. Copper. Aluminum. Collect plastics. And waste paper. According to Enxiaotian, this is the largest waste recycling station nearby. This recycling station is also a company called Fuang Renewable Resources Recycling and Environmental Protection Company. Limited. The combination of a rustic and aristocratic name makes people feel a bit nondescript. But if it can establish a company, this recycling depot is still quite large which is why Jian Lusher chose this place. Jian Lusher stopped the base vehicle and pressed a button, and the tow rope behind it automatically disconnected. After all, he didn't know what was going on in the waste recycling bin. He couldn't bring a van as a burden during the battle. The door was ajar. Jian Lusher stepped on the accelerator and knocked it open. This large yard of several thousand square meters is filled with various, renewable resources. Next to these resources, there is also a forklift. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Jian Lusher pressed the horn directly. Zombies will be attracted by the sound. There are no people in this area of 7 or 8 miles. So it will not attract more zombies. It will only draw the ones from the waste recycling station building out. Which is easy and safe. Sure enough, as the whistle sounded, a low roar came from the small black building soon. And more than a dozen zombies appeared. As soon as they appeared, they rushed towards Jian Lusher's base vehicle crazily. There were no mutant beasts. Jian Lusher breathed a sigh of relief. If a mutant beast appeared, Jian Lusher could only run away immediately, leaving behind a load of mutant wild boar meat, which was enough for the mutant beast to eat. Although the instantaneous acceleration system of the base vehicle is damaged, it can still accelerate slowly. When the road conditions are good, it can accelerate to a speed of 150 km per hour, and it can still get rid of ordinary mutant beasts. I'll give you a ride! Seeing the zombies rushing towards him, Jian Lusher stepped on the accelerator. Boom, boom, boom. Like a bowling ball that knocked open the pins. More than a dozen zombies were knocked to the ground. And some were directly pushed against the scrap pile and crushed to death. Jian Lusher was very careful. 
He drove the base vehicle back and forth several times to ensure that every zombie was killed. He also honked the horn for five minutes to ensure that no new zombies appeared before Jiang Lusher got out of the vehicle. When Xiao Yan, go to the gate and stand guard. If you are tired, go to the small building to rest. There should be no zombies there. Ah? Then you, repair the car, Jian Lusher said briefly. Jian Lusher didn't want Wen Xiaotian to see the repair and upgrade process of the base car. So he sent her away. Wen Xiaotian blinked her big eyes. Repairing the car? This rich man also knows how to repair cars. But if you think about it carefully, Jian Lusher is probably a car enthusiast who can transform an old minibus into something so awesome. He even hired a team to complete the transformation of this minibus. A young rich second generation with such skills and being able to play with machinery is a talent. When Xiao Yan knew that Jiang Lusher had brought a lot of tools to the car repair shop and the hardware store. And he might really be able to complete car repairs on his own. When Xiao Yan, I need some peace and quiet while repairing the car. And I have to think about some modifications. Don't disturb me. It may take more than a day. Get some food. Don't be hungry. If anything happens, just call me by my name. Jian Lusher gave instructions and drove the base vehicle into a carport of about 100 square meters, while Wen Xiaotian obediently went to stand guard at the door. This waste recycling station has everything you need. When Jian Lusher saw what he liked, he moved it to the carport, moving hundreds of kilograms of steel, copper, plastic, etc. is much easier than collecting gasoline and cutting up a 10-ton mutated wild boar. Jian Lusher needs to upgrade the fuel tank first and then repair the base vehicle. He first took a fancy to some construction scaffolding at the scrap recycling station and planned to use it as steel. But there was a lot of cement residue on these secondhand scaffoldings, which made Jian Lusher very dissatisfied. As for some scrap steel, many are rusty. But there are also some dismantled machine tools. They are all made of good steel. But they are stained with engine oil. They can still be used after cleaning. As for copper, it was even harder to find. Jian Lusher only found some copper hot pots which was obviously not enough. However, after Jian Lusher explored the warehouse and pried open the warehouse door, he was shocked to find that there were a large number of brand new materials in the waste recycling station warehouse. Big bundles of black and blue new steel bars, aluminum alloy building materials, coils of copper wires, cast copper pipes, brand new PPR plastic pipes, and PVC drainage pipes. These are all high quality steel, copper, and water pipes. Are these things also called waste? Jian Lusher was stunned for a while. And then he figured out that sometimes some construction units would secretly steal some building materials when contracting for construction and secretly transport them to sell. And this waste recycling station acted as a middleman to handle these shady materials for them. Stuff and make a fortune out of it. This is actually cheaper for Jian Lusher. He can use the best materials. And of course, there is no need to use inferior ones. Jian Lusher was very excited. He was like a hard-working squirrel, busy carrying materials to his nest. This base vehicle will be his combat base and his safest home in the future. Soon, all the materials were collected, and Star Seed began scanning and transforming. The fuel tank was upgraded first. Soon after, the roar of the diesel generator sounded. Jian Lusher connected the power supply and started repairing the base vehicle. The sun rises and sets, and the whole day passes like this. When Jian Lusher woke up, the modification of the base vehicle had been completed. The brand new base vehicle has been restored as before. The appearance of the fuel tank looks unchanged. But there is an extra 10 cubic meters of extra space inside. After filling it up, you no longer have to worry about gasoline. Chapter 24 This is not a minibus, but a cool sports car. The fuel tank has been upgraded. It has an oil storage capacity of 10 cubic meters and is equipped with an automatic oil retrieval device. The host can transmit oil retrieval information to Star Seed. Drop. With a soft sound. The internal structure plan of the new fuel tank appeared in front of Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher discovered that not only the fuel tank reserves had been upgraded, but the engine's fuel injectors, fuel inlet pipes, and air intake pipes had also been upgraded. Originally, a small capacity fuel tank could not withstand a large amount of gasoline consumption. But now I no longer have to worry about this problem. With the upgraded fuel tank, it can better support the high horsepower engine equipped with the base vehicle, especially the automatic oil extraction device, surprised John Lusher. With this, he no longer had to work hard to draw oil with a straw. The fuel tank upgrade was completed, and John Lusher couldn't wait to give it a try. 
He picked up an oil barrel with a small amount of oil remaining and placed it at the mouth of the fuel tank. Jian Lusher didn't even need a button. Jian Lusher conveyed the order to fetch oil to Xingzhong with his mind. There was a soft click sound. The fuel tank mouth opened automatically. And then a metal pipe protruded from the inside. I don't know what kind of material this metal tube is made of. It can be freely stretched and changed. Jian Lusher looked at the top of the metal tube and found that in addition to a claw that could be opened and closed. There was also a flashing light device at the top, which seemed to be a detection device. Device. The detector rotated and then aimed at the oil drum. Then the metal pipe stretched towards the oil drum. In just a moment, the small amount of oil in the oil drum was sucked away. This oil pipe can not only suck oil from the oil barrel, but also can be connected to the refueling gun at the gas station. The operation can be completed in Jian Liosher's mind. Jian Liosher's heart moved, and he controlled the metal tube to extend further. After experiments, Jian Lusher determined that the longest expansion and contraction distance of the metal pipe is 10 meters. If there are obstacles in the middle, this distance will be shortened a lot. But this result already made Jian Lusher very satisfied, which meant that he could complete refueling without getting out of the car in the future. This is much more convenient and safer. After all, in an apocalyptic environment, many times you have to take huge risks when getting out of your car to get gas. If it is at a gas station in the city, it is even more dangerous. If you are not careful, you will be surrounded by zombies. The base vehicle has a new look and is about to set off to find Jian Zhuying. Before the end of the world came, Jian Lusher had been completing the transformation of the base vehicle. Almost as soon as it was completed, the end of the world came. On the way to Jiling City, Jian Lusher was very anxious and didn't know what happened to Jian Zhuying because he had been delayed for so long due to various things along the way. Look for oil first. Fill up all the new oil tanks. And then go find Xiaoying. Jian Lusher opened the door and jumped into the base vehicle. Boom! The garage door was knocked open by Jian Lusher. Huh? It seems that the acceleration system works better. Jian Lusher didn't use the instantaneous collision function just now. But when he stepped on the accelerator, the acceleration was still much faster. Jian Lusher felt that he was not driving a minibus at all, but a sports car. Various speed changes and direction changes are very flexible. With a large capacity fuel tank, all the previously suppressed performances of the base vehicle have been unlocked. Of course, correspondingly, the gasoline consumption has reached a new level. In the state of fuel saving driving, it is also 35L per 100 kilometers. This fuel consumption sounds large, but compared with the performance of the base car in all aspects, it is simply so fuel efficient. Of course, the premise is that the collision function, air cannon, etc. are not activated. In any case, Jian Lusher is really driving a gas tank now. If you are a gas tiger, you should be a tiger. Combat power comes first. If you can find a gas station that has not been robbed and fill up the gas at once, you can run nearly 30,000 kilometers. That's equivalent to three quarters of a circle around the Earth's equator. The fuel tank is big and it is capricious. Didi Didi. Jian Lusher humped in front of the small black building. Soon, when Xiaoyan, who was hiding in the small building, ran out, her hair was a little messy and her eyes were sleepy. She obviously didn't wake up and ran in a hurry. When he came out and saw Jian Lusher, when Xiaoyan stuck out his tongue and felt a little embarrassed. But soon, her eyes shifted to the base vehicle. The front of the original base vehicle was so badly hit that you could almost see the shape of a wild boar's head. But now, the dented front face and bumper have been repaired. And it looks the same as before. Isn't this car repair technology too awesome? Automobile sheet metal is not a simple job. Although when Xiaoyan doesn't know the specific process, he also knows that this is at least a job that can only be done by professional and technical workers. Jian Lusher, a rich second generation, actually completed it by himself? The most incredible thing is, even the windshield has been repaired. You said you can do car sheet metal. So forget it. How did the windshield, which was mostly broken, be restored to its original state? Not to mention that this scrap recycling station also collects windshields from minibuses. Morning! Jian Lusher said. When Xiaoyan got into the car in a daze, she had heard Jian Lusher say that he wanted to repair the car before. When Xiaoyan thought that it would be good if Jian Lusher didn't put a few iron patches on the shabby looking minibus. I didn't expect to be able to cultivate like this. This is too exaggerated. So as soon as she got in the car, when Xiaoyan stared at the windshield, she couldn't restrain her curiosity and asked in a low voice, This glass. Glass? 
Oh! Jean Lushirkov dryly opened his eyes and said nonsense. I have a spare piece installed in the storage box under the car. Spare? When Xiaoqian's eyes widened, he heard that there were people with spare tires. But he had never heard of people with spare windshields. This is too outrageous. Of course, no matter how rich Wen Xiaoqian's imagination was, she would never have thought that Jian Liosher's base car was actually a black technology. With the car's own self-repair function, although she felt something was wrong, she had no choice but to accept Jian Liosher's explanation. The town ahead is my home. If you need to find a gas station, there are also gas stations in the town. Jian Liosher passed through remote areas and country roads. Of course, a gas station could not be opened on a small village road. Now, Jian Lusher will finally encounter his first gas station. There is a gas station. The gas stations on the highway have long been controlled by the military. When the end of the world comes, gasoline is a very important material like food. In this rural town, the transportation is very inconvenient. And there are a lot of zombies along the way. Jian Lusher believes that the military will not be able to reach out here in a short time. This gas station is very promising. After upgrading the fuel tank, all aspects of the base car's fuel-consuming performance will be unlocked. And it is imminent to replenish gasoline. Chapter 25 Speeding Party The straight country road has only two narrow lanes. There are old locust trees planted on both sides of the road. These old trees have been growing for decades. Each tree is tall and strong. Every summer, the place is full of snow-white locust trees. Then a large number of beekeepers came here to raise bees and sell honey on both sides of the road. Unfortunately, now, the end of the world is approaching. And such a scene will never happen again. Jian Lusher also saw several abandoned and dilapidated beehives on both sides of the road. Several abandoned vehicles were parked on the road. And the people on them had long disappeared. This is the town where when Xiaotian's family is located there are only two crossroads in the center of the whole town. Which can be said to be a palm-sized place. All commercial shops. Small restaurants rural credit cooperatives, etc. are gathered on these streets. Crossing the highway. Squeak. There was a slight sound of brakes. And a minibus stopped at an intersection. Immediately afterwards. Boom. There was a roar. And the minivan pulled by the minibus came into close contact with the minibus. Causing the minibus to shake violently. When Xiaoyan swayed and glanced at the scene at the rear of the car uneasily. He was pulling a small truck along the way and had rear-ended him countless times. Is it really okay to hit him like this? Jian Lusher sat in the driver's seat and looked around. Next to this intersection is a noodle shop. There are several cars parked on the road. One of the cars hit a lamppost. And its front face was completely dented. The broken windshield was covered with solidified brown blood scabs. I don't know if the people in the car were killed directly or were ripped out and eaten by zombies. My home is in a small alley about 200 meters ahead. When Xiaoyan said nervously, as she approached her home, when Xiaoyan felt uneasy, she almost stayed up all night last night. Every time she woke up from nightmares, she dreamed that her family members were eaten by zombies and their limbs were mutilated, or they simply turned into zombies. Scene. Especially now that she saw the tragic scene in her hometown. She became even more worried, and even felt like she didn't dare to go home. The scenes in front of her made her heart beat fast. But home is just ahead. No matter how scared you are, you have to go back. However, Jian Lusher did not start the car immediately or get out of the car. He just held the steering wheel as if he was deep in thought. What? What's wrong? When Xiaoyan asked Jian Lusher uneasily, she originally thought that Jian Lusher stopped by the noodle shop to collect food. But it turned out that this was not the case. It's weird. There's something wrong with this town. Jian Lusher seemed to be talking to himself. Huh? When Xiaoyan was startled, not knowing what Jian Lusher said was wrong. It's too quiet. A small town has a population of at least 30,000 to 40,000 people. The center of the town is the most densely populated. And there should be thousands of people gathering there. But now, there are very few zombies on the road. Jian Lusher glanced over and could barely see a few zombies wandering in the distance. It stands to reason that the business district of this town is not only full of zombies, but also thousands of zombies. It is not difficult to drive there by yourself. But running over it is extremely bloody which is also a big challenge. Plus there are so many zombies. Among the zombies, there might be another mutant beast, which would increase the risk factor extremely. This situation was no longer necessary. But Jian Lusher had a strange feeling in his heart. Yes, yes. When Xiaotian was too worried about his family before, 
and didn't notice anything unusual in the town for a while. Not only are there not many zombies, but the roads are not as congested as expected. There shouldn't be many cars in your town. However, the apocalypse has suddenly come and car accidents have occurred frequently. The road should have been blocked. But look now, this road can still be used, although there are many abandoned vehicles on the road. They are basically parked on both sides of the road, although a few vehicles are overturned in the middle of the road. Both sides are empty and can be easily bypassed. Then, when Xiaoyan also noticed what Jian Lusher said, this road may have been cleared by someone. Is there an army coming? A glimmer of hope suddenly appeared in her eyes. If that was the case, then the safety of her family would be somewhat guaranteed. I'm afraid not. Jian Lusher shook his head. The National Army is not a big cabbage. It is usually stationed in one place. After the end of the world, it will be good to be able to take care of big cities. There is no time to take care of such a small town with no corners. Yes. The light in Wenxiaqian's eyes dimmed again with disappointment. But she also knew that what Jian Lusher said was correct. But she was not rational enough at this time. You'll understand once you get in. Jian Lusher started the car slowly and was wary of his surroundings. The zombies were quite a distance away from the car. And the minibus didn't make much noise when it started or drove. So the zombies didn't notice it. The minibus driving forward slowly was like a disguise sneaking into the town. Moving deep and unnoticed. However, Jian Lusher didn't know that his car was now in the field of vision of a handheld binoculars. Brother Zhang, someone is here. A young man, who was thin and dark and looked a bit like a monkey, said with a smile. Maybe there is a little bit of oil. Oh! The man called Brother Zhang is a muscular man, wearing a tight-fitting vest with prominent muscles all over his body. A bit like a fitness instructor in a gym. He took a look at the telescope and saw that it was a dilapidated minibus. What made Brother Zhang laugh or cry the most was that the car was also dragging an even worse box of cargo. The impact of the box of goods was terrible. I don't know how many times the front of the car has been tortured. And the paint has peeled off. It's such a broken car. If it's sent to a scrap car recycling station, it will be collected as scrap metal. And it's still being dragged around? This is also called oil and water. I think you are out of your mind. This is a country bumpkin who ran out of some ravine. He probably wants to go to the army. He just gave me this old car for nothing. Don't want, Brother Jean said angrily. And the skinny monkey man looked flattering. Didn't brother you tell us to find gasoline and food? Although the price of this car is a bit low. It was driven from outside the town. And the car is still somewhat alive. Well, maybe there are local specialties from the countryside. We have almost finished searching for everything we can in the town. Brother you also asked us to find something. Grasshopper leg meat is also meat. Besides, there may be a girl from the country. The thin monkey man said, showing an indescribable smile. Brother Zhang pondered slightly and got on a motorcycle. He waved his hand behind him. And the thin monkey man hurriedly got on the back seat of the motorcycle, carrying a steel pipe on his shoulders. He waved his hand behind him and shouted domineeringly, Brothers, follow us. Buzz. Motorcycles roared. Seven or eight motorcycles, each carrying two or three people. And a group of gangster-looking motorcycle gangs rushed towards the minibus like locusts. Chapter 26 Crazy Minibus the base vehicle drove slowly. Turn left here and drive a little further after entering this road. When Xiaoyan pointed to the road and said, At this moment, Jian Lusher suddenly flicked the steering wheel. And the base vehicle, which was crawling like a snail, suddenly turned sideways. When Xiaoyan suddenly screamed, and his body swayed with the rotation of the car, but with her seatbelt on, she was just startled by the sudden change. Huh? A young man on a motorcycle that had just rushed out was stunned for a moment. He had just rushed out of an alley close to the base vehicle. He originally wanted to smash the window from the side. But he didn't expect that although the young driver was driving at a slow speed, his reaction was quite fast. Moreover, the car changed direction too quickly. He was unprepared and almost lost his balance and fell down. As soon as when Xiaoyan raised his head, he heard the sound of an engine coming from around him. She looked out the window and was shocked to see seven or eight motorcycles rushing out of the alleys and circling around their cars. The young men on the motorcycles were either carrying iron bars or axes, and they looked like they were evil. The motorcycle that almost fell over just now came around to the front, and the young man on the bike shouted unhappily, You idiot! Stop the car! Brother Jian. When Xiao Yan looked at Jian Lusher nervously, these people looked vicious and did not look like good people. Originally, 
Meeting survivors instead of zombies was a good thing. But now when Xiao Tian also felt scared. Jiang Lusher looked at these motorcycles silently. These people obviously had bad intentions. How could he stop the motorcycles? So after listening to this young man's words, Jiang Lusher showed no intention of stopping the car at all. Seeing that the driver ignored him, the young man cursed, hack, drove to the back with a woo, and said to Brother Zhang, he won't stop. The thin monkey man behind, Brother Zhang, hurriedly asked, do you have a girl? There seems to be one. He, he. The skinny monkey man immediately geared up. I forced him to stop and dragged a broken truck. Where do you want to go? What do you think? Brother Zhang? He did not forget to ask, Brother Zhang, for instructions. Brother Zhang nodded and said, If you go up and smash his glass, be careful. No problem. The young man responded. The seven or eight motorcycles immediately started to move with a whining sound, approaching the minibus. When Xiaoyan watched a motorcycle approaching the window, through the window, she saw the three young men on the car showing evil smiles to her, shouting, and then, bang, a sound. The two young men sitting in the back smashed the car window with steel pipes. Ah! When Xiaoyan dodged instinctively, don't be afraid, Jian Lusher said without looking. How could the bulletproof glass be smashed by the steel pipe, compared with the strength of the mutated wild boar? Their little strength was not enough to show up. The two young men also felt uncomfortable. Not only did the blow not break the glass, but it caused their steel pipes to bounce back. One of them lost his steel pipe, and both of their arms were shocked and painful. At this time, Jiang Lusher slowly stepped on the accelerator and began to accelerate. What do these people do? When Xiaoyan turned to look at those people and asked in shock, Robbery, Jiang Lusher said. Robbery? When Xiaoyan's eyes widened. At this time, Robbery? Maybe it's to steal girls. Jian Lusher added. When Xiaotian was stunned for a moment. And then involuntarily tightened his collar. Judging from the way those people looked at her. It was very possible. Jian Lusher was ready to get rid of these speedsters first. Neri! Stop the car quickly! After a series of failures. These speedsters not only did not intend to give up. But began to get angry. Whoa! Several more cars approached. This time they approached Jian Lusher. In one of the cars. A young man stood up from the back seat, raised his axe, and smiled evilly. He looked at Jian Lusher in the cab. Jian Lusher frowned immediately, watching the car approaching. He listened to the values that Star C kept reminding him, and gave it another sharp shake. There was a bang, and just as the man was raising his axe to chop him, he was directly hit by the minibus that suddenly swung. Everyone including the motorcycle he was on lost their balance and fell down all of a sudden. Go a long way. The young man above fell to the ground and screamed like a ghost. This driver has two brushes. Brother Zhang was stunned. He didn't expect to come to rob a mosquito's legs. But he encountered a tough problem. But good driving skills are of no use. It's just a broken minibus. Come on! Burst his tire! Brother Zhang shouted. The thin monkey behind him immediately took out a bag, which contained various things that could puncture the tires. All he had to do was go around to the front of the minibus and throw it on the ground. Hearing the shout of Brother Zhang, the other motorcycles also approached the minibus. But before Brother Zhang and the others could do anything, the minibus suddenly turned and then turned around. Jian Lusher looked at these locust-like speedsters with a serious expression. Originally, he just wanted to get rid of these people. But he didn't expect them to be like dogskin plasters. And that axe blow just now was clearly intended to kill him. These people were so ruthless. So there was no need for him to show mercy. Seeing that this minibus actually turned around, Brother Zhang was stunned, wondering what the young driver was going to do. What does he want to do? Leave the town? However, at this moment, Brother Zhang suddenly shrank his pupils. This minibus suddenly accelerated and then drove straight towards him. On the motorcycle at the front, the man on it was holding an iron rod and screaming strangely. Before he could react, he was directly hit by the minibus. Then the minibus continued to drive forward without stopping. Hack! The other motorcycles suddenly realized something and hurriedly drove to the side. However, this minibus was obviously very bulky and large. But it was more flexible than the motorcycle in steering. The minibus chased after him directly. And with another bang, the motorcycle and its occupants crashed into a nearby store. The huge noise and the screams of the speedsters made the rest of the speedsters tremble with fear and were stunned at the same time hit two motorcycles in succession. This driver is also ruthless. Immediately afterwards, the minibus pulled out again. 
and then aimed at Brother Zhang's car again. Holy shit! Brother Zhang, as heart skipped a beat. This dilapidated minibus actually gave him the feeling of being targeted by a ferocious beast. That old front face that could be seen everywhere on the road seemed to have cold eyes, which made him tremble with fear. Chapter 27 A Mess Damn! This car is crazy! Brother Zhang was still thinking about how to deal with it. But when the minibus suddenly accelerated and rushed over, he didn't care about anything and rushed in crazily. In the alley next to it, hearing a sharp screech of brakes coming from the alley behind him, Brother Zhang looked back and looked at the front of the minibus with an unbelievable feeling. Brother Zhang, what should we do now? The thin monkey man still felt like he was surviving a disaster. And he asked with a dry mouth, How the H, I do I know? Brother Zhang cursed angrily. His heartbeat has not yet calmed down. Although this minibus is relatively large, it is so broken and burdensome. Who would have thought that it would perform so well? And the windshield failed to be broken twice in a row. A total of three cars were overturned. And everyone on them was probably dead. Even if they were not dead, the serious injuries could not be treated at this time. I don't know how to tell brother you about this. Seeing the rest of the speedsters getting back into the alley, Jian Lusher stepped on the brakes and stopped when Xiao Yan also had an expression that she had not yet reacted to. After Jian Lusher hit the first car with his car, she closed her eyes tightly, but she probably knew what happened after that. Most of those who were hit were either dead or injured. But if they didn't do this, if she and Jian Lusher fell into the hands of these speeding gangs, their end might be even more miserable than theirs. When Xiao Yan turned her head and looked at Jian Lusher, she saw that Jian Lusher seemed to be calming down. After he took a few breaths, he looked at her calmly. These people should not appear again for a while. Where did you just say your home is? Although Jian Liosher's memory is good, he has no advantage in finding the way, especially this unfamiliar road. Under Wen Xiaotian's guidance, Jian Liosher drove the base vehicle to a courtyard, and the vehicle stopped at the entrance of the courtyard. The courtyard wall is not high, and the open space in the courtyard is not large. There are some flowers and plants planted inside, and there is a vegetable patch in the corner. There is also a row of great porous bricks inside. And some chives are growing well. The floor is made of cement. And there are some moss and fine weeds growing up from the constant accumulation of water near the wall. The low two-story building looks like it is in the style of the 1990s. But the old windows are very clean. Right. This is my home. When Xiaoyan said uneasily, she pinched her fingers nervously a few times. Then bit her lip and stood up from the passenger seat and walked to the door of the car. Wait a moment. Jian Lusher stopped her and honked the horn twice. Beep! The horn of the base vehicle was very clear and bright, but not harsh. Jian Lusher looked at the situation inside the small building through the windshield, and then looked around. There are no zombies in other buildings. When the horn sounded, when Xiaotian's heart suddenly rose to his throat, and he stared nervously at the security door of the small building, fearing that the door would suddenly vibrate and some noise would come from behind. Jian Lusher pressed the horn several times in succession. But there was no unusual movement. He looked at Wen Xiaotian and signaled that she was not in danger and could get out of the car. Wen Xiaotian nodded nervously. After taking a deep breath, he finally plucked up the courage to open the car door, got out of the car, and walked into the courtyard. Jian Lusher watched Wen Xiaotian walk to the door of the house. She took out the key and opened the door. Her hands were shaking, and it took a while before she opened the door. Jian Lusher understood Wen Xiaotian's mood very well. If he had not stayed in the car for safety reasons, Jian Lusher would have gone down to accompany her. But in this weird town, for the safety of him and Wen Xiaotian, it was most appropriate for him to stay in the car. There are residential buildings around here, but there are no zombies. There are very few zombies in this entire area. When Jian Lusher observed the surrounding buildings, he found that blood stains could be seen on the doorways and windows of some rooms. At this time, Wen Xiaotian had already come out of the house. She returned to the car with a confused expression. How's it going? Jian Lusher asked quickly. Just now. He was also paying attention to what happened after when Xiaotian entered the house. But he only heard her calling for her family and no other sounds. Judging from when Xiaotian's appearance, it seemed that the situation was not good. No one is home. When Xiaotian said, the situation at home was very messy. There was rubbish everywhere on the floor. The furniture had been moved. The refrigerator door was open and all the food was gone. Maybe they escaped? When Xiaotian told Jian Lusher what he saw, with a trace of lucky expectation in his heart, Jian Lusher looked at the door. Although he didn't say anything, 
He felt it was unlikely. How could one escape in that situation and lock the door so well? Close all the windows. And draw the curtains? Moreover, escaping won't ruin the family like that. Taking away food is normal. But what about moving furniture? Jian Lusher was still analyzing when Xiaotian's words. But when Xiaotian's mind was obviously blank. After returning home and not finding his family. When Xiaotian was at a loss and didn't know what to do now. In fact, when she decided to come back. She also thought that this might happen. But when it actually happened, she still felt at a loss. Everyone in her family has disappeared. And she didn't leave a note or anything. There is no news at all. When Xiao Yan, Jian Lusher suddenly spoke. You just said, what was missing on the sofa? When Xiao Tian was stunned for a moment. And then said, quilt or something. Apart from these, what's the garbage on the ground? Jian Lusher asked. When Xiao Tian didn't know why Jian Lusher asked this, she said, I've read it all. And my family didn't leave anything for me. It's not for you. Look around here. There are very few zombies. The house is closed and the windows are closed. There are probably people living there. There is a quilt on the sofa. Maybe because someone is sleeping on it. If there is still domestic garbage at home. It is more likely. Jian Lusher expressed his speculation. He made this inference after analyzing many details. Otherwise, he would not have said such words casually and given when Xiao Tian unnecessary hope. Following Jian Lusher's words. When Xiao Tian's eyes opened wider and wider, Jian Lusher said, You can go and take a look again to confirm whether it is the situation I mentioned. Before he finished speaking, when Xiao Tian ran out of the car, much faster than before. Chapter 28 Are You Kidding Me? After when Xiao Tian's repeated confirmation, Jian Lusher's guess was indeed correct. With Jian Lusher's tips, when Xiao Tian soon discovered many traces of human life in the house, including buckets in the bathroom, food residues in garbage bags, and even many footprints on the floor, etc. When Xiao Yan admired Jiang Liuxia's insight, he could analyze such an important thing just by listening to his own description without even getting out of the car. What should we do now? When Xiao Yan was excited knowing that her family might still be alive. In fact, she was usually a relatively independent girl. Otherwise, she wouldn't have made up her mind and asked Jiang Liuxia to take her back with him. But now her thoughts were tense. And it was Jiang Liuxia who made the right decision along the way that allowed them to arrive safely. So even though his family might be right in front of him, when Xiao Yan still felt that he should consult Jian Liuxia's opinion on what to do. Just wait here. Jian Liuxia looked around. This place was relatively safe. He put the seat back, laid down on his back, and began to close his eyes and rest. During this period of time, he was driving. Although he had rest at night, he was still a little tired. When Xiao Yan must not be able to sleep, so she would be the one to stand guard. In fact, even if when Xiao Yan didn't stand guard, there wouldn't be much of a problem. As long as the doors of the base vehicle are locked, it becomes a weakened version of the mobile fortress. Ordinary zombies and even mutant beasts cannot knock over or destroy the base vehicle at once. Jian Lusher had no time to react. When Xiao Yan looked at Jian Lusher lying on his back and found that his breathing soon became even and long. I really fell asleep. When Xiao Yan said in her heart, she felt that Jian Lusher was not afraid. No matter what happened, he was resolutely executing his plan and was a very calm person. But it's probably impossible to not be afraid at all. When Xiao Yan kept looking around, feeling as if his family members would walk out of an alley in the next second. More than an hour later, Jian Lusher suddenly opened his eyes. As he sat up, the driver's seat returned to its original state. It seems like someone is coming. A sound of footsteps came from an alley on the left. After the end of the world, Jian Liuxia's sleep became very light, and he was actually awake, but he continued to rest. With his eyes closed, he became more aware of the sounds around him. Yes! When Xiao Yan also suddenly became nervous, she heard the sound too. When Xiao Yan bit her lip and looked at the alley with her heart beating fast, Jian Liuxia put his hands on the steering wheel, with a hint of vigilance in his eyes. Who knows if the speedsters we met before will come back? This place is not peaceful. The footsteps were getting closer and closer. They were very messy, and there were probably a lot of people there. When Xiaotian's mood was also extremely nervous. Soon, a dozen men and women quickly walked out of the alley. As they walked, they carefully observed to the left, right and behind. Several of them were carrying pockets and bags, and the rest were carrying various weapons, such as steel bars. These people were old and young, and they all looked ordinary, of ordinary people. 
seeing these people coming out? When Xiaoyan rushed to the car window, her eyes hurriedly scanning the faces of these people, identifying them one by one. She first showed an anxious and disappointed look. Why not? Then, she suddenly stretched her neck and her eyes widened. Lulu! Lulu! When Xiaoyan waved her hands excitedly, following her line of sight, Jian Lusher saw a girl who looked somewhat similar to her. She looked younger, with a ponytail, a dirty face, and was wearing a dusty jacket. He was carrying a canvas bag and an iron rod, looking very tired. When Xiaoyan waved desperately behind the car window, but for a moment she forgot that the car window was invisible from the outside. Those people walked towards this side and were stunned when they saw the car. After Jian Lusher saw their surprise, he showed a look of fear and disgust, as well as some confusion and uncertainty. The ponytail girl hurriedly took out a package of something from her backpack and stuffed it into her large jacket. The people next to her watched her movements without stopping them. Then, they walked carefully towards the minibus. When Shout Yan, Jian Lusher shouted. When Shout Yan suddenly came to his senses, turned around and ran towards the car door, and said excitedly, Brother Jiang, I saw my sister. That's good, Jian Lusher said. He was still sitting in the driver's seat, watching through the car window as when Xiaotian ran out of the car, then walked around the front of the car and walked out from behind the minibus. The people were slowly approaching and looking at the minibus suspiciously, when they suddenly saw a young girl walking out from behind the front of the bus with an excited expression. These people were startled at first, but before they could react, Wen Lu, who was also stunned for a moment, had already rushed over. The two sisters immediately hugged each other tightly. Lulu! When Xiaoyan's eyes were moist. When Lu couldn't help crying. Sister! I didn't expect to see you alive! The survivors looked at each other, all looking as if they were in trouble. When Lu hugged when Xiaoyan and cried for a while, then wiped away her tears and turned to the survivors and said, This is my sister! One survivor glanced at when Xiaoyan blankly and asked, Your sister? I remember. You said your sister is at Jiambei University. Right. Jiambei is not close to here. In this apocalyptic environment, such a long distance is a natural chasm for ordinary people. No matter life or death, it is normal to never see each other again. When Lu turned her head, looked at Wen Xiaotian's face, stared at it several times, and then burst into laughter. Then she also asked, Sister, how did you come back? I thought I would never see you again in this life. When Xiaotian was also very happy, she pointed to the minibus behind her and said, It's brother Jiang. He drove the car and came from Jiang with me. Drive? Just this car? Not only Wen Lu, but also the survivors looked at the dilapidated minibus and the tattered minivan towed behind with disbelief. Can a car like this be driven from Jiang Who is brother Jiang? When Xiaotian pulled Wen Lu to the front of the car, and the survivors also gathered around curiously, a dozen people looked at Jiang Lusher in the driver's seat with stunned eyes through the windshield, who was waving to them. Jiang Lusher felt a little embarrassed with his raised hand, although the group of people hadn't said anything yet. He had already seen the sentence from their eyes. Are you kidding us? Chapter 29 Curiosity is Overwhelming Jiang Lusher was still sitting in the car, while he was carefully looking at the map from this town to Jinling City on his tablet. He turned his head and took a look inside the two-story building of the Wen family. When Xiaotian has been in there for more than an hour, and the two sisters are in a room on the second floor, when he was looking at the Wen family, the curtains in the room moved. Jian Lusher saw Wen Lu's face appear behind the curtains, looked towards his minibus, and then quickly retracted. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment, then raised his eyebrows indifferently, and then went to look at the map. Sister, did he really kill a mutated wild boar? Wen Lu looked away, let go of the curtains, and still asked in disbelief. Is that pig really that scary? Of course. Everything I said is true. When Xiaotian's eyes were red. When Lu had just told her that their parents had died. But the conditions were simple, and they could only be buried simply. In fact, after this journey, when Xiaotian felt that it was very comforting to be able to rest in peace. After all, more people had no bones left. But even so, when Xiaotian was still grief-stricken, the two sisters held their heads and cried for a full hour before they temporarily restrained their grief. After calming down, Wen Lu asked Wen Xiaotian in detail how she came here. Jiang Lusher looked to be about the same age as her sister Wen Xiaotian, probably a college student, and not very strong. Just two people drove a shabby minibus all the way from Jiang Bay to this small town safely. Even though the facts are right in front of you, it still makes people feel incredible. 
after listening to Wen Xiaotian's narration. Wen Lu felt even more unbelievable. Break out from the zombies and kill the mutated wild boar. Anyway, I really have to thank him, Wen Lu said. Yeah, Wen Xiaotian nodded. She also glanced out the window. In fact, she only told Wen Lu part of the situation. She didn't mention anything about Jian Lu Shi or the minibus. For example, she didn't say anything about the part where they cut off wild boar meat and put it in the car. The speedster gang she encountered before made when Xiao Yan wary of strangers. By the way, Lu Lu, who are these people in our family? When Xiao Yan asked, after knowing when Xiao Qian's identity, the survivors looked at her and the minibus with great curiosity. Although when Xiao Yan didn't think her sister would have anything to do with the speedsters, she still had doubts about the identities of these strangers. They are all residents of this small town. And sister, your memory is really bad. Didn't you even recognize Aunt Lee's daughter next door? Wen Lu said. It turned out to be ordinary residents and neighbors. After the apocalypse, we slowly got together, looking for food together during the day, and taking turns guarding at night. At this time, there is no difference between everyone. It's a bit like a primitive society, working together and sharing fairly. Wen Lu continued, said. It must be very dangerous. When Xiao Yan said worriedly, her younger sister is a high school student. She used to be scared to death when she saw a cockroach. But now she actually goes outside to look for food. But she also knew that if she wanted to survive, she had to rely on herself and she had to play her own role. It's okay. It used to be very dangerous. But now there aren't many zombies. It's just that those people are disgusting. When we first saw the minibus, we thought they were here again. Wen Lu said. Them? When Xiao Tian was stunned for a moment and said, Are they those people riding motorcycles? When Lu's eyes widened, Did you meet them? How's it going? Did they do anything to you? She asked anxiously. It's nothing. When Xiao Tian told them what happened, after hearing Jian Lu Shi decisively knocking those people away, Wen Lu didn't come back to her senses for a long time. Oh my god! You haven't said yet. Why did those people come to our house? When Xiao Tian asked hurriedly, when Lu used the word, again. Obviously those people had been here before. When Xiao Tian saw the disgusting faces of those people, and immediately became extremely worried about Wen Lu. They are here to collect protection fees. Wen Lu frowned and said with disgust. This group of people has a leader who leads all the zombies away. So for us survivors, they have to they charge protection fees. At first, we thought that since the environment was relatively safe, we should pay a small price. However, they were too cruel and were basically driving us towards death. Having said this, Wen Lu pulled out a very dirty hat and scarf from under the bed and said, They also forced several girls to be their girlfriends before. So I had no choice but to change my clothes. When they came, they had to put this on. A girl who loves to be clean has to do this. When Xiao Yan felt distressed and angry, There's nothing we can do about it. Wen Lu said helplessly, They, ordinary people, can't do anything. Forget it. Don't talk about this. It's good to be alive. Sister, have you eaten? Wen Lu asked. When they got downstairs, when Xiao Tian saw that the survivors were doing things silently, either sorting and checking weapons or sorting out food. Most of the food they took out from their backpacks were snacks and the like. The packaging bags were dirty, full of dust, and many of them were squashed. There were even disgusting blood stains on some of the bags. A girl wearing rubber gloves was cleaning the bags with a small basin. Sister Xiao Yan. The girl looked up, smiled, and said H. Low to Wen Xiao Yan. This girl is Aunt Li's daughter that Wen Lu said. But it's no wonder that Wen Xiao Yan didn't notice her before. Her face was dirty. Her hair was gray. And she didn't wash it for an unknown amount of time. Only in this way will those speedsters be disgusted and not have any thoughts towards them. There is less food today. It is getting harder and harder to collect. A middle-aged man complained after sorting the food. Another old man who looked to be about 60 years old said, It's not that there is no harvest at all. Didn't I find half a bag of rice in a family's house today? This is good stuff. That's true. But I have to hand over half of it. And the rest is only enough for a few meals. The middle-aged man frowned. It would be nice to have a few hot meals. The old man looked very happy. He looked at Wen Xiaoyan and said, Lulu's sister has arrived today. This is a great event. How about cooking today? This is so bad. When Xiao Yan stopped him quickly. Go and call that young man over. Let's have dinner together. The old man continued. I'm going to wash rice now. Then I'll call you. 
when Lu excitedly walked out of the door and walked to the minibus. Regardless of when Xiaoyan still waving her hands. After hearing what Wen Xiaoyan said, Wen Lu was very curious about Jian Lusher. Chapter 30 The Road Ahead is Unknown. Boom! Wen Lu knocked on the car door twice and looked into the car curiously. The glass on the windows and doors is filmed. So even if you put your face on it, you can't see what's going on inside from the outside. After hearing Wen Xiaoyan's description, Wen Lu became very interested in the car. From the outside, this car looks like a very old minibus usually used for urban and rural passenger transport. On the inside, is this car really a RV? When Lu found it hard to imagine without seeing it with her own eyes. Hearing the knock on the door, Jian Lusher turned his head and glanced, then pressed the button to open the door. When Lu walked into the car excitedly, looking at the situation inside the car eagerly, and said, Hello! I'm here to invite you! Wow! The situation in the car made Wen Lu unable to help but let out an exclamation before she even finished her words. The interior of this car is luxuriously decorated. Although the area is not large, it is fully equipped with everything. Moreover, these furniture are packed into the limited space. But they do not give people any feeling of being cramped and cramped. Wen Lu glanced over and felt her eyes light up immediately. After the end of the world, although she still lived in her own home, her living conditions were not as good as before. The water and electricity were cut off, and there was no food. For girls, the last bathroom without water was a challenge, and they had to force themselves to adapt. When Lu stood at the door and watched in amazement, dumbfounded for a moment, not only because the luxury of the minibus shocked her, but also because she heard from when Xiaotian that Jian Lusher was a car enthusiast. He probably did all these things himself, and he repaired the car himself when it broke down. Looking at it now, when Lu couldn't see any sign that the car had been repaired. She couldn't imagine what Wen Xiaotian said about the broken glass and dented front face. What do you find me for? It wasn't until Jian Lusher asked that Wen Lu suddenly came back to her senses. Ah, I'm sorry. Your car is so powerful. I was dumbfounded. Wen Lu said with a smile. Thank you, Jian Lusher said. Wen Lu's personality is obviously much more lively than Wen Xiaotian's. But both sisters have one characteristic. That is, their smiles are sincere. I'm here to treat you to a meal. I'm lucky today. I just found half a bag of rice, which can be used to make a delicious fried rice. Thank you so much for sending my sister back. Fortunately, you are today otherwise. I wouldn't be able to give you anything to thank you for, Wen Lu said, looking very happy to be able to bring out the best food to entertain Jian Lusher. But being able to eat fried rice is indeed a very good treatment. After Wen Lu and the others ate up all the food in the house and the surrounding neighbors, they were still hungry for two meals. When the refrigerator was powered off, a lot of food rotted, and not much food could be found from residents' homes. Even if you can find some, you still have to take a big risk. There may be zombies hidden in these houses. In addition, those speedster gangs have already looted most supermarkets and canteens, so their collection range is very small. This bag of rice is really hard-earned. According to Wen Lu's speculation, Jian Lusher and Wen Xiaoyan may have had a more difficult time than they did. Not only could I not find food, but I was also frightened. So I was probably very hungry. No need. Jian Liosher's answer was quite unexpected. Wen Lu was stunned for a moment, and then continued, You're welcome. It's just a meal. In fact, it's nothing compared to you sending my sister back. I'm not being polite. I really don't need it. Jian Liosher said with a smile. These people were living so hard. How could he have the nerve to eat their food? Moreover, Jian Liosher who had already eaten mutated beast meat, really had no expectations for fried rice. On the other hand, Jian Lusher was also wary of these dozen strange survivors. His car was full of grain and gasoline, and the cargo he was pulling was full of solid meat. In an apocalyptic environment, faced with the temptation of large amounts of food, no one can be sure what others will do. When Lu refused to give up and invited several more times, but when Jian Lusher still shook his head, she had to give up. She was about to get out of the car when she suddenly remembered something. She came back and took out something from her arms. I hurriedly hid this when I mistakenly thought you were one of those speedsters. You brought my sister here. I must thank you. Take it and don't say no again. When Lu couldn't help but stuff it into John's hand. Liosher's hand. Jian Liosher was stunned for a moment and looked at Wen Lu up close. She actually looked very cute. But her face was a little dirty. Jian Liosher felt a little happy when he saw her puffing out her cheeks as if she would be angry if he refused again. Okay, 
I'll accept it, Jian Lusher said. It's really just a pack of biscuits. Already crushed? But judging from the remaining body temperature on it, even this pack of biscuits was very precious to Enlu. Although Jian Lusher was not short of food, he took the bag of biscuits in his hand and put it aside with great appreciation. Do you have little food? Jian Lusher asked. Actually, the food collected is barely enough to eat. But those speedsters are vampires, and they squeeze them too much. When Lu shook her head and said, Speed car gang? Yes. My sister told me that they are the group of people you met. When Lu told Jian Lusher exactly what she told Wen Xiaotian, and finally said, Those people, but unfortunately, they finally hit a nail when they met you, and they finally suffered a loss. However, they also did a good thing. Originally, there were many zombies in the town, but their leader led them all to the small town. It's on the outskirts of town. Oh, attracted zombies? Jian Lusher was very interested in the leader mentioned by Wen Lu. How did their leader lure all the zombies away? He had felt that something was wrong with this town before. There were too few zombies, but he didn't expect that they were all lured away. You can still find ways to deal with those zombies one or two. But when there are more of them, most people will only be eaten by them if they encounter them. And it is impossible to even escape. But this leader can actually lead so many zombies away. Are those speedsters following him? Have you seen the leader? Jean Lusher asked. These people are all his men, following him to show off his power. Wen Lu said. Anyway, I heard that he is very powerful. Not an ordinary person. Some people who resisted him before were killed by him. But I have never seen him. Of course. He is the best I have ever seen. And nothing good will happen to him. Not an ordinary person. Jian Lusher became more and more curious as he listened. That's right. Wen Lu said, suddenly realizing something. And a very worried look suddenly appeared on her face. They will come here to collect supplies today. If they see your car, they will definitely look for you. Troublesome. So, although Jian Lusher sympathized with Wen Lu and the others' experiences, he actually didn't feel too much in the final analysis. Although the motorcycle gang is hateful, it is also true that there are no zombies in this area because of their boss. So even though Wen Lu complained and hated her, she didn't resist. More importantly, the other party was too strong for them to resist. And the survivors obviously didn't either. Now the speedsters are hungry. But if there are zombies everywhere, they might be able to fill their stomachs. If Wen Lu and Wen Xiaotian were taken away, they could be sent to a safer and more stable place. And Jian Lusher didn't mind doing this. However, he himself did not know what the next journey would be like. And he knew nothing about the situation in Jin Ling. If you take these two sisters away, how will you take care of them in the future? So after listening to Wen Lu's words, Jian Lusher didn't know what he could do to help them. Instead, if he stayed, he might also implicate them because he killed the speedsters before. Finding his sister was still his top priority now. Where is the gas station in your town? Jian Lusher came to this town not only to see Wen Xiaotian off, but he also had other business matters. The gasoline in those big cities is probably collected by the military. This town is probably Jian Liusher's last hope before arriving in Jinling. Otherwise, he can only continue to collect from those abandoned vehicles. But compared to the base vehicle now in terms of oil storage capacity, that would be too much work. Gas station. Do you want to refuel? When Luke glanced at the base car driven by Jian Lusher. When Xiaotian said that such a car can kill a wild boar. So it must consume a lot of fuel. And there is still electricity in the car. It should also be electricity generated by gasoline and diesel. Yes. Jian Lusher nodded. I need to add a lot of fuel. Well, Wen Lu said with a troubled expression. You may not be able to go to the gas station, but there are many abandoned cars on the road. If you are lucky, you can still find a few cars that have not had their oil drained out. It should be that's enough. Chapter 31 The Mysterious Boss Huh? Jian Lusher was stunned. Can't go to the gas station? After listening to Wen Lu's explanation, Jian Lusher understood the reason. The leader of the speeding party took almost all of the town's resources, including gasoline. They all travel by motorcycle. And gasoline is a very important resource for them. He even placed his base camp directly near the gas station. Wen Lu advised Jian Lusher not to get close. All survivors in this town will be searched by these people. Those who are unlucky and try to resist will be killed directly. The other party is stronger and is no match at all. A team of survivors like them could barely survive under their control but they would never take the initiative to get close to the gas station. As for Jian Lusher, he not only resisted, but also killed a member of the speedster gang. He must have been targeted. 
Jiang Lu Shi pondered for a moment and asked, What's the boss's name? I only know my name is Brother Yu. When Lu said, she saw that Jian Lusher didn't seem to have much reaction after hearing this. And she didn't know what Jian Lusher was thinking. If you need oil, you should still be able to find it in the fuel tanks of some cars. However, our town is small and there are not many cars. The fuel tanks of those big trucks have been empty for a long time. For small cars, they are too lazy to pump for the time being. So they can still have some left, Wen Lu said. Although this will delay a lot of time. There is nothing we can do about it. In the last days, there are too many helpless things. You only need about a hundred liters of oil to fill it up. I'll help you find it. It may take three or four days to collect it. Wen Lu said. Jian Lusher listened and shook his head in his heart. One hundred liters is only a fraction of the oil storage capacity of his fuel tank. It is not enough. At this time, the sound of an engine suddenly came. And Wen Lu's expression suddenly changed. That group of people is coming. Jiang Lusher turned around following her gaze and saw several motorcycles appearing in his field of vision. He calmly placed his fingers on the buttons next to the dashboard, while Starcy thought about the various performance data of the base vehicle in his mind. The base vehicle is ready to start. These motorcycles approached quickly. Jiang Lusher looked at these people and found that they were all unfamiliar faces. Judging from their expressions, they didn't recognize their car. These people were the same group of people who came to rob him before. Jian Lusher loosened his fingers. But the base vehicle was still waiting to start, seeing that these people seemed to have no reaction to the car. Wen Lu, who was nervous, breathed a sigh of relief. Brother Jiang, you're in the car. I'll get off first. Wen Lu whispered, then secretly got out of the car and walked directly back to the courtyard. At this time, the survivors in the house also heard the noise and came out one after another, standing at the door and looking around, with a look of fear on his face. When the motorcycles passed by the minibus, they all looked up in surprise, but they didn't pay much attention. The leader of this group is a yellow-haired young man wearing a leather jacket. This man is dressed in a sleazy attire, and he just has a sign saying, I am a gangster, written on his face. Jiang Lusher guessed that, Brother Yu, who is now in charge of the town might have been a member of the speeding party. After the end of the world, he recruited the original speeding party to form his own force. So all his men, he looks like a standard gangster. Get the heck out of here! The young man in the leather jacket yelled at the door and knocked on the iron door of the yard with an iron rod in his hand. The sound of the metal hitting the ground was very harsh. A group of survivors came out in a panic, but Wen Lu had quick eyes and quick hands. She randomly grabbed two handfuls from a pile of ashes left after cooking, mixed them with water, and wiped them on Wen Xiaoyan's face without any explanation. Ah! Wen Xiaoyan screamed when his sister suddenly slapped him in the face. But Wen Lu looked anxious at this time. She lowered her voice and said, Don't scream. It will be bad if they focus on you. When Xiaoyan also reacted quickly, she immediately understood that these gangsters might kidnap beautiful girls and ravage them. The apocalypse is coming and the law collapses. Even in a society governed by the rule of law, those gangsters who may still commit rape and molestation will have to wait until the end of the world. It will definitely get worse. Hand over all the grain to me. Don't try to hide it secretly. If I find a grain of rice in a while, I will break your legs. The young man in the leather jacket shouted with an iron rod. He obviously enjoyed the feeling of showing off his power now. As a gangster, he had a very unhappy life before the end of the world. If he dared to show off his power, he would be called into the bureau and given a good education. But now, he is the uncle, and he can do whatever he says. Those women who were aloof before the end of the world are not ravaged by him now. He really enjoys the rule-breaking world brought about by the end of the world. Facing the speeding gang, the survivors had no way to resist. It was not that they were cowardly, but that they knew they could not resist. Previously, a group of people united and refused to hand over food, and even beat up the gangsters. However, Brother Yu came to the house and killed all those people. It is said that the scene was very tragic, and many of the people who were killed were cut into pieces, which was not bad compared to the scene of zombies biting each other. Facing such a powerful Brother Yu, what can they do? They handed over the food tremblingly, and the old man from before tremblingly held out the half bag of rice that he had found before, with a look of reluctance in his cloudy eyes, as if what he was handing over was his own life. Old man, hurry up. You're going to die if you wait too long. Seeing the old man's reluctance to hand over the food, Leather Jacket Huang Mao cursed impatiently. Huang Mao, a leather jacketed man, grabbed the rice bag, 
The old man stumbled and almost fell to the ground with his strong grasp. You guys, go in and search. Wang Mao in the leather jacket waved his hand, and the little brother behind him rushed into the yard with a roar. Suddenly there was a ping pong 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 sound, and many pots and pans were knocked over. This group of people were like a swarm of locusts. With no grass growing anywhere they passed. Holy crap! These are actually cooking! A young man's voice came from inside the house. Leather jacket Huang Mao suddenly raised his eyebrows and turned to look at the group of survivors. The old man's heart thumped. He was stared at fiercely by the yellow-haired man in the leather jacket. He felt frightened and bravely said, This little brother. I originally agreed to share the food collected half and half. Bah! That's dry food. How dare you keep the rice? The spittle from the yellow fur of the leather jacket splashed on the old man's face. Take them all away. Just you. You still have to eat. Leather jacket Huang Mao said disdainfully. This, little brother. Can you leave some for us? My grandson has a fever at home. The old man pleadingly said that his grandson was only five years old. When the end of the world came, human life was very fragile. Lack of nutrition could easily make people sick. Eat solid food every day. Adults can persist but it is difficult for children to endure it. Are you finished? Chapter 32 Get Off the Bus Leather Jacket Huang Mao raised his hand, and the people next to him quickly pulled the old man away and apologized to Leather Jacket Huang Mao hastily. Seeing that these people behaved like his grandson, the leather jacketed yellow man snorted with satisfaction and looked at these people with disdain. Many of these people would probably not pay much attention to people like him before the end of the world. But now, don't they have to nod and bow? At this time, Wang Mao in leather jacket turned around inadvertently and saw Jiang Lusher sitting in the minibus. It turned out that leather jacket Huang Mao only saw the shabby minibus because the windows on both sides of the car were not lightproof. He did not know that there was anyone in the car, but in the front windshield, people can be seen. Suddenly, the yellow hair of the leather jacket became popular. You didn't hear what I said. Are you deaf or dead? I'm here to collect my things. And you still dare to sit in the car. Are you tired of living? Get out of here. Me. Huang Mao. A man in leather jacket. Cursed at Jian Lusher. He lived a miserable life before the end of the world. After the end of the world, he became the master. He was most unhappy that someone dared to disrespect him. The more a villain like him gained power, the more so. Jian Lusher glanced at the yellow-haired young man indifferently. With his temper, he had long wanted to teach this idiot a lesson. It was just that he had thought that he would leave this town soon and offend that brother you. He was fine. But the survivors were afraid that they would be in trouble. So he did not take action. But now, he himself was targeted by this group of people. Jian Lusher pressed his hands on the steering wheel without moving. And Huang Mao in his leather jacket suddenly became furious. Open the door! Open the door! Hack you! When Huang Mao saw that Jian Lusher was motionless, he picked up the iron rod and threw it on his face in front of the minibus. Bang! There was a loud noise, and nothing happened to the minibus. However, Wang Mao screamed strangely and almost lost his grip with the iron rod, which made the tiger's mouth numb from the shock. This car. Wang Mao was stunned for a moment. Generally, the iron sheet on the front of a minibus is very thin. If it is hit by an iron rod, a large piece will be dented. This way, his hand will not be so severely affected by the shock. But this minibus, the front face of the minibus is very thin. His face was padded with some kind of steel plate, and the shock was so severe that the bones in his hand were about to break. All of a sudden, Huang Mao was on fire. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. Brothers, smash this car for me. Drag the idiot driver out. Break his legs. And then search this car for me to see if there is any inventory, Huang Mao said. And his little brothers burst out of the yard with a roar. One of the little brothers was still carrying a pot of rice that had just been washed but not yet steamed. The old man who almost fell down just now felt his heart dripping with blood when he saw the rice pot. Are these people going to take away the rice they have already cooked? The other survivors, especially Wen Lu, were worried about Jian Lusher at this time. Mr. Jiang! Wen Lu didn't dare to say anything. She kept gesturing to Jian Lusher from behind the speedsters, telling him to drive away quickly. Otherwise, he would be dragged down by this group of people. Seeing the group of boys rushing over, Jian Lusher unhooked the small box of goods at the back with one click, put the reverse gear on, turned the steering wheel to the right, stepped on the accelerator, and the base vehicle began to move backwards. This kid wants to escape. Brothers chase him. Wang Mao jumped on the motorcycle, and a group of speedsters started the car. 
twisting the accelerator with their right hand. And the motorcycles jumped out like chicken blood, chasing John Lusher. It has to be said that these speedsters are very good at driving. The motorcycles drive like a pack of hungry wolves, pressing towards minibuses from all directions. Brothers, give this old car some air, Wang Mao shouted. And many speedsters took out a pile of iron nails welded together from their backpacks and threw them directly under the tires of the minibus. This is their homemade tire breaker. It can be welded with just a few nails and iron sheets. If it is scattered on the road, heavy trucks will break down. Seeing what these people were doing, a sneer appeared at the corner of Jiang Liuxia's mouth. He put the reverse gear in just because he didn't want to accidentally injure the survivors. Now Jiang Liuxia had retreated about a hundred meters and came to a narrow asphalt road. It was said that it was narrow because one side of this asphalt road was full of cars and only one car could pass. Jian Lusher stepped on the brakes, changed the reverse gear to forward gear, and then stepped on the accelerator. Buzz! The minibus roared like a sports car, rushed out like a wild beast, and collided with the motorcycles. The tire breaker directly crushed them, and the rough welding joints collapsed under the heavy pressure. But the tires were unscathed. What? Wang Mao was stunned for a moment. He didn't understand why this shabby-looking minibus was okay even if it ran over the tire breaker. But at this moment, the minibus had already crashed straight into Huang Mao. The speed soared and Jiang Lu stepped on the oil gate. Huang Mao was scared to death. The acceleration of the minibus is too fast. It only takes a few seconds to go from reversing, braking, to accelerating forward. And the acceleration of this minibus is even faster than a motorcycle. It was too late. But it was too soon. These speedsters couldn't react at all. They only heard a loud boom, and the minibus hit the motorcycle Huang Mao was riding. Ah! With a scream, Wang Mao and his car flew out like a baseball hit by a home run. Boom, boom, boom. The motorcycle fell heavily on the asphalt road and slid more than 10 meters away. The entire front wheel was shattered. Wang Mao was covered in blood and lay on the ground wailing. One of his legs was pinned under the motorcycle, and it looked like it was broken. Hack! Uncle! Wang Mao screamed wildly, and Jiang Lusher looked indifferent. He was hit by a car for more than 10 meters broke his leg, had multiple fractures on his body, and was bleeding profusely. In this apocalyptic world, it was equivalent to a death sentence. Jian Lusher has no mercy for these scum who commit crimes during peacetime and kill and set fire after the apocalypse. These people are a scourge as long as they live. They have ruined so many girls and killed so many civilians. Anyway, the killing had already begun, and Jian Lusher would not consider whether to implicate these survivors for the time being. If he killed one person, he would not stop fighting. And if he killed a group of people, he would not stop fighting. The base car was running at full power. Jiang Lusher kept pressing the accelerator and turned the steering wheel, knocking two more motorcycles away. Ah! The scream sounded again, with such a fierce impact, basically as long as the person is hit. Even if the person does not die now, he may die from injury or infection later. A group of motorcycle gangs were so frightened that their faces turned pale. They had robbed some passing vehicles before, or wanted to escape from the town to find some military vehicles. Throwing the tire breaker would do no harm. But now, why are all the tire breaker crushed? Is there anything wrong with the tires? Is this a hacking armored vehicle? Run! This group of speedsters doesn't care about Huang Mao and his companions on the ground. These people have wine, meat, and beautiful women to enjoy together. If they encounter trouble, they all take care of themselves. Who will save their lives? Chapter 33 Drag You to Death Hooray! A group of speedsters dispersed and fled in all directions. Because they were afraid of being hit by Jian Lusher. Many of them got into the alley. In the narrow alley, the base vehicle certainly couldn't chase them. But, when a few gangsters got into the alley, a few black figures suddenly jumped out of the alley and knocked the motorcycle down. It's a zombie! Several zombies pounced on those little gangsters, biting them desperately. This time, the screams were even more pitiful. These screams quickly attracted more zombies. And they all pounced on these unlucky little gangsters. It is true that many zombies have been lured away from this town. But even though there are fewer zombies on the main roads, there are still a large number of zombies hiding in houses and alleys. Usually survivors try to avoid these narrow alleys. But just now a few gangsters rushed in in a panic and happened to encounter a wave of zombies. Many people directly became the zombies' rations and died even more miserably. Seeing this situation, Jian Lusher frowned. While the zombies were biting the gangsters, he slightly released the accelerator and drove away in the base vehicle. 
He was not afraid of attracting zombies. But the survivors were not. Okay. If you encounter a group of zombies rushing into the yard, they will be in danger. Jian Lusher quietly drove the base vehicle back. In the entire small yard, the dozen or so survivors were dumbfounded when they saw what had just happened. They were shocked by the minibus under Jian Lusher's seat. How could the shabby looking minibus be so aggressive? Not only did it crush the tire breaker, but it also knocked over so many motorcycles. Yet its front face wasn't even dented at all. And the paint didn't even come off. What's going on? After the shock, many people felt fear. So many people were killed by the speedsters. What should they do? In the past, some people just refused to hand over the food and beat up the gangsters. And Brother Yu came to kill them all. And even cut their bodies into pieces. This group of people will definitely end up worse. Seeing Jiang Lusher slowly driving back. The survivors all turned pale and fearful. Wondering how this would end. The hands of the old man, who was holding the rice pot were trembling slightly. Shilu! Here we, we! The old man really doesn't know what to do. He's an old man, and it's okay to be beaten to death. But he still has a grandson to take care of. If he dies, his little grandson will starve to death. It's the end of the world. After that, all the old man's children died, leaving only this little grandson, who was the only motivation for him to live. When Lu gritted her teeth and said, Grandpa Wang, don't think so much now. We have already hit this group of people. If that doesn't work, we will hide or simply fight with them. There is always a way. Wen Lu and Wen Xiaoyan are sisters, but their personalities are much stronger than Wen Xiaoyan's. She has long had enough of these speedsters. This time Jian Lusher drove his car and hit a group of people, and a few gangsters were eaten by zombies. Although she was also afraid of Brother Yu's outbreak, she enjoyed watching it very much and relieved her anger. Yes, Uncle Wang, in this apocalypse, it is not easy to have a bite of food. If we survive today and have no tomorrow, we will still be bullied and oppressed. If I were not afraid of hurting you, I would have taken one. The iron rod hit that yellow-haired head. Another passionate young man who looked to be in his 20s said, In this apocalyptic world where one could die at any time, facing the threat of, Brother you, doesn't seem so scary anymore. Zombies are not necessarily much better than, Brother you. But more people are still afraid. Zombies will not go around looking for you. Brother you is seeking revenge, but he must find you. Jian Lusher heard a little bit of the conversation of these people. He glanced at the passionate young man who just said he wanted to knock down Huang Mao with some surprise. He is short in stature, has fair skin, and even looks a little gentle. I didn't expect him to be so energetic. Brother, do me a favor and drag that half-dead yellow hair over here. Jian Lusher said to the fair-skinned young man and handed out a pack of chocolate beans directly from the car window. Take this. Jian Lusher admired the vigor of this fair-skinned young man. And in this case, Jian Lusher didn't want to get out of the car and drag the yellow hair. Those zombies didn't know if they would be attracted by Huang Mao's wailing. Stay in the car and Jian Lusher can react at any time if something happens. In addition, he has a whole cart of mutated beast meat, which is so much that it fills up the dry food in the storage room. It is nothing to him. He just takes out such a bag and doesn't care at all. But just such a small bag of chocolates. When it fell into the eyes of the survivors, made their eyes suddenly light up. Chocolate. These survivors usually collect very little food. And most of it is messy. As if they were picked out of a garbage dump. The slightly better ones will be handed over to the yellow-haired young people. They have no chance to eat foods that are high in calories and taste good like chocolate. They almost vomited after eating those broken biscuits and cheap instant noodles with poor taste every day. The key is that Jian Lusher took out such high energy. Hard to collect food so easily. The white-skinned young man's eyes suddenly lit up. He hesitated, swallowed, and shook his head reluctantly. This is not suitable. I can't have it. That yellow-haired man bullies us every day. How can he go to him? Drag it back. It's too late for me to be happy. The fair-skinned young man's behavior made Jiang Lusher feel that his chocolate was not in vain. He threw it directly and said with a smile, Just take it. It's dangerous if you drag him over. But he is still of some use to me. At this time, the white-skinned young man could only reach out and catch it. In the envious eyes of the survivors. He said sheepishly. Then, thank you. Then, he actively ran over and grabbed Huang Mao's back collar. Huang Mao looked at the white-skinned young man with hatred. But was slapped in the face by the white-skinned young man. What do you think I'm doing? You still don't accept it. Then the fair-skinned young man unceremoniously dragged Huang Mao to the minibus. The broken leg was dragged. And the yellow hair let out a scream but was slapped twice by the white-skinned young man. 
What do you call it? If you attract zombies, I will hang you on a telephone pole. Let you be eaten clean bit by bit starting from the soles of your feet. After taking Jiang Liuxiu's chocolate, the fair-skinned young man worked hard with all his heart. The yellow-haired scalp tightened. This white-skinned young man was very cruel. He was obviously seeking revenge. After three consecutive slaps, his mouth was bleeding and his face was swollen. He couldn't scream even if he wanted to. He could only speak inarticulately. Hum! In fact, without medical conditions, Wang Mao's leg would be useless. Not to mention tissue necrosis, infection and other fatal diseases. Even if he survives it, if he loses a leg in the apocalypse, he will have to wait for death. That's why he looked so resentful and didn't beg for mercy. But now, the threat from the white-skinned young man made him realize that there was a big difference between dying and being tortured to death. Jian Lusher looked at him in the car and said, Tisk. Twice. This fair-skinned young man is quite good at scaring people. Fortunately, with the white-skinned young man's intimidation, he saved his trouble. Wang Mao was quickly dragged to the front of Jian Liuxiu's car, leaving a long blood trail on the ground. Although Wang Mao was ruthless, he had never experienced such a miserable experience. He was thrown in front of and behind the car by the white-skinned young man. He looked up at Jian Liuxiu in the driver's seat and couldn't help but feel chills all over. Not to mention using him to feed zombies. Even if this terrifying minibus runs over him a few times, it can make him unable to survive or die. The fair-skinned young man just said harsh words. But Jiang Lusher seemed to be just an ordinary young man. And he stepped on the accelerator without any hesitation. Chapter 34, Brother You I dragged this idiot over here. If you want me to do anything else, just say something. The fair-skinned young man said to Jiang Lusher through the windshield. After he finished speaking, he glanced at Huang Mao with a sneer. The meaning of what he just said is self-evident. Wang Mao really hated this white-skinned young man. Before Jian Lusher, how could this fair-skinned young man dare to be so arrogant? He was so cowardly that he pretended to be a grandson in front of him. Originally, Wang Mao didn't pay much attention to the appearance of these survivors. After all, there weren't any pretty girls. Like Wen Lu and the others, they were dirty from head to toe. And even their hair was covered in mud. Wang Mao didn't bother to take a second look. So when he first saw Jian Lusher, he didn't expect it to be a face he had never seen before. But now he knew that if Jiang Lusher had been there before, how could he have endured until today? This awesome minibus must have been driven by this person from somewhere else. Wang Mao looked at Jiang Lusher with hatred and fear, and the severe pain in his legs made him groan in pain. I have a few questions to ask you. I'll ask you a question, and you'll answer. If I think you're talking nonsense, or you refuse to answer. Jiang Lusher glanced at the fair-skinned young man. The white-skinned young man immediately smiled in cooperation, then raised one foot and made two gestures on Huang Mao's broken leg. Do you hear that? If you are playing tricks, I will, you know. Huang Mao's face turned green. This fair-skinned young man, he felt extremely humiliated, but he was also afraid of being tortured. So he could only say, Just ask, Who is that brother you? How did he lure the zombies away? Please explain in detail. Jian Lusher asked. He has now offended Brother Yu to death. Since Brother Yu has been rumored so badly, he naturally needs to know about it in advance so that he can be prepared. Brother Yu? Ha uh ha. -huh. Wang Mao suddenly grinned after hearing Jian Liuxiu's question. This boy seems to know the deeds of Brother Yu. He must be asking because he is afraid. Since you are afraid, you should be honest from the beginning. Are you scared now that you think about it? Late. I'm not afraid of scaring you. Brother Yu is not an ordinary person. He is much more powerful than ordinary zombies. At that time, Brother Yu just relied on a motorcycle to lure away all the zombies in this area. Well, one person, in a crowd of tens of thousands of zombies, killed him all the way, and scabed, Wang Mao said, carefully observing Jian Liuxiu's reaction. The result made him a little disappointed. There was no panic look on Jian Liuxiu's face. It was not much different from before. He just seemed to be deep in thought. Under such a situation, Wang Mao thought twistedly in his heart. What the H? I do you think you can be brother you? He felt that Jian Lusher was just trying to hold on. Or else he didn't understand at all. What is the concept of brother you's feat of luring away zombies? Moreover, there have been many people who were dissatisfied with brother you. But they all ended up with the same fate. Brother you has a bad temper. When dealing with those who resist him, he will not only come to his door and kill them all, but also make them it's an ugly death. Wang Mao continued. When he described it, his face was ferocious and his expression was twisted with excitement. 
just to make Jian Lusher feel afraid. Dismemberment? Right. I've heard of it, Jian Lusher said calmly. Jian Liusher's reaction made Huang Mao disappointed and also felt a little incredible. This man behaves so calmly. Could it be that he really thinks that he can have a tough fight with Brother Yu? It's not that Huang Mao looks down on Jian Lusher. But Huang Mao firmly believes that Brother Yu can no longer be considered an ordinary person. Ordinary humans are not on the same level as Brother Yu. The level is quite different. How to fight? Brother Yu can lure away the zombies. Even if the motorcycle is gone, he can do it on his own. The zombies can't catch up with Brother Yu at all. Those 100 meter world champions are also scum in front of Brother Yu. His speed. You can race with motorcycles. Just like playing. Wang Mao continued. He had no power to resist in front of Jian Lusher. But when talking about Brother Yu's strength, he felt an inexplicable sense of pride. As if he was the one who was strong. This was because he was no longer able to retaliate against Jian Lusher. And just wanted to see Brother Yu bring misfortune to Jian Lusher. He's very fast. Jian Lusher understood. The speed is fast enough. And it can indeed defeat ordinary people. If you can't even react quickly in front of him. How can you fight him? When the two sides faced each other. When they realized that brother you had taken action. They probably saw the wounds on their bodies. Being able to race with a motorcycle. The speed is certainly terrifying. Jiang Lusher knew that Huang Mao was not lying. Without such speed. It would be impossible for him to lure away all the zombies by himself. And not only that. The reason Jian Lusher was thinking just now was because he thought of the information about the virus that Star Seed had provided. What Wang Mao said, Brother Yu, is not an ordinary person, is indeed what it means literally. In fact, Brother Yu and the mutated wild boar belong to the same situation. They also experienced viral mutations during the virus outbreak. However, after the virus mutated, it did not turn them into zombies. Instead, their bodies underwent great changes and they became mutants. Or it can be said that they became superpowers. This kind of situation is rare. The relationship between them and the zombies can be said to be one step from heaven to one step from H, L. It can be seen from the terror of the mutated wild boar that the strength of the superpowers is also very terrifying. Only in this apocalypse do they have a higher survival rate. And ordinary zombies cannot threaten them. This brother you is such a superpower. His superpower should be speed. Relying on his own powers. Brother you has become a complete overlord in this small town. Besides speed, does he have any other characteristics? Jian Lusher asked again. Wang Mao emphasized the ferocity of Brother Yu again. These were completely meaningless to Jian Lusher. He asked a few more questions and found that he could no longer get any useful information from Wang Mao. So he waved to the white-skinned young man. The fair-skinned young man was standing aside with his pockets in his pockets. When he saw Jian Lusher's movements, he immediately ran over. When Huang Mao saw this, he couldn't help but panic. He didn't know what Jian Lusher was going to do with him. Jian Lusher was looking at Huang Mao from behind the windshield, as if he was thinking about something. Chapter 35 Coming to the Door The gas station is at the other exit of town, where there are fewer zombies. Some zombie corpses can also be seen on the road, hanging on the balconies on the roadside and slowly rotting. These zombies were originally living people, but due to being infected by the virus, they became extremely aggressive, powerful, and amazingly fast monsters. Although their bodies are very different from humans, they still bleed and can gradually decay after death. These corpses hanging here give people a chilling feeling. This area is the camp range of the speeder party. Not only are zombies unable to appear here, ordinary survivors will not set foot here either and will only stay away. The residence of these speedsters is in a residential building next to the gas station in this area. Below this residential building is a car repair shop with more than a dozen motorcycles parked at this time. In the store, there were still several speedsters sitting around playing cards. <laughs> there was an engine roar, and a motorcycle sped by, almost hitting one of the parked motorcycles. In the shop, next to the wooden table full of engine oil, several speedsters playing cards raised their heads when they heard the noise. As soon as a motorcycle gang saw the visitor stop, he abandoned his motorcycle and ran over. He immediately stood up in confusion. Isn't this a strong man? What are you doing in such a hurry? He saw Chianzi running towards him in panic and wanted to ask. But Chianzi pushed him away. Get out of the way! The speedster staggered and immediately cursed. Hack! You're in a hurry to reincarnate! Chianzi ignored him completely, rushed directly into the corridor from the back door of the car repair shop, and then ran to the top four floors in one breath. This building is full of speedster gangs, 
and their boss, Brother Yu, lives on the fourth floor. Originally, there were some survivors hiding here, including a family that originally lived here. But when Brother Yu came here with the speeding gang and chose this building as their stronghold, these survivors suffered. The survivors hiding here are all ordinary people, not to mention facing Brother Yu. Even in front of these speeding gangs, they have no ability to resist. As a result, the old men were almost killed. The young women were ravaged. And even the little girls were not spared. These people escaped the zombies. But not these people. The room on the fourth floor where Brother Yu lives belongs to the little girl's family. Chiangzi ran to the door without resting. And then threw himself in the door while panting violently. The room was filled with smoke. And the corner was filled with beer and various foods. Several speedsters were gathering on a card table to play mahjong. Surrounded by women. One of the men looked short in stature. But his exposed arms were very muscular. He was not amazing in appearance. And he was the kind of man who would not be found in the crowd. But the woman next to him was smiling charmingly. While passing the cigarette, he couldn't help but have a look of fear in his eyes. Seeing Chiangzi coming in, none of these people had much reaction. The short man didn't even look at him. Only a bald speedster glanced at him and said slowly, No rules. Where is Xiao Yang? Xiao Yang is Huang Mao's name. Chiangzi immediately threw himself at the feet of the short man and said angrily, Brother Yu, today, Brother Leon took us to collect rent. But there was a group of survivors who refused to pay. If you don't want to hand it over, then you won't hand it over. No matter how big the problem is, it's okay to kill them all and bring them back. What else is there to say? Didn't Brother Yu teach you Brother Leon? Brother Yu ignored him. Another speedster said with a smile. Oh, touch. Seeing that these few of Brother Yu's cronies, as well as Brother Yu himself, didn't care at all about what he said, Xiangzi said even more anxiously. Brother Liang was about to take action at that time. But there was a man driving a medium-sized car. The bus hit several brothers to death. Even Brother Liang was trapped there. Brother Yu, you want to avenge Brother Liang and the brothers. All of a sudden, the card table was quiet. The few cronies all had expressions on their faces like, Did I hear wrongly? The bald man was stunned for a moment and said, Are you too drunk? How can anyone dare to do such a thing now? That's because they are tired of living. At this time, the short man finally spoke. As soon as he spoke, the bald man immediately closed his mouth. Are you serious? It's absolutely true. Brother you, Chianzi said quickly. How dare he lie about such a big matter? But he wasn't sure about one thing. He only saw the yellow hair being knocked away. He didn't know whether it had been broken or not. But they were all hit like that. Even if they weren't dead at the time, they would definitely be dead afterwards. Brother Yu asked. And Chianzi immediately told Brother Yu all the ins and outs and details. There is indispensable some added oil and vinegar in the middle. Chianzi escaped from Jiang Liosher's collision by jumping into the alley next to him with many dangers. Now he just wanted to see Jiang Liosher's miserable appearance when he was killed by Brother Yu in order to relieve his hatred. After listening to Chianzi's narration, the cronies were all furious. Nima, someone actually dares to touch our people. I'm so impatient. Does this person not know how death is written? At this moment, the silent brother Yu suddenly stood up, and his movement startled the woman next to him. Brother Yu kicked the chair away, then stared at Chiangzi, and kicked Chiangzi up. He immediately kicked Chiangzi onto the coffee table not far away, making him cry out in pain. They are all dead. So why did you come back alive? Brother Yu's voice was a little hoarse, and his cold eyes made the strong man shudder, and he quickly suppressed his screams. Brother Yu stopped looking at him, and turned to his cronies, and said in a deep voice, Prepare the car and set off immediately. If you arrive late, the man will run away. If that person caused such a big trouble, he might immediately drive away in that minibus. Brother Yu doesn't want to see this kind of thing. After listening to Brother Yu's instructions, those people stood up one after another, and went to get ready. At this moment, a loud bang. Sound suddenly came from outside. The sound came so suddenly that not only the women, but also several close associates trembled involuntarily. Heck, what a noise. The bald man yelled. This movement is too big. Brother, you quickly walked to the window. Open the curtains and looked down. He stared downstairs for a moment. Then suddenly asked without looking back. What color is that minibus you mentioned? Xiangzi was stunned and quickly replied. It's white. The car is parked in front of that family. You'll see it when you get there. No need. Brother, you interrupted him, and at the same time turned around, revealing a face as serious as water, with murderous intent looming. 
They're knocking on the door. Chapter 36 Don't Kill Me What? Brother Yu's words made those close friends and Xianzi feel unbelievable. Was that loud noise just made by that minibus? They also wanted to check at the window and saw Brother Yu walking towards the door with a dark face. He was holding a bag in his hand, which was loose. As Brother Yu moved around, the sound of glass bottles could be heard inside. This pocket contains a gasoline bottle, which can be lit and thrown out. It is the simplest incendiary bomb. In addition, Brother Yu also had a Black May 4th pistol on his waist. After the end of the world, Brother Yu led people to ransack the police station in the town and obtain mini batons, handcuffs, and several pistols. These pistols are now in the hands of Brother Yu. He is suspicious by nature and does not trust handing over guns to others. Copycat. Brother Yu's cold voice came as he stepped out the door. A group of speedsters roared into action, grabbed iron bars, tire breaker, and Molotov cocktails, and rushed downstairs. Chianzi, who fell to the ground, hesitated for a moment, struggled to stand up, and chased after him. The women sat at the messy card table and looked at each other, a little confused. These women were all imprisoned here and bullied by the speedsters. They rustled to the window and looked outside, and a white minibus came into view. They are a little numb to such conflicts. Perhaps, soon you will see Molotov cocktails being thrown out, the entire minibus bursting into flames, and the driver being dragged out, tortured, and quartered. The apocalypse is approaching, and some girls, who are usually very sad to see kittens and puppies die are now used to seeing people live and die. It would be great if those bastards, who killed a thousand swords were killed. A young woman suddenly gritted her teeth and said, What nonsense are you talking about? Be careful they hear you. Shuh. Don't say such things again. And, there's no way that person could have been killed. The young woman who just said those words was immediately covered by one of her good sisters. Their fear of the speedsters, especially Brother Yu, has been deeply rooted in their bones. At this time, Brother Yu and others had already rushed down the small building. As soon as they came out of the car repair shop, they saw a scene that made them look ugly. A row of motorcycles parked there were all knocked into the wall, and a bunch of motorcycles were squeezed together. And among these swaying motorcycles, there was still a person missing. This man's hands were tied with ropes. His head and body were covered with all kinds of rotten vegetable leaves and other garbage. And he was still wailing. Xiangzi, who was chasing after him, immediately widened his eyes when he saw this figure. Brother Liang. The figure that looked like crawling out of the garbage was none other than Huang Mao. Brother Yu looked at Huang Mao with sinister eyes. And as soon as Huang Mao saw Brother Yu appearing, the volume of his wails immediately increased a lot. Brother Yu. Brother Yu. Save me. My leg. My leg was crushed. Speaking of his leg, Huang Mao's voice was shrill and tears were streaming down his face. His leg was broken and he didn't know how to live in the future. Brother Yu glanced at Huang Mao coldly and said nothing. Seeing Brother Yu's expression, Huang Mao's scream was a little choked. He saw disgust on Brother Yu's face, which made him despair. Don't kill this minibus driver for a while. I want to capture him alive. Brother Yu said this sentence word by word, and he hated Jian Lusher extremely in his heart. Since the end of the world, Brother Yu has become the local emperor in this small town. Many speedsters, when facing the survivors outside, feel that they are different from the survivors. Just like slave owners facing slaves, those survivors can only be regarded as slaves to them. In addition, most of the survivors were submissive in front of them and tried to please them in every possible way, which made their sense of superiority even stronger. They never thought that there would be survivors who would dare to act arrogantly in front of them and even come to provoke them. Seeing Brother Yu being so angry, all the speedster gangs knew that the minibus driver was going to be in trouble and it would be hard for him to die. Brothers, let's go catch that idiot. These bikers are yelling. They lifted up several motorcycles that were still in good condition and turned the accelerators loudly. Where did the car go? These motorcycles blocked the door, but the minibus was nowhere to be seen. When they were looking upstairs, they also saw the minibus retreating. In their minds, if this minibus did such a thing to seek death, of course it would run away, and what would happen next would be a chase. What they are best at is this. If you throw a gasoline bottle on it, the car will be destroyed. However, just when they turned on the accelerator and planned to chase the minibus, there was another loud boom. This noise comes from the gas station. Just screams were heard coming from the gas station. They had someone specifically responsible for guarding the gas station. And now, their stronghold at the gas station was obviously attacked. 
Hit my gas station? Brother Yu's eyes flashed with murderous intent. The gas station was less than 200 meters away from him. After the boy came to provoke him, he didn't run away, but went to attack the gas station. He was really tired of living. Brother Yu suddenly started running. Like a vigorous leopard, he jumped over the motorcycles and rushed to the gas station. His younger brothers woke up from a dream and followed him on motorcycles. At the gas station, Jiang Lusher had connected the minibus's automatic fuel-taking device to the refueling gun, and gasoline was pouring into his nearly depleted fuel tank. These speedsters have collected almost all the oil in the town and stored it all in gas stations. Jian Lusher can't even use up all the oil. At the same time, Jian Lusher was staring in the direction of the small building, waiting for Brother Yu to come. After Jian Lusher thought about it carefully, he felt that if he waited for Brother Yu to come to his door, he might harm Wen Lu and the others. Even if Wen Lu and the others were allowed to hide first, it might not be safe. After all, there are many speedsters. In this way, Jian Lusher would not be able to take care of them if anything went wrong. In addition, Jian Lusher also needs to collect a large amount of gasoline. This is also the most important point. The gasoline is all in Brother Yu's hands. If Jian Lusher wants oil, he will inevitably come to his door. Knocking down those motorcycles only caused a little trouble for the speedsters and attacked the gas station backhand to buy some time to refuel. Otherwise, if there was not enough fuel, Jian Lusher would not dare to use some of the weapons on the base vehicle. Jian Lusher kept paying attention to the changes in the fuel tank storage capacity given by Xingzhong. 100L, 200L, 300L. Since the fuel tank was modified, refueling has been incredibly fast. As soon as the fuel pipe is connected, it starts to pump up 100 liters and 100 liters. When the fuel tank reached 600 L, a figure appeared beside the flower bed outside the gas station. The figure rushed towards me. When he saw his car, he rushed over without stopping. So fast, Jian Lusher was slightly startled. This figure must be Brother Yu. Chapter 37 You Can Still Drift? Seeing the minibus parked there to refuel, Brother Yu's anger suddenly exploded. This kid was the one who killed him and provoked him. Now, he actually dares to act openly here and add his gas. Brother Yu flew directly towards the base vehicle. His figure was like a galloping leopard. Not at the speed that ordinary people could achieve. Jian Lusher was at the gas station. Brother Yu couldn't use homemade Molotov cocktails here. Nor could he risk using guns. He reached out and pulled out a three-edged military thorn from the waist behind his back. He also found this three-edged military thorn in the police station. It was probably confiscated as an illegally controlled knife. Which gave him an advantage. At this moment, the refueling gun suddenly fell off. And at the same time, the minibus made a harsh friction sound. The minibus started suddenly, then accelerated violently, like a huge cannonball, going backwards and hitting Brother Yu head-on. Jian Lusher did not turn on instant acceleration, but the various performance improvements brought about by the upgrade of the fuel tank have greatly improved his starting speed. The bulky minibus was like a supercar, with a sharp friction sound. It hit Brother Yu with its butt. Although Brother Yu had heard Xiangzi's description of this minibus before, in his common sense, he still didn't think how powerful the minibus could be. But now, as soon as the minibus started, his perception was overturned. This is not a minibus. This is a flexible sports car. Moreover, the driver was very insidious and did not suddenly start the minibus until he was close enough. Brother Yu had no choice but to stop his fears running forward and suddenly jumped to the side to avoid it. Woo! The minibus rushed past Brother Yu. The moment he passed by, Brother Yu turned around and threw a tire breaker behind the wheel of the minibus. His tire breaker is much better than the homemade tire breaker used by speedsters. It was removed from a police-specific portable tire breaker and made some modifications. Once the tire is rolled over, the tire breaker, the sharp objects on the tire breaker will pierce into the car tires. If the driver stops in time, the tires can be saved. If the driver continues driving without stopping, the tires will burst after more than 20 meters, making it impossible to continue driving. But the minibus ran over it all at once, and the sharp cone of the tire breaker failed to penetrate into the tire at all. Brother you also heard that the tire breaker was useless on this minibus. So he just threw it away and tried it without even seeing the results. His eyes were fixed on the door handle of the cab, and when the minibus passed him at an extremely fast speed, he jumped on it. Brother Yu's speed was indeed very fast. Jian Lusher only saw Brother Yu ducking away through the rearview screen. And then he felt the car body bump. Then, immediately after, he heard the bang of the car door. 
His face was pressed against his car window. At this time, the sound of Wu came and several motorcycles appeared on the road. Jian Lusher had already exited the gas station. These motorcycles were surrounding him from the road. And more motorcycles rushed out of the motorcycle gang stronghold one after another. Although the motorcycles that were knocked down by Jian Lusher slowed down the speeder's actions, they did not have much impact. But Jian Lusher has no time to pay attention to these hyena-like speeding gangs now. Because Brother Yu is hanging on his car door. Jian Lusher turned his head. And the two of them suddenly came face to face. Brother Yu showed a sinister smile at Jian Lusher. And his three-edged thorn stabbed hard into the gap in the car window. This is the weak point of car windows. Many cars are equipped with window pliers, for safety reasons. You can pry the windows to escape after falling into the water. Some car thieves also use crowbars to commit crimes. And although the three-sided military spur is not a crowbar, but it can also play the same role due to its hardness. Jian Lusher would not let Brother Yu try to pry open the window. Although he might not be able to pry open the window, Brother Yu was a superpower after all. Moreover, his car had just been repaired. How could he let the leader of the speeding car gang destroy it at will? The steering wheel was turned all the way to the bottom, and the wheels of the minibus made a harsh friction sound on the cement road, leaving four white marks of rapid turns on the ground. Jian Lusher stepped on the accelerator hard, while the minibus completely exited the gas station. It turned at an angle that looked like it was about to overturn. This is simply drifting. A minibus is also drifting? The screaming speedsters were all dumbfounded. With such a sharp turn, Brother Yu, who was about to stab the general, just grabbed the door handle with one hand, and he was immediately thrown out with force. Most people would be injured if they were thrown out like this. Jian Lusher immediately looked out of the window and saw that Brother Yu rolled very dexterously the moment he landed on the ground and was unscathed. And then, Jian Lusher saw something seemed to be on Brother Yu's hand. Brother Yu's face looked ugly. He didn't expect the performance of this car to be so powerful. Even more powerful than Xiangzi said. But the car has now left the gas station. So he doesn't have to worry about anything anymore. As soon as he stabilized his body, Brother Yu immediately took out several homemade Molotov cocktails and threw them at Jian Liosher's minibus. As soon as the homemade Molotov cocktail exploded on the minibus, it immediately turned into a raging flame and enveloped the body of the minibus. Although the minibus was fast, Brother Yu moved faster and was hit before he had time to dodge. Die! The moment Brother Yu threw the Molotov cocktail, he had already picked up the May 4th pistol drawn from his waist and pointed it at the cab window in the flames. There, Jian Liosher's, the figure is clearly visible. The distance between the two sides was less than 10 meters. Even though Brother Yu was not a sharpshooter, after a period of practice since the end of the world, his marksmanship was adequate. At this distance, he would directly blow Jian Liosher's shoulder. If he accidentally moved a little and hit Jian Liosher's neck or head, then Jian Liosher would have no choice but to take advantage of him. The purpose of ordinary police pistols is to stop, not to penetrate or kill. It mainly makes the prisoner lose the ability to resist, rather than ending his life. So the lethality is very small. But the May 4th pistol is different. In the entire police station, Brother Yu only found this May 4th pistol, which he carried with him and never left it. The Type 54 is a military pistol, nicknamed the Black Star. It focuses on lethality and has strong penetrating power. It can penetrate two people with one shot at close range without any pressure. Within a certain distance, it can also penetrate obstacles such as body armor and brick walls of a certain thickness. This kind of pistol has been in domestic police service for more than 20 years. Later, it was eliminated because of its excessive lethality and replaced by the 64-type pistol. Only some places are still using it. Xiangzi said that they smashed the windows in various ways, but failed to leave any traces on the windows of the minibus. But brother, you didn't care much about it. How can the strength of an iron rod be compared with the penetrating power of a May 4th pistol bullet? Go to H. L. Brother, you pulled the trigger without hesitation. From the time he landed to throwing the Molotov cocktail to firing, it only took one second. Jian Lusher was probably still in the joy of getting rid of him when he was hit. Chapter 38 Jian Lusher's Anger Bang! Gunshots ring out. Brother Yu was indeed fast. As soon as Jian Lusher saw him land, the next moment he saw the minibus surrounded by flames. And then he heard gunshots. Faster than the gunfire, there was an explosion from the driver's window next to Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher dodged instinctively. And at the same time, Zing Seed's voice came in his mind. The surface of the base vehicle was damaged. The damage degree was 10%. The windows were damaged. The damage degree was 1%. And the outer SH. 
Ella the base vehicle was not damaged. Damage? Your uncle. Although the damage was very low and almost negligible. Jiang Lusher wanted to curse when he thought about the trouble of finding materials to repair the car. He turned around and saw a spider web like dent mark of a bullet on the car window, which was very clear. The bullets of the Type 54 pistol can penetrate obstacles such as brick walls, but there is a certain thickness limit. What's more, Jiang Liosher's base vehicle is equipped with bulletproof glass. Bulletproof glass is a laminated safety glass with a three layer structure. The first layer is a load bearing layer, which can destroy the warhead and change the formation of the warhead, causing the bullet to lose its ability to continue moving forward. The second layer is a transition layer made of organic adhesive materials. It has strong adhesion and can absorb the impact energy of bullets. A bullet can easily penetrate the first layer of glass but stop within the second layer. That's why Jiang Liusher's car window had such a dent mark from a bullet. Seeing this trace, Jiang Liusher was really angry. He just had his car repaired. After the shot was fired, Brother Yu had a sneer on his face. He could already hear the bullets hitting the glass. Brother Yu stood up preparing to let the younger brother step forward and drag Jian Lusher out as soon as the fire was extinguished. I hope Jian Lusher is still alive by then. Otherwise, it would be a pity. However, at this moment, he suddenly heard the sound of Woo Woo Woo. Again, this sound was made by the minibus in front of me. Brother Yu was a little stunned. He was sure that he must have been hit. Could it be that Jian Lusher was not injured seriously enough? At this moment, the front of the minibus swung violently. And the minibus, with its body covered in blazing flames, crashed towards Brother Yu like a chariot bathed in fire. Through the windshield, Brother Yu clearly saw Jian Lusher inside the car, who was staring angrily at him. There was not even a trace of a wound on Jian Lusher's body, let alone the bloody and miserable appearance. The fate that Brother Yu expected after Jian Lusher was shot did not appear at all. Brother Yu held the May 4th pistol and was stunned. How is this going? Seeing the minibus crashing into him, Brother Yu had a ferocious look on his face raised his gun again, pointed it at Jian Lusher, and fired several times. All the bullets hit the windshield, and then they were all blocked. The bullet holes were clearly visible one by one, but Jian Lusher still looked the same behind the glass, and his expression didn't even change. Boom! The minibus rushed to the front. Jian Lusher looked out from the window next to him, and saw that Brother Yu's figure had rushed to the side of the minibus, and was not hit. Brother Yu avoided the impact of the minibus, but in his heart, he was going crazy. This minibus is actually equipped with bulletproof glass. Isn't this the instant feeling of spending hundreds of thousands to modify a QQ car? Who is this driver? He actually drives such a minibus. At this time, brother you discovered that the minibus seemed to have given up. It turned around and then rushed towards the most densely packed group of seven or eight motorcycles. After these speedsters approached on motorcycles, they circled around the minibus. When brother you was shooting, they also threw Molotov cocktails behind the car. Originally, these speedsters thought that Brother Yu had taken action personally, so they only needed to provide some cover and support around them. This was a completely effortless and not dangerous matter. But who knew that after the gunfire, the car not only didn't stop, but became even more violent. And Brother Yu couldn't stop this violent minibus. This minibus had no choice but to defeat Brother Yu. So he turned his target towards them. These speedsters all felt like their scalps were exploding. Facing the minibus in flames, they turn the accelerator crazily. However, not only does this minibus not have the same steering flexibility as a minibus, but its acceleration speed is also terrifying. Although these speedsters fled immediately, they were quickly overtaken by minibuses. Some speedsters hurriedly rushed to both sides of the road. One of them skidded while turning and hit the flower bed with a bang. People were thrown 10 meters away. Others, too late to react were hit hard by minibuses. After they were thrown away, some of them were still alive, but their bodies were covered in flames and they were rolling around in misery. Seeing this scene, Brother Yu's lungs almost exploded with anger. Jian Lusher bumped into Brother Yu twice in a row, but he didn't hit Brother Yu. He found that Brother Yu's speed was really too fast, especially in short distances, and he was extremely flexible. When he crashed into Brother Yu for the second time, he originally wanted to use the air cannon to attack Brother Yu. But Brother Yu's reaction speed is really agile. In this way, even if he fires the cannon, he can only miss it. Moreover, firing the air cannon requires charging time. This time is enough for Brother Yu to dodge more than a dozen times. But to deal with these speedsters, no air cannon is needed. Only the simplest and roughest impact is enough. 
these speedsters kept throwing Molotov cocktails around his car, causing the damage rate of the base vehicle to increase, which made Jian Lusher furious. Jian Lusher didn't want to let them continue to wander around like flies. So he simply left Brother Yu aside for now. He will not show mercy to these people. Brother Yu is cruel. And these people are not much better. They are all evildoers. After knocking down several motorcycles, Jian Lusher didn't give up yet. He had just refueled and didn't care about the consumption at all. After a sudden turn and U-turn, the minibus rushed towards the speeders in the other direction like a steel monster. These speedsters were immediately stunned. This minibus was really too wild. They also ran away one by one. The minibus rushed directly past Brother Yu. Jian Lusher in the car just turned his head and glanced at Brother Yu. At this glance, Brother Yu immediately clenched his teeth, being knocked at the door, and watching this man drive his car and drive his little brothers into the street, trying to escape or die. Is there anything more frustrating than this? Chapter 39 Heavy Truck Jian Lusher drove the minibus and crashed into it. He slowly stopped until the fire in the car was extinguished and the speedsters had fled to places where the minibus could not enter. Jian Liusher's minibus stopped in the middle of the road, leaving obvious tire marks on the ground, superimposed with the black burn marks of the Molotov cocktail, making it even more eye-catching. On the ground, there were knocked down motorcycles everywhere, as well as the bodies of motorcycle gangs on the ground, as well as the injured motorcycle gangs who were still wailing for help. Didi! Jian Lusher honked the horn twice. The blaring horn sounded, but no speedsters dared to show up. They were all shocked by Jian Liosher's crazy impact just now. At this moment, a sharp sound of tire friction suddenly came. Immediately afterwards, a truck suddenly turned out from the sidewalk next to it. This is a heavy-duty truck with a load capacity of perhaps dozens of tons. When it appears on the road, it looks like a behemoth. If an ordinary car is hit by this heavy truck, it is likely to be directly crushed into pieces. Even Jian Liosher's minibus will be like a child facing an adult in front of this minibus. The heavy truck came to the road and faced Jian Liusher's minibus from a distance. In the cab that was as tall as one person, Jian Liusher saw Brother Yu's figure. He was grabbing the steering wheel and staring at the minibus with a crazy look. Jian Liusher's collision really made Brother Yu completely angry. As the boss, he was standing here. But he watched helplessly as the minibus circled in front of him several times, hitting his younger brothers wildly. The injured speedsters who fell to the ground kept wailing for help. The sound was extremely harsh to Brother Yu's ears. Ever since the end of the world came and Brother Yu discovered that he had mutant abilities, he has been invincible. There are not many zombies in the town. After they are lured away, nothing can do anything to him. Those survivors were like ants in front of him, squandering them at will. All the gang members respect and fear him. Brother Yu was originally just a little gangster. Although he was cruel, he didn't have the courage to really risk his life. So even when he was a gangster, he was not satisfied with it. Not only was he beaten and scolded arbitrarily by his boss, but even those who were also gangsters had no respect for him. They often called themselves brother in front of him, acting like they were demanding. The tone that covered him made him feel looked down upon. Therefore, Brother Yu is very satisfied with this kind of life after the apocalypse. He felt that this apocalypse was prepared for him. He used to live in a miserable state. But now he feels like a fish in water. But just when he was feeling proud, he was actually crushed several times in the face by a minibus in front of so many young men. Brother Yu felt that his face seemed to be covered with dirty tire marks. If Jiang Lusher is not killed, Brother Yu feels that he will not be able to hold his head high in the future. Therefore, when Jiang Lusher was still enjoying the collision with his minibus, Brother Yu ran over to refuel the car that was originally parked at a gas station, but was abandoned when the apocalypse came, and was later driven away by the speedsters. Heavy trucks are coming. Can't this minibus be hit? Then he will kill Jian Lusher. No matter how awesome the minibus was, he didn't believe it could hit this heavy truck. Boom, boom, boom. Brother Yu stepped on the accelerator. Seeing Brother Yu driving this heavy truck towards him, Jian Liosher's heart skipped a beat. This heavy duty truck is really a steel monster. It hits a target at full speed, and the visual impact it brings is too strong. If a heavy truck like this really hits it, it will definitely not be killed. But the base vehicle will definitely be seriously damaged. However, Brother Yu's plan to hit him with a heavy truck was too simple. Jian Liosher's base car also has the function of instant acceleration, which is completely enough for him to drive away, whether it's dodging or changing direction. There's no problem. However, Jian Liosher did not press the instant acceleration button. It would be easy to escape. But in that case, his purpose of coming here would not be achieved. On the contrary, 
Jian Lusher stared closely at the oncoming heavy truck and stepped on the accelerator hard. In fact, although this moment is dangerous, it is also an opportunity for him. A good opportunity to kill Brother Yu. Jian Lusher stared closely at the rapidly approaching heavy truck. And Star Seed kept reminding him of the change in distance between the two sides. Seeing that the minibus not only did not run away, but instead rushed towards him. Brother Yu in the car suddenly sneered. Aha! Uh -huh. This person is really too arrogant! I will run you over right now! Run you over to death! He couldn't wait to squeeze Jian Lusher into pulp. Brother Yu felt excited when he thought about the scene where the front of the minibus was deformed. Jian Lusher seemed to be thrown into a meat grinder, and blood kept flowing out from the seams of the car. Abnormal. I feel numb all over my body. He had already stepped on the accelerator to the bottom, and he burst out laughing in the car. The speedster gang also looked at this scene. They all felt that this minibus was completely crazy and was simply trying to kill an egg with an egg. It is very possible that Jian Lusher did such a crazy thing and knew that he could not leave alive. So he adopted this suicidal method. In the minibus, Jian Liosher's expression was always calm. While listening to Starseed's prompts, he was rapidly calculating in his mind. It's now! Jian Lusher pressed a button suddenly. Ten! Nine! Eight! The distance between the two parties was close enough that they could clearly see the expressions on each other's faces. Jian Lusher saw a ferocious smile on Brother Yu's face, laughed at himself, and shouted something. Judging from the mouth shape, it should be, Go to H! L! Jian Lusher didn't say anything. The countdown of Star C came from his mind. Three, two, one. The distance between the two cars is only 10 meters. Bang! With a loud noise, the twisted and excited expression on Brother Yu's face suddenly froze. Jian Lusher almost watched the heavy truck's forward momentum come to an abrupt halt. The terrifying power of the air cannon caused the heavy truck's windshield to burst the moment the airflow touched the front of the truck. The broken glass, like shards of snowflakes, swept Brother Yu away. Then, the front of the car began to deform and jerk backwards. The trailer behind it was still rushing forward according to its inertia because of its heavy weight. The front of the car and the carriage suddenly squeezed together with a terrifying force. Bang, bang, bang. A series of explosion-like sounds resounded. Chapter 40 Mutated Energy When a behemoth such as a heavy truck collides, the visual conflict will be extremely strong, especially when viewed from a close distance. Even though they knew that the car would not hit them, the speedsters couldn't help but scream and retreat. It was so amazing that in almost an instant, the front of the car was completely flattened and deformed. The tragedy that Brother Yu imagined would happen to Jian Lusher happened to him in an even more tragic way. As for the speedsters, they didn't see clearly what was going on. They originally thought that there would be no suspense about what happened next after the heavy truck hit the minibus. But unexpectedly, the two vehicles were about to collide with each other. But the front of the heavy truck suddenly overturned and they watched the front of the car deform. Brother Yu was very fast. But this time, he didn't have time to escape and was crushed along with the front of the car. The rear end of the car was thrown sideways with the inertia, making a harsh friction sound on the road, and then rolled over and fell to the ground. This whole process makes people unable to believe their eyes. The huge movement made all of their ears buzz. And it was like a big explosion. Jian Lusher saw some fragments splashing onto his windshield, making a dense explosion. However, this level of sputtering will not cause any damage to bulletproof glass. Jian Lusher, who was sitting in the car, also took a breath of cold air. Jian Lusher was not surprised by the fate of the heavy truck. But when I saw it with my own eyes, I was still shocked. He had already seen the power of the air cannon. And to be on the safe side, he deliberately waited until the distance between the two vehicles was as short as possible. If the distance continues to shorten, when the heavy truck is bombarded by air cannon, the base vehicle will also be affected to some extent. Jian Lusher aimed the air cannon directly at the cab of the heavy truck. So he knew without confirmation that Brother Yu must be dead. Although Brother Yu is a superpower, he is still flesh and blood after all. Under such power, there is no chance of survival. Jian Lusher breathed out softly. Just now, he had been concentrating on listening to the distance prompts from Star Seed. All his mind was focused on the moment of firing, which consumed a lot of money on him. It is detected that energy is escaping. Do you want to absorb it? Xing Zhong suddenly prompted. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. The energy escaped? Although he didn't know what it was. Jian Lusher immediately said in his mind. Yes. Absorb it. Absorbing. The abnormal energy has been absorbed and the energy has been stored. The new energy level is less than one level and cannot be used for upgrades. 
you can choose to continue to store it. Or it can be used to improve the armor defense of the base vehicle SH. L. Abnormal energy? Jian Lusher was a little confused. He looked at the overturned heavy truck and suddenly understood. This mutated energy is probably Brother Yu's superpower energy. However, Jian Lusher didn't understand this new energy. Fortunately, Zingzi quickly explained it. After Brother Yu died, the energy from his body escaped. And the base vehicle could also absorb this energy. This is not the same as the crystal nucleus of a mutated wild boar. This kind of abnormal energy is stored in Brother Yu's body. When Brother Yu uses his own powers, this energy will be consumed. And at the same time, a very small part will escape. However, the part that escapes is too small. And the base vehicle will not detect it or absorb it. After Brother Yu died, all this energy escaped. And the base vehicle detected it immediately. And Brother Yu's level as a superpower is too low. Not even reaching the first level. So the energy he initially dissipated is naturally less than the first level. This energy can actually improve the defense of the SH. L. Jian Lusher already felt that the defense of the base vehicle was not enough. Forget about the terrifying impact of the mutated wild boar. Even the homemade Molotov cocktail thrown by the speeding party could deal with it. Some damage to the casing. After that, he will go to Jin Ling. In this central eastern city with a permanent population of more than 8 million. The base vehicle's SH. L defense will only become even more inadequate. If it can be improved a little. It will mean survival for Jian Lusher. Further increase in the rate. After all, Jian Lusher has no idea what is going on in Jin Ling now. He had previously thought that after the end of the world, the internet would not be interrupted so quickly. But it seemed that due to the impact of explosions and fires, Jian Lusher had never been connected to the internet at all. Otherwise, there might be survivors who would ask for help and exchange some information through the internet. In this way, he could also ask and learn something about Jin Ling. However, even if he didn't know anything, Jian Lusher was certain of at least one thing. That is, the more densely populated and prosperous the place was in the past, the more it is now a restricted area for life. While thinking about it, Jian Lusher had already confirmed, okay, in his mind, this kind of energy, which is not even at the first level, is weaker than the previous mutated wild boar. The mutated wild boar is rated as a first level crystal core, which just allows the base vehicle to evolve once. It is estimated that the energy accumulated by this superpower can also allow the base vehicle to evolve once. But compared with storage, it is actually better to improve the defense of the SH. L. Lusher now needs it most. The upgrade of the SH. L's defensive power does not affect Jian Liusher's continued driving of the base vehicle. Even the speed of this upgrade is the fastest completed among the modification and upgrade projects of the base vehicle so far. It only takes 15 minutes for the SH. L to be upgraded. At this time, Jian Lusher turned his attention to the speedsters, who were still looking at the heavy trucks with disbelief on their faces. These speeding gangs have always centered on Brother Yu, completely bowing to Brother Yu's fighting power, and are quite afraid of Brother Yu. Now, Brother Yu died in front of them. When these speedsters come to their senses, they will naturally think that without Brother Yu, they can still dominate when they gather together, because Brother Yu has already laid the foundation for them. However, as soon as this idea came to mind, they suddenly shuddered and looked at the minibus. In the minibus, Jian Lusher was also looking at them. As soon as the two sides' eyes met, Jian Lusher stepped on the accelerator suddenly, seeing the minibus moving and rushing towards them. These speedsters were immediately frightened. One by one, they started their motorcycles and started running away. For these people, Jian Lusher would not let the tiger go back to the mountain. These speedster gangs have done countless evil things, and they tried to do something to him twice. Jian Lusher is not a tolerant and generous person. If these people attack him, he will not be polite. Chapter 41 Ready to Go Hearing the roar of the minibus behind them, these speedsters were really scared to death. Even the heavy trucks were on their knees, and they were riding motorcycles without any sense of security. Go into the alley! He can't catch up! Some of the bikers shouted. They all went into the alley. But soon after they entered the alley, zombies suddenly jumped out, threw them off the motorcycle, and started biting them. There are not many of these zombies. And many zombies have appeared on the streets. They are running very fast. And they are not afraid of injury or death at all. Their reactions and jumping abilities are very agile. These speedsters were knocked down one by one. Or were directly blocked by the zombies. Unable to stand out. And then were drowned in the zombies amidst the screams. The sudden appearance of so many zombies was obviously attracted by the previous explosion. However, 
Most of the zombies have been lured away from a distance. These zombies are hidden in those buildings. The total number of zombies is only about a hundred. And they pose no threat to Jiang Lusher. But those speedsters were in dire straits. With Jiang Lusher chasing them on one side and zombies on the other. Soon, they were either knocked down by Jiang Lusher. Or died in the malice of zombies while escaping. Some zombies turned their targets towards Jiang Lusher. At first, Jiang Lusher ignored them. It was not until he was sure that all the speedsters had been dealt with that he suddenly turned around and started to collide with the zombies. Bang, 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 bang. Bloody crashes were heard intensively. Jiang Lusher drove the base vehicle back and forth on the street several times and honked the horn several times, attracting all the zombies that were lying on the corpses and eating nonstop. Come over. These zombies desperately threw themselves at the base vehicle. As soon as their outstretched palms and ferocious faces touched the glass, they were knocked out or were caught under the wheels. Soon, there wasn't even a zombie standing on the street, on the road outside the gas station, except for an overturned heavy truck. There were corpses and motorcycles all over the ground. Extremely tragic. John Lusher, who caused this scene, breathed out when he saw this scene. This is the end of the world. I have always heard that human life is like a drop of grass. But only now do I really understand the meaning of this sentence. Zombies eat people. And people also eat people. If you don't kill someone, you will be killed by others. After waiting for a while, Jiang Lusher slowly drove the minibus back to where the heavy truck was, and then parked the minibus next to the deformed front of the truck. After ensuring this angle, others could not sneak attack, and he could immediately jump into the car and return to the base car. Jiang Lusher opened the car door and walked out carefully. In fact, the location where he got off the car was a blind spot formed by the front of the car and the base car. Even if there were zombies now, they would not be able to squeeze in. After Jiang Lusher got out of the car, he was facing the driver's seat of the heavy truck. However, it has now been completely squeezed into a twisted mass of iron. And its original shape cannot be seen anymore. Some blood flowed out from the gaps in the iron block. Jiang Lusher looked carefully and saw a hand through the gap at the bottom. As a person with superpowers, the boss of the speeding car gang, and the local emperor of this small town. Jian Lusher felt that Brother Yu should have a lot of good things in him. But now it seems that it is impossible for him to drag Brother Yu out of this gap. Those good things are now a pity. But just when Jian Lusher felt regretful, he suddenly saw a black thing from under that hand. Jian Lusher stretched out his foot and pushed Brother Yu's hand aside. It's that pistol. Because of its relatively small size, this pistol was not only not crushed together, but instead fell out of the gap when the heavy truck rolled over. Jian Lusher felt happy and quickly picked up the pistol. In the process of picking up the gun, Jian Lusher was also very careful to avoid accidentally injuring himself. After confirming that the gun had indeed not been squeezed out and was intact, a smile finally appeared on Jian Lusher's face. Naturally, Jian Lusher had never played with a May 4 style pistol. However, when he was a child, he would never let go of a toy gun. And before his parents passed away, he was also taken to a shooting gallery to play with on his birthday. Of course, after such a long time, Jian Lusher felt very unfamiliar. But he still remembered some basic common sense. After the pistol was pushed into the magazine, the bullet was still in the magazine and did not enter the chamber. You have to perform a loading action before a bullet can be pushed from the magazine into the ready position of the gun. The gun has a safety mechanism. After the bullet is loaded, the safety mechanism must be flipped to release the safety. In this way, the gun is ready to fire. The gun Jian Lusher picked up had the bullet loaded and the safety turned on. Jian Lusher unloaded the bullet and closed the safety. And then he took it in his hand and played with it with confidence. Picking up the May 4th pistol gave Jian Lusher another glimmer of hope. And he searched patiently for a while. Unfortunately, Jian Lusher didn't find anything useful except blood and various fragments. After restarting the base vehicle, Jian Lusher drove the minibus to the gas station. Now. No one will bother him to cheer up. Brother Yu and other speedsters collected all the oil in the town and stored it here. Now, it was all taken advantage of by Jian Lusher. The base vehicle is parked. The automatic refueling device is started. And the fuel pipe is immediately extended and connected to the refueling gun. Suddenly, a large amount of gasoline poured into the base vehicle's fuel tank. This fuel tank is like a big mouth. A whale swallowing the gasoline. The consumption of the battle with Brother Yu just now was quickly replenished. And then, 1000 L, 1500 L, 2000 L. Finally, a full 10,000 L. The 10 cubic meter fuel tank was completely filled. 
and 10, 000L of gasoline was already in Jiang Liusher's base car. This made Jiang Liusher, who had been staring at 20 yuan of gasoline and living tightly, feel extremely relaxed, finally filled up with gas. If we collect these 10, 000L from those cars, I don't know how much we need to collect before we can collect them all. The gas tank is full, and I don't panic. Now, the base car can accelerate smoothly and use various functions without any scruples. Jian Lusher felt somewhat confident about entering Jinling City. After filling up the tank, Jian Lusher was not satisfied. He searched inside the gas station and found a small tanker. The tanker was full of gasoline and there was no leakage. Jian Lusher was so happy that he towed it directly to the minibus. After towing the tank truck, Jian Lusher had no other way to take away the gasoline. So he had to reluctantly give up the gasoline. This town is not far from Jinling. If you can't find gasoline in Jinling, you might be able to come back here. After doing all this, Jian Lusher drove to the small building where the speeder party was based. Chapter 42 Humiliation and Grief Outside the car repair shop, several corpses were lying on the ground, disemboweled and even missing limbs. Jian Lusher saw Wang Mao's figure from inside at a glance. These people stayed here at the stronghold. After the explosion attracted zombies, they were attacked by zombies. Later, the zombies that were eating them were lured away by Jian Liusher's car horn, and were then hit and killed by Jian Liusher. Jian Liusher parked the base car at the door. He had been focusing on refueling before, but now he realized that the upgrade of the outer SH I had been completed with the addition of mutated energy. The SH L of the base vehicle looked unchanged from the outside, but when Jian Liusher knocked it on with his hand, there was a faint feeling that the SH I had some elasticity. In fact, the SH L is still hard. And it feels like this because the inside of the SH I can absorb a certain amount of impact. So it feels like it has been hit on cotton. However, this feeling was not strong, but very weak. Jian Lusher knew that this was because the base vehicle absorbed too little mutation energy this time. But this change has made Jian Lusher very satisfied with this extra ability to absorb impacts. The damage rate of the base vehicle can be greatly reduced. After taking the wrench and holding the Type 54 pistol in his hand, Jian Lusher loaded the bullet, opened the safety, and took his finger off the trigger. Then, Jian Lusher got out of the car. After stepping over the body, Jian Lusher entered the car repair shop, and then walked cautiously towards the corridor. Jian Lusher had already heard from Huang Mao about the situation in this building. This small building has four floors. The lower three floors are the residences of the speeder party. And the fourth floor is the residence of Brother Yu alone. The various supplies they collected are also on the fourth floor. Although it was expected that there would be no more speedsters in the building, Jian Lusher was still very careful. On the fourth floor, the women who had been watching from the window were now gathered together, holding hands with each other, with nervous and apprehensive expressions on their faces. They all heard Jian Liusher's footsteps coming up. These footsteps were approaching. Before, through the window, they completely witnessed the scene of Jian Lusher driving the minibus on a rampage. In the end, in a thrilling collision, with a loud bang like an explosion, Brother Yu's car was knocked out. The heavy truck was completely smashed into scrap metal. Seeing that scene, these women all felt unbelievable. A shabby-looking minibus actually flattened the front of a heavy truck? After the collision like this, Brother Yu who was in the cab must have turned into a meat pie. They kept staring at the disfigured heavy truck cab, and the blood flowing out of the cab. Unable to believe the fact that Brother Yu was dead. That arrogant and powerful Brother Yu. Who was in charge of the entire town. And who could be tortured to death if he displeased him. Was actually killed today. Is this a dream? Before they could react. They heard another crash. And the roar of a car engine. The engine of the small minibus was like thunder. Shaking their eardrums. The minibuses were like furious beasts. Rushing around and hitting the remaining speedsters. It was like a tiger entering a flock of sheep, destroying everything. The speedsters were so frightened that they fled in all directions. In the end, they were either hit to death or bitten to death by zombies. This scene also made them feel like they were dreaming. Those hateful and vicious speedsters, who were like a pack of wolves were completely wiped out in just a few minutes. These women were all forced and robbed. They hated the speedsters, especially Brother Yu, with deep hatred. Now, Seeing the miserable end of Brother Yu and the speeder gang, even worse than the survivors they had bullied and killed, they all found it hard to believe. After killing all the zombies and speedsters, the minibus returned to the heavy truck. They watched Jian Lusher get out of the car. 
Jian Lusher was wearing an ordinary black t-shirt and a pair of jeans. He looked simple and very young. When they saw the collision process of the minibus, they thought that the driver of the minibus must be very fierce. Unexpectedly, he turned out to be such a young man. Then, they witnessed the scene when the young man climbed into the cab of the heavy truck and took out the pistol from Brother Yu's hand. This scene also confirmed to all the girls that Brother Yu was really dead and was killed by this young man. That's him! He killed Brother Yu! He, he's about the same age as you! Shiro, a slightly older woman said with a trembling voice. Shiro is the youngest among them. Only 18 years old. When the apocalypse came, Shiro's parents died, and she and her 12-year-old brother depended on each other. But later, they really couldn't live anymore. Neither Shiro nor her brother were in good health, and they were tortured by hunger and disease, leaving them desperate. Later, they were captured by the speedsters, forced, tortured, and ravaged. And with their younger brother in danger, Shiro finally endured this humiliation in order to exchange a meal and a box of medicine for herself and her younger brother. She betrayed her dignity. She felt dirty. And many nights, she woke up from nightmares and tears. But, she has no choice. This is the end of the world. Human life is so despicable. Especially for girls, who have no ability to survive. She can only bear it. Or choose to die with her brother. She was already desperate, and wanted to commit suicide several times. But she could not let go of her brother. But today, she saw brother you dead. Squashed like a cockroach. The feelings inside her were indescribable. She held her shoulders with her hands. And tears couldn't stop flowing out. It was unclear whether the tears were joy or sadness. She wiped her tears desperately. But the tears couldn't stop flowing. She looked at the door and listened to the footsteps getting closer. She knew that it was the young man who had come in. At this moment, she was inexplicably nervous, scared, but also a little bit excited. She didn't know what fate awaited her. It took Jiang Lusher about 10 minutes to finally get to the fourth floor. As soon as he arrived on the fourth floor, Jian Lusher heard some sounds coming from inside. Jian Lusher picked up the muzzle of his gun, slowly reached the ajar door, and then kicked the door open with a sudden movement. Don't move! While shouting these words, Jian Lusher felt as if he had slipped into some role. Inside the house, several women were standing together, facing the door, as if waiting for his arrival, seeing him kicking open the door and pointing the black gun at them. These women couldn't help but tremble. Chapter 43 What kind of plane is this? A group of girls don't know what fate awaits them. Brother Yu is dead. But what about this young man? He killed Brother Yu. There is no doubt that he will take charge of everything here and become the new ruler of the town. At the same time, if he wanted to, with just a thought, he would become their new master. They were beaten, enslaved, and ravaged by Brother Yu, which made them have very low expectations for survival. They just needed the new ruler to give them a little food. Don't move! All of you! Suddenly seeing such a group of girls appear, Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. But he did not relax his vigilance at all. Among these seemingly helpless girls, there might be members of the speeder party. Just a pistol could kill him. How could he allow such a thing to happen? Raise your hands and come forward one by one, Jian Lusher said. The women were looking at him. Hurry up! Jian Lusher urged again. Shiro wiped away her tears, raised her hands high, and walked out first. She walked up to Jian Lusher who was holding a gun as he walked over and groped around Shiro's waist in pockets. When Shiro was touched by Jian Lusher, her body trembled slightly. But she did not dodge. She bit her lip and looked at Jian Lusher. Okay, you stand over there. Next one. Jian Lusher finished the body search and said to Shiro. Shiro walked aside obediently. Soon, all these women were searched by Jian Lusher. There were no weapons on them. Jian Lusher guessed that they should be women who were snatched away by the speeding gang. They were probably Brother Yu's women. After being searched by Jian Lusher, these women were standing together in the corner of the room, looking at Jian Lusher with anxious eyes. Big brother! A woman in red tremblingly spoke. You, what are you going to do to us? The woman who spoke looked like she was in her early twenties. She was plump and beautiful. In fact, almost all the girls in this room were young and beautiful. They either looked innocent or plump and sexy, each with their own characteristics. In the mind of the girl in red, this young man will probably control their future destiny. With such a group of delicate girls in the room, powerless to resist, I am afraid that not many men will not be aroused. But take a look at Jian Lusher. He is young and good-looking. He is much better than Brother Yu. If he is not too cruel to them, 
it seems that it is not unacceptable to follow him. A girl like her. In the apocalypse. Only those who rely on the strong can survive. Jian Lusher glanced at the woman in red and didn't bother to pay attention to her. He glanced at all the girls in the room and finally locked his eyes on Shiro. It's not because Shiro looks lovely, but because she has a slender figure and looks extremely frail. So there should be no possibility of harming herself. You? Jian Lusher pointed his gun at Jiang Shiro. Come here. Jian Liosher's voice was a bit fierce. I. Suddenly being called by Jian Lusher, Shiro's expression changed slightly. And she was actually the first one called. She bit her lip and finally walked towards Jian Lusher. Originally, she still had some extravagant hopes for Brother Yu's death. But she didn't know what she was hoping for. She obediently walked to Jian Lusher, closed her eyes. Her eyelashes trembled slightly and subconsciously tightened her collar with one hand, her knuckles turning slightly white from the exertion. This was a kind of unwillingness, but resignation. She knew she couldn't resist Jian Lusher. Why are you closing your eyes? Jian Lusher frowned. What kind of plane is this woman doing? Hey, let me ask you. Where did brother you put all the supplies? Jian Lusher asked about his purpose. Brother you had plundered so much people's treasures and people's anointing, and his inventory would definitely be gone. Ah? Shiro was stunned for a moment, opened her eyes, and then raised her hand in confusion, pointing to one of the rooms. When she put her fingers down, Shiro still felt like she hadn't come back to her senses. Is this person just asking about supplies? Go over and open the door. Jian Lusher shouted. Yes, there is a lock. Shiro replied timidly. Jian Lusher didn't say anything after hearing this. He walked straight to the door of the room, pointed at the keyhole, raised the muzzle of his gun, and then turned sideways. Bang! A gunshot sounded, and Jian Lusher felt his arm shake. He had already held the gun firmly, so the recoil didn't cause the muzzle to move much. Ah! The girls covered their ears and screamed. The door lock was broken, and Jian Lusher kicked the door open. The precious storage room that brother Yu had carefully locked to prevent anyone from entering was opened by him in a very violent way. After opening the door, Jian Lusher first checked the situation at the door and then walked into the house while Shiro and other girls secretly looked at him in panic. As soon as he entered the room, Jian Lusher was secretly speechless. This room is simply a food warehouse, filled with supplies from floor to ceiling. One of the refrigerated cabinets is filled with all kinds of fresh food. Jian Liosher's current staple food is of course mutated pork that can improve physical strength. But the freshness of these vegetables and fungi can improve the taste. This kind of thing is rare in the last days but Jian Lusher cannot bring it with him. Brother Yu set up his base next to the gas station. His refrigerator was maintained by a generator 24 hours a day, and the food inside was kept very fresh. Jian Lusher can only take as many of these good things as he can. Thinking about Jian Zhuing hiding in a house with no electricity, he probably only had some dry food to eat. If everything went well, he might have time to bring it to her. When he thought of this, Jian Lusher urgently felt the need to upgrade his storage space. If the storage space of the base vehicle is large enough, he can carry a few more refrigerated cabinets of food. As for those vacuum-packed foods, there are also a wide variety of them, such as ham, bacon, shredded rabbit, etc. In fact, Jian Lusher already had a lot of food stored. But Jian Lusher knew that this was just the beginning of the end of the world. And the further it went, the harder it would be to collect food. Although these foods are not as good as mutated animal meat. They are still real hard currency. Jian Lusher wouldn't mind if he had too much food. There were so many of these things that Jian Lusher asked one of the girls to find some snakeskin bags and filled them with more than 10 bags. I don't know if these snakeskin bags were used by the survivors to hold those things when they handed over supplies. While loading food, Jian Lusher found another box. This box was stored in the corner and packed very well. Jian Lusher opened the box and was immediately happy. Inside this box are things that brother you collected from the police station. They are very precious to him. Jian Lusher took a look and saw two body armors. A police electric baton. A lot of bullets. And a police helmet. These things are very useful to Jian Lusher. Especially body armor and bullets. Both of which he lacked. With the bulletproof vest, Jian Liosher's own fragility has been strengthened a little. And the bullets are the guarantee that the May 4 style in his hand will not become scrap metal. When Jian Lusher was on the base vehicle, he was naturally combat effective and safe. But when he got off the vehicle like now, he needed to use other methods to ensure his safety and combat effectiveness. This box of things was an unexpected surprise. 
and Jian Lusher decided to take the entire box away. There were too many things, and he had to take them again and again. Jian Liusher's original physical strength was pretty good. But after eating mutant beast meat, it was slightly enhanced. Climbing the stairs a few times with supplies was nothing to him. These girls stood in the corner, watching in silence as Jian Lusher kept carrying the supplies on his back. Chapter 44 Two Choices Jian Lusher ran back and forth. A total of ten times. I don't know if it was because he ate some mutated beast meat during this period. But Jian Lusher didn't feel very tired. He did the moving work relatively easily. Soon the entire base vehicle was filled to the brim with supplies. Seeing that there was really no place to put it, Jian Lusher simply fixed the remaining snakeskin bags on the luggage rack on the roof of the car. As a result, his minibus looked even more shabby, with snakeskin bags piled on the roof, giving it the impression of a migrant worker entering the city. In the end, all the places where supplies could be stored were used by Jian Lusher, and there was still some supplies left that he really couldn't take away. Jian Lusher could only choose some high-calorie, small-volume foods such as chocolate from the remaining supplies to take with him. He glanced regretfully into the storage room and then walked out, seeing that Jian Lusher's hands were empty this time, and he was no longer carrying the bulging snakeskin bag. The eyes of these girls involuntarily glanced in the direction of the storage room. Taking them all away, Shiro pinched the corner of her clothes, feeling a little desperate inside. When Brother Yu was around, they didn't dare to go near the storage room at all. Not to mention them. Not even the speedsters were allowed to approach the storage room. Only a few of his cronies have the chance to enter. Therefore, they have no idea how much supplies are in the storage room. But seeing that Jian Lusher was focused on supplies, they felt that Jian Lusher had taken all the supplies away. Without food, they don't know how to survive. After Jian Lusher came out of the storage room, he searched the living room and Brother Yu's bedroom. When he found nothing useful, he walked straight towards the door. At this time, Shiro bit her lower lip and summoned up the courage to call Jian Lusher. Please, please wait a moment. Jian Lusher turned his head and glanced at Shiro. At this time, the girls in the room all looked very nervous. Shiro looked at Jian Lusher, and for a moment, she really didn't know what to say. They all knew that Jian Lusher had no reason to leave food for them. But without food, it meant that they would starve to death. And asking Jian Lusher to leave a little bit for them was too much. Even if Jian Lusher refused, it would be reasonable. I, we... Seeing that Shiro was hesitant in speaking, Jian Lusher lost his patience. He stepped out of the door and was about to go downstairs when he turned back. When Shiro and the others saw Jian Lusher going out, their hearts suddenly dropped. But now that they saw him coming back, they all looked hopeful. Some girls even couldn't help but want to say whether they could follow Jian Lusher's words. To be fair, Jian Lusher was young and good-looking. Most of them were willing to follow Jian Lusher and have a bite to eat. But, they couldn't speak. They vaguely felt that Jian Lusher was not interested in them at all. If he proposed, he would probably be rejected. That would be really embarrassing. Moreover, they have no abilities and are just a burden. At this moment, Jian Lusher spoke. If you want to join the survivor team, I have a suitable team to recommend to you. But everyone there has to collect food. After a while, I will let that team when the team comes. It's up to you to decide whether you want to join them or not. Of course, you can also choose to leave. There are some supplies left in the room. And you can pick some and take them away. He felt that it was a pity that all these supplies were left here. If these girls continue to live here, they will not be able to keep these supplies. And they may be targeted soon. The survivor team that Sister Wen Xiao Tian was in urgently needed these supplies. Of course, if these girls are unwilling to join Wen Xiao Tian's team, Jian Lusher will not force them. This is their own choice. After hearing Jian Liusher's words, these girls immediately looked at each other. They found it inconceivable that Jian Lusher had left the food on his own initiative without them having to beg. And when he just left, they felt desperate in their hearts, thinking that they must starve to death. As for the team of survivors Jian Lusher mentioned, it probably has something to do with him. But he himself should not be among them. Otherwise, he would not have to say this. And just call his people over. These girls have no doubt that if Jian Lusher leads a team of survivors, he must be the leader of this team. How do you choose? Jian Lusher asked, seeing that Jian Lusher seemed to be a little impatient. Xiao Rou and the other girls whispered a few words. Then she looked at Jian Lusher and said firmly, We are willing to join this team of survivors. What we should do? We're all going to do it with all our might, rather than being ravaged by others in exchange for food. Shiro actually prefers to be self-reliant. 
but girls like them don't have the ability to survive alone. Now, Jian Lusher had given them such an opportunity, and Shiro was actually very grateful to Jian Lusher. Well, then you just wait here, Jian Lusher said. The location of this place is very good. Jian Lusher feels that it is more suitable as a camp for when Shaokian and the others. He wasn't worried that these girls would run away with the supplies. Even if they took it, they wouldn't be able to take much. And they wouldn't be able to survive on their own. Seeing Jian Lusher was about to leave, Shiro suddenly called out again from behind. Please wait a moment. What happened again? Jian Lusher was really dizzy. He turned his head and saw Shiro's eyes were a little red. And said with tears, Thank you. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Jian Lusher felt that he actually didn't do anything. When the end of the world comes, Jian Lusher thinks that he is not a good person. But he will not take the initiative to do evil. Everything he does is for survival and to reach Jinling City smoothly. On the premise of ensuring these things, Jian Lusher would not refuse to give others a hand. And he was not a hard-hearted person. In the Wen family, Wen Xiaoyan, Wen Lu, and the survivors were all waiting eagerly at the window for Jian Lusher to come back. Their hearts were full of worry. And the survivors were still uneasy and uneasy. Although Jian Lusher told them not to worry and just stay at home before leaving. These people stood here as anxious as ants on a hot pot, resting on pins and needles. But they also knew that even if they hid elsewhere, if Jian Lusher failed, they would still be found by Brother Yu and the speeding gang and die in a very miserable way. They are all ordinary people. And it is very difficult for them to escape from this town. There is no gasoline and no food. Even if you escape, you will either be overtaken or starve to death. Therefore, they all silently hope that a miracle will happen. The old man went to the yard and picked up the overturned rice pot. When Huang Mao and the others had a conflict with Jian Lusher, the rice pot was thrown to the ground by Huang Mao's younger brother. The rice in the rice pot was already half cooked, and more than half of it spilled out, covering the ground with ashes. The old man put the rice back into the pot with his hands. Not a single grain was wasted. These rice can be eaten again after washing. The remaining survivors watched silently as the old man put the rice pot back on the boil. Then, he went to the corpses of the speedsters and took back the materials taken by the speedsters one by one. Chapter 45 Leaving When Xiaoyan also looked at the old man's actions, she clasped her hands tightly and was worried. At this moment, when Xiaoyan was very conflicted, she had heard a lot about Brother Yu's brutal deeds from these survivors and her sister Wen Lu. She was very worried about Jian Lusher's safety. Thanks to Jian Lusher, Wen Xiaoyan was able to come back and reunite with his sister. This is something that many people would not even dare to hope for in the last days. So on the one hand, Wen Xiaoyan hopes that Jian Lusher can put his own safety first. Even if he doesn't get rid of Brother Yu and the speedster gang. It doesn't matter. But on the other hand, she also knew that if Jian Lusher could not solve Brother Yu's problem, they would soon face revenge. At that time, what she and her sister should do is still a completely unknown question. Maybe it's unknown because I can't think of how to resist and protect myself. So I can only wait in panic for despair to come. When Lu put her hand in her pocket, secretly holding a dagger, she knew how brother Yu treated those who dared to resist him. And when Lu would not give those speedsters a chance to torture her. While thinking this in her heart, when Lu felt her hand holding the knife tremble slightly, the answer should be revealed soon. But for her and these survivors, Every second is very long at this moment. Woo! Suddenly, the roar of the engine came, and all the survivors, including Wen Lu and Wen Xiaotian, were shocked, as if waiting for the verdict. They all moved to the window, then stiffened their bodies and looked out little by little. Wen Lu clenched the dagger, while Wen Xiaotian clenched his hands tightly into fists. Everyone's heart was in their throats. It's Brother Jiang! Wen Lu suddenly shouted in surprise. Outside the courtyard, the minibus was dragging a small oil tank with many bags tied to the roof. It was driving slowly to the entrance of the courtyard and then stopped. When Lu suddenly took out the dagger and threw it aside, and then ran out of the door like a fly. She couldn't wait to know what happened. When Xiaoyan stared at the minibus blankly, she was still embarrassed and entangled before. But she didn't expect that Jian Lusher would drive back in the minibus in the blink of an eye. This feeling was the same as when she was knocked unconscious after encountering a mutated wild boar and then saw the wild boar carcass when she woke up. It's all like a dream. The survivors were all in a daze, and they didn't react until when Lu had run out of the courtyard. Go and see! Look what's going on! The minibus appeared here, and there were no speedsters following it. Moreover, a fuel tanker was towed behind the bus. What happened was already obvious. However, 
even if the facts are right in front of them. These survivors still have a feeling of disbelief. Soon, they all came to the cab and saw Jian Lusher in the car. Then, they heard Jian Lusher explain the whole story. Jian Lusher even told them that they could be allowed to take over the Speeder Party's stronghold. And that there were also, there are some supplies left. They couldn't believe how Jian Lusher did it. In front of Brother Yu, they all felt hopeless. So many people were unable to resist. And those who tried to resist met a very miserable end. But Jian Lusher, relying on one person and one car, did not go for a long time and saw the dark cloud hanging over their heads. Judging from Jian Lusher's understatement, it seemed that all this was just done casually. They looked at the minibus in disbelief. Several bullet holes were clearly visible on the windshield. But the bullets did not penetrate the glass. They looked at Jian Lusher. And Jian Liusher's body was completely unscathed. They were finally convinced that what Jian Liusher said was indeed true. And they were freed from Brother Yu's clutches. These survivors all feel like they have been reborn. The old man came out of the house and stood behind the crowd, listening to Jian Liusher's words. His hands were shaking slightly, and he couldn't help crying. No wonder he was crying. He had always been worried about his grandson. Even today, he was mentally prepared to take his grandson away if he died and not let him stay in this world and suffer. But now, everything has become clear. Not only does he not have to take his grandson to die with him, but he can also live in a safer place and have enough to eat. From now on, they no longer have to be oppressed by Brother Yu and humiliated by those speedster gangs. These survivors recovered from the surprise and kept thanking Jian Lusher. But at this time, Jian Lusher had already mentioned that he would leave soon. With the gasoline filled and everything ready, Jian Lusher couldn't wait to go to Jin Ling. When Xiao Tian and Wen Lu have been reunited. But he is still worried about Jiang Zhuying. This town was not very far from Jin Ling. And Jian Lusher just wanted to leave as soon as possible. When they heard that Jian Lusher was leaving, the survivors were stunned. You have helped us so much. How could you just leave like this? Wen Lu said bluntly and held the car door. As if Jian Lusher could not drive away. Wen Lu wanted to repay Jian Lusher. And when Xiao Tian even more so. And the same is true for those survivors. Although he may not be able to give Jian Lusher what he needs, at least he can cook a few meals for him. No need, Jian Lusher said. He felt that everything was ready. The distance was not far away, and he could not waste any more time. As for saving these people, his goal was actually to obtain gasoline. Saving these people was not his original intention. It was just a matter of convenience. Be careful. There's no problem walking to the gas station. By the way, Jian Lusher suddenly remembered something and told them about the situation of Shiro's girls. When Lu immediately said that there was no problem at all, she had heard about the situation of those girls and had always been sympathetic to them. But Jian Lusher insisted on leaving. But he marked this place on the map. At that gas station, he might be able to come back if he couldn't find gasoline in the future. The gasoline in Jin Ling may have been taken away by the military. He may face a shortage of gasoline when he gets there. Although he has carried as much gasoline as possible. The town is in a secluded location, and after these survivors moved to the gas station, they could also help him guard the gas station. Seeing that Sister Wen Xiaoyan and these survivors were eager to repay him, Jian Lusher made this request. These survivors immediately agreed and felt very happy to be able to help Jian Lusher in a small way. Sister Wen Xiaoyan kept waving to Jian Lusher's car, although they didn't get along for a long time. They saw Jian Lusher driving the car with oil tanks and cargo on it and the roof of the car was piled with supplies. When the bus drove away, when Xiaofian still felt reluctant to leave, Jian Lusher sat in the car and reached out to open the map to Jin Ling. Chapter 46 Railway Station The distance from the town to Jin Ling was not far, and Jian Lusher kept moving forward at a constant speed. The closer we get to Jin Ling, the more abandoned vehicles there are on the road. Jian Lusher knocked aside a car that was blocking the way, and looked at the driver's unrecognizable carcass that was half stretched out of the car window and swayed with the swing of the car. Bodies and large amounts of brown blood can be seen everywhere inside and outside these abandoned vehicles. And an unpleasant rotten smell permeates the road. Although he had seen many corpses, Jian Lusher still felt an indescribable feeling when he saw this desolate and murderous scene. Most of what he had seen before were horrific scenes when the apocalypse broke out. But now, he really had the feeling that the apocalypse had completely arrived and mankind could only survive with difficulty. What makes Jian Lusher feel a little heavy is that the fronts of these cars are basically facing the direction of the town. They are all vehicles that escaped from Jinling City. However, even if they escaped to this place, they were still dragged out of the car by zombies. 
out. So many vehicles fell to the same fate. This was not something that a few zombies could do. It must have been a group of zombies of a certain size. This shows that the situation ahead is definitely not optimistic. Jiang Lusher originally thought that he would be tested by Jiling City when he entered the city. But he did not expect that when he was still some distance away from Jiling City, he would need to be more vigilant and concentrate. The situation outside was so grim. And Jiang Lusher had no hope for the situation in Jiling City. Minibuses kept knocking away vehicles parked in the middle of the road. On the quiet road, only the sound of collision occasionally sounded. Every time it sounded, it made people feel a tremor in their hearts. Soon, Jian Lusher found some houses appearing on the side of the road. He looked at these houses warily while continuing to move forward slowly. The shops facing the street are also dilapidated and desolate, with broken windows and blood everywhere. The door of a small restaurant is still shaking back and forth, creaking, but no zombies appeared. Soon, a train station appeared in Jian Lusher's field of vision. This is a small station. The train station is not big, and you can see a high-speed train parked on the bridge at a glance. Not far away. Another partially derailed train is hanging on the bridge. And the other end has hit the road below. Superior. At first glance, the carriages of these two trains were all filled with tanks. And the plague-mounted carriages towed behind them were filled with military trucks. This is totally a military formation. Jian Lusher had only seen this kind of train on the news before. But he didn't expect to see two of them here at a glance. Thinking of the situation before the end when Jiang Zhuying was unable to buy train tickets. Jiang Lusher immediately understood. These trains are all used to transport military supplies in order to cope with the impending doomsday. I'm afraid the same situation applies to roads and airplanes. At that time, even if it arouses suspicion and dissatisfaction among some people, it won't matter. As long as the news of the doomsday does not spread, the riots caused by these dissatisfactions will not be enough to affect anything. These two trains probably encountered an apocalyptic outbreak during transportation and then stopped here and became part of this doomsday scene. As John Lusher drove, he looked at the cold tanks and military trucks on the military column. This is all good steel and various materials. Looking at these things, John Lusher was really greedy. His base vehicle is a big mouth devouring good materials. The more it is fed, the faster it grows. The military materials used in tanks and military trucks are undoubtedly of very high quality, and may even it's the best in the country. However, Jiang Lusher couldn't remove these steel materials, so he could only watch. At this moment, Jiang Lusher suddenly heard a bang coming from the carriage. This whole area, including the train station, is deadly quiet. This voice suddenly came out, making people suddenly nervous. Jiang Lusher's attention immediately withdrew from the tanks and trucks, and his eyes were fixed on the making noise in the carriage. Bang! Another sound. Then suddenly, a face pressed against the car window. A pair of red eyes staring crazily at the minibus. This zombie is wearing a military uniform and should be a soldier transported on this military train or someone responsible for escorting. Ouch! A large number of zombies suddenly poured out of the car door like a tide. These zombies rushed over each other, jumped directly from the bridge, and then rushed towards the minibus without stopping. Seeing the dark group of zombies approaching quickly, Jiang Lusher couldn't help but feel his scalp numb. He had been wondering where the zombies were that would eat everyone who escaped on the road. But he didn't expect that they were hiding in this carriage. And there were so many of them. Just from this wave, Jiang Lusher estimated that there were hundreds of them. He wasn't worried that these zombies could rush into the car. But there was food and gasoline on the roof of his car and behind it. If it was damaged by these zombies, he would be really distressed. So before these zombies could rush forward, Jiang Lusher stepped on the accelerator suddenly. With a whine. The minibus suddenly picked up speed and jumped out with an agility that was not suited to its size. At this time, the zombie at the front had already jumped several meters away and rushed towards the minibus fiercely. However, it was directly knocked away by the minibus that suddenly accelerated. A series of bang 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 bangs were heard from the side of the car. Zombies kept pouring out of the car. Jian Lusher was able to get away partially at first. But when he got to the back, he could only step on the accelerator and hit them. His car was the only one driving on the entire street. And there were swarms of zombies in front and behind him. This minibus was about to be submerged in the zombies countless times. But Jiang Lusher kept pressing on the accelerator. No matter whether there were zombies in front or a car blocking it. He did not stop. It wasn't until he drove more than a thousand meters in one breath that Jiang Lusher finally broke out of the zombie group. The zombies chased him unwillingly. But at this distance they no longer threatened him. 
Jian Lusher glanced in the rearview mirror. There were so many zombies. Even if he had a way to remove the steel, he wouldn't be able to get it safely. Fortunately, he was just watching from the car and had no intention of searching. In the future, if it is not necessary, try to stay away from such public places. They are simply large zombie dens. Through this time, Jian Lusher discovered that these zombies seem to have a tendency to hide. Although there are many zombies wandering on the streets, there are also many zombies hiding in invisible corners. Once people enter these buildings, they will be closed. Environment. You will find yourself falling into a group of zombies. He suddenly became more worried about Jiang Zhuying. If Jiang Zhuying was hiding in the house, he might not be able to stay away from the zombies. It was very possible that Jiang Zhuying would be hiding in the house while the zombies were outside the door. Chapter 47 Entering Jinling Jinling City 20 kilometers. In addition, there is a forward arrow. Looking up at the road sign hanging above his head, Jiang Lusher looked at the map again, then suddenly turned a corner and drove a few hundred meters on a side road to a flower breeding base. He directly knocked open the door and drove in in one breath. Ouch! A dozen zombies rushed out from among the cultivated flowers and were killed by Jiang Liusher's sudden step on the accelerator. This flower breeding base is full of flowers and trees, many of which are rare varieties. They could be sold at high prices in the past. But now they have been knocked down by Jian Lusher at will. He drove all the way to the deepest point and stopped in a large shed. This is what Jian Lusher found on the map. It is the closest to Jin Ling and is a remote place without any residential areas or large stores around it. It has no value in searching. Even if the survivors pass by here, they will not come in. Jian Lusher slowly drove the minibus to a hidden corner, pressed the corresponding button, and with a click, the toad's small oil tank immediately separated from the minibus. Jian Liosher's minibus carried too many things. The small van looked shabby and shabby. Even if it attracted attention, it would not arouse interest. But the oil tanker was too conspicuous. Jian Liosher had previously guessed that it would be difficult to find gasoline in Jinling City. In this case, dragging a tanker would be like throwing a piece of plump meat into the herd. It is better to do less than to do more. And it is better to be careful. Jian Lusher filled up the gas tank before driving out of the flower base. After returning to the main road and driving not far, Jian Lusher saw the sign indicating Jinling City again. He is getting closer and closer to Jinling. Xiaoying, wait for me. Jian Lusher switched to an address on the map that he had collected long ago. This place was exactly the hiding place Jiang Zhuying had agreed with him. After that, Jian Lusher tried to send a text message to Jian Zhuying. After the end of the world, his mobile phone lost signal in Jianbei City. After that, he kept driving on the mountain road. And it was impossible to get a signal. Jian Lusher was looking forward to the fact that there might be a signal from Jinling City. However, when he saw that the message failed to be sent, followed by a no service display in the upper left corner, Jian Lusher suddenly showed a look of disappointment. There is no signal in Jinling City either. If Jian Zhuying could be contacted in advance, Jian Lusher wouldn't have to be so anxious. He couldn't wait to find Jian Zhuying as soon as possible. At this time in Jinling City, the survivors must have kept a respectful distance. All the abandoned vehicles on the road were facing out of the city. Only Jian Liosher's minibus on the road was heading towards the city. At the beginning, there were not many zombies on the street, and Jian Liosher could basically drive past them before they ran towards them. The further into the city, the greater the number of zombies. Ouch! Zombies keep appearing and Jian Lusher must maintain a high degree of vigilance. His minibus was constantly hit by zombies, but because of the use of mutant energy to upgrade its defense, these hits did not cause any damage to the SH. L of the base vehicle. There were too many zombies, and those who had been thrown away had been following Jian Liosher's minibus. Jian Lusher looked at the screen and felt like he was walking in a sea of corpses. There are more zombies ahead. If this continues, even if the base vehicle has strong power and high defense, it will still be extremely dangerous to be surrounded by so many zombies. If there are too many ants, they can kill an elephant. Not to mention these are ferocious zombies. Ouch! A female zombie with a high-heeled shoe on one foot, torn stockings, and blood all over her body, hands, and face was hanging on the front of Jian Liosher's car, staring straight at her through the windshield. He scratched the glass with his long-nailed hands. Logically speaking, her long nails should have been broken long ago, due to such hard work. But after mutating into a zombie, even her nails became very tough, with the same lethality as an animal's claws. Jian Lusher glanced at the female zombie and ignored her. 
This female zombie was obviously a very fashionable urban girl before she mutated. But now she has become a monster who only knows how to kill. Pressing the accelerator to the bottom, Jian Lusher pressed the horn fiercely. The piercing sound of the trumpet was like a stone thrown on the water in this street full of zombies, causing an uproar immediately. Jian Lusher immediately looked at the zombies in the distance, who had not noticed him yet, and suddenly turned their heads. These zombies looked at Jian Lusher's minibus from a distance. And then, Without any warning, these zombies suddenly started running wildly towards Jian Lusher. Jian Lusher estimated that there were at least a few hundred zombies around. Maybe even more. Seeing this scene, ordinary survivors would have already despaired. And Jian Lusher also felt that there was some cold sweat in his hands holding the steering wheel. Bang, bang, bang. The zombies in front were constantly knocked away by the high-speed Jian Lusher. But there were more and more zombies hanging on the sides of the minibus. On the doors. And even climbing on the roof. Seeing Jian Lusher and his base vehicle sinking deeper and deeper into the zombie swarm, there were more and more zombies under the wheels. Even if the accelerator was pressed to the bottom, it felt like driving was very laborious. And Jian Lusher did not stop. He stared straight ahead, ignoring the female zombie still hanging on his windshield with its teeth and claws snarling. One more, almost. When the base vehicle could hardly move forward, Jian Lusher pressed the instant acceleration button with a bang. The zombies around Jian Lusher were immediately thrown away, and the huge power caused the base vehicle to forcefully squeeze out a path among the zombies. After passing the previous section, all the zombies on this street gathered at Jian Lusher. After squeezing a way out, Jian Lusher temporarily rushed out of the group of corpses. However, he did not continue to speed away, but turned sharply. Squeak! There was a sharp grinding sound, and even one tire of the base vehicle was suspended in the air. As soon as the turn was completed, Jian Lusher had already pressed the button of the air cannon. Ten! Nine! Eight! Bang 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 bang! Zombies pounced on him one after another, and soon Jian Lusher was crowded in front of him, filled with the ferocious faces of zombies. These zombies were beating the windshield desperately, their eyes fixed on Jian Lusher, eager to tear him apart. Jian Lusher sat in the driver's seat and felt the car body shaking. His face turned slightly pale, and he chanted along with Xingzhong. 3, 2, 1! Chapter 48 Xiaoying Here I come. Bang! A loud bang. Jian Lusher only saw a blood mist filling the front of his car. And the zombies clinging to the windshield disappeared instantly. The power of the air cannon gave Jian Lusher a nearly 20 meter vacuum zone in front of his car. The zombies further away were also injured. As soon as wounds appeared on their bodies, they were immediately torn and eaten by the zombies behind them. Call! Jian Lusher took a breath changed direction, and continued driving, having made such a big noise. It is estimated that zombies from further away will be attracted, and they will arrive soon. But by that time, he had already driven far away, and these zombies would be attracted by the zombie corpses all over the ground to stay and compete for food. In this way, Jianlu can reduce the pressure of driving. After passing the main road that must be passed through this section, Jianlu sure turned into a small street. These small streets are usually very busy. But now there are only some zombies wandering around. The number of these zombies is far behind those on the main road. The SH. L of the base vehicle is not damaged. And the glass is not damaged. The windshield has been cleaned. A stream of water sprayed out from the wiper. And then cleaned all the blood on the windshield of the minibus. On the road where the minibus drove. Two long blood marks were left. After following the map and exploring the small streets of Jinling City for a day. Jian Lusher had been highly focused and was already exhausted. However, when he saw a residential complex, the tiredness on his face suddenly disappeared. Lan Yuan Community, the address Jiang Zhuying told him, was exactly here. This community is right next to the university where Jiang Zhuying studied. It is only separated by a small alley. It is an apartment complex for university teachers, and the university is a place densely populated by zombies. There are probably no shortage of zombies in this community. Jiang Lusher drove the minibus slowed down, and drove slowly into the community. Jian Lusher became more and more nervous when he saw that the gatekeeper's room of the community was covered in blood. And there were a lot of blood stains and traces of someone being dragged on the ground. In fact, he had seen this scene countless times along the way. He had also seen many more bloody scenes. But none of them made him feel as uneasy as he did now. The situation in the community is the same as other places. It has experienced the baptism of the end of the world. It is very miserable. It is quiet inside. The houses on both sides have dark windows 
and no life at all. Wrecks and blood stains can be seen everywhere. Jian Liosher's car drove slowly and made no sound. Those buildings looked quiet, but they were definitely full of zombies. They were almost reaching the place where Jiang Zuying was hiding. And Jiang Lusher didn't want to attract these zombies. Puff! A zombie suddenly rushed out from the flower bed next to it. And was immediately rolled under the wheel by Jiang Lusher. The car body vibrated slightly. And Jiang Lusher continued driving while looking at the buildings on both sides with vigilance. His eyes were also searching for the building Jiang Zuying was talking about. Building 17! Building 17! Jiang Lusher looked at the numbers hanging on the outer wall. Building 17 is relatively close to the gate, but its location is relatively remote. This is also the result of Jian Liosher's special instructions. The road conditions in the community are generally complicated and narrow. If there are vehicles blocking the road, just the sound of clearing obstacles may attract zombies from the entire community. At this time, Jian Liosher, who is unfamiliar with the road, was about to face trouble. It's just near the entrance, so there's no problem. Jian Lusher had already made up his mind to pick up Jian Zhuying as quickly as possible and then drive away in the base vehicle. Soon, in Jian Liosher's field of vision, the shadow of Building 17 appeared in the distance. Jian Lusher turned his head and glanced at the mobile phone placed aside. The interface on the mobile phone was a music player software, and the volume had been adjusted to a relatively small value. This was something he had calculated and prepared in advance. He even conducted brief experiments while on the road. Arriving at the 17th building, Jian Lusher first rolled down the cab window, pressed the play button on his mobile phone, threw the mobile phone at the door of the unit building, and then drove the base vehicle back a certain distance. His feet step on the accelerator, ready to wait until the zombies appear, then step on the accelerator to the bottom, to pick up Jian Zhuying. Jian Lusher must get out of the car, but just relying on a bulletproof vest, helmet, and pistol are simply not enough to ensure his safety let alone protect Jiang Zhuying. Therefore, Jiang Lusher had already thought of a way to take Jiang Zhuying downstairs. He wants to first lure out all the zombies in the building through his mobile phone and get rid of them. The volume of this mobile phone can be adjusted just enough to be heard by zombies within a range of about 20 meters. In fact, the volume is very low. Press it again and it will become muted. People may not be able to hear it in such an open place. But zombies can. Jian Lusher waited for more than 10 seconds before a stumbling figure appeared at the entrance of the corridor. The zombie jumped out of the unit door, but did not jump on the phone. Although it was attracted by the sound, it was only interested in living things. Seeing the zombie appear, Jian Lusher did not step on the accelerator in a hurry. The zombie discovered Jian Lusher in the car. Its blood-red eyes stared at Jian Lusher for a while, and then it swooped over and scratched at Jian Lusher's car. Jian Lusher still didn't move. He is waiting patiently. But after a while, the zombie was still alone at the door, trying to attack Jian Lu Shersher's car constantly. Um, is this the only zombie in this building? Or are the other zombies locked in the house and unable to get out? This is great. Jian Lu Sher waited patiently for a while. And after confirming that only this zombie in the building could pose a threat to him, he drove over it. Bang! The ferocious looking zombie in front of the car was suddenly rolled down and crushed to death. Jian Lusher carefully placed the car sideways at the door of the unit. The door was almost close to the door of the unit. Then, he put on his helmet, took the pliers and the May 4th pistol, opened the door and walked out. The sound of music may not be able to attract all the zombies on the 5th and 6th floors. Jian Lusher picked up his mobile phone and continued to play the music and walked in. In this way, when zombies appeared, he was prepared in advance and could still retreat to the car. The elevator in the corridor was out of service for a long time. As soon as Jian Lusher approached, he heard a sudden bang from inside, and a zombie inside slapped the elevator door. Jian Lusher was startled, held up his helmet, and walked cautiously towards the stairs. Although no zombies have been found yet, Jian Lusher adheres to the principle of caution and is still very cautious. The light in the stairwell was dim, and only the sound of Jian Lusher's gentle footsteps echoed in his ears as he walked. Jiang Zhuying lived on the top floor, and Jiang Lusher slowly climbed up the stairs. When he reached the fourth floor, Jiang Lusher put his cell phone on the ground, then returned to the third floor, pointing his pistol nervously at the corridor. After waiting for a while, when no zombies appeared, he went back, picked up his phone, and turned off the music. There are indeed no zombies in this corridor. When he stepped onto the top floor and walked towards Jiang Zhuying's room, Jiang Lusher felt as if his heart was in his throat. 
and at the same time, he felt a sense of excitement that something important was about to be completed. Arriving at the door, Jian Lusher took a deep breath, knocked gently on the door, and then said softly, Xiao Ying, it's my brother. There was no sound inside. Bang! There was a muffled sound, and Jian Lusher felt his scalp suddenly explode. He turned his head and found that the sound was coming from the house opposite. The zombie's nails were scratching at the security door. I was scared to death. Jian Lusher was speechless. He turned around and was about to continue knocking on the door. Suddenly, he found that after he knocked twice, the door seemed to be slowly pushed open through a gap. Chapter 49 Brother Wait for me. Jian Lusher carefully pushed the door open, and he saw at a glance that the door was unlocked from the inside, so that whether the wind blew or zombies invaded, the door would not be closed. In other words, the door was deliberately left ajar. This made Jian Liusher's heart suddenly thump, and he hurriedly walked towards the house. Jiang Zhuying! The room was empty, with almost all the furniture pushed aside, leaving an empty space in the middle, adding some food packaging boxes. It can be seen that this place was once filled with supplies. Jian Lusher almost kicked open the doors to those rooms. In one bedroom, he found Jiang Zhuying's clothes. This was a t-shirt. Jian Lusher was very impressed by this t-shirt because there was a very silly hand-drawn pattern on the front, which showed a cartoon version of him being punched away by Jian Zhuying, who was also a cartoon version. This was a birthday gift given to him by Jian Zhuying a few years ago, but he refused to wear it because the pattern was too silly. As a result, Jian Zhuying happily wore it himself, and wore it for several years, during which he looked down upon Jian Lusher, always ignored. At this time, Jian Lusher felt like his heart was suddenly touched when he saw this t-shirt that made him speechless countless times. He grabbed the t-shirt. As soon as he got it in his hand, Jian Lusher found a line of words on the back of the t-shirt. Brother, wait for me. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment, then turned the t-shirt inside out. What the H, L? Jian Lusher held the t-shirt tightly in his hands. Since Jian Zhuying has left a message, why can't he leave a few more words? Just these three words. There is no beginning or end. Of course Jian Lusher was not really complaining about Jian Zhuying. He was worried and anxious. There are no supplies in this house. And Jian Zhuying should not easily break the agreement with him and go out. At least Jian Zhuying knew that he would come here. In this case, for a period of time, unless something special happened, she would be waiting here. But she had all kinds of reasons to stay. But she just left these three simple words and then disappeared. What on earth happened? Jian Lusher was so worried that he walked around the room again and found no messages left by Jiang Zhuying. He could only take the t-shirt downstairs and return to the base vehicle. I don't know if it was because of the smell of blood from the crushed zombie, but when Jiang Lusher came out of the building, some zombies had already wandered out from other buildings. And these zombies were circling around the base vehicle. Jiang Lusher got on the car carefully and then entered the car. Jiang Zhuying was not found. And Jiang Zhuying did not leave any other information except asking him to wait. Jian Lusher planned to wait here for a while. Even if he was anxious. Jinling City was so big that he couldn't rush to look for it. If Jiang Zhuying didn't show up after a few days, he would be ready to look around. Crushing these zombies might attract more zombies. So Jian Lusher simply ignored them. He closed the door between the carriage and the driver's cab. And the lights in the entire carriage came on. Turning it into a small, closed and warm room. Zombies are wandering outside. But in this room, Jian Lusher can cook eat, and watch TV shows to rest. As long as he didn't make loud noises, these zombies wouldn't notice him at all. Even if they heard some noises, they would just slap him outside the car a few times. If no one was found, forget it. The way the zombie treated the phone before made Jian Lusher confirm this. However, minibuses are not afraid of being beaten by these small numbers of zombies at all. With Jian Lusher inside, it can be said that there is no safety concern at all. The only thing he was worried about was Jian Zhuying. And if Jiang Zhuying doesn't show up, how should he find her? It is definitely impossible to search nearby. Maybe we need to find some survivors to ask. Or we may even need to record a recording and put it somewhere. Jiang Lusher was thinking about various countermeasures while looking at the t-shirt placed on the sofa. Jiang Lusher knew his sister's character very well. Although she was very out of touch outside, she was still very sensible at home. Because he has always been taking care of her. Jiang Zhuying attaches great importance to his brother's words. If he has any troubles, he will talk to him as soon as possible. But for such a big matter this time, why did Jiang Zhuying disobey? 
Jian Lusher thought of Brother Yu and the gang of speedsters he had met before. Jinling City was so big that there would definitely be many survivors. Could it be that Jiang Zhuying had the same experience as Wen Lu and the others? The more Jiang Lusher thought about it, the more anxious he became. He couldn't wait any longer. After taking out the map, Jian Lusher began to study the surrounding maps. Although the internet is not available, the map of Jinling City he downloaded is very detailed. Even the small shops on the roadside can be clearly displayed on the map. It was not possible to take the mountain road before because it was not a highway or a national highway, but a very remote dirt road. There was no such road downloaded on Jiang Liusher's map. In the blink of an eye, a few hours passed. Seeing that it was getting late, Jiang Liusher was about to cook something to eat when he suddenly heard several zombie roars coming from outside the window. Jiang Liusher was stunned and was about to open a corner of the curtain to see what was going on. But he heard a series of shishi sounds mixed with the sound of heavy objects falling to the ground. Jiang Liusher immediately walked to the window and happened to hear voices coming from outside. Boss. You feel a lot stronger. This strength is awesome. Killing a zombie is like trampling an ant to death. Look at the corpse. It's burnt on the outside and tender on the inside. If you smell it carefully, there's a strange smell coming from it, came a male voice. Then a somewhat sweet female voice said, Are you annoyed? If you want to flatter the boss, don't say it so disgustingly. How can I be flattering? What I said is the truth. When did there be an extra car? The sweet female voice seemed to be too lazy to pay attention to the man, and her attention turned to the minibus. Even a blind person could spot this car here. Jiang Lusher was not surprised at all by what the female voice said. However, he doesn't know who these people are yet. But from what this female voice said, it was obvious that she had been here before. Maybe they had something to do with Jiang Zhuying's departure. Jiang Lusher touched the pistol on his waist and walked slowly towards the cab. These people can kill those zombies easily and their strength is definitely not weak. Jian Lusher doesn't know if they are enemies. But when they are about to come into contact, it is better to be prepared for all attacks. Especially, the one they call the boss. At this time, Jian Lusher heard the male voice and said again, There are no survivors coming here after eating too much. Who are they? Chapter 50 Are You the Boss? When Jian Lusher heard the male voice, he was already very close. He had obviously approached the car and was looking at the minibus suspiciously. I can't see anything. There's no one in the cab. I don't know where I went. The male voice continued. At this time, the sweet female voice said impatiently, You don't care where those people went. They might have been eaten by those zombies just now. Aren't I curious? Who would drive such a big car around? The male voice said, It's a broken car anyway. What's there to be curious about? The sweet female voice was very disgusted. Although she said this to a large extent to choke the man. Her view of the minibus was actually very accurate. Jian Liosher's car is indeed very broken. Not to mention the appearance. It was also towing a tattered minivan with so many distinctive snakeskin pockets on the roof. If it were before the apocalypse, there wouldn't be any special feeling when seeing this kind of car. But in the current environment, such a car feels even more dilapidated. It seems that as long as zombies swarm up, it can be torn to pieces in an instant. Where does this license plate number come from? The male voice didn't seem to be affected by the sweet female voice's words. He was still observing curiously. It seems to be from Jianbe? After the male voice asked and answered a question, he suddenly said, What do you think the small compartment and the snakeskin bag on the roof contain? Open it and take a look. What else is there? It must be all junk. The sweet female voice became even more impatient. Let's take a look first. Just in case we can find something useful. The male voice said, when Jiang Lusher heard that these people were going to touch his own cargo, he couldn't listen anymore. Just as he was about to open the carriage door, he heard a familiar voice. It's really Jiang Bei's license plate. There was a hint of surprise in this voice. When Jiang Lusher heard this voice, he was also startled. He opened the compartment door, rushed to the windshield of the cab, and looked outside. There were five or six people standing outside the car. Among them, Jiang Lusher saw Jiang Zhuying's figure at a glance. Jiang Zhuying wore a pair of simple denim shorts, a large denim jacket, a pure white short t-shirt underneath, and a ponytail. She looked very refreshing, youthful and beautiful. She was holding an iron rod in her hand and was staring at the car. The moment Jiang Liusher's eyes met, Jiang Zhuying's eyes suddenly widened. Her eyes were already large, and her lips were open to form an O shape. Then, she shouted, My brother! Those who looked at Jiang Liusher with a slightly surprised gaze 
when he appeared suddenly showed even more shocked expressions. Jiang Zhuying's brother? These people were shocked. And Jiang Lusher was also surprised. He didn't expect that Jiang Zhuying was among this group of people. But what he didn't expect was that after Jiang Zhuying called out, brother, the male voice from before sounded again. No! Boss! This is your brother! The male voice was a young man in his twenties. With a crew cut, wearing casual clothes, carrying a long knife, and a strange armband tied to his shoulder. He looked a bit middle-aged, and his expression was also very exaggerated. Jiang Lusher looked in disbelief. Jiang Lusher was even more unbelievable. Just now, he was thinking that he should be careful about this boss. But in the blink of an eye, he was told that this boss was actually his sister. Across the windshield, Jiang Lusher looked at Jiang Zhuying in disbelief. While Jiang Zhuying opened his eyes wide and looked at Jiang Lusher in disbelief. The boss's brother actually came from Jiang Bei alone. Relying on this car. The young man holding the long knife and the rest of the people stayed outside. When brothers and sisters meet, they naturally go to the minibus to reminisce about old times. This young man's face was filled with wonder. Among those people, a girl with curly hair stared at the young man speechlessly and whispered, You want to die? It's so loud. I'm afraid Zhuying can't hear it. What's there? The young man said nonchalantly, still looking at the minibus in surprise. The face of the curly-haired girl was a little ugly. She had ridiculed the car before. But Jiang Zhuying clearly heard it. And Jiang Zhuying's brother probably also heard it. Now this young man is not scrupulous about it. He is so amazed. Isn't he still saying that this car is broken? Moreover, I didn't expect Jiang Lusher to really come. Although, they all thought before that it was almost impossible for Jiang Zhuying's brother to come to Jin Ling from Jiang Bei. In fact, Jiang Zhuying is indeed preparing to find an opportunity to return to Jiang Bei. But he didn't expect that Jiang Lusher would actually arrive in Jin Ling in such a shabby car. This car seems to have undergone some modifications. It's so clever. The young man praised. There were some zombies here just now. And Jiang Lusher was hiding in the carriage door. The young man used Jiang Liusher's carriage door as a way to block the sight of the zombies. As for the zombie that was killed by Jiang Lusher, it had already been eaten clean by the zombies who had surrounded it before. Although they saw the remains, they did not think about it. The curly-haired girl rolled her eyes. She had always disliked this young man. But in fact, she was also observing what the young man said. She had no curiosity about this old car before. But after learning that it was driven by Jiang Zhuying's brother, she became interested. However, she looked around and saw nothing worth seeing. Instead, she was more interested in Jiang Lusher himself. Maybe Zhuying's brother is also very powerful. The curly-haired girl suddenly said. The young man and several others also felt that what the curly-haired girl said made sense. And they were also speculating. That's really amazing. The young man began to sigh again. Jiang Zhuying must be very powerful if he can become their boss. Among this group of people, Jiang Lusher also saw a tall, muscular man holding an axe, who looked very fierce. This kind of people will be obedient to you. Jiang Lusher turned his head from the car window and looked at Jiang Zhuying. They had been talking for more than 10 minutes. During these 10 minutes, the two of them were asking each other questions. But most of the time, Jiang Lusher was letting Jiang Zhuying do the talking. Jiang Lusher was too surprised by his sister's condition. Xing Zhong only told him that Jiang Zhuying would not mutate into a zombie. But this was not a prediction of Jiang Zhuying's future. Now it seems that Jiang Zhuying's development is completely different from what he expected. Jiang Zhuying turned out to be a person with superpowers. After discovering that he had supernatural powers, Jiang Zhuying began to practice. But after a while, Jiang Zhuying found that he had to leave his hiding place. After that, these survivors began to gather around her. And she became the leader of these survivors. As for the simple and straightforward title, Boss, it is Jiang Zhuying's personal preference. Jiang Lusher was also speechless when he saw that she was such a standard. Cute girl. But she liked to shout and kill. Most people who don't know Jiang Zhuying will definitely be deceived by Jiang Zhuying's cute appearance with a little baby fat. What do you mean you have to leave? What's the reason? Jiang Lusher asked. Jiang Zhuying pouted and thought for a while. Then said, It's so hard to explain. Brother, you will know it later. Chapter 51 Do you think I am Pikachu? Jiang Lusher still couldn't believe it. While he was rushing to Jinling City, his sister Jiang Zhuying not only became a person with superpowers, but also became the leader of a team of survivors. Moreover, this is not an ordinary team of survivors. 
According to Jiang Zhuying's description, Jiang Lusher knew the general profile of the team of survivors she led. This team now has more than 20 people. This number does not seem to be large. But when Jiang Lusher knew that there were four superpowers in it, he was shocked. In that small town before, brother you could dominate and dominate alone. With four superpowers, what was the concept? Among these four superpowers, Jiang Zhuying is the strongest. According to Jiang Zhuying herself, she is the well-deserved boss. When he was a child, Jiang Zhuying was the child king among the dozens of children around him. While Jiang Lusher was much more low-key in comparison, usually girls are bullied by other children. And then their parents bring the girl to her home to ask for an explanation. But when it comes to Jiang Zhuying, the situation is exactly the opposite. It was all a joke at that time. But now he is really the leader. The concept of leading a group of survivors is completely different from being a child king. In the apocalypse, every decision made by the leader is related to the life and death of the survivor team. Xiaoying, what is your superpower? Jiang Lusher asked. That brother Yu has very developed muscles in his legs and is very fast. This is the result of his mutation. Jiang Lusher looked Jiang Zhuying up and down, but didn't find any change in her appearance. She was still the same as before. Her figure looked very slender. But because of her fitness, she felt very energetic. But it is definitely not an appearance with explosive combat power. Were you the ones who killed those zombies outside the car before? Jiang Lusher also had a rough idea of Jiang Zhuying's strength. Being able to kill those zombies almost simultaneously in such a short period of time. I don't know what Jiang Zhuying's superpower is. Jiang Zhuying had always been like a child in front of Jiang Lusher. When Jiang Lusher asked, she immediately showed an expression that she would never show in front of those survivors. She smiled triumphantly, and then waved the iron rod in her hand lightly. Chi Chi! A few wisps of blue electricity suddenly rolled over the iron rod. Jiang Lusher was startled. Those few electric currents seemed to be reflected in his pupils. This! Jiang Lusher was really shocked. Although Brother Yu is mutated, he is actually stronger than ordinary people. His speed is much stronger than that of a world-class sprint champion. But in the end, it has not reached the point where people feel that this kind of thing should not happen at all. The apocalypse is coming. Zombies and mutated beasts have appeared. Although superpowers like Brother Yu make people feel powerful, people can still accept his abilities. But for someone like Jiang Zhuying, it's incredible that the body can actually produce electrical energy. Although Jiang Lusher knew that human body activities would generate static electricity, causing the human body to be charged. That kind of electrical energy was, at best, the level of a person's finger being suddenly electrocuted and the current that Jiang Zhuying had just released felt terrifying. How about brother? Your sister? Am I good? Let me tell you. I have tested my attack voltage. Jiang Zhuying would not boast in front of others. But in front of Jiang Lusher, she was as good as the one who got full marks in the exam. It's like a child taking out his own test paper. How many? Jiang Lusher asked hurriedly. He didn't even complain about Jiang Zhuying's arrogant interest. Humph. Jiang Zhuying cleared his throat and said, it's 1,000 volts now. A thousand volts. Jiang Lusher took a breath. The resistance of the human body is constantly changing. At low voltage, the resistance of dry skin is very high, which can reach 100,000 ohms or even higher. However, when the voltage rises to 1,000 volts, the resistance will drop sharply to only 1 kilo ohms. Jiang Zhuying's attack voltage is 1,000 volts. So calculated, the current flowing through the human body alone will reach 1 amp, which is a very exaggerated number. Her attack power will also reach 1,000 watts. What is the concept of 1 kilowatt? If Jiang Zhuying maintains 1 kilowatt of power for 10 minutes, it is equivalent to the energy required to move 10 60 kilogram people into a 100 meter high building. However, Jiang Lusher also knew that the reason why he found it difficult to imagine was actually because of his inherent impression of original human beings. In fact, after the mutation caused by the virus, superpowers became like electric eels and could release electrical energy, which is not something that cannot be understood. The maximum output voltage of an adult electric eel can reach 800 volts, which can easily electrocute a person to death because of the mutation caused by the virus. Jiang Zhuying cells have become discharge cells. When these cells are connected in series, a very high voltage will be formed. Compared with Brother Yu, Jiang Zhuying's abilities are not at the same level at all. Xing Zhong judged that Brother Yu's supernatural energy was not as good as level 1. But Jiang Zhuying. Turn off the power again, Jiang Lusher said. Jiang Zhuying muttered. What are you doing? Brother? You think I'm Pikachu? 
At the same time, he obediently released another electric current. Didn't you like Pikachu the most when you were a kid? No wonder you mutated like this, Jiang Lusher said. Jiang Zhuin curled her lips. This time she was not afraid of scaring Jiang Lusher again. The blue and white electric current on the iron rod kept flashing. As if wrapped in an electric grid, her clear and bright eyes reflected these electric currents, and her whole body seemed to suddenly the child has a different temperament. Jiang Lusher stood in front of Jiang Zhuin, feeling that the released supernatural energy should be enough. Sure enough, just two seconds later, Starseed's voice sounded. Level 1 abnormal energy detected. Jiang Zhuing is level 1. Jiang Lusher understood. The mutated wild boar is also level 1. However, Jiang Lusher noticed that there was a small plus behind Jiang Zhuing's level 1 energy. Jiang Lusher asked the star seed in his mind and learned that the plus sign represented stronger energy. In other words, Jiang Zhuing's mutant energy was stronger than that of the mutant wild boar and Brother Yu is less than level 1. So he should probably be considered a 1 dash. What was your initial voltage? Jiang Lusher asked again. Then how do I know? It's probably a 10 centimeter long electric current that can appear between two fingers. Jiang Zhuing said. So Jiang Zhuing has evolved. By the way, brother, where did you get such a RV? It's amazing. And brother, you already knew that the apocalypse was coming. What happened? Jiang Zhuing asked and she even got Jiang Liusher's car. In his ears, he whispered in a lowered voice. This, Jiang Liusher felt that it was very troublesome to explain these things. At this time, there were two knocks outside the car window, and the young man's voice came. Boss, you have to go. It's going to be dark soon. Jiang Liusher glanced back, and sure enough, the sky outside had begun to darken. Brother, we'll talk about it next time. We have to leave. Jiang Zhuing also looked out the window and said, Chapter 52 It's time to go. As soon as they saw the sky getting dark, these people were ready to leave. Jiang Lusher saw that they quickly picked up the backpacks they had thrown on the ground and put their weapons in their hands. His mental state suddenly changed. It was different when I was resting just now. Just as Jiang Zhuing was about to get off the base vehicle, he suddenly turned around and said in surprise, Brother, let's go! When it was time to leave, Jiang Lusher neither followed her out of the car nor packed anything that needed to be taken away, but walked over and sat in the driver's seat. Come here and sit. Jiang Lusher gestured to the passenger seat with his eyes, then opened the driver's seat window and said to the people outside, You guys can get in the car too, and we'll drive away. These people had just watched Jiang Lusher sit in the driver's seat. At first, they had not reacted when they saw the scene, or they felt that their guesses were a little outrageous. But when they heard what Jiang Lusher said, they immediately looked at each other in disbelief and became confused in the wind. Drive. Walk. It would be fine if it was a car. But this is a minibus. Driving this kind of car out. Do you think they are not conspicuous enough among the zombies? Of course. These are not the main points. They are not bad in strength. And Jiang Zhuing is even stronger. Even if they are eye-catching. It will only increase the amount of fighting. So if this minibus was normal, they wouldn't have such a strong reaction. However, not to mention that this minibus was old and worn out. It also had a cargo truck towed behind it. Judging from Jiang Liusher's appearance, it was obvious that he had not thought about unloading the cargo. And the tone of Jiang Liusher's words just now was a complete understatement. As if he didn't think there was any problem with them taking this minibus. In fact, Jiang Liusher not only doesn't think there is a problem, he attaches great importance to the base vehicle and is not willing to let so many people come up. It's just that these people are Jiang Zhuing's subordinates so he will take the initiative to invite them. Jiang Zhuing looked outside the car door, then at Jiang Lusher, and then sat in the passenger seat nonchalantly, seeing those people still standing outside. Jiang Zhuing approached the windshield and shouted, Why are you standing there stupidly? Get in the car. These people originally thought that they could not refuse Jiang Zhuing's brother's proposal, but Jiang Zhuing could. But unexpectedly, Jiang Zhuing, who was usually very calm and rational, leaving everyone speechless, agreed this time without even thinking. However, seeing that Jiang Zhuing was already sitting there steadily, the young man, the curly-haired girl, and the other three people looked at each other and followed them into the car obediently. As soon as they got to the car, they were shocked. This shabby car looked like a luxury sedan inside. The curly-haired girl looked around curiously and found that the car really had everything. This car is really enjoyable, the young man said with emotion. The curly-haired girl glanced at the young man speechlessly 
and said nothing. But what she was thinking about was that this car was a pleasure to enjoy. But what use would it have in the apocalypse? Not practical at all. Hello, Brother Zhuing. I'm Yan Qingqing. I'm very happy to meet you. You came from Jianbei. You are really awesome. You must have worked hard along the way. The curly-haired girl walked to the cab with a sweet smile on her face. The tone was also very concerned. What she said was so accurate that there was nothing wrong with it. According to her opinion, Jian Lusher came to Jin Ling from Jianbei not only because of the hard work, but also because he had to endure all kinds of hardships. She said this with both condolences and tactful words. When the curly-haired girl was outside the car, she had already thought about how to get acquainted with Jian Lusher. While speaking, she extended a white and tender palm. Hello! Just call me Jian Lusher! Jian Lusher also reached out politely. When their palms were about to come into contact, the smile on the curly-haired girl's face suddenly froze. But she concealed it well and shook hands with Jian Lusher. You are Zhuing's brother. So that has something to do with us. It's not far away. We are both good friends with Zhuing. And I'm Zhuing's classmate. I'll call you brother Jian from now on. Okay? Of course. Jian Lusher nodded. Next door was the university where Jian Zhuing studied. And it was no coincidence that this curly-haired girl was her classmate. The young man also hurriedly came up to shake hands. Hello, big brother. I am Zong Hai. You can just call me Haizi. I admire our boss very much. The rest of the people also came up to greet Jian Lusher. And Jian Lusher also knew that Yang Qingqing and Zhang Hai were both superpowers. And there was also a small man who was also a superpower. The muscular man was not. He was a superpower himself. A security guard who retired from the army. Among this team of survivors, their combat effectiveness is second only to those with special powers. There is another woman who is also an ordinary person, but has very good athletic ability, and she seems to be not very talkative. After saying H. Lo, John Hai walked into the carriage. As soon as he sat down next to Yang Qingqing, he heard Yang Qingqing whisper with a strange look on his face. This brother Jiang is an ordinary person, and there is no energy fluctuation in his body. People with superpowers can also sense the dissipation of abnormal energy from other people with superpowers. It is even similar to the function of star seed, and can also judge the strength of this energy. But Yang Qingqing didn't feel it at all from Jian Lusher. Jian Hai also discovered this, but he didn't feel anything about it. Isn't that even more awesome? Ordinary people actually walk to Jin Ling. Keep your voice down. Yang Qingqing suddenly cursed. What if Jian Lusher or Jian Zhuying heard this? She was too lazy to tell Jian Hai and turned to look at Jian Lu Shi. Not a superpower. These two brothers and sisters. One is a genius among superpowers. The other has no superpowers at all. Which is really interesting. Yang Qingqing thought in her heart. The sofa under her body was quite comfortable. Yang Qingqing stretched out her hand and pressed it twice on the sofa. However, knowing that Jian Lu Shi was not a superpower and that the car didn't look very good, Yang Qingqing didn't have any optimistic hopes about how far the car could drive. At this time, Jiang Lusher had already started the base vehicle. He turned around and asked, Xiaoying, where do you live? I'll open a map and see if there's any easier way. Zombies are quite annoying. For ordinary people, zombies can be described as more than just annoying. Even for them, it is very dangerous to walk among zombies. However, Jiang Zhuying was still very cooperative. And there's a map? Uh-huh. I'll come over and take a look. In fact, it's okay if there are zombies. You can open the window, and I can electrocute them. Just like a car-mounted machine gun. Seeing Jiang Zhuing like this, everyone had the urge to wipe their eyes to see if they were hallucinating. If anyone had said such uncommon sense words in normal times, they would have been so frightened by Jiang Zhuing's sneer that they would have sweated on their scalp. But when Jiang Lusher said it, Jiang Zhuing supported it unconditionally. But considering that the siblings had just met, it was normal for Jiang Zhuing to behave in such an abnormal way. Bar. Chapter 53 Jiang Zhuing's Base. Jiang Lusher started to start the minibus. And then Jiang Hai asked, By the way, brother, you have such a big space in the car. Why are you dragging a small box? What is it packed with? Jiang Lusher glanced at them in the rearview mirror and said casually, It's just some luggage. I can't go back to my previous home. And there are some things that I can't let go of. When Yang Qingqing and others heard this answer, they were all slightly startled. Who is running away with a full luggage? Brother Jiang Zhuing's brain circuit is also very strange. And a trace of contempt flashed in their eyes. 
They estimated that Jean Lucher picked up this car somewhere after the apocalypse. If you want to pick up a car, just pick one that is more sturdy. Instead, you pick up a luxury car that someone with the money can modify at will. As a classmate of Jiang Zhuing's, Yang Qingqing had some understanding of Jiang Zhuing's family background. To put it mildly, it was lower than average. And to put it badly, it was a poor household awaiting poverty alleviation. As a result, she despised Jiang Lusher even more. When the end of the world comes, the first thing I think about is actually getting an RV and driving it to satisfy my vanity that I couldn't afford to drive before. It's really a poor man's way of thinking. Not only that, he also towed such a load of useless stuff. This kind of behavior is like having to go home to rescue your wallet when a flood comes. If this man hadn't been Jiang Zhuing's brother, they would have started complaining long ago. Seeing these people chattering and not knowing what to say, Jian Lusher also understood that they must be speechless. Jian Lusher actually didn't trust these people. In the apocalypse, what would some people be unable to do? It's just that because Jiang Zhuing is here. They can't do anything wrong. But mutated beast meat is still a very big temptation. Of course, Jian Lusher will not tell these people that his disgusting shabby little truck is actually full of mutated beast meat. Seeing these people instantly lose interest in his little van. Jian Lusher felt quite satisfied. The minibus drove towards the entrance of the community. And these people couldn't help but glance back. Feeling relieved. I finally don't have to come to this place anymore. Just because of Jian Lusher's incident. They had to make a special trip here after finishing their work every day. If Jian Lusher hadn't arrived today, they would have dragged the killed zombie bodies away as usual. Because according to Jian Zhuing, they had to do this to avoid being surrounded by zombies when Jian Lusher arrived. If this community wasn't really suitable for survivors, Jian Zhuing would have even wanted to live here. Seeing Jian Zhuing talking happily to Jian Lusher, Yang Qingqing's eyes flashed with a speechless look. However, what was different from what Yang Qingqing and others expected was that because Jiang Lusher chose all the small streets and alleys along the way, even if he encountered zombies, Jiang Zhuing would directly lean out of the car window and take the lead in getting rid of the zombies. Therefore, this strange minibus drove to their residence smoothly. Of course, this has a lot to do with the fact that their residence is not very far from that community. Although the community was not convenient for survivors to live in, Jiang Zhuing still chose the nearest place as much as possible for Jiang Lusher. The camp of Jiang Zhuing's survivor team is in a very luxurious villa community. In front of it is an artificial lake, which isolates them from the zombies on the street. There are not many residents in the community. So the zombies after the apocalypse will naturally be there. Relatively few have now been cleared by them. That's the house we live in! Jiang Zhuing said while giving Jiang Lusher directions. The minibus slowly stopped in front of a single family villa. In a place like Jinling, the large lawn around the villa alone already made people feel extremely luxurious. Not to mention the four-story building standing in the middle of the lawn. A large villa on the first floor. There was no one in the villa when we arrived. It was well organized and not dirty. It had everything it needed and there were enough rooms. So we settled in, Jian Zhuing said. Jian Lusher guessed that the original owner of this villa, likely Yusin's family, had evacuated in advance. Of course, there would be no blood stains in the house. In comparison, ordinary survivors really fall into age. L as soon as they wake up from a faint. Brother Jiang, you can park your car on the lawn. It's big enough there. Yang Qingqing came over and said enthusiastically. But after Jiang Lusher glanced at her, he asked, Why is there a car in the garage? This is available. We have several cars. Yang Qingqing said. At this time, Jiang Zuing spoke. Brother, do you want to put it in the garage? Okay. Anyway, our cars are usually parked randomly. Then Heisey. Ask someone to drive out. Ah? Uh? Zhang Hai was stunned for a moment. Do our cars usually park randomly? Yang Qingqing felt that her well-intentioned suggestion was ignored. And she felt like she was being ignored. She glanced at Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuing. Feeling that she despised Jiang Lusher even more than before. It's such a crappy car. But it still has to be parked in the garage. Although the parking garage is actually not a big deal. Yang Qingqing feels that it is not worth the hassle for such a car. Park the car, and I'll take you to your room. Don't worry about the apocalypse. Our accommodation conditions are still acceptable. Jian Zhuing said. No, I can just sleep in the car. Also, how do you open the garage door? When it comes to accommodation conditions, Jian Liusher's own car is good enough. In the end, Jian Liusher not only arranged his bedroom in the car, but also took away the only key to the garage. 
The only thing they found in the house was the garage key. In fact, the star seed is in Jian Lusher's mind. And this base car is bound to the star seed. Without Jian Lusher, no one would be able to drive this car away. And even the door cannot be opened. But Jian Lusher is still so cautious. Although this is his sister Jian Zhuying's territory, Jian Lusher feels that as long as there are people around, he shouldn't let his guard down too much. Yang Qingqing and others found it difficult to understand when they saw that when Jian Lusher arrived at the camp, he did nothing but take care of his minibus. Think about it. Since meeting Jian Lusher, Yang Qingqing has always thought that Jian Lusher is a bumpkin and thinks that his rags are nothing special. He probably doesn't know what a superpower is. If it weren't for Jiang Zhuying, they wouldn't be able to do it. To accept such survivors, one simply doesn't even bother to look at them. It's probably because he bought all the family's belongings. So he attaches so much importance to it. Besides, the RV is probably quite precious to him. However, there are many luxury RVs. So Fei picked up a minibus and modified it. So he was drunk. I don't even know what car is really worth. Yang Qingqing whispered to the quiet woman, shaking her head at the same time. Ordinary people are like this. Because they can only survive in the apocalypse. They cling to things that make people feel sad and funny. Chapter 54 Start a Small Stove Not long after settling in, Jiang Zhuying knocked on the door and asked for dinner. There is another door in the garage that is directly connected to the interior of the villa. Jiang Lusher also asked for the key to this door. He was usually in the garage, in a completely closed environment, which was equivalent to being separated from the survivors. The villa is very large, and it doesn't feel crowded even if more than 20 survivors live there. These survivors all perform their own duties. According to Jiang Zhuying's introduction, in addition to taking turns to stay and guard the camp, all the young adults have to go out to search for food. Those who have no fighting ability at all, such as women who are injured or too weak, are left to cook and clean. With so many people living in one house, it would have become a garbage dump long ago if the logistics didn't keep up. In addition, there is also a doctor in their team of survivors. This made Jian Lusher couldn't help but sigh. This team is really well configured and has everything it needs. At this time, most of the survivors were gathered in the hall. They were sorting the supplies they collected today. Seeing Jiang Zhuying bringing Jian Lusher over, these people all raised their heads and looked over. Is that the boss's brother? My name is Jian Lusher. Right. Someone asked Yan Qingqing next to him. That's right. Yan Qingqing whispered. Oh. The man suddenly showed a stunned look and looked at Jian Lusher as if he was saying, So the man Yan Qingqing complained about looks like this. If Yang Qingqing hadn't said it, he wouldn't have been able to tell that he was such a strange person by looking at his appearance. They all watched Jian Lusher come out of the small door of the garage. Yang Qingqing and the others were right. This man really lived in the garage for a modified RV. During the time Jian Lusher stayed in the garage, Yang Qingqing and others had already promoted his deeds in a subtle way. Some of them already had preconceived impressions before they even saw Jian Lusher. Country bumpkin. And very weird. Everyone. This is my brother Jian Lusher. Jian Zhuying introduced proudly. With a tone that sounded like. Look. My brother is handsome. Hearing these words. Those people felt like they wanted to roll their eyes. Hello. Brother Jian. Nice to meet you. Did you really come from Jian Bay? That's awesome. All these people gathered around and greeted me warmly. Although he knew that Jian Lusher was a weirdo, Jian Zhuying had to give him face. Jian Lusher also nodded to these people. Hello everyone. Okay, let's eat. Jian Zhuying said, turning to Jian Lusher and said, Brother, just eat with me. As soon as these words came out, all the survivors were startled. Yang Qingqing and others looked at Jian Zhuying in surprise. In their survivor team, there were four superpowers including Jian Zhuying. Ordinary survivors ate in the hall. But the four of them went to the kitchen to eat alone. What they eat is also different. Yang Qingqing couldn't help it anymore. She smiled and said, Zhuying, there's no need for that. Brother Jiang is not a superpower. There's no use in eating it. The rest of the survivors thought the same way, including ordinary people. Eating is better than not eating at all. Jiang Zhuying said disapprovingly. If there was anything good, she would definitely share it with Jiang Lusher. The survivors were speechless after hearing this. What kind of logic is this? Why? No. According to the original agreement, whether it is as a leader or based on combat contribution, I have a larger share of control. But I usually use it to exchange weapons with the military. And everyone uses them together. Now I will use this share for my brother. Who of you has any objections? 
Jiang Zhuying's eyes swept over the faces of these survivors. Jiang Lusher suddenly felt that Jiang Zhuying's eyes became a little sharp. The survivors immediately looked away and fell silent. If Jiang Zhuying hadn't suddenly mentioned it now, they would have actually forgotten that such a thing happened. If a person never uses a right, others will get used to it and default to the fact that she has given up this right. It seems that it is a matter of course that Jiang Zhuying takes his share to exchange weapons for them. But now Jiang Zhuying suddenly wants to use it for themselves. They dare not be dissatisfied with Jiang Zhuying. But they are quite unhappy with Jiang Lusher. The vested interest who caused this incident. Yang Qingqing choked for a moment. Then squeezed out a smile and said, That's right. Anyway, Zhuying, you can make the decision. Brother, let's go eat. Jiang Zhuying pulled Jiang Lusher up. Seeing these people's reactions, Jiang Lusher was also curious. How good was the food these superpowers were eating in small stoves? An ordinary person was added among the four superpowers. The survivors outside looked into the kitchen. And some people suddenly felt an imbalance. Normally, they wouldn't feel anything if they only had superpowers working on the stove. But now, when an ordinary person like them suddenly mixes in, they feel a little uncomfortable. But there is no way. He is Jiang Zhuying's brother. I can only be jealous that he is lucky enough to have such a sister with incredible fighting prowess. Brother Jiang, what you are going to eat soon will probably be the most delicious thing you have ever eaten in your life. Zhang Hai said cheerfully while sitting at the dinner table. Yang Qingqing didn't say anything, but he felt contempt in his heart. For Jiang Lusher, the only thing about this meal was that it was delicious. It had no real use on him, and it was simply a waste. Jiang Lusher became more curious when he heard what Zhang Hai said. Is there a five-star chef in their team? After a while, the food came. Jiang Zhuying immediately took a piece for Jiang Lusher. As soon as Jiang Lusher put it in his mouth and chewed it twice, he was stunned for a moment. This taste, and this warm feeling all over my body. Isn't this mutated animal meat? Jiang Lusher quickly picked up another piece. This time he tasted it carefully, and was sure that this was mutated beast meat. Seeing that Jiang Lusher had not swallowed the last piece, he hurriedly picked up another piece and stuffed it into his mouth. Yang Qingqing and others were a little disdainful. Even if it's delicious, there's no need to gobble it up like this. Right? I guess I just ate biscuits and instant noodles on the way to Jinling. And I might not even eat them. How is it? Brother Jiang? Does it taste good? Yang Qingqing asked with a smile. Jiang Lusher nodded. Not bad. I don't know what kind of mutated animal meat this is. But the quality of this meat is still a little worse than that of mutated wild boar. After hearing Jiang Lusher's understatement of, not bad, Yang Qingqing didn't know what to say. This Jiang Lusher doesn't know the value of mutated beast meat at all. Does he? This is not ordinary meat. It is the meat of mutated beasts. Especially for people with superpowers. If people with superpowers eat the meat of mutant beasts, they can replenish their physical strength and promote evolution. Or they can save it and get it. The military went to replace the weapons. But I don't know what the use is for ordinary people to eat it. Yang Qingqing said. Evolve? Jiang Lusher didn't care at all about her last sentence. It would certainly be useful for ordinary people to eat it. However, Star C did not elaborate on the concept of how superpowers can evolve. They only said that they can evolve, but did not elaborate on how. Isn't it incredible? People with superpowers can also evolve. The normal use of superpowers and the mutated beast meat they eat can promote evolution. The use of superpowers also has a very important role, which is to practice control. Yang Qingqing then he said, she felt that after hearing this, Jiang Lusher should know that the meat would be completely useless if he ate it. If he wasn't so shameless, he should have offered to come and eat with the ordinary people in the hall right now. But what surprised her was that Jiang Lusher nodded while listening. After listening, he picked up a piece of meat and said to her, I see. It's quite interesting. Keep talking. Chapter 55 The Picked Up Crystal Core Yang Qingqing choked again. This person doesn't understand at all. If there's anything interesting about it, let her continue. Do you think she is telling storytelling? Yang Qingqing forced out a smile and said, Actually, there is nothing more to say. Brother, just eat if you like. You must not have eaten much on the way. Eat more. Jiang Zhuying turned around and shouted, Sister, make some stir-fried pork. Brother, you eat more to supplement your nutrition. Jiang Zhuying ordered again and kept giving Jiang Lu stones. Yang Qingqing really couldn't bear it anymore and her face became a little ugly. Her portion was limited, and she usually saved her food. Seeing Jiang Lu Shi, an ordinary person who had no use for food, 
eating so casually and openly. She really felt depressed. By the way, Zuying, don't you want that customized weapon? Yang Qingqing rolled her eyes and said suddenly, Customized weapons? Jiang Lusher looked questioning. Just as Yang Qingqing opened her mouth to explain, Jiang Zhuying already explained to Jiang Lusher, It's the weapon made by the military for help. They have the technology, materials, and equipment. Many survivors in Jinling City have cooperated with the military. We can collect food ourselves, but we have to ask the military for weapons. The things the military collects are constantly changing, and they will collect everything. But mutated animal meat and medicines, they are collected for a long time. Jiang Zhuying saw that Jiang Lusher was also curious about the military, and then explained, But since there is a military, why don't these survivors, especially ordinary people, follow the military? Before Jiang Lusher could ask questions, Jiang Zhuying continued, Let's say it's the military, but it's actually a small frontier camp left by the army. The real large forces have long since withdrawn, and there are only more than a thousand people left. There the camp is limited in scope, and although it accepts some survivors, there is a limit. They say they can't spare any manpower to send these survivors to a safe area. These survivors live in the camp, and they don't know when they can go to the safe zone. According to Jiang Zhuying, there is also a safety zone here in Jinling. It is said to be built in a mountainous area with difficult roads. Like the safety island, the location is very remote. Then your customized weapon also needs supplies. Right? How much does it cost? Jiang Lusher asked. We need five tons of mutated beast meat. Originally, Zhuying was slowly saving it. Yang Qingqing quickly answered. As a result, Jiang Zhuying interrupted him again. Hey, it's okay if you just take your time. Besides, you've already saved a lot, right? At this point, Jiang Zhuying suddenly remembered something and took out something from his pocket. He said mysteriously, Speaking of mutant beasts, Brother, there is something you must have never seen before. Just this thing, a small piece, can be worth a ton of mutant beast meat to the military. What is it? Jiang Lusher asked curiously. Jiang Zhuying put her white and slender hands in front of Jiang Lusher, smiled slightly, spread her palms and said, Look! Jiang Lusher looked down and saw a crystal clear bead lying in Jiang Zhuying's palm. Isn't this a mutated crystal nucleus? Jiang Liusher's eyes suddenly lit up. To open the biological laboratory, his base vehicle needed two mutant crystal nuclei. Originally, Jiang Lusher thought that this matter would be very difficult. Killing one mutant wild boar was already not easy. But two more? After knowing that Jiang Zhuying had such a team of survivors, Jiang Lusher immediately thought that it would be much more efficient if these people under Jiang Zhuying were utilized. But he didn't expect that Jiang Zhuying would see a mutated crystal core so soon. But thinking about it, Jiang Lusher felt that he was a little stupid. He was eating mutated beast meat, which of course contained mutated crystal nuclei. The survivor team must rely on mutant beast meat to exchange weapons. And the superpowers must rely on mutant beast meat to evolve and replenish themselves. They will naturally hunt mutant beasts. But the price given by the military left Jiang Lusher speechless. Only a mutant crystal core can be found in the body of a mutant beast. The value of this crystal core is far more than one ton of mutant beast meat. It can be said that it far exceeds the value of mutant beast meat. Why does the military want this? Jiang Lusher asked. This is a mutated crystal core. They seem to be using this to study mutated viruses. Jiang Zhuying said. The military has just come into contact with mutated crystal nuclei and is still in the research stage. When Jiang Lusher heard this, it turned out that the military did not know the value of the mutated crystal nuclei. Once they know it, and these survivors know it, this mutated crystal core will become precious. That's it. Zhuying, can I discuss something with you? Jiang Lusher pondered for a moment and said, We still need to discuss. What's the matter? Brother, please tell me. Jiang Zhuying took the mutated crystal core and threw it around in his palm. The beads were like glass. As a girl, Jiang Zhuying seemed to like it quite a lot. I want this mutated crystal core. It's more important to me. Hearing Jiang Liusher's words, Jiang Zhuying didn't react at all. But the others all turned their heads and looked at Jiang Liusher. Yang Qingqing looked at Jiang Liusher in disbelief. Did he know what he was talking about? This was worth a whole ton of mutated beast meat. Moreover, why is this thing important to him? I'm afraid it's his first time seeing him. The rest of the people also frowned. Forgetting about eating mutated beast meat. As soon as Jiang Lusher came, he made all kinds of demands. And now it's even more excessive. Even if Jiang Zhuying is the leader, 
He can't be so ungrateful. When he said this, he was completely cheating on her. If Jiang Zhuying gives it to him, Jiang Zhuying's prestige in their hearts will be greatly reduced in the future. Not giving it to him. Judging from Jiang Zhuying's attitude towards Jiang Lusher, he is completely responsive to every request. At this moment, Jiang Lusher continued, Zhuying, don't you need mutated beast meat? I happen to have some over there. I'll give it to you in exchange for this crystal core. After he cut up the mutated wild boar, he got about four or five tons of mutated beast meat. He ate some later, but it was only a fraction at most. Jiang Zhuying had already saved some mutated beast meat, and all he had to do was take out some. Everyone looked at Jiang Lu Shi. From the moment he said he wanted to mutate the crystal core, every word he said shocked them. Ah, brother, you have mutated animal meat. How did you get it? Jiang Zhuying was also stunned. Brother, does he really have mutated animal meat? However, she had unconditional trust in Jiang Lu Shi since she was a child. Even if this matter sounded outrageous, she did not question it at all. Others were completely stunned when they heard this. Isn't Jiang Lusher an ordinary person? Wait a moment. Jiang Lusher entered the garage. And after a while, he drove the small box out. I heard that Jiang Lusher had packed a bunch of luggage and junk into the small van that had been badly hit on the front. The survivors had all gathered at the door. They didn't even eat. And watched Jiang Lusher get off the minibus and open the cargo compartment door of the small van. Crunch. The rickety cargo door also feels like it's falling apart. Boom. 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 There was a muffled sound. Large pieces of meat rolled out of the cargo compartment. The bright red and lean pork makes people greedy just looking at it. A faint fragrant smell wafted out. And you knew as soon as you smelled it that this was mutated animal meat. Jiang Zhuying stared at these mutated pork with wide eyes. And the survivors couldn't believe their eyes. There actually is. And there are so many more. At this time, Jiang Lusher poked his head out of the cab and said, Is this enough? Jiang Zhuying was stunned for a moment. Then suddenly realized. He nodded repeatedly and said, Enough? Enough! How many are there here? She ran over and saw a lot of mutated animal meat in the carriage. Four or five tons, Jiang Lusher said. So much! Jiang Zhuying was even more shocked. She quickly shook her head. This is too much. I only need two tons. No need for the rest. No need. I'll give you all these mutated beast meats. Jian Lusher said. In fact, Jian Lusher took out the mutated beast meat in exchange because he was going to give it all to Jian Zhuying. So that those people would not have any ideas. Sure enough, although those people had different expressions, some were in disbelief and some felt like they were hallucinating. They did not show any greedy expressions. For ordinary survivors, even if they get the meat, they will not live to exchange it for food. But for those with special abilities, the exchange for what they get and the confrontation with Jiang Zhuying are not cost effective. However, they still couldn't believe that Jiang Lusher actually brought out the meat. That shabby little box that makes people feel disgusted when approaching it is actually filled with mutated animal meat. Zhuying, brother wants to tell you something. Jiang Lusher continued. Jiang Zhuying was originally about to refuse Jiang Yosher's offer of all the mutated beast meat to her. She was startled when she heard this. And then said, Brother, you have to say it. Can you also give me the crystal core you get from hunting mutant beasts next time? Jian Lusher said. For were five tons of mutant beast meat, according to the price given by the military, is enough to exchange for almost five mutant crystal nuclei, while Jian Lusher only needs two. To those people, this was completely the price of affection that Jian Lusher gave to Jian Zhuying. They were jealous of Jian Lusher for having such a good sister before. But now they are envious of Jiang Zhuying for having such a good brother. So much meat. You can take it out as soon as you ask for it. When Jiang Zhuying heard this, he naturally had no objection. Okay. Um, brother Jiang, how did you get this mutated beast meat? Yang Qingqing couldn't hold back anymore and asked. Her question is also the question on everyone's mind. How could you, an ordinary person, get mutated beast meat? This. I picked it up. Jiang Liosher's answer made everyone feel like they were holding back a mouthful of blood. Pick up? Picked it up? Pick up a mutant beast? Why? How did you pick it up? Yang Qingqing resisted the urge to vomit blood and asked again. I found a mutated wild boar when I was passing by. It hit a tree and died. Jiang Liosher said without changing his expression. Mutated wild boar crashed into a tree? Shouldn't it be the tree that's unlucky? However, Jiang Liosher had already said so. Although they didn't believe it. They couldn't continue to question it, and no matter how they thought about it, 
They couldn't think of any other way Jian Lusher could obtain mutated beast meat. Maybe. He was really killed by a collision. And he couldn't be killed by falling off a cliff? Shit luck. Really shit luck. The mutated crystal core was handed over to Jian Lusher's hand. Holding the warm mutated crystal core, Jian Lusher showed a smile on his lips. This crystal core is truly worth thousands of dollars. Now, there is only one crystal core left to open the biological laboratory. Chapter 56 Heading to Satellite City After collecting all the mutated beast meat he needed, Jiang Zhuying was immediately ready to exchange for weapons. As the leader, she is also the strongest psychic in the team, and the weapons she exchanges for them are equivalent to improving the safety and combat effectiveness of the entire team. Therefore, the mutated beast meat and crystal cores she needed to exchange for weapons were originally produced by the entire team. Now it's like this team owes Jian Lusher a mutant crystal core. Brother, let's go to the city today to change weapons. Let me show you when I come back. Jian Zhuying knocked on the door early in the morning and said in a very excited tone. The location of this survivor team is actually only the suburbs of Jin Ling and has not yet reached the core of Jin Ling City. Only here can survivors live. The closer you get to the city, the more restricted it is to the living. There are even many places where living people cannot approach them at all. Entering the city is also a very dangerous thing for Jian Zhuying and others. The permanent population is 8 million. And the floating population is over 10 million. The number of people who mutate into zombies may be more than 90% of this population. There are so many zombies. Giving people a completely endless feeling. Even those with superpowers can only wait for death and despair once they are surrounded by zombies in Jin Ling City. The more you kill, the more zombies will be around you. Which can only bring despair to people. In Jin Ling City, Danger comes not only from zombies. Some mutated beasts will also appear in Jin Ling City. They originally came from the city. After mutating, they are still active in the city. These mutant beasts are hidden in high-rise buildings in the city and are more dangerous. However, when Jiang Zhuying said entering the city at this time, he did not mean entering Jin Ling City. That would be too dangerous. What she was talking about was entering a satellite city, temporarily built by the military. But the danger of going to the satellite city is not low. On the way, you have to pass through an area with a very dense zombie population. This is also the reason why many surrounding survivors cannot go to the military. Only a strong team like Jiang Zhuying and others can exchange with the military. Those weak survivors could not collect anything useful to the military. If everything goes well, we'll be back in the afternoon. Maybe we can find some delicious snacks at some roadside shop for my brother to bring back. Jiang Zhuying smiled brightly. No need. I'll go with you. Jian Lusher said. Ah? The smile on Jiang Zhuying's face suddenly froze. Five tons of mutated animal meat were loaded onto a freezer truck, while two off-road vehicles drove from the lawn to the front of the villa. One of the off-road vehicles had a light machine gun mounted on it. This car is used to open roads, and it is also Jiang Zhuying's car. And this light machine gun is the most precious and important weapon of their team, because bullets are ridiculously expensive. They won't use them easily. As for Yang Qingqing and other elite combat forces, they sat in the freezer truck and another off-road vehicle respectively. As a postponed vehicle, the second off-road vehicle also underwent some simple modifications. Some spiked iron chains were hung on the back of the vehicle, and many seats in the vehicle were removed to allow the people inside to turn around, attack the zombies that catch up. As for the freezer truck, two full layers of steel plates were added. Although the welding was very ugly and very heavy, it was a standard Turtle SH. L. This is used to protect supplies. Their supplies were bought at the cost of their lives, and they cannot afford a single loss. This team of survivors can be said to be very proud of these three vehicles, which are also an important guarantee for their survival. But today, the car was about to set off. But Jiang Zhuying was still nowhere to be seen. The driver's seat of the lead off-road vehicle, where she usually sat, was still empty. Where is the boss? Zhang Hai asked. Going to talk to her brother. She probably has more to say, Yang Qingqing said. Okay, the door is open. It seems that we have finished talking, Zhang Hai said suddenly. The garage door slowly opened. Then let's get in the car too. Yang Qingqing glanced at the garage door and walked towards the last off-road vehicle. But at this moment, her steps paused and she turned her head to look over again. Why did that minibus drive out? And if you look carefully, isn't Jiang Zhuying in the passenger seat? Is it possible that Jiang Lusher wants to follow them? Bamboo Shadow! We are leaving! Yang Qingqing went over and said. Jiang Zhuying glanced at her in the car, nodded and said. Well, it's indeed getting late. However, 
After saying this, Jiang Juying remained firmly in the local minibus, with no intention of getting off. We really want to go together. Yang Qingqing was speechless. Forget it. She can't stop her even if she loves him. There are still seats in the first car. Can Juying and brother Jiang sit together? Jiang Lusher shook his head. No need. I just drive my own car. It's okay. We're here to hold you back this time. And we'll just follow you. Jiang Juying continued. Yang Qingqing nodded and walked back to the off-road vehicle and whispered to the other survivors. Juying listens too much to her brother. Right? Her brother must have brought up this matter again this time. Why is he going? Have no idea. The off-road vehicle and the freezer truck started to set off. And Jiang Lusher followed behind in a minibus. This team combination looks really weird. Jiang Lusher wanted to follow him not only because the danger was too high and he was worried about Jiang Zhuying, but also because he was curious about the military and the satellite city. He wanted to know what other things besides mutated beasts meet the military exchange with these survivors. According to Jiang Zhuying, the military changes their demand list from time to time and often needs different things. Although their large forces protected some survivors and evacuated to safe areas, it did not mean that they had completely abandoned the city and the original home of mankind. Even if you don't consider returning home, the huge number of zombies, those ferocious mutant beasts, and whether there will be any changes in the virus are all things that need to be taken care of. They established a satellite city in Jinling City. In addition to continuing to collect supplies, they are also monitoring the situation in Jinling City, understanding the zombies and mutant beasts, and providing sufficient samples for studying the virus. This is the significance of the establishment of Satellite City. The convoy quickly drove out of the villa community. The leading off-road vehicle skillfully turned into a small street. After several turns, the front suddenly opened up. They came to the main road. At this time, Jiang Lusher saw the muscular man from before get out of the leading off-road vehicle and stand behind the light machine gun. Chapter 57 The Battle of Superpowers This is the only way to go to the Satellite City. According to Jiang Zhuing, the other routes will only be more dangerous than this road. Although this area, all the way to the Satellite City, belongs to the suburbs of Jinling City. Jinling City is very expensive. Large residential areas, high-tech zones, and schools are all built in the suburbs. The number of people here is not large at all. The population base means the number of zombies. Seeing that the muscular man was ready, Jian Lusher also silently checked the situation of the car in the star seed as usual. The SH. L of the base vehicle is intact. The power system is intact. And the air cannon is fully functional. Starseed's voice came. Jiang Zhuing held the iron rod in his arms and sat on the passenger seat. His big eyes looked ahead with bright eyes. Brother, just wait and watch the show. Watching a show? Jiang Lusher said doubtfully. The vehicle was traveling at a slow speed. And soon, zombies began to appear in front of it. These zombies were originally like wandering ghosts, wandering aimlessly on the street. But when they heard the buzzing sound of the car driving, they were immediately attracted and turned their heads. Their blood-red eyes looked at the cars approaching at high speed, and a ho-ho sound suddenly came out from their throats, and then they rushed over. As the vehicle approached, more and more zombies rushed out of the houses and alleys on both sides of the road. In the blink of an eye, the convoy was full of zombies, especially in front. It's really dense at first glance. The eyes of these zombies were blood-red. Their faces were twisted and ferocious. Their mouths were wide open. Their gums were also blood red. And the spaces between their teeth were filled with blood and shreds of flesh. They will also attack their own kind when there are no living people to eat. But when inactive, the consumption of these zombies is actually very low. Zombies are very aggressive towards living people. And they will only attack the same kind when they need to eat. This is why they wander slowly when no living people appear. But as soon as a living person appears, a scene like this will appear. With so many zombies rushing towards you, you immediately feel like you have fallen into a swarm of corpses. And a sense of despair arises spontaneously. The horror of zombies is not only reflected in their combat power, but also has great mental stimulation to ordinary people. Seeing so many zombies appearing, everyone's scalp went numb involuntarily. At this time, gunshots suddenly rang out. Ta-ta-ta-ta! The light machine gun spit out tongues of flame. Bullets poured into the zombie group and the zombies in the first row fell down in pieces. But at this time, the terrifying vitality of the zombies was revealed. They were not afraid of pain at all, unless they were shot in the head. The other zombies, 
who were shot immediately got up again and continued to run towards the convoy. Some zombies even just shook their bodies after being beaten. Without even stopping, one of the zombies was shot in the abdomen. His running movements caused his muscles to tear, and even his intestines came out, but he was still heading this way. Soon, the smell of blood attracted other zombies and knocked it down from behind. These bloody scenes have long been used to these survivors. Jian Liosher's expression didn't change much. At first, he would find the scene a little disgusting. But now, he doesn't feel anything at all. He has seen many things more disgusting than this. Jiang Zhuying was originally worried that Jian Lusher would be nervous because there were so many zombies. But when she looked at Jian Lusher, she found that Jian Liosher's hand holding the steering wheel was steady, not shaking at all. And his expression was very calm. At this time, the light machine gun stopped firing and then slowed down. The value of bullets is higher than the gun itself. And it is impossible to rely on bullets to shoot all the time. The previous round of shooting only created some corpses and slightly delayed the forward movement of the zombie horde. Buzz! The freezer truck passed by it and became the leading vehicle. The car drove straight towards the zombies. Zhang Hai's eyes widened inside, his hands tightly grasping the steering wheel, and he stepped on the accelerator to the bottom. The zombies are getting closer and closer, and you can even see their hands about to catch him. Bang! There was a muffled sound, and then the freezer truck bumped. The refrigerator truck crashed directly into the group of zombies, constantly knocking away the zombies in front. Most of the windshield of the freezer truck is also covered with steel plates, leaving only a small gap at the driver's seat, which is also covered with iron wire. Zhang Hai was extremely excited when he saw the zombies in front of the car falling down one by one. He slapped the horn twice, then laughed and said, Oh no! Go to H, L! It's great! It's so great! These zombies posed a huge threat to people, but being able to drive such an iron armored vehicle to crush them crazily made John Hai so excited that his face turned red and veins bulged on the back of his hands, driving deeper and deeper among the zombies. Although the accelerator of the freezer truck was pressed to the bottom, the speed inevitably slowed down. The freezer truck made a sound as if it was stuck and was surrounded by zombies. Kakaka! There were a lot of dents in the iron sheets covering the outside of the freezer truck. The crushing and impact force of the zombies was very strong. Although the iron sheets were thickened, they still felt unbearable. Bang! At this time, a loud noise suddenly came. A tire under the refrigerator truck was flat, and a puff of smoke came out. This refrigerator truck has obviously been modified. It has a total of 12 tires. If this tire bursts, it will only cause the refrigerator truck to shake a little, and there will be no major impact. However, one tire blew out so quickly, which suddenly made people worried about other tires. Ah! Don't be nervous! I'm just a fetus! John Hai shouted. At this time, a person with supernatural powers climbed up on the roof of the freezer truck. The last off-road vehicle followed the freezer truck, and Yang Qingqing's figure poked out of the sunroof. The two superpowers started attacking at the same time. The superhuman on the freezer truck was holding a long spear-like fork. He almost hung to the edge of the car, but his feet seemed to have roots, and he refused to fall off the car. His body kept swinging out of the freezer truck, and every time he thrust out the fork, he could accurately poke a zombie in the cheek, stabbing the opponent directly through the head. Yang Qingqing's action surprised Jian Lusher. She actually climbed out of the skylight, holding two one-foot-long knives in her hands. Then, she suddenly jumped down and jumped directly into the group of corpses. This scene really made people feel nervous. But after jumping in, she spun around in place, like a dexterous top. But the top was shining with cold light, and the two long knives directly cut open the throats or chests of the surrounding zombies. Before other zombies could surround him, Yang Qingqing suddenly jumped up again and landed lightly on the roof of the car. The whole process lasted only one second, and Yang Qingqing's feet seemed to be equipped with springs. One of them has a kind of web under their feet, which can grab any ground. As for Yang Qingqing, her calf muscles have mutated and her jumping ability is very strong, Jian Zhuying said. Jian Lusher nodded clearly. The direction of the mutation of these two people was similar to his previous impression of supernatural powers. They were in the same category as Brother Yu, and they were basically local body mutations. As for Jian Zhuying, the cells in his body mutated, and they mutated into discharged cells. As she continues to evolve, the electrical energy she can release will become larger and larger. It is completely unclear to what extent it will reach in the future. When they were in Jiang Liosher's car before, Jiang Liosher's car was still several meters away from the zombies, 
when he was electrocuted by Jiang Zhuying's current. The zombies were burned to blackness one by one, and the minibus ran over them, leaving a pool of black charcoal-like objects on the ground. Such terrifying lethality is completely incomparable to these partially mutated superpowers. It's so cool! Die! Die for me! John Hai's excited shouts reached the base vehicle again. With the cover of Yang Qingqing and the superpower, the obstacles encountered by the freezer truck suddenly disappeared, and the whole truck kept bumping and running over the zombies. Chapter 58 The Power That Leaves People Speechless John Hai's scream simply drowned out everything else, as if it wasn't enough to express his excitement. At this time, the off-road vehicle that was leading the car had slowed down and arrived next to the minibus. Didi! The SUV honked twice. Jiang Zhuying looked towards the off-road vehicle. The muscular man leaned out of the sunroof again and shouted, Boss! There is a large group of corpses in front of us. We are going to speed up. Can you keep up? Brother? Jiang Zhuying looked at Jiang Lusher. Sure. Their off-road vehicles and freezer trucks have all been modified to be much faster than the original speed of these vehicles. The muscular man was obviously worried that the minibus would be left behind. So this muscular man and the others drove over to remind him. If Jiang Liosher's car can't keep up, then abandon the minibus and get on their off-road vehicle. Jiang Liosher shook his head. Tell them not to worry. We can keep up. Okay. Jiang Zhuying turned around and said without hesitation. It's okay. You can drive your car. The muscular man was startled for a moment. Then said, Okay. Since Jiang Zhuying agreed, Jiang Lusher could only do whatever he wanted. Moreover, he estimated that the engine of this minibus had also been modified. After all, the interior was actually a luxury car. The off-road vehicle drove next to them for a while. Suddenly honked its horn again, and then suddenly started to accelerate. Beep, beep, beep. The other two cars also honked their horns respectively. And the three cars started to accelerate at the same time. Jiang Liosher's minibus was in a high position and had a wider field of vision. When he looked ahead, he was also surprised. In the distance, there was indeed an area densely populated with zombies. Twice as many as before. Buzz, buzz! The roar of the engine was very loud. And the three vehicles spewed out billowing exhaust fumes. They continued to speed up and rush towards the tide of corpses. At this time, Jiang Lusher had not yet started to accelerate. Seeing the distance between the two parties being quickly widened, Jian Lusher suddenly stepped on the accelerator. Bang, bang, bang. Some zombies collided with the minibus. And during the collision, the minibus suddenly surged in speed and caught up behind the convoy in the blink of an eye. Wow! Jian Zhuying immediately exclaimed. This car is well modified. It accelerates so smoothly and so fast. Hearing Jian Zhuying's exclamation, Jian Lusher smiled slightly. In fact, this is just normal acceleration. If you see the effect of instant acceleration, I don't know how surprised this girl will be. Although these off-road vehicles have been modified, their acceleration capabilities are nothing compared to the base vehicles. If they really want to compete in speed, these cars can only eat dust behind the minibuses. Yang Qingqing jumped back into the car again, her two long knives still dripping with sticky blood. Unintentionally, Yang Qingqing looked back and was stunned for a moment. Is this minibus following so close? At this time, John Hai's roar came from the front. Boss, are you following me? Yang Qingqing looked at the minibus in surprise, then reacted and replied impatiently. Follow me! While she was stunned, a zombie suddenly pounced on the off-road vehicle as it passed by at high speed, grabbed the luggage rack of the off-road vehicle, and then quickly climbed up, feeling the smell of blood approaching from behind. Yang Qingqing screamed and jumped behind the zombie in a flash. Two long knives stabbed the zombie as it turned over. Bad luck. Yang Qingqing kicked the body under the car. At this time, she had no time to pay attention to the minibus. The danger of passing through this group of corpses is quite high. But if this continues, there will still be no problem in passing through in the end. Although some zombies will follow you for a certain distance, they will eventually have to give up and then slowly wander back again. The rest of the way is relatively safe. Fortunately, this area was not long. Soon. The convoy stood out from the group of corpses. About ten minutes later, the convoy had arrived at an open space and stopped. Yang Qingqing and others jumped out of the car and took care of the dozen or so zombies that followed from nearby. At this time, Jiang Lusher also drove his minibus to the open space. How is the car? Jiang Zhuying got out of the car and walked over and asked. The drivers of the two off-road vehicles and Zhang Hai, who had just gotten off the freezer truck, were checking the condition of the vehicles. They broke out from the corpses 
and needed to be inspected and repaired before they could hit the road again. The two off-road vehicles were okay, with only some minor damage, which was not serious. But the freezer truck seemed to be in a more serious condition. But that's just the appearance of the bumps. In fact, the function of the iron plate has not been affected and can continue to be used. But a flat tire is more troublesome. John Hai circled around the freezer truck and saw Jiang Lu Shi looking at his freezer truck from inside the car. A smile suddenly appeared on his face. How is it? Brother, my truck is good, isn't it? It doesn't know I've killed so many zombies, but I'm still so strong. You have a flat tire, Jian Lusher said. The blown tire had been completely blown to pieces. At that time, the freezer truck was surrounded by zombies, and maybe it was bitten by the zombies. Ha! It's just a flat tire. It doesn't matter. John Hai laughed. By the way, brother, do you know what my superpower is? John Hai suddenly asked. John Lusher was stunned. After saying this, he really didn't know what John Hai's power was. John Lusher saw the rest of the superpowers taking action. And he suddenly remembered that John Hai was driving and had not taken action yet. Then what is your superpower? John Lusher asked curiously. Hee hee. That's just right. Brother, please hold on. John Hai said a completely non standard Beijing accent. Okay. John Lusher thought John Hai wanted to show off. As a result, after he rolled up his sleeves, he didn't do anything, but dragged out a tire from the freezer truck. I have several tires in my car, and I'm not afraid of them exploding at all, John Hai said proudly. This means that tires often blow out, John Lusher thought to himself, but he still didn't see what John Hai's superpower had to do with his tire. John Hai carried the tire to the location of the puncture. He took out the jack and jacked up the car. Then he rubbed his hands and flexed his ten carat-like fingers. Brother, look at it. This is my housekeeping skill, John Hai said. His hand suddenly moved in a daze. He is very fast and powerful, and his fingers are astonishingly flexible. As for what he did, it was change tires. He didn't use any other tools, not even a wrench. He used his hands instead. Bolts and other things could be screwed on and off easily. While John Hai was changing the tire, he said very proudly, How about it, brother? It's not bad. My fingers have mutated. They are very fast and strong. Look at them. They are all muscles. John Lusher was stunned. It took him a long time to react and asked. Excuse me. What did you do before? Car repairman. Ha ha ha. Chapter 59 An Unexpected Surprise John Hai used to repair cars. After mutating into a superhuman, he combined his superpowers with his professional skills and continued to do his old job. In terms of combat power, he is certainly stronger than ordinary people. But among the four superpowers in this team, he can only be at the bottom. However, his role is not small at all. He completed the modification and maintenance of these cars by himself. But even so, John High's cheerful personality and this weird superpower still make him a little bit statusless. Apart from anything else, Yang Qingqing's attitude towards him has always been very contemptuous. And she often speaks impatiently. Jiang Lusher felt that this power could be used for more than just repairing cars. The strength of his fingers alone could poke holes in a person's body like a bullet. In response to this, Zhang Hai laughed and said, I'm not a fighter. As long as I'm beaten, I'll go crazy and lose my sense. He paused. His smile gradually disappeared. And his tone became lower. This expression. This was the first time Jiang Lusher saw it on his face. I don't know why but I always see the picture of my wife reaching out to me for help among the zombies. I just woke up at that time. If I could kill harder and faster, forget it. John Hai smiled again and continued to work with his head down. In fact, John Hai should also know that no matter how fast he was at that time, he would not be able to save his wife. But knowing it doesn't mean that you can get out of that memory. Most of the survivors have experienced these tragedies. Brother, we will arrive at the satellite city in a while. Jiang Juying took a bottle of water from the off-road vehicle and handed it to Jiang Lusher. These people were all drinking mineral water to replenish their depleted water and energy in a timely manner. Jiang Lusher noticed that the superpowers also carried some dried mutated beast meat. And they were eating it with water at this time. Using supernatural powers consumes a lot of their physical strength. And they can only replenish it quickly with the meat of mutated beasts. Although ordinary food is also available. It requires a large amount. It is not as easy to carry as mutated animal meat, and it will not promote the evolution of superpowers. Soon, the tires of the freezer truck were changed, 
everyone drank water, ate meat, and rested. The convoy got back on the road and continued towards the satellite city. It only takes 10 minutes from this place to the satellite city. There are a lot of zombies along this journey. And the roads are densely packed with zombies. These zombies heard the sound and rushed here. From a distance, they looked like a black tide rolling over. Ah! Zhang Hai stepped on the accelerator desperately. And under the cover of Yang Qingqing and others, he kept hitting and crushing. And rushed through the group of corpses. I was lucky this time, and there was no puncture yet. But there were a lot of impact marks on the car. We are not far from the satellite city. So we just need to highlight this group of corpses. At this moment, a roar suddenly came from nearby. The roar was low, as if coming from the throat, and it didn't sound too far away from them. Hearing this roar, Jiang Zhuying sat up straight, with a solemn look on his face. She listened carefully again, and then quickly shouted, Be careful! Bang! A group of zombies was pushed away, and many zombies were even knocked directly into the air. Immediately afterwards, a huge black shadow rushed out and rushed straight towards the convoy. The size of this black shadow is comparable to that of an off-road vehicle. And its speed is also not slow. Its mouth was wide open, revealing sharp canine teeth. And its eyes were bright red. This is a mutant dog. In cities, there are many people who keep pet dogs. And the number of stray dogs in the suburbs is also very large. These dogs are all infected with the virus. After the apocalypse, most of them mutate into monsters like zombies. A few of them have become mutant beasts. Such a figure! Jiang Zhuying's expression suddenly changed. Mutated beasts range in size from big to small. And this one is the largest they have encountered so far. Level 1 plus mutant dog. Xing Zhong's test showed that this was a first level mutant dog with a plus sign. 1 plus represents the mutant energy level of this mutant dog. But in fact, at this stage, the gap in combat effectiveness caused by size, strength, and speed is still very large. Even if the levels of mutant energy are the same, the actual combat effectiveness will be higher or lower. This mutant dog is huge, terrifyingly powerful, and incredibly fast. As soon as the convoy spotted it, the mutant dog rushed near them. Bang! The mutated dog directly hit the refrigerator truck. The high-speed refrigerator truck was suddenly knocked out sideways and hit the flower bed on the roadside heavily. As soon as the freezer truck hit him, the mutant dog was already chasing after him and swung his paw up, the sharp claws shimmering with cold light. The tip of the claws alone are half a foot long. Coupled with the terrifying power, there was only a cheese sound, and the iron sheet covering the outside of the refrigerator truck was like paper, and several deep cracks were cut at once. Two pieces of packed mutated beast meat rolled out from the crack, and even the freezer was cut open, showing how lethal it was. As soon as this mutated dog took action, it made people shudder. F asterisk CK! F asterisk CK! Zhang Hai yelled in the cab. His freezer truck could kill those zombies. But in front of this mutant dog, it was like a plastic toy car. Vulnerable at all. Just a few more claws, and the freezer truck is done. The mutated dog was almost as big as a freezer truck. Its scarlet eyes stared at Zhang Hai in the car with a grim look. It bared its teeth and thick, blood-red saliva flowed out of its big mouth and dripped on the ground. Zhang Hai, who was so close, felt his scalp explode. He stepped on the accelerator with a sound of awe and rushed forward for a certain distance. The car body scraped against the flower bed, making a sharp friction sound, and even sparks flew out. The mutated dog immediately followed him as soon as he saw it, and with a sudden leap, he was about to pounce directly on the freezer truck. Once attacked by this mutant dog, the freezer truck, Zhang Hai, and the supplies would all be destroyed. At this moment, a burst of gunfire suddenly came from behind. Duh duh duh. The bullet hit the mutated dog's body, and several bloody holes appeared immediately. Ouch! The mutant dog was in pain and turned around to look at the off-road vehicle with a light machine gun. The muscular man who fired the gun felt his scalp numb when he was stared at by the monster. Duh duh duh. The light machine gun kept spraying flames. The mutant dog was very agile and there were zombies blocking the bullets. The muscular man's eyes widened as he watched the mutant dog rush towards the car. Chapter 60 Mutated Dog Seeing that the distance between the mutated dogs and them was getting closer and closer, the muscular man finally couldn't hold on any longer. He shot desperately while shouting, Run! Buzz! The off-road vehicle turned sharply, and the light machine gun also turned on the roof of the vehicle, still aiming at the mutant dog, and continued to pour bullets crazily because the steering was too fast. 
one of the tires of the off-road vehicle was hanging in the air. Yang Qingqing! The muscular man shouted. This mutated dog is so fast that they can't dodge it even if they move away now. At this time, we must rely on the support of another off-road vehicle. But on another off-road vehicle, Yang Qingqing looked pale. This mutated dog was more terrifying than any monster she had ever seen before. It was too challenging for her to jump on or around this monster. The size of this monster is terrifying. And it is still running wildly. If it touches it, it will probably be seriously injured. Moreover, the reaction of this mutant dog is also very quick. Although Yang Qingqing is very fast, he has no confidence at all in front of this mutant dog. If his sharp claws are slapped, his intestines will definitely be broken. The result, in one word, is dead, with no suspense. So after hearing the shouts of this muscular man, although the off-road vehicle drove over immediately, Yang Qingqing on top was struggling and hesitating. Seeing the mutated dog in front, she found it difficult to move and her hands and feet seemed a little weak. At this moment, there was a buzz sound. The minibus that had been following behind suddenly passed the off-road vehicle in front of Yang Qingqing. It's Jiang Zhuying who is going to take action. This was Yang Qingqing's first reaction. In the previous battles, Jiang Zhuying didn't need to take action. Now is the time. If Jiang Zhuying is needed in normal battles, then what's the use of having superpowers like them? Jiang Zhuying can become the leader. In addition to being the strongest, mainly because at the critical moment, their only hope of survival is her. Yang Qingqing stared at the passenger window where Jiang Zhuying was. Jiang Zhuying was always the focus of everyone's attention. Everyone was convinced by her. Yang Qingqing was actually very jealous, which was one of the reasons why she despised Jiang Lushi. Jiang Zhuying's superior strength and amazing abilities also made Yang Qingqing jealous of her good luck. God was so unfair. But no matter what, Yang Qingqing had to agree with Jiang Zhuying's strength the gap was too big, and she couldn't catch up no matter how hard she tried. Seeing Jiang Zhuying take action before her, Yang Qingqing also felt a very unpleasant feeling in her heart. She was scared just now, and Jiang Zhuying must have seen her slow movements. So he took action. But what surprised Yang Qingqing was that Jiang Zhuying's car window was not opened. Instead, the minibus crashed straight into the mutant dog. What is this for? These survivors didn't have time to think about it. In a flash, the minibus collided with the mutated dog heart, making a loud bang sound. Only then did the survivors react. This collision was really timely. The off-road vehicle and the muscular man on board really barely escaped death. There were several shocking marks on the rear of their cars. But now, this RV is definitely doomed. Next, Jiang Zuing should take action. The muscular man didn't have time to wipe off the cold sweat and said to the driver, Get ready to drive back and pick up the boss's brother. Jiang Zhuying fought with a mutated dog, and Jiang Lusher, an ordinary person, could easily be affected. The minibus was broken down, so of course we had to take him out. Jiang Zhuying would definitely give the same order, but at this moment, the minibus suddenly shook. Then, it suddenly stepped back, and then accelerated and hit it again. But this time, the mutated dog jumped to the side, and the minibus crashed into the air. But what is shocking is not the issue of the minibus crashing into the air. But, this minibus can actually move. The mutated dog was completely enraged by the collision just now. It had a ferocious expression and kept making, ho ho, sounds in its throat. Its target also shifted from the off-road vehicle to this minibus. Those bullets didn't do much damage to it. Because at most only one or two bullets actually penetrated the flesh. And the rest were just scratches. It was too agile. But this minibus suddenly hit him at an extremely fast speed and hit him hard causing the mutated dog to really suffer. The minibus didn't hit it even once, but immediately backed up a certain distance, then made a buzzing roar again and rushed over again. The survivors were dumbfounded when they saw the minibus continuously turning sharply, adjusting its direction and continuing to hit. And in the process, countless zombies were killed. This is too fierce, not to mention falling apart. This minibus didn't even have any obvious dents on its front face. How did these survivors know that when Jiang Lusher collided with the mutated wild boar, the windshield was cracked and the front face was severely dented? However, that is because the mutant wild boar is a collision type, and the force of the collision is very terrifying. While this mutant dog is agile, its impact isn't the most deadly. The claws and fangs are. Moreover, before coming to Jin Ling, Jiang Lusher's base vehicle armor had just absorbed the mutant energy that escaped after Brother Yu's death. Because the energy was insufficient, 
It was only used to improve the base vehicle's armor defense. The defense power is improved compared to before. During the collisions again and again, the car body continued to make bang bang, banging sounds. But it had no impact on the minibus. The performance of this sharp turn and instant speed increase is no different from that of a super sports car. The roar of the engine kept echoing in their ears. It was obviously a minibus. But it was extremely nimble. Hack! In the car. Jiang Lusher had no time to pay attention to the surprise that the base car brought to these survivors. This mutated dog was so nimble that it was only hit unexpectedly during the first impact. But that time, the off-road vehicle was nearby and the air cannon could not be turned on. And using air cannons in front of these survivors is too shocking. As for collision and acceleration, they can be used at will. Although this mutant dog is large in size and has strong fur defense capabilities, it will suffer internal injuries under the impact of gravity. If hit a few times, the mutant dog's combat effectiveness will be greatly reduced. Jian Lusher didn't go specifically to rescue the off-road vehicle, but he saw the opportunity for a sneak attack. As early as when the mutant dog first appeared, Jian Lusher had a hint of excitement and surprise in his eyes. Although Jian Lusher also looked solemn about the terrifying strength of the mutant dog, meeting a mutant beast so quickly was a very good opportunity for Jian Lusher. It can even be described as good luck. He now has a mutated crystal core in his hand and in his eyes. This mutated dog is the second mutated crystal core that has been delivered to his door. Of course, it is not easy to kill this mutant dog. At this time, Na Zhang Hai rushed over again with a freezer truck. When he saw the scene, he was really shocked and screamed. Holy shit! That's awesome! That's awesome! What kind of RV is this? It almost looks like an armored vehicle. In the car, Jiang Liosher's face was expressionless. His eyes fixed on the mutant dog. Every time he turned the steering wheel, Zhang Hai was amazed by the direction and angle. This driving skill is amazing. Of course, what Zhang Hai didn't know was that Jiang Lusher was a novice driver and didn't even have a driver's license. He was able to be so accurate and smooth because of Xing Zhong's calculation of data. Zhang Hai drove back, not for close observation. In his car, the superhuman climbed out, seeing the opportunity. At the moment when the mutated dog avoided the minibus, he jumped out of his body and stabbed him with a spear. Passed. The freezer truck also accelerated suddenly and suddenly approached behind the mutant dog. The mutated dog noticed the attack from behind. And it was in this very short period of time that he was distracted. Bang! The minibus hit the mutant dog hard again. Chapter 61 Seamless Cooperation Ouch! The mutated dog was completely furious. But Jian Lusher didn't wait for it to give him a chance to fight back. He immediately retreated and distanced himself after the impact. The minibus would not be in a good mood if this mutated dog pawed at it. The mutated dog was hit by the minibus twice in a row. It wanted to tear up the minibus and Jian Lusher in the car and devour them immediately. When it saw the minibus retreating, it simply ignored the sneak attack from the superhuman on the freezer truck, jumped suddenly, and rushed towards the minibus. The distance between it and the minibus is already very close. With its speed, it only needs one pounce to catch up with the minibus. The mutated dog has opened its mouth ferociously, revealing a mouth full of fangs. It's going to chew up the car and drag out the human inside. However, at this moment, Jiang Zhuying's figure appeared at the window of the minibus. Seeing the mutated dog charging towards him crazily, she swung the iron rod hard. Tisk! Several strands of blue-white electric current flashed on the iron rod. And like lightning, the electric current hit the mutated dog accurately. The mutated dog was huge. Although the current was not fatal to it, it immediately stiffened its body. And at the moment when it froze, the minibus suddenly accelerated and hit it again. This combination is perfect. As soon as Jiang Zhuying appeared, she acted extremely tyrannical. In front of this mutant dog, there was no fear on her pretty face, and her eyes were very calm. In this way, we seize the opportunity to attack. Moreover, it was only her attack that brought the mutant dog to a real halt. If the attack is repeated several times, the mutated dog's body will be overwhelmed. The impact of the minibus just now was solid and harder than before. Do it! Jian Zhuying shouted. At this time, the minibus backed away again and suddenly turned aside. Duh duh duh! A gunshot suddenly rang out, and a large number of bullets were poured crazily towards the mutated dog that had just been hit. The muscular man fired while shouting, Help! Yang Qingqing! Both Zhang Hai and the muscular man realized that Jiang Lusher should be protected at this time. The collision resistance and performance of this minibus, 
as well as Jian Liuxiu's operation and reaction, were all so awesome. Their battle with the mutated dog just now also shows that if they don't help the minibus fight at this time, then when they face the mutated dog again later, they will not be as lucky as they were just now. Not saying that death is certain, but there will definitely be a heavy price to pay. So they all had a tacit understanding and began to cover Jian Liuxiu. But at this time, Yang Qingqing still couldn't make sense. Even though she was afraid of the mutated dog, she had to bite the bullet and ask the off-road vehicle to move closer. Bang! The minibus caught the moment when the mutant dog was forced to dodge by the bullet, suddenly changed from the reverse state to forward, and actually hit it again. The muscular man stopped shooting quickly, thinking that Jiang Lusher was crazy enough to shoot in the face of the bullet. Fortunately, it didn't hit. But soon, the muscular man discovered that the bullet did not miss the minibus leaving a spider web-like crack on the window of the minibus. In other words, although the bullet hit, it did not penetrate the window of the minibus. This minibus uses bulletproof glass. The muscular man was really shocked. This car was so well modified. The cars of some heads of state may be of this level. But if he knew that Jian Liuxiu's car had a fuel storage capacity of one ton and had a weapon with extremely large-scale destructive effects like an air cannon, would he still think so? Ouch! The mutated dog was not killed yet. It was hit directly by the minibus into a roadside shop. But soon, it rushed out of the shop. The continuous collision of the minibus did not cause much trauma to the mutated dog. But it was already staggering when standing. After it came out, it shook its head vigorously. At this time, Yang Qingqing suddenly approached. But as soon as it landed on the mutated dog next to him, the mutated dog roared angrily. Yang Qingqing was so frightened that he immediately jumped back without making a move. The mutated dog wasn't roaring at Yang Qingqing. It only saw the minibus in its eyes at this time. Yang Qingqing's face was pale. This mutated dog was still terrifying even if it was injured, compared with Yang Zhuying's terrifying lethality. She didn't even have a chance to take action. The other two people, one relied on a spear, and actually couldn't hit it at all, and the other relied on a gun. Their combined effect was not as great as Yang Zhuying's. They are fine when dealing with ordinary zombies or relatively weak mutant beasts. But at this time, they can only play a containment role. With Jiang Zhuying's presence and the constant interference from Zhang Hai's three vehicles, the mutated dog, although extremely agile, found opportunities to be hit by minibuses again and again. No matter how powerful it was, it was still made of flesh and blood. After being hit continuously by minibuses, its movements gradually became sluggish. Wounds appeared on the surface of its body, and blood gushed out of its nose and mouth. Seeing this scene, the survivors became excited and actively cooperated with Jiang Lusher to launch more violent attacks. Originally, they were all beaten by this mutant dog. But now the situation is reversed. Especially the minibus combination of Jiang Zhuying and Jiang Lusher really suppressed and beat the mutated dog hard. Moreover, both of them were completely hidden in the car. So the safety factor was self-evident. Bang, bang, bang. Jiang Lusher didn't know how many times he hit it. This time, he knocked the mutant dog directly into the outer wall of a building. The huge force caused the glass of the building to shatter. Glass shards fell from the sky, crackling and scattering countless pieces. After slamming the mutated dog into the wall, Jian Lusher didn't give up yet. He stepped on the accelerator hard and continued to squeeze the mutated dog. If an air cannon were fired at this time, this wall and the mutant dog would probably be blown to pieces. Boom, boom, boom! The engine of the minibus roared and the tires rotated and rubbed wildly on the ground. Large amounts of dust were stirred up on the ground, leaving tire marks from friction. Seeing how fierce Jian Lusher and the minibus were, the survivors were stunned. Through the gap, they could also see the huge body of the mutant dog and a large amount of blood flowing out from under the car. Finally, the roar of the minibus disappeared and it slowly backed away. Do you died? Everyone stared nervously at the location of the mutant dog. As the minibus retreated, the mutated dog also appeared in front of everyone. Its huge body was almost crushed and deformed. Its eyes, mouth, ears and nose were covered in blood. And its body was covered with traces of being scorched by electric current. Some places were even smoking. Under the mutant dog's body, there was a large pool of blood. The thick blood was also stuck to the front face of the minibus and was dripping down in big drops. Chapter 62 2 Crystal Cores The mutated dog's body was still twitching slightly but it looked like it was no longer alive. Freezer trucks and off-road vehicles stopped around, and everyone felt like they were out of strength, finally killed. In addition to the mutated dog, 
Some zombies were killed during the battle. The corpses were lying around, crushed to pieces by several cars that were turning rapidly back and forth. Hack! John Hai yelled. He looked at the mutant dog with a feeling of disbelief. When he was attacked by this mutant dog before, he felt like he was going to die. But now, this fierce and ferocious mutant dog had turned into a homeless dog. If it hadn't been for this minibus suddenly showing off its power, I don't know what would have happened today. The rest of the people were also watching this scene blankly. It was not until the minibus ran over a zombie body when it stopped and bumped slightly that they suddenly turned their attention. The front of the minibus was actually in good shape, with only a little damage. In their eyes, it looked like nothing. As for the windshield, there were only some scratches from claws and traces of bullets left before. When I turned around to look at the freezer truck, I saw it was simply terrible. The crack scratched by claws on the truck looked shaky, as if it might break in half at any time. One side of it was dented by the mutant dog, and the whole thing was deformed. It's just a minibus, but it can be modified like this. It is stronger and more crash-resistant than their refrigerator truck, and its performance is much better. For such a large model, the steering is very flexible. Jian Lucher, who was in the car, just exhaled softly. His face was normal, neither red from holding back nor particularly pale. Thinking of his calmness just now, everyone felt that their impression had been subverted. When he followed him out today, they thought Jian Lucher was just making a fuss and had nothing to do while following him. Instead, they wanted Jiang Zhuying to protect him. But now, the reality is bloody before them. They could only play a diversionary role, becoming Jiang Liusher's auxiliary and acting as a mastermind. Although this minibus has the strongest combat capability, driving skills are also very important. The strong smell of blood floated in the air. Jiang Zhuying glanced around, and the zombies gathered around him again. You go and delay the zombies. Zhang Hai and Manzi, come over and drag the mutant dog into the freezer truck. By the way, Jiang Zhuying glanced at Jiang Lusher and continued. By the way, dig out the mutant dog's crystal core. Jiang Liusher's collision with the mutated dog was mainly aimed at the crystal core. In fact, as an agility type, this mutated dog is exactly the type that Jiang Lusher has trouble with. At this time, these superpowers and this convoy came in handy. Of course, it was Jiang Zhuying who played the most important supporting role in the entire battle. Their spoils were distributed according to their contribution. And this time the brother and sister took the lion's share. Not to mention that this team originally promised Jiang Lusher a mutant crystal core. Even judging from the contribution this time, Jiang Lusher wanted the crystal core. But they didn't say anything. So after listening to Jiang Zhuying's words, Zhang Hai and the two people on the freezer truck immediately went to work without saying a word. At first glance, these two people seemed to be used to cleaning trophies and putting away supplies. They were very agile and raced against time. Zhang Hai even stabbed the mutated dog's heart directly with his finger and dug out a mutated crystal core covered in blood. He ran to the freezer truck, took out some water and washed it, then immediately ran to the minibus and handed it over to Jiang Zhuying. This mutated crystal core is so beautiful! Jiang Zhuying took it in his hand and took a look at it, then gave it to Jiang Lusher. The mutated crystal core is extremely crystal clear, reflecting light like glass and is indeed very beautiful. However, such a thing was dug out from the ferocious and terrifying body of the mutant dog. Jian Lusher took out another mutated crystal core from his pocket. Now, both crystal cores were together. After dragging away the mutated dogs, the convoy shook off the group of zombies and found a relatively safe place ahead and stopped again. The damage to the freezer truck was too serious, mainly to the compartment. Although it was temporarily blocked with the corpse of a mutant dog, after a while of bumping, the big crack was exposed again. It had to be dealt with first. Otherwise it would be just waiting to run all the way to pick up supplies. As for other impact dents, etc. There is nothing we can do for the time being. We can only just run. Some iron plates for repairing the car have also been prepared on the freezer truck. Zhang Hai took nails and hammers and began to hammer the iron plates into the cracks. Dang dang dang. Listening to the sound of Zhang Hai hammering nails. Jiang Lusher took out two mutant crystal nuclei. Jiang Zhuying got out of the car and went to get some fresh air. The rest of the people were taking the opportunity to rest, and no one paid attention to him. Now they seem to be used to Jiang Liusher's practice of not getting out of the car. This minibus is so awesome. So it's normal for Jiang Lusher to love cars as much as his life. After glancing at this group of people, Jiang Lusher looked at the mutated crystal core again, and then issued an order to Star Seed. Click! With a soft sound. 
A small card slot popped out from the driver's seat. There are two depressions in this card slot, where two mutant crystal nuclei can be placed. Jian Lusher took a deep breath, and then put the two mutant crystal nuclei in. The seams fit tightly, without any defects. As soon as the mutated crystal core was put in, the card slot automatically closed and was put back. At the same time, Starseed's voice sounded. Put in two mutant crystal cores, and the base vehicle will have new evolution options to unlock. Please choose the direction you want to evolve and dash. Option 1, you can choose to upgrade the fuel tank. Jian Lusher had already seen most of the options before. Looking at it again this time, he was still greedy. He wants all the space storage functions. Automatic absorption. Mechanical arms. And additional weapons. However, Jian Lusher had already had a clear goal in collecting these two mutated crystal nuclei this time. He shook his head, forcing his eyes to ignore these options and look directly at his goal this time. Option 10, open the biological laboratory. By adding materials, develop a genetic evolution fluid that can be used by the host to evolve genes and greatly increase physical strength. Requirements for opening, level 1 mutant crystal core X2. Jian Liosher's current combat effectiveness relies entirely on base vehicles. But he himself is completely an ordinary person. It would be easy to say if he never got off the car. But this is obviously impossible apart from anything else. Even if he killed all the zombies by himself and drove into a certain place to collect supplies, he still had to be frightened and be careful. So Jian Lusher clicked OK on this option without hesitation. Start the biology laboratory first. Chapter 63 Rare Materials Do you choose to open the biological laboratory? The biological laboratory has been opened. Please add the following materials to complete the construction of the biological laboratory. Xingzhong listed a long list. Seeing this list, Jian Lusher was really depressed. Upgrading the fuel tank previously required a lot of materials, and Jian Lusher had long been used to it. Without materials, these facilities will not be conjured out of thin air. To upgrade, there is no way to rise. But the materials needed to upgrade the fuel tank are relatively common. And there are some materials in this list of materials that Jian Lusher feels are very difficult to get. Not to mention now, even in peacetime, and even ordinary people don't have access to them. For example, 100 kilograms of titanium, 1 kilogram of iridium, 120 kilograms of nickel, 150 kilograms of cobalt. It is very difficult to collect these. The satellite city is actually just a small camp. The military has set up numerous roadblocks on the road. Behind them are black holes of gun muzzles and rows of tanks, giving people a very strong sense of oppression. When approaching the roadblock, the convoy began to slow down. Jian Lusher saw that there were many corpses of zombies on the road. Some of them looked like they had been there for a while. But no one had dealt with them. They were all crushed by the passing vehicles. Again and again. Sticking to the ground. This place really feels eerie. Jian Lusher looked at some soldiers behind the roadblock. They were fully armed and had serious expressions. Watching coldly the approach of the minibus and the three vehicles. Anyway, we are just here to exchange supplies. As long as we have things. They are still easy to talk to. We need each other and use each other. Jian Juing said, opening the car window. She neither spoke nor stuck her head out, but stretched out a hand, with her long and slender fingers and white wrist exposed to the air. Hi! A wisp of electric sparks jumped on her fingers. Jian Lusher saw that when the soldiers saw the scene, they began to silently move the roadblock aside and let them go. It seems that this electric discharge ability has become Jian Juing's trademark. Just by looking at this, these people can recognize her convoy. The part that makes up the satellite city is a small street and some private houses on the roadside. These places are now fenced off, forming a camp. The motorcade drove in slowly, and Jian Lusher saw many ordinary people sitting on the roadside, watching their cars pass by. There was blood flowing out from the gaps in their freezer truck, and there was a look of fear on the faces of those people. Although they were in a military camp, they were not really far away from zombies and seeing this convoy of survivors coming from outside immediately reminded them of the horror outside. The military region has a total of more than a thousand soldiers and a large amount of supplies, which requires a lot of logistics manpower. These ordinary people are protected by the military region, but they are not idle. They usually have to take turns to do the logistics work. The ordinary people Jian Lusher and the others saw now were temporarily rotated down to sit on the roadside to rest. Teams of soldiers were patrolling the camp in full gear, and when they saw the convoy, they would cast a vigilant and scrutinizing look. The headquarters of the satellite city is over there. It used to be a school. 
Jiang Zhuying pointed to several buildings in front of him and said, The student dormitories have become the residences of the current soldiers. And the classrooms and office buildings are where they store supplies and exchange with these survivors. The motorcade stopped at the playground. Jiang Lusher got out of the car. As soon as he arrived at the door of the teaching building, he saw a bulletin board. This bulletin board used to be used to post school announcements. But now it has many weird notices with different contents. List number 71. Collect 100 boxes of aspirin and other anti-inflammatory drugs. And you can exchange for one ton of mutated beast meat. And 100 bullets. Or other required items of equivalent value. This list is published repeatedly and can be completed repeatedly. List number 92. 10 boxes each of A5 and A7 batteries. Which can be exchanged for 100 kilograms of mutated beast meat. 10 bullets. Or other items of equivalent value. This list is published repeatedly and can be completed repeatedly. These are the demand lists published by the military. This way the survivors can know more clearly what the military needs. Otherwise, if the military does not accept the things they bring, it will be a scam. This list is constantly changing. Everything you want is available. Zhang Hai walked behind Jiang Lusher and explained when he saw that Jiang Lusher seemed to be interested in these things. Generally, what the military gives us in exchange is mutated animal meat. Bullets and weapons. Bullets are the most expensive, followed by medicines. You see, the things they want are in large quantities, and it is not particularly easy to collect them. Oh, Jiang Lusher nodded, but did not leave in a hurry, but continued to read on the list. He came to the satellite city firstly because he was worried about Jiang Zhuying, and secondly because he wanted to see if he could get what he needed. The materials needed to open the biological laboratory could not be relied upon either by him or by Jiang Zhuying's team. They could be collected more quickly from the military. List number 109, Mutated Crystal Core. One can be exchanged for one ton of mutated beast meat or other items of equal value. List number 211, 100 quilts, 100 down jackets. By the way, Zhuying, can I get some rare metals in this place? Jian Lusher asked after looking at the list and not being able to find what he wanted. In these lists, apart from mutated animal meat and bullets, the military only writes other items. What exactly these other items include? They do not explain clearly. Well, the military should have everything, even if they don't. If they can provide what they want, they can publish relevant lists to collect these from other survivors. Jian Juying said. It can still be like this. That's good. Jian Lusher nodded. Zhang Hai looked at Jian Lusher in confusion, wondering what he was doing with rare metals. However, he didn't come here to get close to Jian Lusher because he cared about Jian Liusher's thoughts. He was extremely interested in Jian Liusher's minibus. He didn't have a chance to ask before. But now, he really couldn't hold it in any longer. Brother Jiang, where did you get that car? That's awesome. The person who modified it is so cool. If I have the chance, I really want to meet him. I really want to ask for advice. I really hope this person's still alive. Jiang Hai said. Of course he's still alive. Jiang Lusher said silently in his heart. But it's impossible to ask for advice. If you ask him how to modify it, he won't know. Chapter 60 for the whereabouts of Iridium. Jiang Hai struggled for a while and had to give up. Jiang Zhuying and others entered the hall to exchange for supplies. Jiang Zhuying seemed to be in a good mood and couldn't wait to get the new weapon he dreamed of. The rest of the people are similar. They can come here to replenish bullets and other items and see if they can exchange them for anything. In addition to exchanging supplies, coming to such a place with a lot of people and being able to do some. Bye. Bye. Bye activities like the old days. They are nervous about always fighting zombies and that the loneliness of living among zombies is a kind of adjustment. Seeing these survivors and Jiang Zhuying busy with their own affairs, Jiang Lusher walked to a table. The facilities in this hall are actually very simple, except for the two windows that already exist. The rest are desks used as office windows, with one or two soldiers sitting behind them. There are still some survivors in the hall, and they are arguing with a table of soldiers, probably over the amount of materials exchanged. Jiang Lusher slowly walked to a table in the corner and asked, I have some supplies I want. Do you guys have them? A young soldier sitting in the back looked up at Jian Lusher and asked casually, What do you want? Some of the people who often come here are familiar. But this young man in his 20s is a stranger. But this soldier had already seen that Jian Lusher was with Jian Zhuing's group. 100 kilograms of titanium. And, as soon as Jian Lusher uttered the first word, the soldier was startled for a moment. Then he listened further and became more and more surprised. 
although there were survivors who came to exchange various supplies. This was the first time they exchanged so much metal. What survivors need are supplies or weapons necessary for survival. What is the use of these metals? The soldier took another look and saw that Jian Lusher didn't seem to be joking. He showed a strange expression and said, Let me check for you. I don't know if they have set up a local area network here. But the soldier started searching on the computer in front of him. Jian Lusher waited patiently. If the military already had reserves, that would be great. If not, they would have to issue a list to other survivors. After a few minutes, the soldier raised his head and said to Jian Lusher, No! There are no reserves. There would be no survivors who would collect such things and exchange them for supplies. And these would never be mentioned in the demand list issued by the military. Then, Jian Lusher was about to ask about the release of the list, when a voice suddenly interrupted from beside him. Iridium? What do you want this for? But you can find this thing in our school. Jian Lusher turned his head in surprise. The person who spoke was an old man in his sixties. He didn't look like he was with the survivors who came to exchange supplies. He was dressed in filthy clothes and had mud on his hands. Just like an honest farmer. Your school? Jian Lusher asked quickly. In fact, most of these metals are just hard to find and are not particularly scarce. But iridium is the hardest to find and has the smallest quantity. Iridium is usually used to make pen nibs. How big should a pen nib be? One kilogram of iridium is already a lot. What I want is one kilogram of iridium. Jian Lusher added. If this old man told him to go to school to pick out the nib of a pen, he would be speechless. The old man was wearing glasses. Hearing Jian Liusher's questioning look, he said, One kilogram, that's right. There are several iridium crucibles in our school's laboratory. Iridium crucibles are used for chemical reaction experiments and are generally only available in state key laboratories of universities and colleges. This was not Jian Liusher's specialty. He really didn't think of this at first. But now that he heard what the old man said, he suddenly realized it. Are you talking about Jinling University? If it is Jinling University, it is next to Jiang Zhuing's residence. Very close. Yes. The old man nodded. Thank you. Jiang Lusher was overjoyed. In this case, he could collect the most difficult to find materials here. Old man, can you tell me where this laboratory is? Jiang Lusher asked. Jinling University is very big, and even Jiang Zhuing may not know where this laboratory is. The old man moved his lips then wiped his hands on his clothes twice, and asked, Do you have a pen and paper? Let me draw you a simple map. Of course. Jian Lusher quickly asked the soldier to borrow a pen and paper. The soldier hesitated for a moment. But after taking a look at Jian Zhuing and the others not far away, he reluctantly gave it to him. Seeing the old man's dirty hand holding his pen, the soldier's face suddenly showed a look of disgust. I'll draw it for you. The old man spoke a little slowly giving people a feeling that he was not in good spirits. His hands were also a little shaky. But when he was drawing, Jian Lusher was a little surprised. This simple map is really quite standard in drawing. The lines are smooth and very regular. The old man drew very seriously. It took him three or four minutes to draw the route map and handed it to Jian Lusher. Here, you can go in directly from this road. It is the closest. Okay. Jian Lusher took the map and thanked him. Thank you. By the way, old man, what did you do at Jean Ling University before? Teaching, the old man said. Professor, professor. Jian Lusher was stunned for a moment. This professor was in the military. Shouldn't he be taken care of? Look at this old man. He is too old to do anything else. So he was assigned to farm. He must have been having a very unhappy life. So he came in during breaks. Judging from the undisguised dislike of the soldier behind the table. A useless old man like him should be very unpopular. Of astronomy, the old man added. I see. Jian Lusher understood. If you are a professor of physics, chemistry, or engineering, you will naturally be highly valued. But astronomy will become useless in the end of the world. Everyone is focused on how to survive. Who cares about the knowledge above their heads? This old professor is really unlucky. Be careful. What are you doing with something like this at this time? The old man wiped the pen on a relatively clean area of his clothes, put it back on the table, and then turned around to leave. Wait a minute. Old man. Jian Lusher stopped him. The old man turned to look at him in confusion. Jian Lusher looked at him and felt that the old man could hardly walk. If this continues, how long we can survive is a question. Jian Lusher thought for a while, took out a bag from his pocket, and handed it to the old man. Take this. 
This is a bag of dried meat from mutated beasts. Jiang Zhuying gave it to him before. The portion was very generous. And it was much larger than what Yang Qingqing and the others had eaten. But for Jiang Lusher, who got another mutated dog, this dried meat was nothing. Originally, the soldier had lost interest in the conversation between Jiang Lusher and the old man and was flipping through a book. But with a casual glance, he saw Jiang Lusher casually taking out a bag of mutated beast meat and also give it to this old man. The old man looked down at the dried meat, his eyes clearly flashing with desire, and he swallowed involuntarily. In this camp, unless there are special talents, food is distributed according to work. As a useless old man, he naturally gets very little food, and his food is not very good. He hasn't eaten meat for a long time. At this time, the soldier couldn't help but speak. Chapter 65 Specialty Metals Company Brother, if you give this mutated beast meat to an old man, it's a waste. You might as well let him eat enough. If you want to use these mutated beast meat in exchange for more ordinary food, we can do that here, said the soldier. In fact, how could the military do such a small deal? This was actually proposed by the soldier himself. Although he is not a superpower, he can exchange these mutant beast meats with the survivors for some good things, such as a few packs of cigarettes and so on. The military has a lot of supplies hoarded, but it has nothing to do with these soldiers. They also rely on wages to eat and the supplies they receive are limited every month. It would be nice to make some extra money. Originally he thought his proposal was very good, but Jiang Lusher smiled and said, It's okay. I also have ordinary food, and some of it is about to expire. It would be a pity not to eat it. There is no room for it in the refrigerator. Old man, please wait a moment. Come out with me, and I'll give you some. Jiang Liusher's entire car was filled with all that food, even on the roof of the car. After listening to Jiang Liusher's words, the soldier was speechless. Hearing Jiang Liusher's tone, he would definitely have no shortage of supplies in his hands. He didn't care about this at all. There is no room in the refrigerator. So how many things are needed? Mutated animal meat? The old professor was shocked when he heard what the soldier said. Such a bag of dried meat is actually mutated animal meat? He thought it was beef jerky. The old professor had seen mutated beast meat before. But this was the first time he had held it in his hands. This meat is eaten by those with superpowers. In the military, it is also a real hard currency. Mutated beast meat and bullets. These two things, in the apocalypse, are like gold in peaceful times. The old professor usually eats coarse grains, so he would be thankful if he could eat a piece of meat. Eat mutated animal meat? Can't even think about it. The old professor looked at the mutated beast meat that Jian Lusher took out. Although he wanted to eat it very much, he did not reach out his hand to take it. Instead, he waved his hand vigorously and said, I can't take it. I can't take it. Such a precious thing is not rewarded for nothing. Just take it. This bit of meat is nothing. Besides, I also want to ask the old man something else. Jian Lusher said, when the old professor heard this, he still did not take it, but asked, what is it? As an old man, I may not be able to help you. Old man, do you know where to find these metals in Jin Ling? Jiang Lusher listed all the other metals he needed. In fact, he was just trying his luck. The old professor was a local and well-informed. So he might know. The old professor actually heard Jiang Lusher reporting these metals to the soldier before. But at that time, he did not immediately remember where these metals were found. Now that Jiang Lusher asked this, he frowned and recalled it carefully. There must not be one in the school. I wonder where it is. As I get older, my brain is no longer useful. The old professor muttered. He thought for a while, murmured several place names to himself, and then shook his head. Suddenly, his cloudy eyes suddenly lit up. And he said, Yes, yes, this is not the case in previous years. Has a new industrial park been built? There is a Jiannan Special Metal Technology Company, and their headquarters and warehouses are over there. Specialty Metals Warehouse. This special metal company specializes in making these. In their warehouse. You should be able to find the materials you want. And even more. However, the amount of iridium is very small. And it is unlikely that specialty metal companies will have it. So many materials needed to build a biological laboratory had not been solved by the military. Unexpectedly, an old professor he met helped him point out the direction. I haven't been to this industrial park. So I can't help you draw a map. The old professor said regretfully. It's okay. I can just look for this myself. Jian Lusher was very happy. Now he didn't have to publish the list and wait. Once he had the direction, 
everything would be easy. Jian Lusher directly gave the mutated beast meat to the old professor. The old professor quickly caught the bag with his hand. He wanted to refuse. But the smell of meat wafted out of the bag, making his stomach growl immediately. This made the old professor feel very embarrassed. He looked at Jian Lusher gratefully and said repeatedly, Thank you. Thank you so much. But I really don't want anything else. This old professor hangs around here every day and sometimes gives some advice to some survivors. But when others see that he is an old man, they laugh and chat with him with a good temper. But they don't take it seriously when they hear it. He has a bad temper. I immediately asked him to go aside impatiently. In this camp, the old professor had to farm every day. He was really bored. So he found such a way to kill time. He himself never thought that after helping others, someone would reward him. This unexpected joy made him feel grateful to John Lusher. For John Lusher, who could find the whereabouts of iridium and other metals. This little food was not even an ant's leg. However, the old professor insisted on refusing. So John Lusher did not force himself. If you eat these mutated beast meat sparingly, you can also supplement a lot of nutrients. At least it won't give people the feeling of dying like they do now. At this time, Jiang Zhuying's shout suddenly came over. Brother, what are you doing? Come here and help me. Here we come. Jiang Lusher turned around and saw that in front of a table, Jiang Zhuying and her men were gathered together. Even the other wave of survivors in the hall ran over to watch out of curiosity. This should be changing weapons. When Jiang Lusher was around, Jiang Zhuying liked to consult Jiang Liusher's opinion on everything. This had become a habit. In fact, she knows best what kind of weapon she is comfortable with. Not to mention that she wants this weapon so much. She must have conducted various analyzes long ago and determined that it is very suitable for her. But with Jiang Lusher around, Jiang Zhuying couldn't help but ask him first. So all of a sudden, a group of people moved out of the way and looked at Jiang Lusher who was approaching. The other group of survivors, as well as the soldier who had just spoken to Jiang Lusher, all looked at Jiang Lusher with curiosity. Especially the soldier. He originally thought that Jiang Lusher was just a new member of Jiang Zhuying's team of survivors. But turned out to be Jiang Zhuying's brother? The survivors looked at him curiously because Jiang Lusher was just an ordinary person. But Jiang Zhuying was just that. And the people under her were so willing to cooperate? Yang Qingqing and others did look down on Jiang Lusher before. But in today's battle they were the weaker side. Of course they will give way now. And they don't have so much complaints about Jiang Lusher in their hearts. Brother! Look! Jiang Zhuying was holding a long samurai sword. This katana's blade alone is about one and a half meters long. The earliest samurai sword was used by Qi Jiguang. This samurai sword was customized by the military for Jiang Zhuying. She paid the deposit. And now she finally collected all the mutated beast meat she needed to purchase. This katana is very different from ordinary samurai swords. Chapter 66 Chain Knife Jiang Lusher took the knife and immediately felt that the material was unusual. It had a cold light and was very tough. It was a little different from the knives he usually saw. There were lines on it. Connected to the blade is a thread-shaped handle, which is also made of the same material. At the top is a diamond-shaped metal ring. The blade and handle together were almost the same height as Jiang Zhuying, about 1.7 meters tall. This is made of special alloy steel, resistant to high temperatures, and most importantly, highly conductive. The soldier sitting behind the table took the initiative to introduce it to Jiang Lusher. Strong electrical conductivity. Jiang Lusher nodded. This knife was really tailor-made for Jiang Zhuying. This sword is said to be a samurai sword. In fact, it is more accurate to say that it should be a Japanese katana sword that Qi Jiguang modified based on the tank sword. And then changed it into a Miao sword that is more suitable for combat killing. The reason why it is called Miao Dao is because the blade is slender. Like a wheat seedling. This kind of long knife specially used in military combat is fast and sharp and it is basically a murder weapon. Such a knife, coupled with electric current, is simply incredible. At this time, the soldier took out another alloy steel box. This box was placed heavily on the table. Just by hearing the movement, you could tell that it was heavy. As soon as the soldier opened the box, he saw a cold light shining inside. He took out a long chain from inside. This chain, when stretched out, is 4 to 5 meters long. There is a movable lock at the top. This can be connected to the ring above the handle of the knife. This chain is also made of special alloy steel and has excellent electrical conductivity. The cost of complete set of this knife is very high. Working overnight, the workers alone are dozens of them are working. You can't find this kind of material anywhere else. Such a knife did not exist before the apocalypse. 
Knives before the apocalypse did not need to be equipped with superpowers. But this knife was customized based on Jiang Zhuying's fighting habits and superpowers. This special alloy steel has strong electrical conductivity. In the end of the world, when materials and manpower are scarce, the cost of producing this kind of metal and building such a long knife with complicated craftsmanship is of course staggering. Jiang Lusher saw Jiang Zhuying's eyes shining as she stared at the long knife and knew that she must be extremely satisfied with the long knife specially customized and made of special alloy steel. This long knife is worth buying. Go ahead and buy it, Jian Lusher decided. The soldier immediately said, The price has been agreed before. Just add five tons of mutated beast meat. Have you brought it? Five tons. When the survivors nearby heard this number, they immediately showed envious expressions. So much mutated beast meat was actually used to buy a knife. If this were replaced by food, how many people could be fed? I brought it. There should be more. Jian Lusher said, not only that there are many, but that complete mutated dog alone is beyond who knows how many. The lots, Jian Lusher mentioned were the ones he had given to Jiang Zhuying before, as well as the mutated beast meat that Jiang Zhuying and the others had stored themselves. They don't have that kind of big scale, so they can't weigh it at all. So they can only make rough estimates. But if it is left to the military, it must not rely on estimates. It is accurate to the gram and is fair to both parties. When the military asked people to follow Jiang Zhuying and others to get the meat, these survivors also stood at the door and watched curiously. The freezer truck was in tatters and looked shaky, and one didn't know what had happened on the road. The two off-road vehicles parked next to it were normal, but the minibus had so many snakeskin bags piled on the roof. Its simple appearance made it look like the two tough off-road vehicles. The style of painting is different. As soon as Zhang Hai opened the door of the freezer truck, a hideous and terrifying mutated dog head drooped from inside. The mutated dog's head suddenly fell out. And even the soldiers were instinctively startled and almost reached for the gun at their waist. The survivors naturally had their hearts skipping a beat before they came back to their senses. Who could transport a live mutated beast? Even if they have the idea, they don't have the strength to do it. However, this mutated dog is really ferocious. Even if it is dead, it makes people feel scary at first glance. A closer look revealed that the mutated dog's eyes, ears, mouth and nose were still bleeding. And the blood had not completely coagulated. This is just killed on the way here. Look at the horrific claw marks on the freezer truck. Although they have been repaired, the marks can still be seen. The repaired iron plate is brand new. And it looks like it has just been patched up. These claw marks must have been scratched by the mutated dog. Such a ferocious mutated dog made a refrigerator truck heavily thickened with iron plates look like Okay, how could it be killed by them? Just as these survivors were thinking, Zhang Hai had already climbed into the carriage. Bang! There was a dull sound of a heavy object falling to the ground. A large piece of mutated beast meat was thrown out of the carriage and fell heavily to the ground. Before these survivors had any idea, bang, 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 continuously, large pieces of mutated beast meat were thrown out of the carriage. At first, these people didn't react at all. But as more and more pieces of meat were piled on the ground, and the head of a mutated dog that was clearly a whole one was still hanging slightly outside the carriage. These survivors my mood suddenly became unsettled. This, this is too much. When they saw the mutated dog's head, they originally assumed that the mutated dog must be part of the five tons of meat, and it had a big head. Those soldiers also thought the same way. It is only human nature to think this way. But as more and more pieces of meat were thrown out of the carriage, these survivors gradually discovered that they seemed to be wrong. These pieces of meat were what they really wanted to use to buy the long knife from the military. And this mutated dog was probably what they got along the way. Soon, the pieces of meat piled up into a hill on the ground. Jiang Zhuying said, That's it. Please weigh them. The military's large scale was brought over. And several soldiers quickly weighed five tons of meat. People watched helplessly. And in the end, there were several pieces of meat left that were not passive. Five tons is enough. These are extra. When Jiang Lusher said more. He was not referring to the mutated dog, but the meat itself. Okay, the meat is all here, and this knife is for you, the soldier said while registering the meat. He glanced at the mutant dog and asked, What are you going to exchange for this meat? Yang Qingqing and others did not speak. They had a very small share in this battle, and it was not their turn to answer such questions. They all looked at Jiang Zhuying, while Jiang Zhuying and she looked at Jiang Lu Shi. This mutated dog was mainly shot by my brother. I have to ask him whether to sell it or not. Jiang Zhuying's words suddenly focused everyone's attention on Jiang Lusher. Soon, 
the expressions of survivors, and a soldier became messy in the wind. Did he hit him? Isn't he an ordinary person? These people who discovered it were all superpowers. Through induction, they immediately discovered that Jian Lusher did not have any energy leaking from his body. He was just an ordinary person. An ordinary person kills a mutant dog? We have little experience. So don't lie to us. Chapter 67 Situation Although the soldier who asked the question was not a superpower, he was surprised to hear Jiang Zhuing's words. He has dealt with Jiang Zhuing's team of survivors several times. And he knows that the strongest person in the team is Jiang Zhuing. And seeing that Jiang Zhuing brings a lot of supplies every time, he still has the same team after going back and forth several times. They knew that even among all the Jin Ling superpowers they had come into contact with, Jiang Zhuing was at the top of the list. Otherwise, the general team of survivors, not to mention the members, even the leader may be different every time. The supplies they bring also depend on luck. How many or how little they bring will not be as stable as Jiang Zhuing's team. Of course, this time, they performed exceptionally well. What surprised the soldier was that this man was also very strong, mainly because of him. Is he stronger than Jiang Zhuing? Jiang Lusher knew from the look in the soldier's eyes that he had misunderstood. He was quite indifferent to this misunderstanding, but he would not go out of his way to explain anything. This meat is not for sale yet. After Jiang Lusher finished speaking, he looked at Jiang Zhuing and Yang Qingqing and said, If you want to sell your share, then sell it. Ah? It's okay. It's okay. We don't need it anymore. The muscular man and others looked at each other and shook their heads quickly. Yang Qingqing also said, I don't need it anymore. She bit her lip and looked at Jiang Lusher. Jiang Liusher's indifferent tone and Jiang Zhuing's feeling of speaking the same thing may seem different at first glance. But they are actually the same. For Yang Qingqing, she was used to being commanded by Jiang Zhuing. But now she suddenly felt as if Jiang Lusher was also calling the shots. Jiang Lusher did take the lead in this matter. But if someone else took the lead, the leader of the team would actually make the arrangements first. But their leader should ask his opinion even on matters that have nothing to do with Jiang Lusher. Not to mention what happened this time. Yang Qingqing actually wanted to change something. But seeing that everyone else said they wouldn't change, it wouldn't be too much trouble for her. Why would she only have so much meat? She is probably the one who got the least amount of money. And this frustration of not getting anything in exchange was attributed to Jiang Lusher who asked them. It's not like we're from our team. Dictating. Yang Qingqing thought speechlessly in her heart. I won't change it. The soldier looked at the mutated dog's body with a look of pity on his face. In fact, the mutant beast meat brought by the survivor team is usually not much. Unless it is to exchange for a large number of bullets. Or when making important transactions like Jiang Zhuing. A sufficient amount of meat will be brought. The team of survivors who can kill mutant beasts all have superpowers. And mutant beast meat is very important to superpowers. Such a mutated dog is of high value. If it can be obtained in exchange, the harvest of the military region will be huge today. Pity. Then come back when you want to change. The soldier continued. As Jiang Zhuing said before, these soldiers were very polite to them. The purpose of this military zone's existence is to collect supplies. And it is definitely not as fast as collecting what they need by them alone as it is with the survivors. There is no need to offend each other. By the way, Jiang Lusher suddenly asked. I would like to ask, how is the current situation? Starseed had told him before that after the apocalypse broke out, the entire world would quickly enter a state of collapse. But Star Seed did not say what the specific situation would be. Behind the military is the country. They have preserved many important technologies before the end of the world. And they should have a certain grasp of the situation. There should also be connections between those safe zones and safe islands. But these are Jiang Liosher's guesses. And he wants to know the exact information. Now! The soldiers hesitated. In fact, they would avoid talking about the situation to the survivors. So as not to bring more despair. But this is for ordinary people. And these survivors, who are struggling to survive in the city, should have given up on whether they can get better. I'm not sure how many. Anyway, the safe area is studying mutant beasts and the like. These damn things are getting more and more powerful. And they're pretty fast, the soldier said. Evolution. Both mutant beasts and superpowers are evolving. This soldier may not say too much. But the underlying meaning is actually very obvious. The military definitely has no plans to counterattack for the time being and just needs to guard the safe zone. They survivors must either go to a safe zone or have to survive on their own. But ordinary people will have the idea of going to the safe zone. But what about people with superpowers? They also evolve by eating mutated beast meat. On the other hand, 
There are already so many people in this camp. And the military has never sent them to the safe area. It seems that the military does not want to accept more people. It's getting late. Let's go. Jiang Lusher looked at the time and said, Once night falls, the entire city belongs to those monsters. And they are even more active than during the day. Traveling at night is really an act of seeking death. On the way back in the car, Jiang Lusher told Jiang Zhuying the information about metal materials he got from the old professor. Jiang Zhuying was admiring the long knife she just got with great interest. When Jiang Lusher asked her about the National Laboratory in school, she was stunned for a moment, then raised her head. Brother, what do you want these for? It's useful, Jiang Lusher said. How about it? Do you know the situation at Jinling University? Well, there are not many supplies in the school. And secondly, there are too many zombies. So I never go back. But I still know the general situation. Zombies are everywhere, Jian Juying said. There were so many students, faculty and staff. It was definitely all over the campus. Brother, are you going? I'll go with you, Jian Juying said. Let's talk about it, Jian Lusher said. That special metal company is said to be in Jinling Industrial Park. Have you heard of Juying? Jiang Zhuying went to college in Jinling. But usually she was either in school or on field trips with her teacher and team. So she had never been to Jinling much. She held her head and thought for a while. Then pouted. I don't know. I'll ask Yan Qingqing later. She is a native of Jinling. So she will definitely know. Okay. Jiang Lusher nodded. It would be best if you could ask for the location. He could only find Jinling Industrial Park on the map. But there was no more detailed information. It was a mess. And he didn't see the special metal company. The map Jian Lusher downloaded was already the latest version. But it didn't include places like this. Which made Jian Lusher feel speechless and depressed. Chapter 68 Jian Lusher's Expectations The return journey was much smoother in comparison. But by the time we got back to the camp villa, it was already sunset and it was going to be dark soon. Which made people feel lucky that they had finally arrived. The survivors who stayed in the villa were waiting nervously at the door. Although Jiang Zhuying and his group only accounted for a small part of their team. They were their entire fighting force. If something happens to Jiang Zhuying and the others, then these people really don't know what to do. Seeing the convoy appear in sight, these people breathed a sigh of relief. But why did the first one become Jiang Liuxia's minibus? Aren't the sturdy and crash-resistant refrigerator trucks usually leading the way? When the motorcade stopped at the door, these people immediately gasped when they saw the appearance of the freezer truck. This freezer truck is too miserable. No wonder I can't be the first car. Jiang Zhuying and others got out of the car one after another. And a few of the survivors immediately gathered around them consciously. The refueling, maintenance, and cleaning of general vehicles, as well as the transportation of supplies, are all done by these non-combatants. Only car repairs and modifications are Zhang Hai's business. And ordinary people can't do this kind of thing. There is a mutated beast in the car. Go and take it out and deal with it. Cutting and processing the internal organs are very troublesome tasks. And these are also jobs for non-combatants. Here in Jiang Zhuying, there would be no idlers. Yang Qingqing and the others originally thought that Jiang Lusher was an exception. An idler who landed in the air. But after today, they no longer think so. Although once Jiang Lusher returned to the camp, he really looked like an idler who had nothing to do with him. I'm going back to the garage, Jiang Lusher said to Jiang Zhuying, and then prepared to enter the garage. Brother, I will come and help you repair the car in a moment. Zhang Hai said. Jian Lusher waved his hand and said, That's no need. Of course Zhang Hai has no problem repairing ordinary cars. But base cars are not within his expertise. Letting him repair the car might increase Jian Lusher's repair costs. After Xing Zhong's report, Jian Lusher felt that there was no need to rush to repair the car now. These damages would not have any real impact. At most, they would just look unsightly. As for the word beautiful, it actually has nothing to do with his car. Seeing the minibus return to the garage, and then the garage door being closed, the survivors felt a sense of embarrassment. With Jiang Zhuying here, they couldn't show anything. They just felt that it was really necessary to repair Jiang Liuxia's car? It doesn't look like much damage. So it should be well protected. At this time, the survivors had already opened the compartment door of the freezer truck. Wow! Although they were mentally prepared and knew what was inside, these survivors couldn't help but take a step back after seeing it with their own eyes. This mutated dog is really ferocious and terrifying. Ordinary people like them simply cannot imagine fighting such a monster. Is the freezer truck like this because of this monster? This battle? TSK TSK! 
is really thrilling. However, you guys are still awesome. This monster is so cruel. Isn't it just lying here now? As he spoke, the survivor reached out and patted the dog's head. He, an ordinary person, could stand here and take a picture of this dog's head, and there was a sense of inexplicable excitement on his face. In fact, even seeing a few zombies would scare him out of his wits. But the mutated dog's corpse could not hurt him, and would be processed into pieces of flesh by him. He knew that all this was achieved because of Jiang Zhuing and the others. So he immediately paid him the right compliment. Who doesn't like to hear other people's admiration? The other survivors also agreed. In fact, they were not just compliments, but they were really shocked and amazed. Yang Qingqing's face looked a little ugly. Before these people finished speaking, she said, I'm tired. I'm going back to my room to rest. After that, she went back to the villa without looking back. These words made her feel too uncomfortable. The muscular man and others were also a little embarrassed. One of the superpowers said, Ahem, this, this mutant dog was actually killed by Zhuang's brother as the main combat force. Huh? The survivors were stunned for a moment. But soon, they saw Jiang Zhuang react and hurriedly said, So powerful. Ha ha. This and the boss really have the same roots. They are both very powerful. Hey, why is there such a big gap between this person and others? Although these survivors said this, their eyes were still extremely shocked. Looking at this mutant dog, they felt unbelievable. They all knew from people with powers, like Yang Qingqing that Jiang Lusher was just an ordinary person. Just like them. But a person like them actually killed the mutated dog that shocked them just looking at the corpse? It's not just the car that's good. Yang Qingqing heard the exclamations and admirations of those people from a distance and whispered, The cabin of the base car is bright and warm and the luxurious facilities appear more classy under the light, compared with the horrific and bloody scenes I encountered outside during the day. It felt extremely safe, comfortable, and peaceful at this time. Click! The bathroom door opened, and John Lusher, who had just taken a hot bath, walked out. His body was steaming, and every pore in his body felt comfortable. As soon as he lay down on the bed, John Lusher felt completely relaxed. Jinling University! Jiang Lusher looked at the roof of the car. He got two mutant crystal nuclei today, and the construction of the biological laboratory has started. This made Jiang Lusher feel so excited that he couldn't sleep. He saw the battle of those with superpowers today. The previous brother he was too weak and had no evolution. But his speed actually left some impression on Jiang Lusher. Today's battle between these superpowers, especially the strength shown by Jiang Zhuang, made Jiang Lusher feel even more amazing. The biological laboratory was open not only because Jian Lusher urgently needed to improve his strength to gain more security, but also because Jian Lusher was full of interest in these special mutant abilities. When ordinary people gain some mutant abilities, they are no longer so ordinary. Tomorrow morning, we will set off to Jin Ling University. Jian Lusher made a decision in his heart. And at this moment, Jian Zhuang's drawling voice came from outside the garage door. Brother, it's time to eat. Hearing this voice, Jiang Liosher's mouth showed a smile. Although it was the end of the world, at this moment, he felt as if nothing had changed. Chapter 69 Target Jin Ling University When Jiang Liosher came to the hall, the survivors were all eating in the hall. Jiang Liosher found that as soon as he came out, these people looked at him with a smile on his face and a hint of amazement in his eyes. Like it seemed like he was seeing something incredible. These survivors already knew that the mutant dog was mainly killed by Jiang Liosher. They all gathered around to look at the corpse of the mutant dog. The more shocking the corpse was to them, the more they looked at Jian Lusher. The more surprised, Jian Lusher glanced at these people, then walked through the hall and entered the restaurant. He was really uncomfortable with being stared at by so many people with such expressions. In the restaurant, everyone was seated at the table and the food was served, but no one moved their chopsticks. However, the reason for not being able to move his chopsticks was not because of Jian Lusher. But because Jiang Zhuing was immobile, she was waiting for Jiang Lusher. And the others could only wait. You've been waiting for a long time. Let's eat. After Jiang Lusher sat down, he glanced at these people and said. After he spoke, Jiang Zhuing obediently picked up the chopsticks. And the others followed suit. Brother, you eat more. Jiang Zhuing didn't want to eat himself. But first put a bunch of vegetables for Jiang Lusher. The bowl could hardly be piled up. Hurry up and eat. The last time we had dinner together, Jiang Lusher discovered that people with superpowers eat a lot. It's no problem for one person to eat two or three plates. And judging from the way they were still unsatisfied after eating, 
it was obvious that they were still hungry. I can continue to eat, but I just don't want to part with it to save money. But this is Yang Qingqing and the others. They don't get much mutated beast meat, so they can only restrain themselves. Jiang Zhuying's share is actually quite large, but she wants to save it and change weapons early. Now that she had the weapon and a whole mutated dog lying there, she was just eating it with her mouth open. I didn't enjoy it before, but now I've made up for it. The more you eat this mutated beast meat, the faster it will evolve. Jiang Lusher didn't even care about saving. He now had a lot of food and could eat whatever he wanted. Although relying on mutant beast meat to increase physical strength is a long-term matter. Since it is useful and delicious. Why not eat more? Gulu. Yang Qingqing felt that her stomach was a little deflated as she watched the brother and sister devouring meat. I'm full. Yang Qingqing put down her chopsticks. Crying in her heart. At this time, Jiang Zhuying suddenly asked while eating meat. Brother. Brother. Didn't you say you were going to Jinling University? When Jiang Zhuying asked before, Jiang Lusher said let's talk about it later. But she remembered it in her heart. Jiang Zhuying was very concerned about Jiang Lusher's affairs. She and Jiang Lusher depended on each other. And what she remembered most was Jiang Lusher's care and love for her, as well as some of his complaints. Although Jiang Zhuying never mentioned these things, he expressed them with actions. Uh, Jiang Lusher originally planned to tell her about it later. But he didn't expect her to bring it up at the dinner table. What time? Jiang Zhuying swallowed the meat in her mouth with difficulty. And then said, Go? Are you in a hurry? Well, the sooner the better. I decided to go tomorrow. Jiang Lusher said. Okay. Jiang Zhuying picked up another piece of meat. And at the same time rolled his big eyes and looked at the other people at the dinner table. Then we will go to Jinling University tomorrow. And have a good rest tonight. Aw? These people were all stunned. Going to Jinling University? If Jiang Zhuying wanted to do this, they would have nothing to say and wouldn't ask any more questions. Jiang Zhuying is the leader. She can go wherever she wants. As long as she doesn't let them die. Most of the credit for their ability to stand firm and survive must go to Jiang Zhuying. Which is why Jiang Zhuying has prestige. But just listening to the conversation between her and Jiang Lusher, it was clear that Jiang Lusher was going to Jinling University. What are you going to do at Jinling University? Yang Qingqing asked. She looked at Jiang Lusher in confusion. Firstly, this Jiang Lusher was not from their school. And secondly, Jinling University was now full of zombies. She had no idea what the reason was for Jiang Lusher to go to Jinling University. I have something to do. I need to go to the laboratory there to find something that will be very useful to me. Jiang Lusher said. Regarding the base vehicle, he could not explain in detail. So he could only say this vaguely. Laboratory? Is there anything in this laboratory that is useful now? Aren't they all chemical stuff? Yang Qingqing was speechless upon hearing this. If Jiang Zhuying hadn't been there, she would have rolled her eyes. She had to roll her eyes before. The mutated crystal core now requires something from the laboratory. Does he still want to study the virus himself? This is simply whimsical and nonsense. Just for such an idea, they were asked to go to Jinling University. This was really true. Even if you want to look for it, you don't have to go to the university to find it. You can find it in some places. There will be opportunities in the future. Before Yang Qingqing finished speaking, she was interrupted by Jiang Zhuying. Okay, that's it. Do we still need to discuss this matter? Jiang Zhuying said. She didn't care what her brother wanted or why. Since Jiang Lusher said he wanted it, she would go find it. Based on Jiang Zhuying's understanding of Jiang Lusher, he would not bother with something useless. Since he said he wanted it, it must be really useful. As the leader, Jiang Zhuying has the most basic right to decide such matters. Where they go and what they do usually are mainly decided by Jiang Zhuying. If it's just to pick up something, it's really not something to discuss. Being blocked directly by Jiang Zhuying, Yang Qingqing's expression was not very good. They are similar in age and from the same school. But Jiang Zhuying is the one who can give the orders. And Jiang Zhuying's character is also the same. She usually seems to be very talkative. But in fact she always speaks the truth and doesn't give anyone any face. Yang Qingqing felt like she was embarrassed now. The other superpowers and the people in the hall seemed to be laughing at her. And Jiang Zhuying didn't care what she thought. She ate the last piece of meat, wiped her mouth, stood up with satisfaction, and said, I originally owed my brother a mutated crystal core, but I killed him today. That mutated dog should give my brother a mutated crystal core based on its contribution. So after all calculations, we still owe my brother a mutated crystal core. After saying that, 
Jiang Zhuying picked up Jiang Lusher and turned away. Looking at Yang Qingqing's objections. The others probably don't want to go either. Right? Jiang Lusher asked. Jiang Zhuying raised the corners of his mouth and said with a smile. So what if you don't want to go? If they don't go, I will go alone. But if I go alone, then why should I keep them? They don't have to come. Then when I come back, then there will be no place for them. These superpowers do not have the ability to establish their own business. Jiang Lusher smiled dumbly after hearing Jiang Zhuying's words and then rubbed her head twice. It's okay, girl. By the way, where is your storage room? Jiang Lusher asked. Chapter 70 Making Trouble By the way, where is your storage room? Jiang Lusher asked. Seeing Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying walking away, Yang Qingqing looked away with an ugly expression and whispered angrily, This one has a lot of people. Don't you think that since he came, Zhuying has been facing him everywhere? That Jiang Lusher, after all is said and done, isn't he only good at cars? Yang Qingqing continued. Seeing that Zhang Hai and the others didn't speak, Yang Qingqing stood up angrily and left. These people are all cowards. Jiang Lusher was looking in the storage room. He is a person who cares about supplies. Today's mutated dogs. He knows that he can get the lion's share. But how much is specific, and what is the meat put there? With such a scale, Jiang Lusher still wanted to see it with his own eyes. These are important properties. The survivors handled the mutated beast meat with nimble hands and feet. And the cutting techniques were also good. The pieces of meat were neatly placed there. Looking clean and appetizing. Jiang Lusher was very satisfied. The mutated dog was not much smaller than the mutated wild boar. And the amount he received was also considerable. Almost three quarters of the mutated dog. Most of the remaining quarter was obtained by Jiang Zhuying. Jiang Lusher was admiring it contentedly when he suddenly heard someone speaking outside the door. What's going on? It's quieter here. So you can talk here. A woman said. It's not about that bumpkin. Another Jiang Liusher somewhat familiar voice sounded. Isn't this Jiang Qingqing? Jiang Lusher originally didn't care about the conversation between the two people. But then he heard his name. That Jiang Lusher and Jiang Zhuying are really going too far. Yang Qingqing said angrily. Jiang Lusher walked gently to the door. Looked out through the peephole. And saw Yang Qingqing and another woman. He had a vague impression of that woman. When he first met Jiang Zhuying, this woman was also there. She was also an ordinary person. But she had strong athletic ability, didn't talk much, and didn't seem to be easy to get along with. She had been walking with Yang Qingqing at that time. And it seemed that the relationship between the two was relatively good. Jiang Zhuying said that she wants us to join her tomorrow to accompany her brother to Jinling University. Huh? Why? The woman asked. Who knows about him? Yang Qingqing said angrily. Actually, I am not unwilling to act together. But he is not a member of our team. You see? Except for eating. He stays in that car. He takes that precious car. It's like nothing else. No one else is allowed to get close. When we go out, only Jiang Zhuying can ride in his car. The more Yang Qingqing talked, the more angry she became. Jiang Zhuying interrupted her mercilessly. And she had to go tomorrow. From the very beginning, she felt that she couldn't see eye to eye with this Jiang Lu Shi. But Yang Qingqing herself also knew that the main reason why she disliked Jiang Lu at first was because she was unhappy with Jiang Zhuying. At this time, the powerful Jiang Zhuying suddenly had an ordinary brother. She was originally gloating about his misfortune. But soon, this brother became impressive. Under her influence, these survivors were secretly laughing at Jiang Lu Shi, watching Jiang Liu Shi's jokes, and expressing sympathy for Jiang Zhuying. But now, each and every one of them looked at Jiang Lu Shi. Liu Shi's eyes changed. Even another superpower started to follow Zhang Hai's footsteps and call him Big Brother. He's not from their team. So what's the point of calling him Big Brother? But it's all just to please Jiang Zhuying. Each one of them only knows Jiang Zhuying. Speaking of this, Yang Qingqing suddenly thought of something. Jiang Liu Shi's car is indeed very powerful. If she can get it. But after thinking about it, Yang Qingqing felt that this was not feasible because her driving skills were too poor. No matter how powerful Jiang Liu Shi's car is, it can't compare to a tank. But it doesn't make any sense to give her a tank if she can't drive it. But if she couldn't get it herself, there were other ways. Since he wants us to help, he should regard himself as a member of our team. That car should be regarded as the team's common car. And everyone should elect a driver to drive it. Even if he is still driving, it should be taken out for public use. What Yang Qingqing thought 
was that if she could stay in a minibus, it would be much safer than staying in an off-road vehicle. Today's battle with mutant dogs made her feel deeply insecure. The defensive performance of the minibus impressed her deeply. In comparison, the defensive capabilities of an off-road vehicle are far inferior to that of a refrigerator truck. So how can she be allowed to stay at ease? That's what I said. But he must not be willing. Right? The woman said. With how stingy he is. He definitely doesn't want to. But I don't believe I'm the only one who thinks so. When I tell everyone, let everyone put it forward. Jiang Zhuying can't ignore everyone's opinions. Right? If she doesn't agree, then everyone will definitely be disappointed with her. Yang Qingqing said, with a sneer on her lips. In fact, judging from the performance of Jiang Zhuying's brother controller, it is very likely that he will really disagree. In that case, Jiang Zhuying will face greater pressure. Maybe in the end, not only will everyone lose their trust, but they will also have to take out the car. This method works. Okay, I'm going to bed. If I find an opportunity tomorrow, I'll discuss it with the other superpowers first. This is for everyone's benefit and safety. And they won't disagree. Moreover, if that Jian Lusher is bitten to death by a zombie what? He is an ordinary person after all. Yang Qingqing smiled meaningfully. The woman was stunned for a moment. Then smiled. This is indeed the case. I guess this last sentence is the key point. After Yan Qingqing finished speaking, he left, and the woman also left. After they left, a door not far away opened, and Jiang Lusher walked out, looking thoughtfully at the direction Yan Qingqing left. Yang Qingqing assumed that she must have returned to her room, but she didn't know that she was checking their storage room today. After all, he has a large share of his own meat. A person like Jiang Lusher, who actually attaches great importance to materials will of course confirm how much his share is. Yang Qingqing. Jiang Lusher touched his chin. He had never thought that this woman would actually want to cause trouble. Originally, this woman had no sense of existence in his eyes. The villa area is not peaceful at night, and the roars of zombies are often heard from a distance. These sounds, sometimes high and sometimes low, don't sound like random roars, and they make people feel creepy when they hear them, even though they knew that as long as they didn't make loud noises or create bright lights at night, no zombies would approach them and there were people constantly keeping vigil at night to pay attention to the situation. Many survivors still had trouble sleeping. However, this is the current situation of surviving in the apocalypse. And they are already lucky. Jiang Lusher was lying on the bed and heard the roar of zombies. But he only paused briefly, and then continued watching the show. As he watched, Jiang Lusher couldn't help but wonder if supplies would be exchanged in future dramas, whether with the military or with survivors. Anyway, you only need to collect some USB flash drives, and you can copy them repeatedly. The next day, Jiang Lusher got up early. He didn't go to bed early last night, but the quality of his sleep was very good. Lying in the base vehicle, the sense of security is definitely much higher than that of the survivors. Morning. Good morning. Brother. While eating breakfast, Jiang Lusher glanced at Yang Qingqing, and she also looked at Jiang Lusher, then smiled and nodded to Jiang Lusher as a greeting. Jiang Lusher also smiled slightly, and his expression looked much more enthusiastic than before. Yang Qingqing was stunned for a moment, wondering why Jiang Lusher suddenly smiled so warmly and brightly, but she was too lazy to think about it. Today, she would communicate with those people with powers and bring up the matter. I wonder if Jiang Lusher will still be able to laugh when the time comes. Chapter 71 The Power of New Weapons Jiang Lusher just smiled at Yang Qingqing and ignored her. He could clearly hear what was going on in this woman's heart yesterday. This is today's root map. While eating breakfast, Jian Lusher took out the map and put it on the dining table. He had compared the simple map with the map downloaded on his tablet. The old professor had marked some key buildings on the roadside in great detail. And there were basically no mistakes in the comparison. This root map is relatively safe. And the number of zombies should be less. But to be honest, as long as it is in an area with dense zombies, there is no real safety. Jian Lusher said, just like they suddenly encountered a mutant beast yesterday. The freezer truck has been repaired overnight and can drive normally today, John Hai said. The muscular man also said, the machine gun has been checked and the bullets are ready. That's good. Anyway, everyone should be careful today. It's best if we get back and forth smoothly. Jiang Juying stood up and said, she was holding the long knife, wearing denim shorts, a simple tight t-shirt, and a ponytail. She looked like a perfect combination of a youthful girl and a terrifying cold weapon. 
Jiang Liuxiu's eyes lit up when he saw Jiang Juying today. He didn't know if it was due to evolution. But Jiang Juying now had a more unique temperament. Let's go! Jiang Juying's words were also very concise. Sitting on the minibus, her expression looked eager to try. I got a new weapon. But I haven't tried its power yet. Today is the perfect time to try out its effects. However, after approaching Jinling University, Jiang Juying became a little melancholy again. Speaking of which, I left school before the end of the world. And I don't know what the situation was like in the school when the disaster broke out. Jiang Juying felt very lucky about this. She didn't have to face the situation of fighting those classmates who turned into zombies when the apocalypse first broke out. As for the survivors living in the camp, many of them have witnessed their loved ones turning into zombies or being bitten and devoured by zombies. Now that she enters the campus again, Jiang Juying feels much calmer. Even if she encounters a familiar classmate and teacher turned into a zombie, she feels that she can face it calmly. Jiang Lusher glanced at her and said, This school is so big. It must have been very chaotic at the time. You couldn't do anything here. Yeah. I know. Jiang Juying nodded. She also knew that she couldn't save anyone at that time. This kind of thing only passed through her mind. As the convoy approached Jinling University, the number of zombies in front began to increase rapidly. The freezer truck drove at the front, and the superhumans on the two off-road vehicles also began to take action. The roars and crashes of the zombies were endless. These zombies were not afraid of being injured and jumped up crazily one by one. Soon, the convoy arrived at the gate of Jinling University. A group of zombies consisting of dozens of students and several security guards blocked the gate. The lifting rod at the gate was tilted and swayed, making a slight, creeped sound. The former gate was stained with blood, and the four characters, Jinling University, were also sprinkled with brown blood. There was also half a corpse that had been eaten until only the skeleton was left lying on it. Hearing the sound of the motorcade, these zombies all looked over. Seeing these former classmates, Jiang Juying breathed out softly, then waved to an off-road vehicle that drove next to the minibus. Open the way! Bang! The freezer truck directly knocked the lift pole away and rushed into the zombie group, with a shadow that was almost split in half by the mutant dog's claw yesterday. John Hai further reinforced the freezer truck and welded half-finger-long steel nails on it. This link will not allow zombies to hang on the car as soon as they are hit, but will also cause greater trauma to zombies or mutant beasts. Although zombies don't care about being injured at all, the smell of blood may attract attacks from their companions. These zombies have no sanity at all. They will attack crazily when they see a living person. And they will attack when they smell blood. No matter when. So this function can also play a little hindering role. But compared with Jiang Liuxiu's minibus, which hit it will without fear of being attacked, the freezer truck was still weak. Zhang Hai didn't have any urge to scream excitedly while driving today. And kept quiet the whole time. The National Laboratory of Jinling University is located in the center right of the campus. It is a relatively remote place. The routes drawn by the old professor are also relatively remote. But even so, after entering the route, the zombies that appear are densely packed. These former students, turned into zombies, were all agile and ferocious. They were bumped and attacked all the way. And the freezer truck became bumpy again. The convoy slowed down and entered the small square in front of the National Laboratory. The National Laboratory was surrounded by green belts. And the convoy stopped in front of the laboratory building. Didi! This time, Jiang Lusher honked the horn directly. After honking the horn several times, he moved the car back a little. Soon, several zombies rushed out of the gate and rushed towards the minibus. Bang! After a few seconds, another group of zombies appeared and were also hit by the minibus. After several repetitions, Jiang Lusher finally stopped the car. Ouch! As soon as Jiang Juying got out of the car, a group of zombies attracted by the movement rushed in from outside the gate. She turned around, stretched the long knife to the side, and stood there motionless. The zombies ran extremely fast and were approaching in a blink of an eye waving their arms. They all opened their bright red mouths, eager to tear Jiang Juying into pieces. Compared with these 20 or so crazy monster-like zombies, Jiang Juying standing there looked very fragile. However, just when these zombies were about to rush in front of Jiang Juying, Jiang Juying suddenly moved. She turned her body slightly, and the long knife had already cut across her body along with her movements. Drawing a beautiful bright white arc, the electric light flickered on the blade and danced in front of her, as if weaving into a grid. Crackling! All the zombies suddenly stopped moving. Their bodies were twitching. Black smoke was emitting from their bodies. And then, they fell to the ground one by one. 
their muscles still twitching. And Jiang Zhuying took the long knife back to her side. And the electric arc was still jumping. Making her look like a character coming out of a movie special effects. Especially when she turned around. There seemed to be lightning flashing in her eyes. Let's go! Jiang Zhuying said with a smile on her lips. She was very satisfied with the effect of this long knife. The few superpowers also got out of the car. Yang Qingqing looked at Jiang Zhuying and felt very uncomfortable. Jiang Zhuying was stronger. He had killed more than 20 zombies in one shot just now. And it looked very easy. She would never be able to do such a thing. Most of the zombies in the experimental building have been lured out. Even if there are still some locked inside, it is not a big problem. Just knock on the door before entering to know if there are zombies inside. So Jiang Lusher sure didn't plan to get out of the car. But Jiang Zhuying took them in to find the Iridium Crucible and then brought them out. The old professor marked the location of the Iridium Crucible on the map. Just as they were about to go in, Jiang Lusher sure suddenly said, You can stay alone. The survivors looked at each other. Jiang Zhuying was about to say that she should just stay. But Yang Qingqing rolled her eyes and said proactively, Then I'll stay. Chapter 72, I want to take a shower. You? Jiang Zhuying hesitated for a moment. Before, Jiang Lusher suggested that someone stay. Jiang Zhuying said without thinking that he stayed because he wanted to be safer with his brother. After all, although Jiang Lusher had a base car, he was an ordinary person after all. But now, Yang Qingqing took the initiative to ask to stay. And Jiang Zhuying was suddenly stunned. Why did his brother propose to let someone stay? These days, Jiang Zhuying still has some idea of Jiang Liuxiu's base vehicle. It is relatively easy to protect himself among the corpses. It is unreasonable to say that Jiang Liuxiu wants to leave one person to protect him. Jiang Liuxiu's protection of Yang Qingqing is enough. Brother, what are you doing alone? Jiang Zhuying walked over and asked. It's nothing. I just want to make contact. My car can't drive into the laboratory. So I can only wait outside. If anything happens outside, I can inform you. I am not strong enough. So it is convenient for me to contact you personally. Point. Jiang Liuxiu's casual words made sense. Jiang Zhuying thought about it and said with some worry. Okay, brother. Be more careful and don't get out of the car. Don't worry. Jiang Liuxiu agreed. Jiang Zhuying has relied on her brother since she was a child. And she feels reassured that no matter what crisis she faces, he has the ability to handle it. Then I'm going to the lab. As Jiang Zhuying spoke, he flicked the long knife at his hand. The chain clattered, and the blade's cold light appeared. This iridium crucible is located in the National Key Laboratory on the top floor of the experimental building. This National Key Laboratory occupies an entire floor. The equipment inside is very advanced. Various equipment and instruments often cost millions. It is the pride of Jin Ling University. Every time leaders inspect it, they must visit this key laboratory. Jiang Zhuying is relatively familiar with the laboratory building. In addition, there are many zombies in the laboratory building. Even if all the people in the corridor are attracted, they still have to encounter zombies when entering the laboratory. If you want to go to the top floor to get some iridium crucibles, you can't do it without Jiang Zhuying. For example, Zhang Hai and Sun Kuan another superpower user, are actually not very good at fighting. Zhang Hai is a car repairman and has some strength in his fingers. San Kuen, to put it bluntly, is a gecko. His feet can stick to on the wall. It's like walking on flat ground. If they really encounter a group of zombies, they will be blinded. Brother, we are leaving. Please be more careful. Zhang Hai also gave Jian Lushra a careless word. Grab a bag of mutated animal meat with one hand and went upstairs with a light machine gun in the other hand. However, on the campus of Jin Ling University, especially when they did not drive a freezer truck next, the light machine gun can still be used sparingly. Otherwise, once the gun goes off, it will attract a large number of zombies, and the result may be to drink poison to quench thirst. Yes. Jian Lusher nodded and watched the three people disappear into the laboratory building, with an imperceptible cold light flashing in his eyes. The experimental building is very high, with 12 floors. In the apocalypse, there is a power outage, and there is no elevator. Climbing up the stairs to the 12 floors, there are a large number of zombies along the way. They have to go through a fierce battle. The battle of superpowers consumes a lot of energy. People with superpowers cannot violate the conservation of energy. Their energy does not appear out of thin air and must be replenished. And the way to replenish it is through mutated animal meat. Because of the fierce fighting, they may have to stop several times to replenish food. 
Calculating this, they would definitely not be able to get back out of the laboratory building within an hour. In other words, Jiang Lusher and Yang Qingqing will have an hour alone. Yang Qingqing naturally knew this. She made her own calculations and occasionally looked at the mechanical watch on her wrist, calculating the time in her mind. About 10 minutes later, the sun just emerged from the clouds and shone down, making the minibus golden. The afternoon sunshine in Jinling was still a bit fierce. Yang Qingqing looked at the zombies wandering not far away and estimated the possibility of being attacked by zombies in front of the laboratory building. Next to the laboratory building, not far away, there was a dormitory building. The dormitory building is definitely the area with the highest concentration of zombies. The experimental building is much denser, and as long as a gun is fired, it may attract a large number of corpses. Although he is a speed user, if he falls into the sea of corpses, he will definitely die. Of course, if there is Jiang Liosher's base car, Yang Qingqing knew that a lot of food was stored on Jiang Liosher's cart, including a lot of mutated animal meat. It's so hot. Yang Qingqing walked up to Jiang Liosher's windshield intentionally or unintentionally, covering the sun with one hand while saying cowardly. Her voice was soft and soft, giving people a tingling feeling. The sun is so bright. I'm sweating. Yang Qingqing took off her coat, inadvertently revealing her figure wrapped in slim-fitting clothing. Yang Qingqing has a good figure, although her appearance is not as good as that of a beauty or a beauty in the courtyard. She is still pretty among girls. When she was in college, there were many people chasing Yang Qingqing, and she was happy to enjoy the feeling of being chased. Even though she sincerely despises many of the losers who chase her, she still maintains an ambiguous distance. She can recruit these losers to help her repair her computer and carry her luggage. In Yang Qingqing's view, Jiang Lusher was a standard loser and she knew very well that Jiang Zhuying's family background was below average. But now that it's the end of the world, Jiang Lusher is still an ordinary person. To put it bluntly, he is a weakling who only relies on a modified car he picked up from nowhere. Yang Qingqing believed that as a person with a Diasi temperament, he would definitely not be able to resist his own temptation. Brother Jiang, Xiaoying and the others won't be back for at least dozens of minutes. Can I get in your car and take a shower? I'm sweating all over, and I feel very uncomfortable. Yang Qingqing spoke in a coquettish voice. Jiang Lusher watched Yang Qingqing fuss silently and sneered in his heart. In the end of the world, morals are corrupt. For food, profit, and becoming stronger, these people will do anything. Selling oneself, killing people, and selling goods. These are nothing at all. The car has no power, so you can't wash it. Jiang Lusher refused casually. He was not in a hurry and watched Yang Qingqing perform. Of course, he would not let Yang Qingqing get on the bus. If Jiang Zhuying was there, Jiang Lusher would not care about Yang Qingqing and others. Because Jiang Zhuying was much stronger than the three of them combined. But when Jiang Zhuying was not around, Jiang Lusher couldn't even open the car door. In fact, low-level superpowers like Yang Qingqing are not much different from ordinary people. Jiang Lusher also has a May 4th pistol. But even so, he will not joke with his own life. It's okay if there's no power. I can wash it with cold water. If it's too cold, Brother Jiang, can you help me warm it up? Yang Qingqing said in a half-joking tone and winked. There's no cold water either. Jian Lusha refused. Chapter 73 Home Invasion and Murder When Yang Qingqing heard this, the charming smile on her face suddenly froze. And there was no cold water. It's the end of the world. The law is ineffective. Morals are corrupt. And people are living a precarious life. I don't know how many people are indulging their desires. But this John Lusher, he turned a blind eye to the temptation that he has made clear to him. Doesn't he understand? Yang Qingqing was angry. She had already planned to take away Jiang Liosher's car after getting in. This car was bulletproof and had terrible impact. If she could keep it as her own, it would greatly improve Yang Qingqing's ability to survive in the apocalypse. Although Yang Qingqing is a superpower, her strength is actually very poor but her jumping ability and dexterity are far superior to ordinary people. If she really fights, let alone mutant beasts, even ordinary zombies, she can deal with up to five or six at the same time. If there are too many, she will run away. But her escape ability is indeed outstanding. He took away Jiang Liosher's car and made it his own. As for Jiang Liosher, a loser who picked up a modified car by luck, he has made a profit by being able to survive until now. Being the food of zombies is what he deserves. Fate. If Jiang Lusher dies and he seizes the car, he will die without proof. Of course, it will still be difficult to deal with Jiang Zhuying. 
This little girl has two deep feelings for her brother. Yang Qingqing is worried that even if he makes up any lies, Jiang Zhuying may be angry with her. So Yang Qingqing planned to drive away in Jiang Liuxia's car without stopping. There is a lot of food and mutated animal meat in this car, which is enough to keep me nourished for a while. Yang Qingqing's strength is limited. With this car and her barely adequate strength, although it is impossible to set up her own business, there is no problem in surviving in the apocalypse. If it doesn't work, she can just join another organization. But now, Jiang Lusher refused to open the door, which made her angry. Jiang Lusher, are you really stupid or are you pretending to be stupid? This girl has made it so obvious. Are you still pretending not to understand? It's the end of the world. If you live today, there will be no tomorrow. If you don't indulge yourself, are you still a man? You there must be a problem there. Yang Qingqing pressed her hand on the car door and subconsciously pulled it open. She didn't know how the doors of this modified minibus worked. Did they have to be locked deliberately? Jiang Zhuying had just gotten off the bus. So she had just tried it to see if she could open the door? As a result, the car door naturally didn't move at all. Seeing this scene, Jiang Liuxia's face turned completely cold, and a hint of murderous intent flashed in his eyes. Yang Qingqing's action of pulling the car door was a clear sign of a home invasion and murder. It is indeed normal to kill someone in the apocalypse for a car. It is not surprising for those low-level survivors to kill for a piece of bread. A seemingly enchanting woman is most likely the most ruthless poisonous woman. Jiang Lusha sneered and said mockingly, Even if I indulge my desires, I won't find a two-faced femme fatale like you. If you want my car, fine. Just risk your life. Jiang Lusha said as he calmly pressed the charging button of the air cannon. When Yang Qingqing heard Jiang Liuxia's words, her face changed drastically, and her hand froze completely on the car door. She forced a smile and said, Brother Jiang, you, what are you talking about? Why can't I understand it? Jiang Lusher glanced at the woman with disdain and said coldly, When I proposed to keep one person down for correspondence, I knew you would stay, and you did not disappoint me. You performed well for my car. Ah, look at the way you look just now. I think you don't deserve to be called a woman at all. You are just a female beast in human skin. You also want to seduce me with your beauty? I'm sorry. In my eyes, I can't fall in love with you. Worse than zombies. Jiang Liuxia's words were extremely vicious. When these words fell in Yang Qingqing's ears, Yang Qingqing felt as if he was electrocuted. Having sex with her is even more disgusting than having sex with a zombie. Yang Qingqing is a very jealous girl. She was dissatisfied with Jiang Zhuying before because of her jealousy. Now that Jiang Liuxia was so ridiculing her, the murderous intention in her heart suddenly rose up. Who do you think you are? In peaceful times, you were just a little loser. Now in the apocalypse, you are not even as strong as a woman. You dare not open the car door. You are a waste. If you hadn't been lucky enough to pick up a broken car, there is another sister covering you. You are like a piece of shit on the roadside. I don't even bother to look at you. You don't even pee and take pictures. Who are you? You still want to hack me. Think about me, it's all disgusting. Already torn apart, Yang Qingqing knew very well that after Jiang Lusher exposed her purpose, it was impossible for her to stay in the team. With Jiang Zhuying's protection, she would believe whatever his brother said. There was no room for her in this team. She had to go out alone, even if she couldn't get a car. But having decided to leave, all the anger she had accumulated in the team, her jealousy and dissatisfaction with Jiang Zhuying, and her hatred for Jiang Lusher all burst out. Yang Qingqing was not willing to just leave. She took it out of her trouser pocket and found a round black sphere. It was a grenade. Although superpowers are more powerful than ordinary people, in the initial stage of evolution, their superpowers are still not as powerful as thermal weapons. Many people with superpowers will exchange for thermal weapons. As a one-time consumable, grenades are powerful but much cheaper than light machine guns. So Yang Qingqing exchanged them for one. A grenade was thrown on the windshield. Yang Qingqing didn't believe that the glass couldn't explode. The only problem was that he had to keep a distance to avoid being accidentally injured. By then, Jian Lusher would have been blown to pieces. But the problem was that the car might also have been damaged. If the car wasn't broken down, she could climb up through the broken windshield and drive away, which would be much safer than walking through the apocalypse alone. Holding the grenade, Yang Qingqing reached his ultimate speed and quickly distanced himself from the base vehicle. Yang Qingqing's special ability is flexibility and the target of the base vehicle is too large and clumsy. It is simply impossible to avoid the grenades. Seeing the grenade appear, Jiang Lusher silently released a pressed air cannon charging button. 
At this time, the air cannon was only half charged. And it was much weaker than it was when it killed the mutated wild boar. But it was enough to kill Yang Qingqing. Boom! There was a loud bang. A terrifying gas explosion. Blasting through the atmosphere. A shock wave visible to the naked eye. Mixed with water mist. Blasted towards Yang Qingqing. And at this time, Yang Qingqing's grenade had not yet been fired. The speed of the air cannon was so fast that when Yang Qingqing saw the shock wave coming that shook the space, she had no time to react. Ah! Yang Qingqing let out a scream. Her chest seemed to have been hit by a sledgehammer. And her whole body flew out like straw. One shot from the base vehicle shattered all of Yang Qingqing's ribs. And her left and right lungs were also ruptured. Her whole body was thrown out more than 10 meters, like a ball of rotten meat, and fell heavily to the ground. Crack! The grenade in Yang Qingqing's hand also fell to the ground and rolled away. Yang Qingqing's face was covered with blood. And her eyes were full of unwillingness, confusion and disbelief. She didn't react at all. What had hit her just now? A terrible shock wave. Was it from that car? Chapter 74 Obtained the Iridium Crucible Being hit by the incompletely charged air cannon, Yang Qingqing was still breathing. Her body collapsed on the ground. And she raised her head with difficulty to look at the minibus. With blood foam pouring out of her mouth. Am I going to die? Yang Qingqing couldn't believe it. Whether it was trying to steal the car or killing Jiang Lu Shi, Yang Qingqing didn't take it as a big deal at first. That is to say, after Jiang Lu Shi exposed her and let her know that she couldn't grab the car, she just felt very depressed. But Yang Qingqing didn't think about it at all. However, she would actually pay the price with her life for attacking Jiang Lu Shi and hitting the bus. Yang Qingqing didn't want to die. She was a superpower. And she was young and beautiful. She was different from a loser like Jiang Lu Shi. How could she die? At this moment, she suddenly heard a sound coming from behind her. When Yang Qingqing heard this, a look of extreme fear appeared on her face. She knew that the sound was the footsteps of zombies. And the familiar, ho ho, sound was getting closer and closer. Due to the sound of the air cannon and the blood on her body, zombies in the distance were attracted. She cast eager eyes at Jiang Lu Shi in the car. But Jiang Lu Shi just looked at her expressionlessly. Finally, Yang Qingqing felt a hand suddenly grab her. And her eyes suddenly turned desperate. Seeing Yang Qingqing submerged among the zombies, Jiang Liu Shi's expression still showed no change. For those who dare to covet his minibus and want to kill him, she deserves this fate. The blast of the air cannon was also heard upstairs. When Jiang Zhuying heard this, he immediately cleared away the zombies in the nearest laboratory, then ran to the window and looked down. She saw at a glance that the downstairs was in a mess, with more than a dozen zombie corpses lying on the ground. But the minibus was still parked there. At this time, the sunroof of the minibus opened, and Jiang Lu stretched out his hand from inside and made an okay gesture. Jiang Zhuying breathed a sigh of relief. What's wrong? Boss? Jiang Hai and Sun Kuan also hurriedly came over and asked. Jiang Zhuying said, It's okay. It's probably that another zombie has been attracted. It's okay now. Let's go to the laboratory quickly and get the things. They were very close to the top floor at this time. But when they arrived at the laboratory, they found that the door to the laboratory was closed. On ordinary security doors, John Hai could easily pry open the lock with just his fingers. But this door was very strong. The security door of the National Laboratory is naturally not easy to open. It is not only anti-theft, but also explosion-proof and bulletproof. Such a door, even if a person with superpower sees it, he can only be blinded. I'll do it! Sun Kuan moved his body, pinched his fingers, and said, he returned to the laboratory they had cleaned out before then used pliers to cut off the protective net outside the window, and climbed out of the window, without any protective measures or tools. Sun Kun directly grabbed the wall above the window with both hands, kicked his legs on the window sill, and then climbed up, squeezing. His hands and feet are like flippers, able to firmly grasp various terrains, just like a gecko. And behind him was a light machine gun. After climbing to the laboratory window, he hung on the wall with only his feet, cut off the protective net, and then fired a shot into the air. Ho ho! Soon, all the zombies attracted by the gunshot crowded towards the window. But San Kun was still some distance away from the window. Although the zombies desperately tried to catch him by popping out of the window, they could not reach him. Instead, two zombies fell from the window and fell heavily downstairs. San Kun smiled, pointed his gun at the zombies, and pulled the trigger. After just a dozen shots, no zombies appeared again academicians and some professors 
who can work in national laboratories, may have been evacuated urgently before the apocalypse broke out. Of course, it is not clear whether they will live or die after they are evacuated. The remaining people either mutated into zombies or became zombie food. Sun Kun climbed into the window and soon opened the door from the inside. Jian Lusher also heard the gunshots on the roof. He looked up and saw San Kun entering the window of the National Laboratory. About 20 minutes later, Jiang Zhuying and the others came down carrying a large, stuffed bag. As soon as they went out, they were stunned for a moment. When I was upstairs before, the distance was too far and I could only see silhouettes of people. But I couldn't tell them in detail at all. But now when they looked at it, they realized something was wrong. There was a large pool of blood among the corpses of these zombies. But Yang Qingqing disappeared. Sun Kun's sharp eyes saw Yang Qingqing's mutilated corpse lying in the blood at a glance. In fact, only the clothes could still be identified. And the body was already incomplete. This situation is obvious. Yang Qingqing was eaten by zombies. But with Yang Qingqing's ability to escape, how could she be eaten by these zombies? Jiang Zhuying quickly looked inside the base car. Fortunately, Jiang Lusher was fine. If something had happened, he wouldn't have given her any signs before. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun glanced at each other, and then looked at Jiang Lusher with doubts on their faces. Brother Jiang, what's going on? As soon as Zhang Hai Chao asked, Jiang Lusher said in the car, Yang Qingqing tried to kill people and steal the car. She also took out a grenade to blow up me and the car. At this time, the zombies came, and she was focused on me. She was not found. So she was attacked by surprise. I was in the car. So of course I would not save her. After that, I killed these zombies. There is such a thing. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen were both stunned. Sun Kuen glanced around, suddenly fixed his gaze, and then ran over and picked up a grenade that rolled to the green belt on the roadside. It's really Yang Qingqing's grenade. Sun Kuen handed the grenade to Jiang Zhuying. Jiang Zhuying held the grenade and his eyes were a little cold. Those who want to kill people and seize cars should be damned. We are a team. If we want to cooperate with each other, we can't covet other people's things, let alone think of murdering others. How long is the end of the world? She was just a student a week ago, but now she has such vicious thoughts. It shows that this kind of person is inherently vicious and cannot be kept. Sun Kun and Zhang Hai had no doubts about what Jiang Lusher said about Yang Qingqing's evil intentions. Yang Qingqing's dissatisfaction with Jiang Lusher was clearly revealed at the dinner table yesterday. And since Jiang Lusher couldn't get out of the car, Yang Qingqing could only take out the grenade himself. It doesn't matter whether he ignored death or was simply knocked down by Jiang Lusher. But when Sun Kun and Zhang Hai looked at Jiang Lusher with a calm expression in the car, they suddenly had a new understanding of him. Although this Jiang Lusher is just an ordinary person, he is also a ruthless character who cannot be messed with. Yang Qingqing provoked him. But he killed Yang Qingqing himself without borrowing Jiang Zhuying's power. And he died miserably. What exactly happened in the middle, and what the process was like? Only Jiang Lusher knew. Get in the car, Jiang Lusher said, showing a smile. Iridium. Got it. Chapter 75 Someone is Coming. Jin Ling Industrial Park is about an hour's drive from Jin Ling University. But that was before the end of the world. After the apocalypse, even if you choose those relatively remote roads, you will still have to face the constant attack of zombies. After about an hour and a half, the convoy finally arrived at Jin Ling Industrial Park. The Jin Ling Industrial Park looks desolate from the outside. There is nothing moving on the road. Only some lonely vehicles parked on the road. Driving slowly on the road in the industrial park, Jiang Lusher was looking for signs on the roadside. The name of the special metal company should be visible on the sign. How come there are no zombies here? Jiang Zhuying looked around. Monsters like zombies always give people a numb feeling when they see them. But now it's so quiet here. It also makes people feel a little weird. With so many companies and factories in the industrial park, it stands to reason that there would be a lot of zombies. But now not a single one has been seen. The factories on the roadside were completely silent. And no one could be seen in the guard room. Maybe someone has been here. Or some movement attracted the zombies away. Jiang Zhuying guessed again. Let's be more careful. Jian Lusher said. This was the time when the sun was at its strongest at noon. And the bright sunlight was shining down. But this empty place gave people a chilling feeling. Found it! Sun Kun drove the off-road vehicle back. Rolled down the window and said. The special metal company is in Area C. Our current location is Area A. Have you seen the route? Jian Lusher asked. Looked at it. Let's go now. Jian Lusher continued. 
refrigerator trucks, and off-road vehicles lead the way. Followed by minibuses. Hey! Anyway, there are no zombies now. The off-road vehicle drove next to the freezer truck. Sun Kun lowered his voice and asked John Hideau. What do you think brother Jiang is doing collecting these weird things? In fact, Jiang Lusher was much younger than him. This was just a way of respecting Jiang Zhuying's name. However, after what happened to Yang Qingqing today, Sun Kun felt that Jiang Liuzhu's image suddenly became extraordinary. When they came here before, they only knew they were going to find something for Jiang Liuzhu. But they didn't expect that they were going to the laboratory to find something inexplicable. Does anyone want that kind of thing? Moreover, Jiling University was only one of the places. When Jiang Liuzhu saw that it was still early, he proposed to continue rushing to the special metal company. From the name of the place, it was obvious that he was looking for some metal. What is the use of Jiang Lusher looking for these metals? I don't know. Zhang Hai didn't pay much attention to this kind of thing and didn't want to think about anything. In the last days, it would be nice to live well. Sun Kun was speechless. He really had nothing to talk about with Zhang Hai. However, he didn't know what Jiang Lusher wanted to do with these metals. And he couldn't ask directly. He really had no choice but to not think about it. The vehicle continued to move forward without encountering a group of zombies along the way. One or two appeared occasionally, which posed no threat to the convoy at all. About ten minutes later, the convoy arrived at the gate of the special metal company. The retractable door of this company was half open. And at first glance, it was empty and empty. The guard room was in a mess. And there was some blood that had dried and solidified on the ground in the middle of the driveway. Let's go in. The metals from the special metal company are definitely stored in the warehouse. So finding the warehouse is simple. Driving around the company, the team soon discovered a large warehouse at the side and rear. Seeing the scale of this warehouse, Jiang Lusher was delighted. In such a large warehouse, there will definitely be no shortage of metal stored. He can collect all the metals he needs. The whole journey went smoothly, and no zombies were found in the warehouse. The door was probably because of the emergency situation at the time, and the people inside did not close the door after escaping. Otherwise, it would have taken a lot of effort to open the door. Jiang Lusher drove the car directly into the warehouse. And then Zhang Hai and Sun Kun ran to find the required metals according to the list and carried them to the car. These metals are distributed in the warehouse. Just finding and moving them would be a very time-consuming task for Jiang Lusher alone. But with the help of these two survivors, it becomes much easier. With the presence of these survivors, Jiang Liuzhu's efficiency in finding items has been greatly improved. You must know that Jian Lusher is an ordinary person after all. It is easy to drive a base car and go on a rampage. But there are many places where the car cannot enter. Such as the National Key Laboratory of Jin Ling University. As soon as he entered the building, Jian Liuzhu's weakness became obvious. Two or three zombies could kill him. After those zombies were infected and mutated from the human state. Each of them was extremely fast and powerful. And could truly tear a living person apart with their hands. The only flaw is that he has no sanity and does not know how to think. Speaking of which, these survivors helped a lot. They collected two mutated crystal nuclei in one day and now found all the metals needed to build a biological laboratory in one day. 100 kilograms of titanium, 120 kilograms of nickel, and 150 kilograms of cobalt. Zhang Hai and Sun Kun were moving metal blocks one by one to the car. Jiang Lusher felt very happy when he saw these metal pieces gradually filling the floor of the carriage. Once all the materials are available, Jiang Lusher can build a biological laboratory tonight. After the construction of this biological laboratory, he didn't know what kind of surprise it would bring him. But no matter what, it can relieve him of his biggest dilemma now. Jiang Lusher stood in the car and looked at the warehouse of the special metal company. There are really a lot of metal stored in this warehouse. Except for some extremely special metals that are difficult to find. Such as iridium. Most metals should be found in this warehouse. Jiang Lusher has already marked this place on the map. When he upgrades in the future and needs metal, he can come back to this warehouse, which saves him from searching everywhere. While Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen were still carrying metal, there was a sudden roar outside the door. Someone is coming! Jiang Zhuying immediately turned and looked at the door, with a vigilant look in his eyes. Zhang Hai and Sun Kuen also immediately put down the metal blocks in their hands, picked up their weapons and looked at the gate. They had not met anyone since they entered the industrial park. And now the sound of vehicles suddenly appeared, which immediately made people nervous. With a chi sound and a sharp friction sound, Jiang Lusher and Zhang Hai saw that a similarly modified Hummer rushed straight to the gate and then stopped. 